Chapter 131 Back on Track It was already dark when Li Yuan woke up. And there was still a dull pain in the back of his head. Originally, the body of a martial artist should not be so heavy. But because of the injury, the body did not dare to exert force. So the knock was very strong. She had already put on a clean bathrobe. And her stomach growled. She was about to eat at noon. But due to this accident, she hadn't eaten all day. Turning his head for a moment, he found that Xiao Lui had fallen asleep, lying on the edge of the bed. He was too embarrassed to wake him up and sighed slightly. Just bear with it. After waking up, Lu Yuan moved his stiff body a little, accidentally waking up the sleeping Xiao Lui. You woke up. You scared me to death. You almost drowned today. Lu Yuan recalled the scene when he was knocked unconscious. If he drowned in the bathtub and died, he would probably be the most miserable person in the martial arts world to die. Is there anything to eat? I'm a little hungry. Lu Yuan changed the subject. Well, I'll ask them to do it for you. Just wait. Xiao Lui said and walk out. Lu Yuan touched his body and found that his whole body was only wrapped in a bathrobe. And the rest was completely empty. It seemed that he had fainted and was carried to the bed before he had time to put on clothes. However, the impurities removed from his body through the exercises were not there. What makes Lu Yuan strange is that the Xia family obviously has many servants. But Xiao Lui has always been the only one taking care of him. In fact, Xia Rui did not let too many servants take care of her in order to give the two of them more space to cultivate their relationship. What Xia Rui did not expect was that Xia Lui did not complain at all. After a while, Xia Lui came back with the food. The food was a bit simple. It was relatively light. Just some porridge and some side dishes. The seemingly ordinary porridge was rich in content. Maybe this is the quality of life? Pursue the extraordinary in the ordinary. Xia Lui originally wanted to feed Lu Yuan. But Lu Yuan insisted on sitting up. Endured the pain. Leaned on the bed. And slowly started eating by himself. Lu Yuan asked while drinking porridge. Did you save me? Fortunately, the door was not locked. Otherwise, I would have been the first person to drown myself. I'm sorry. I should have helped you get everything done before going out. Xiao Lui suddenly burst into tears. Lu Yuan said casually, but he didn't expect that she, who was usually so confident and steady, would feel aggrieved like a little girl and comforted her somewhat at a loss. The water temperature is just right. This is already troublesome for you. I guess one night, I'll be almost recovered and I can take care of myself tomorrow. But it almost cost you your life. However, the marrow cleansing meridian is really powerful. It can remove a layer of impurities with just a little practice. No wonder it is said to have the effect of cleaning the marrow and cutting bones. Lu Yuan quickly changed the subject. You are only a beginner now, and you will not be considered successful until your body no longer discharges impurities, and it will become more and more difficult in the future, especially when you practice the internal organs and bone marrow. Xia Lui got rid of his emotions when he talked about martial arts. Um, where are all my clothes? Lu Yuan was no longer used to not wearing underwear at home. They were all stained during the fight. Just after you took a shower and changed. I sent someone to buy new ones. Your shirt was already damaged. And they were clean for you. The dirty clothes were not thrown away without Lu Yuan's consent. Which was a sign of respect for Lu Yuan. Xiao Lui still remembered the scene when she picked up her clothes. She hadn't gone far outside the door. And then she heard a curse word in the room. Followed by a muffled sound. After calling several times but no answer. Xiao Lui rushed indecisively. Regardless of the difference between men and women, he directly pulled Li Yuan's head out of the water. Since the bathtub was very large, he had to get in and use his inner strength to help Li Yuan drain out the water he had choked in. Looking at Li Yuan who was breathing steadily, Xiao Lui felt relieved. Xiao Lui had been taught that there were differences between men and women since she was a child. After she regained her composure, she felt shy. This was the first time she had faced a naked man at such a close distance. Her face turned red, and she could only comfort herself by saying, He is her fiancé. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Although she said she wouldn't force Lu Yuan. In her heart, if Lu Yuan didn't plan to marry her, I will never choose anyone else again. He simply helped Lu Yuan clean his body, and then asked someone to carry him back to the bed. He was afraid that he would be hungry when he woke up. So he kept guard by the bed and fell asleep unconsciously. Lu Yuan looked at Xiao Lui, who was in a daze, and couldn't help but ask. What are you thinking about? It's nothing. I'll leave first after eating. I'll see you in the game later. 
After Xiao Lui finished speaking, he put away the dishes and left in a panic. Although Lu Yuan wanted her to help him lie down. In the end, he was too embarrassed to open his mouth. He reluctantly lay down and entered the game. After re-entering the game, my strongest thought was to recover my body first. It was really inconvenient not to be able to move at will. This was the same for the Xia family. If I had to ask an eldest lady to serve me, how could I have the nerve to instruct others to do this and that? Of, as soon as he went online, he was greeted by various greetings. Lu Yuanjue replied and told himself that it was nothing serious and that he would be able to recover within a day or two. He then explained his current situation and then calmed down. All the way to the blacksmith shop, Lu Yuan decided to practice here. After all, private property was not accessible without the permission of the owner. If he attacked by force, he would be wanted by the holy city, and the taxes would not be in vain. The housekeeper Ah Fu had already taken up his post. He saw Lu Yuan coming from all the way. He greeted him and said respectfully, Boss, you are here. Business has been very good recently. I will show you the accounts later. Lu Yuan nodded, looked at the blacksmith old Lu who was sweating profusely, and asked, Has the negotiation been concluded? What the boss tells us must be negotiated well. He is very good at craftsmanship, but he is not good at expressing himself. His character is actually very simple. It's just that these rough guys who work here don't know how to understand each other. They are envied by others in other blacksmith shops. But they don't know how to understand each other. He's flexible. So he's always been squeezed out. The butler Ah Fu has obviously done a lot of homework. Well, that's good. You two work well together. And I will come to help when the time is right. Lu Yuan said and entered the back room. Lu Yuan entered the inner room and began to run the marrow cleansing sutra without any distractions. His father never said useless words. Since he told himself before leaving. He should practice physical fitness first and then practice Kung Fu. He meant that he should practice the Marrow Cleansing Sutra first and then practicing his own skills must have deep meaning. So Lu Yuan just obeyed because he has been practicing Qin Kuan Palm since he was a child. The secret of the Palm technique and the mental method complement each other. As long as he starts to learn the Qin Kuan mental method, he will be able to succeed easily. So Lu Yuan is not in a hurry. No one disturbed Lu Yuan that night. When he got off the line at dawn, his chest was almost healed. He had no problem walking on his own to enlarge his chest. He just couldn't use too much force. Lu Yuan had to sigh at the mystery of the technique. Lu Yuan took a simple shower and found that a change of clothes had already been placed on the table in the house. After getting dressed, he waited for someone to come in the house. After all, it was not his own home. So it was not polite to walk around randomly. You're awake! I didn't expect to recover so quickly. Xiao Lui was surprised to see Li Yuan recover. Well, I have been practicing last night, and I found out that there is an advantage to practicing in the game. That is, you don't have to sleep, Li Yuan told his findings. Because the brain controls the body, when you practice in the game, it is actually running in reality. But after all, haste makes waste. So we have to take it step by step. Let's go see your father. I heard that your father left something for you before you left. Got a letter. Letter? If you have anything to do, just send me a message. You can also call me. Why do you need to leave a letter? Chapter 132 Going Home Ha ha ha. You are a young man after all. He recovered so quickly. Are you still used to living here for the past two days? Xia Rui said happily when she saw that Li Yuan could move freely. I'm causing trouble to Uncle Xia. It's just that Miss Xia has suffered a lot these past two days and has been busy. Lu Yuan said respectfully. Still called Miss Xiao? From now on, we are all family members. And I should take care of you. Uncle Xiao, the situation was urgent at that time. I didn't have time to think about it. I really didn't mean to offend you. Before Li Yuan could finish speaking, Xiao Lui said first, Father, let us resolve our matters ourselves. Anyway, you have already done it in a martial arts competition. You won't restrict my freedom this time. Right. Although Xia Rui only listened to half of what Lu Yuan said. He had already been a human spirit for half his life. How could he not understand what Lu Yuan meant? He felt a little unhappy. He also understood why Lu Fei was anxious to go home to feed the pigs. But seeing Xia Lui like this, he could only sigh and said, Sure enough, women are not allowed to stay in the university. Father, do you mean to leave me alone? Xia Lui said with some surprise. You two get along well. Our families have a long history. 
It would be great if this generation could get closer. Xiao Rui paused and then added, See you in. The Xiao family is very grateful to you at that time. I have to step in to save the situation. But a man needs to take responsibility. My daughter is worthy of your Lu family. Lu Yuan Yuan and Xiao Rui were a little angry. When he was about to explain, Xiao Lui tugged on his clothes and interrupted. Dad, didn't Uncle Lu leave a letter? Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui kept winking and said nothing more. In fact, Lu Yuan just felt that he was dull and had no idea when it came to emotional matters. He was afraid of delaying Xiao Lui. So he told Xiao Rui just now if, well, Luar knows all my Xiao family's exercises. If you have anything you don't understand, you can ask me. Luar, your grandfather specifically told me that you can make your own decisions in the future. If you want to live away from home for a while, you can do as you wish. Xiao Rui picked up a letter from the desk and handed it to Lu Yuan. Looking at her daughter, who was so excited to be free, she felt a little uncomfortable, as if something of hers had been taken away. Lu Yuan opened the letter, and there was not much content. Dad, I thought about what you said and realized that it really needs to be packaged. This time when I go back, I will publish a hardcover version of our exercises. I also feel that this way when writing this letter, it will be more mysterious. Nothing special. I just want to tell you that you can handle your own affairs by yourself. I don't care about you if you have a bunch of wives and concubines. But if you don't have the ability, just choose one honestly. Your parents are waiting at home to raise their grandson. Those girls are all here. Yes, don't let others down. Regarding our martial arts, as long as the character is up to standard, there is no need to be stingy. But people's hearts are sinister. So you need to be careful about everything. Take care of yourself. Take care. Practice diligently. Shyanara. After Lu Yuan read his father's letter, he felt a little dumbfounded. He hurriedly left just to avoid discussing his marriage with Xia Rui. To put it bluntly, he was afraid of embarrassing himself and giving himself more room to choose. In the end, the Shyanara what the H, L, saying goodbye in Japanese? Or is it just for formation? What did you say in the letter? Xia Rui saw Lu Yuan's wonderful expression and asked in confusion. Oh, it's nothing. Just telling me not to be lazy or something like that. And don't be stingy with my martial arts. Anyone with good character can learn from it. Lu Yuan put the letter away and replied. He is a really casual dad. He talks about everything. He is not like an elder at all. And the letter is not sealed at all. So he is not afraid of others seeing it. Although Xia Rui will not do that kind of peeking thing. Oh, this old boy still has a conscience. In this case, the two of you will learn from each other. I will feel relieved when Luor is away. Although the Xia family also has boxing and kicking skills, it is naturally incomparable with the Qianquan palm dot. Rui was a little surprised by Lu Fei's atmosphere. Dad, if there's nothing else, let's leave first. Xia Lui didn't seem to want to stay any longer and left directly. Before Xia Rui could say anything, Xia Lui pulled Li Yuan and ran out. Where are you going in such a hurry? Li Yuan asked while being pulled. Go home. Aren't you at home now? Go back to your home. Without giving Lu Yuan too much room to think, Xiao Lui took Lu Yuan around several turns in the big house and finally stopped at the door of a small courtyard house. He went in and dragged out a suitcase. Time is tight. I'm afraid my father will regret it and won't invite you into my house. I'll invite you in next time. After that, he pulled Lu Yuan and walked outside. Miss, what will I do if you leave? Linger walked out of the room next to her. Play the game on time every day. And I'll ask you to come over when I'm settled. Xiao Lui gave a casual instruction. The two of them walked out of the gate. Xiao Lui took a deep breath, slowed down her pace, and said with a smile, Can you drive? Yes, but I left my driver's license at home. Lu Yuan was still a little confused. Then it's up to me to abide by the law and drive properly. Although the fine is not big, we can't take any chances. Dot that's right. Xiao Lui was very excited along the way, and her driving skills were pretty good. She followed the navigation and drove all the way to Lu Yuan's residence. Why are you so happy? Lu Yuan didn't understand. How can I not be happy when I am free? Since I finished graduate school and got my master's degree, I have not even had the chance to go to school. You have already obtained a master's degree at your age? Why don't you study for a PhD? It shouldn't be difficult for you. Right? Everyone on the internet says that you can't get married with a doctorate. Besides, I go to school just to go out and relax. Academic qualifications are not important. 
This may be the difference between geniuses and mortals. Lu Yuan is considered a hard worker. While Xiao Lui is a pure genius. The two came to Lu Yuan's residence. Li Tan and Fan Ro were both there. They opened the door together. Judging from their expressions, they seemed to have known that Xiao Lui was coming. Fang Ro took two steps forward and punched Lu Yuan in the chest. Hey, have you recovered? Cough, cough, what are you doing? I didn't mess with you. It's not a big deal for Lu Yuan to feel some pain. After all, Fang Ro didn't use too much force. If he wasn't injured, it would be no different from a gentle tap. Ru, stop making trouble. Come in quickly. Li Tong enthusiastically took Xiao Lui's trolley case. When the four of them entered the room, Lu Yuan could tell that these three people had been in contact with each other for a long time and had made arrangements in advance. But he was the only one who was still in the dark. This is the only room that's vacant now. It was originally reserved for Sister Jingbai. But she didn't have time to come. So I can only feel sorry for you. Li Tong introduced the room. She can't live in the big house by herself. So she insists on coming here to join in the fun. What's wrong with her? Fang Ro said dissatisfied. It's okay. This room is very warm. Thank you. Xia Lui seemed to be unable to see Fang Ro's dissatisfaction. And said with a smile. Then you should rest for a while first. Li Tong smiled when he saw Xia Lui smiling happily. Xia Lui walked between Li Tong and Fang Ro. Hugged their arms. And said sincerely. I don't have many friends. It's great to meet you. Please take care of me in the future. If I do anything wrong. Just tell me. There was no trace of anything else mixed in the sincere smile. Xiao Lui felt that she suddenly felt much more relaxed after leaving home. And even her smile became particularly moving. Fang Ro shook her head and said, I didn't expect that the aloof goddess would turn into a silly girl after leaving home. Lu Yuan shook his head and hurried back to his room. With three women and one drama. I don't know if I can live as comfortably as before in the future. Chapter 133 Salute to the Boss Lu Yuan returned to the house. The room was very tidy. It seemed that it had been clean when he was no longer there. I logged into the game again. And what I was most concerned about now was how much money the blacksmith shop made. I was too anxious to practice before and didn't check it carefully. Several days had passed in the game. And I didn't know what the harvest was. After the game was launched, I walked out of the back room of the blacksmith shop and was greeted by the butler Afu. Boss, you are here. Our business is so booming. Look at the long queue. How many gold coins have you earned these days? Lu Yuan asked directly. Here are the accounts. In less than 10 days since I came here, I have earned a total of 168,542 gold coins. The official taxes of the holy city have not yet been paid. Compared with the previous performance, the performance has increased by 30%. Butler Afu said with a confident look. Account book. Very good. Each person will be given 10 more gold coins as bonus this month. Lu Yuan was somewhat surprised at the output of gold coins. He had only not played much games for more than a day. But he actually earned more than 100,000 gold coins. As expected, the butler Ah Fu had a good hand. What Lu Yuan didn't know was that such good business was actually due to his success in strengthening 15. Which made players think that the success rate of the Holy City Blacksmith Shop was high. And after the arrival of Blacksmith Lu. The success rate was also higher than that of ordinary NPCs, which contributed to the booming business. Lu Yuan looked at the time and said to Ah Fu, I can help here. You can screen some high-level enhancements and send them to my window. Ah Fu rolled his eyes and responded quickly. Okay. After saying that, he ran out to organize things. The owner of the Holy City Blacksmith Shop personally took action. The time is limited. High-level enhancements come to Windows 7. The handling fee will be doubled. You know the success rate. Lu Yuan wanted to laugh when he saw Ah Fu beating the gong outside the store to promote. But this is exactly what Lu Yuan wanted. This kind of person will work hard to help you if you are given enough benefits. Lu Yuan is not afraid of others negotiating terms with him. As long as it has value. After a while, a team formed in front of Lu Yuan. Although there were not that many players who enhanced high-level equipment, the player base was large enough to keep Lu Yuan busy for a while. Some people even tried their luck and resold highly enhanced equipment. Earn the difference. Lu Yuan took the equipment and observed it first. After formulating an enhancement plan, he directly hammered down the hammer. The whole set of movements was smooth and smooth. He felt that enhancements below 13 stars could be completed easily, with a descendant of the god of craftsmen making a move. The success rate will naturally be greatly improved. 
This wave of announcements on the World Channel has once again pushed the Holy City blacksmith shop to a new height. After being busy for more than an hour, Lu Yuan was ready to leave. He couldn't stay in the blacksmith shop forever. He hadn't leveled up and killed monsters seriously for several days. So he should find something to do. Otherwise the level he had finally risen to would be lost again. Was left behind. Opening the level rankings. The strange thing is that the fluctuation is not big. Maybe the upgrade is getting slower and slower. And everyone's enthusiasm is not so high. Moreover, most of the people on the rankings participated in what happened the day before yesterday. And they have not been there for the past two days. How you go online also matters. After looking at the friend list, none of the three women were online. Zheng Yu and Zhao Xingha were online. And Lu Yuan sent messages one by one. As a result, both of them said that they were busy. Zhao Xingha was spending time with his girlfriend. And Zheng Yu surprisingly said that he was busy, but did not say what he was doing specifically. Boss, if you have nothing to do, you can go check out the National War Dungeon. The system will automatically match people with similar levels. This dungeon is a bit like games like Dota and LOL. With a bright moon and scorching sun as the background of the National War. Zhang Yu felt, I felt a little embarrassed for ignoring Lu Yuan. So I quickly introduced Lu Yuan to something to do. Okay, you go ahead and get busy. I'll go take a look later. Lu Yuan simply replied, Lu Yuan didn't have anything else to do for the time being. He had heard from the old man at Tao Yuan Temple that the National War had been turned into a level 40 dungeon. So he simply went to take a look at its features. After releasing the nine color sacred deer, he did not rush to set off, but first fed the mother and daughter some food. And Shen Lu, I have something to do these days. Are you too hungry? Lu Yuan knew just Shen Lu's age. So he simply called her aunt. It doesn't matter. No energy is consumed in that space. And the strange thing is that my daughter has not delayed her growth. In a few months, she has now passed the lactation period. Just Shen Lu replied, Then when do you plan to let her go back to the forest? I will send you back then. After all, Lu Yuan had promised. Are you willing to let us go? To be honest, I can't bear to part with it. But of course, I have to keep my promise. In a few months, when she enters adulthood, she will be able to practice Xing on her own. With the ability to protect herself, I can rest assured. It doesn't matter whether I go back or not. When you don't need me anymore, I'm leaving. Just Shen Lu said kindly. Lu Yuan said no more and went straight to the entrance of the dungeon. He clearly knew that this was a virtual world. But every person and thing he encountered in it touched him. He felt that this world was different from his own. It's no different. The entrance to the dungeon is in the middle of the battle between the two countries. Now there is a separate camp. There are system vendors selling medicines and the like. There is also a quartermaster NPC next to it. It is estimated that the merits obtained by the dungeon are exchanged for items with him. I briefly took a look at the items in the store. Most of them were equipment, miscellaneous items, experience, and the like. They were similar to what could be redeemed during the previous national war. The highest level 50 equipment could be exchanged. However, it required a lot of merit. At first glance, it was specifically for it is prepared for ordinary players. If you don't want to spend money, just grind it. The entrance NPC was surrounded by people, all shouting to form a team and some friends were discussing tactics together. Lu Yuan was already level 50, and he wasn't very interested in the level 40 dungeon. He just came here to experience it. He didn't know anyone, so he simply entered the matching state. There are five people on each side entering the dungeon. The map is divided into three roads and three levels. There are some small roads in the middle that can communicate with each other. It is indeed a gameplay similar to LOL. The system sends troops every once in a while. The player level is not recalculated, and the equipment is still your own. But the system prompts that for the sake of fairness, some adjustments have been made to players with too high and too low attributes, so that the fun will not be lost. After the dungeon starts, you can get gold coins by killing opposing players or NPC soldiers. Use gold coins to purchase various buffs and special props, which can increase your own attack defense, or accessories with skills. The camps of both sides are random and there is no distinction between strength and weakness. The veteran in the team who has been doing meritorious deeds directly gives the command. Archers and doctors go to the bottom lane. Assassins roam to support. I am in the middle lane. And warriors go to the top lane. This warrior is a big boss. Level 50 not Dao Huan dot. Not Dao Huan. Isn't he that man? 
I'll rise. Lu Yuan looked confused. What are you doing? Salute to the boss. Chapter 134 Return to the Western Regions Games such as Data and LOL have been popular for many years. Most people who have played online games have never played them with their friends. Later, as portable devices became more and more popular, Honor of Kings continued to dominate the game rankings. Listed for many years. It was not until the emergence of holographic simulation games that this pattern was slowly broken. Lu Yuan was a little curious about who the old man in Tao Yuan Temple was. So he casually set up such a copy. Although it was not exactly the same. The patterns were similar, and he always felt that person doesn't look like an NPC. Lu Yuan's equipment, even with reduced attributes, was much higher than that of ordinary players. He was facing a guardian player. Lu Yuan hid in the grass and waited for the enemy player to approach. When the enemy player left the attack range of the level, Lu Yuan charged forward, using various skills to greet him. And with a few moves, he sent the enemy back to the camp to resurrect. Big Brother V587 Lu Yuan was also very easy to defeat the minions. He used his whirlwind to clean up the minions a few times, and then let the minions grind the opponent's level. He hid in the grass. When the opponent's guardian came, Lu Yuan charged again and burned blood. Kill. Kill. The miserable player on the opposite side returned to the city and resurrected. Oh no. This is completely crushing. Big Brother 666. Lu Yuan Yuan didn't feel proud. After all, he was too different from these players. And there was no point in bullying them. He simply followed the line of soldiers and attacked the level. The guardian on the opposite side never came online again. It wasn't until Lu Yuan had attacked the last level of the enemy camp that the five people on the opposite side gathered together to focus on Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan did not panic. Because the invisible assassin had been seen through by the eagle eye passive skill. He charged directly to stun the assassin. Two swords fell instantly. The opponent's guardian and three other players also rushed forward. Although there was a doctor increased blood but unable to withstand absolute damage. The enemy mage happened to be an ice mage. And Lu Yuan had a level 50 extreme cold suit with extremely high resistance to both ice and fire. He did not pose much of a threat to Lu Yuan at all. After killing them all instantly, the archer started to accelerate and still wanted to run. Hand of the Void. A huge golden palm appeared above the archer's head, grabbing the opponent's archer in front of him like a chicken. Lu Yuan scored five kills with two neat cuts. Lu Yuan's teammates were still rushing here, but the battle was over. Without buying any props or buffs, they easily defeated the five opponents. The rest was basically a one-sided massacre. Boss! Please give me a friend seat. Boss, let's play again. Open all channels on the other side. Report that cheat. Thank you. Lu Yuan ignored them at all. Destroyed the enemy base with the help of troops. And then exited the dungeon. If the two sides are evenly matched, this kind of fast-paced battle would be quite interesting. But people who can compete with me probably won't bother to come here to collect meritorious deeds. Right. Lu Yuan thought to himself. And left quickly to avoid those few people. The individual comes to pester himself again. It seems that this is another dungeon prepared for ordinary players. Once you have experienced it, it will be enough. Lu Yuan will not abuse some ordinary players for pleasure. I don't know what a level 50 dungeon is like. After Lu Yuan experienced the level 40 dungeon, he was a little idle. Before, he was used to playing alone and felt quite free. Later, he always had a group of friends to accompany him to upgrade and play dungeons. Suddenly, he was alone and didn't know what to do. As Lu Yuan was wandering around, a thought occurred to him. He obviously knew a lot more information than most players. So how could he have nothing to do? It turns out that I was misled by the old man from Tao Yuan Temple. Now that I know that the Eye of Mandala is the Eye of the Devil, and there are many parts scattered across the continent, why not go and look for it? Even if the Demon God's resurrection cannot be prevented in the end, the rewards for killing the boss are still considerable. Take Hand of the Void and Secret Art, Deep Burial in the Sand Sea as examples. It can be said that they are both top-notch skills that are rare. From the day you enter the game, the system has not actively given any tasks to the players. Everything is explored by the players themselves. After triggering certain plots, they will naturally accept the tasks. When the old man from Tao Yuan Temple said, I will find you if I need it, Lu Yuan was sent to him. Sent away. Lu Yuan subconsciously felt that there was nothing to do now. Another more important reason is that Lu Yuan is very interested in the history of this world. Since the Demon King must be challenged sooner or later, why not speed up the progress? 
The most confusing part of Taoyuan world is the distance on the map. Not every city has a teleportation array. Even the holy city, the most neutral town, has not established teleportation with the bright moon kingdom and the burning sun kingdom. Fortunately, Lu Yuan is also a nine-color sacred deer, and when he runs with all his strength, his speed is not slow. After making the decision, he no longer hesitated. The first stop was of course to go to the western region country to see if the princess's curse was cured. It is estimated that the national master should have exposed the secret by now. If he was kind, he might be able to relieve the princess's illness. If he was cruel, he would probably the entire royal family of the western region kingdom had to be exterminated. When I came to the western region kingdom again, the whole city was under martial law. Players had begun to explore the city. The advantage of the western region kingdom was that there were some random tasks assigned on the bulletin board. But the most difficult ones had already been completed by Lu Yuan and others. When I came to the bulletin board again, it turned out that there were all kinds of miscellaneous tasks. And I didn't find any news about the national master. It was impossible for Lu Yuan to come here in vain at such a long distance. So he went directly to the palace. However, when he arrived at the palace, Lu Yuan was stopped by the guards. I helped the king retrieve the Eye of Mandala last time. I have something important to meet you this time. Please report it. The king ordered that no one should be seen and leave the palace immediately. The guard said without any politeness. Lu Yuan was a little annoyed when the guards pushed him around. After seeing that the soldiers were only level 60, he almost made a move. This brave man, please lend me a moment to speak. A strange man's voice came from behind. Lu Yuan turned around and saw a handsome middle-aged man. His temperament didn't look like that of an ordinary person. So he suppressed his anger and followed the man to a corner. Hello, brave man. I just heard that you helped to find the Eye of Mandala. The middle-aged man said gently. Exactly. My name is I.K. And the princess to be rescued in the announcement is my sister Elimina Dot. So that means you are a prince? I.K. nodded but looked a little gloomy. He thought for a moment and said. A year ago, my sister suddenly suffered from a strange disease. And my father also became very strange. After the mandala I was brought back some time ago. He didn't even see me. I don't know how my sister is doing now. What about the imperial master? What kind of national advisor? There is no national advisor in the western region country. I.K. looked confused. Oops. It looks like there's something wrong with your father. Chapter 135. I just want to wait until dark. My father? What's wrong with him? It's just that his personality has changed a lot recently. I don't see any problems with the rest. Although I.K. thought his father was weird. He couldn't figure out if there was a problem. Do you know what disease the princess has? If the Eye of Mandala can cure her disease, why is the palace under martial law? Lu Yuan just vaguely felt that something was wrong. If there was no national master, then the king could only be the one behind all this. According to the game time, it had been almost a month since he handed in the task. But the prince couldn't even enter the palace. It's strange that there is no problem. Actually, you have also seen that the royal palace of our country is not extravagant. And it is not difficult to sneak into it. It is only such a big place. Although I thought it was strange before. I never doubted my father. When you told me, I also felt strange. Okay, let's sneak in at night and see what's wrong. Prince Ika suggested. I'll go by myself. You tell me the layout. It doesn't matter if I'm discovered. Just pretend you don't know. If the infiltration fails, we'll work together inside and outside to investigate the situation. Lu Yuan thought for a while and said. That's fine. Then I'll leave it to you. I'm just a sister. We haven't seen my mother since we were young. We depend on each other for life. I hope nothing happens to my sister. I.K.A. murmured a prayer. With. When Lu Yuan saw the map of the palace. He couldn't help but sigh at the poverty of the western region kingdom. There were only a few rooms in total. But they were just larger than civilian houses. The largest one in the front was the hall for receiving guests. And the middle one in the back was the king's palace. The two rooms next to it are the rooms of Prince I.K.A. and Princess Elimina. But I.K.A. has been sent to the palace by the king for reasons. And the rest are the rooms of the waiters. Since the king is not getting married, he has always lived alone. According to I.K.A., many of the guards in the palace were transferred and all went to the city to implement martial law. So there were only two doors left in the palace. You only need to go around a long way and climb through the wall at the back to enter the palace. Why is martial law in the city? Are there any enemies in the western region country? Lu Yuan suddenly asked. 
because there are always people missing recently. The king ordered the whole city to be under martial law, but it still failed to prevent the disappearances. People have disappeared one after another in recent days. I.K. explained. Well, I understand. I'll find a place to wait until dark, and then I'll come to you after investigating. Lu Yuan and I.K.A. parted ways and went to the blacksmith shop. His equipment had not been strengthened at all. Last time, there were a lot of special grade strengthening stones left at Zhao Jiozhou, plus the elementary and intermediate strengthening stones that he had withheld. It was enough. Strengthen your armor and weapons to about 12 stars. In fact, Lu Yuan can change to a more advanced weapon now. But this Yelin sword was made by his ancestor Oh Yi. He also likes the shape of it. So he plans to use it first. And he didn't encounter anything special. Lu Yuan has decided to leave the good ores. The ores of Sky City. To his friends around him to build them. But he has not poured them out yet. Anyway, everyone is not at level 50. So they are not in a hurry at this moment. Lu Yuan spent a few gold coins to rent a workbench and began to strengthen his extreme cold suit. During the forging process, Lu Yuan clearly felt that his mental power had grown a lot. This mental power is different from the attribute spirit, equivalent to energy. And the eagle eye skill seems to have made a breakthrough. When I look at the equipment, I can see it more clearly. Every time the hammer falls, it is like slow motion. I can capture the moment when the stone and the equipment merge. Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Extreme Cold War Armor Plus 12. There was another series of World Channel flashes. Just as everyone was discussing whether this Budaowan had found some game loophole. Congratulations to the player Budaowan. The weapon Yellen has been strengthened to plus 13 successfully. Now that Li Yuan has strengthened his equipment, he is familiar with it. Since the last time he upgraded the first plus 15 star weapon in the server, Li Yuan seems to have opened up the second line of Rin and do he seems to be playing with a 13-star upgrade. Then you will know where the most appropriate reinforcement is. After looking at the remaining strengthening stones, it was enough to strengthen it three times. Lu Yuan felt that he was in good condition, and did not feel tired at all. He simply tried to increase the Yelin sword impact to plus 15 stars. The Yelin sword made by Oyi is already perfect. Whether it is the interface between the hilt and the sword body, the toughness of the guard, or even the blade, it is impeccable. Lu Yuan's 13 star has always been the sword is being strengthened. So the last two strengthenings of this Yelin sword will be extremely difficult. Lu Yuan broke the special reinforced stone into small pieces and concentrated on the blade. At this time, the blade seemed to come out of the sword and came straight to Lu Yuan's eyes. This feeling caught up with him. The first enhancement was almost 15. Lu Yuan held on, and with his eyes and hands in hand, he quickly landed a few hammers. Congratulations to the player Budao Wan for successfully strengthening the weapon Yellen to plus 14 stars. Lu Yuan closed his eyes and rested his mind. Just now, Yi Lin seemed to be struggling, not wanting to combine with foreign objects. But when the strengthening was successful, the sword edge made a buzzing sound and seemed to be cheering. It turned out that the forging was so mysterious. Holy crap! It's him again? Are we going to witness another miracle today? This game isn't created by someone else. Is it? It's hard for me to level up to 11. But it's the same as playing the same game as others? Boss. NB. Stop making noise. That's my boss. He will always be awesome. Zhen Yu also joined in the fun. Your boss is a bastard. And he will always be a god. There are always people willing to raise objections. Hack you. You say I can do it. But my boss can't do it. You can do it? Why don't you give it a try by strengthening it to 14? Lu Yuan usually doesn't watch the World Channel very much. And he doesn't know that the World Channel has been so noisy because of him. After resting his eyes for a while, he has recovered. And this time his mind is not as groggy as before. He simply went all out and strengthened the sword's blade 15 times in a row. The most difficult thing in strengthening was to strengthen all one point. Lu Yuan decided to give it a try. Only such a perfect sword could withstand such an extreme strengthening method. Focusing on his eyes. Before looking at the sword blade, he felt the sharp sword energy rushing towards him. This time it was no longer his eyes, but attacking his whole body. Lu Yuan seemed to understand. Yi Lin, the voice of the sword. It is afraid. It is afraid that if it fails to strengthen, it will become scrap metal. It is afraid that if the strengthening is zero, it will no longer be so powerful. But Lu Yuan is not afraid. If he does not have the belief that he will succeed, how can he succeed? He is the master of the sword. 
How can he be influenced by the idea of the sword? Suddenly, Lu Yuan's strength increased sharply, and all the sword energy was taken out of the body. It could no longer affect Lu Yuan in the slightest. His eyes lit up, and he struck down with a few sharp hammers. Congratulations to player Bu Dao Wan for successfully strengthening the weapon to plus 15 stars. Lu Yuan didn't care whether the weapon succeeded or failed. He just closed his eyes and carefully experienced the feeling at that moment. Opening his eyes, the momentum not only did not disappear, but became stronger. Lu Yuan suddenly had a bold idea and picked up the Yellen Sword again, which had plus 15. Chapter 136 The Man Who Breaks the Limit Lu Yuan picked up the Yellen Sword that had strengthened Mengxing again. At this time, he was like an arrow on the string and had to shoot, and his momentum had reached its peak. If you are protected by it, you will be restricted by it, Lu Yuan murmured. I'm not using skills to strengthen. I'm just forging. The system stipulates that 15 stars is the highest. I don't use system skills or the help of system NPCs. I strengthen myself. Woolen cloth? This is a crazy idea. I originally just wanted to wait until dark. But I fell into madness. Is there anyone in the server who is not satisfied with having an epic weapon with plus 15? I am afraid that only descendants of the craftsman god lineage can have such courage. Lu Yuan looked at the perfect long sword in his hand. At this time, Yi Lin Jian no longer attacked Lu Yuan, but stayed in Lu Yuan's hand obediently. He seemed to feel Lu Yuan's mood, and Yi Lin Jian was actually a little excited. Tremble. Of course, Lu Yuan thought it was Jian's excitement, which was just a feeling, whether it was excitement or fear. It was unknown since Yi Lin Jian couldn't speak. This time, we need to strengthen the tip of the sword, which is almost invisible to the naked eye. If it deviates even slightly, the sword will lose its symmetry and will end in failure. Even the special strengthening stone cannot save the sword. Lu Yuan took out five strengthening stones. And with the help of this momentum, he used the folding and refining method to quickly hammer them into one. And then continued to compress. Compress. And compress. Looking at the reinforced stone that had grown to the size of a fingernail. Lu Yuan still didn't stop. Lu Yuan changed from a sledgehammer to a small hammer. And then to a sharp beak hammer. The hammer became smaller and smaller. And he lifted it higher and higher. Using it up every time. Use all your strength. And hit exactly where you want to hit every time. Until the five super grade strengthening stones were smashed into a grain of light. The reason why it is said to be a grain of light is because the strengthening stone is compressed like a grain of dust. But it emits a dazzling light. Ordinary people stare at it and even may burn eyes. Lu Yuan used tweezers to hold the compressed special grade reinforced stone and carefully placed it on the tip of the sword. Without any hesitation, he raised the sharp beaked hammer and brought it down with all his strength. There was no beat from the system. But Lu Yuan didn't panic at all. The weapon did not fail. The dark sword body shone with the unique golden light of 15 stars. The tip of the sword was like a bright star. He dared not look directly at it. Ding since the player Bu Dao Huan broke the enhancement limit. The system will no longer limit the enhancement level. Ding congratulations to the player Bu Dao Huan for successfully strengthening the weapon Yellen to plus 16 stars. The world channel, which had been arguing just now, went silent for a few seconds, and then was quickly flooded with cheaters. This guy is definitely a cheat. I want to report him. This ungrateful person is the boss behind this game. Players in Gale Village looked at the statue in front of them and said, is this the person discussed on the World Channel? It seems that he is an insider of the system and has spawned a village here. Isn't Dao Huan the ancestor of this village? Ha ha ha. Come on. You are trying to fight against me. My boss is NB. What's wrong? He can even break through the limits of the system. Do you accept it? I ask you whether you accept it or not. Zheng Yu originally fought against all on the World Channel. Already somewhat defeated. I didn't expect that my boss was so powerful and slapped those trolls in the face with the facts. Lu Yuan was not overly happy. He just held the Yellen Sword calmly, and had no intention of continuing to try. Sixteen stars may be his limit now, and he only succeeded in one go with that momentum. If you are confident, it will happen naturally. If God helps you, it will happen naturally. These are the four realms Uya said. I should have reached the third realm just now. Right. It turns out that weapons can also be excited. Scared and have various emotions. No one of the legendary best swords of sword spirits. All kinds of weapons may also produce weapon spirits. Everything in the world has spirituality. But we usually can't feel it. So we ignore it. Already? 
Perhaps it is also human beings' arrogance. So they no longer pay attention to other creatures or various phenomena. Although there are many things that cannot be explained by science. Human beings still deceive themselves into thinking that science is omnipotent. Lu Yuan naturally believes in science. But after being proficient in history, Lu Yuan prefers the wisdom of the ancients and the ingenious skills. Unfortunately, too few of them are truly passed down. After this forging breakthrough, Lu Yuan became more convinced of what Ouyi said. What is protected is what is restricted. We are all protected by science. And we are also restricted by science. Science can bring us better a good life. But it may also be an invisible barrier for us to break through to a higher level. I shook my head to get rid of these distracting thoughts. I don't know why recently. But some random thoughts always come to my mind. I am always emotionally affected by what happens in the game. This game will not affect people's mental side effects. Right? This time the strengthening did not affect my spirit. And I did not even feel tired. It seems that my energy has been greatly improved. If the ancestor was here, I would be very happy. Yellen plus 16. Epic. Level 45 warrior. Attack power. 3984360. 3700. Strength plus 550. Stamina plus 550. Additional attributes, freezing. There is a 30% chance of freezing the enemy into ice blocks when attacking, making them unable to move. Additional attributes, increase own strength by 15%. Additional attributes, increase own endurance by 15%. Additional skill, biting chill. The attack person's healing effect is reduced by 30%. Passive. Additional attributes, 30% chance of ignoring defense. Forger, Uya. Lu Yuan took a look at the weapon attributes. The attack power increased by 3700. 16 stars directly increased the attack power by 1600 points. And there was an additional attribute. It seemed that he had been strengthening the blade. Strengthening the sharpness of the Yellen sword. And or maybe it's just the effect of 16 stars. Taking a look at the sky. It was afternoon. A day in the game was not long. So Lu Yuan simply found an end to practice and wait for nightfall. Late at night, Lu Yuan quietly slipped out of the inn and put on his mocking face mask to prevent being recognized. Due to the curfew, there were only a few players on the street except for the patrolling soldiers. And some were left at the grocery store and blacksmith shop. Personnel on duty. I had planned my route early, avoiding everyone's sight along the way, and finally came to the wall behind the palace, turned over and jumped in. Lu Yuan decided to go to the princess's room to take a look first. Because the princess was the main clue to find the Eye of Mandala. And since she was the only one who stayed in the palace, she should be able to know the whole story. I quietly came to the princess's house on the map and opened the door directly to enter. There was no other way. Because the princess's house had no windows and I couldn't see what was going on inside. But it was estimated that there would be no soldiers guarding it. Entering the house. The space was much larger than it looked from the outside. A screen blocked Lu Yuan's view. When he walked around, he found a square pool. The water was still steaming. And the water was covered with petals. He couldn't see the water clearly. The following situation. As we walked inside, the bed was very neat and tidy. And it didn't look like someone had slept on it. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Where could the princess go if she no longer had her own room in the middle of the night? Could it be that the princess was in trouble? While he was thinking, a figure emerged from the pool, panting heavily, which startled Lu Yuan. Who are you? Why do you come to my room in the middle of the night? The woman covered her chest with her hands and asked timidly. Chapter 137 The King's Lie Who are you? Why do you come to my room in the middle of the night? The woman covered her chest with her hands and asked timidly. Lu Yuan looked closely and knew that this person must be the princess. It looked like she was soaking in the water every day. The princess was wearing a tube top. Although she was not naked, it was rare to see an NPC wearing such cool clothes in a game. Lu Yuan still turned his body away. After all, it was not polite to stare at him all the time. Don't be afraid. You must be Princess Elimina. Right. It was your brother who asked me to come to the palace to see the situation. My brother? I haven't seen him for a long time. What happened to him? When the princess heard the news about her brother, she was no longer afraid but she was obviously a little embarrassed to keep protecting her chest with her hands. Lu Yuan had no choice. The house was so big, so he could only try not to look at it to reduce the embarrassment. There is nothing wrong with him. It's just that your father transferred him away from the palace. The palace is now under martial law, 
and no one can see him. Oh, my father is a little different from before. Every time I see him, I feel that he is very troubled and painful. What's the matter with your curse? Do you have to stay in the water every day? Well, your body will become dry and crack soon after you leave the water. You can only regain moisture by soaking in water. Lu Yuan turned his head and looked at the princess intently. With a passive bonus of the eagle eye skill, he could see the curse on the princess. Drying, those who are hit by this curse will lose body water rapidly until they become mummies. The curse will not be removed until the caster is defeated. The remaining time is 2 hours 35 minutes. What are you looking at? Princess Elimina looked at Li Yuan warily. Nothing. Just checking your physical condition and seeing if there's anything I can do to help. Oh, look. The innocent princess actually puffed up her chest and stopped covering up. No, no. After reading this, your disease can be cured as long as you find the root cause. And it stands to reason that the curse will disappear in more than two hours. Lu Yuan told the princess his conclusion. This mask of yours is very special. Seeing that Li Yuan had no ill intentions, Elimina finally let down her guard. Ha ha. I was afraid of being discovered. So I made some disguises. Elimina seemed to have remembered something and said, Oh no. My father comes to help me treat my condition at this time every day. It seems that the time is almost up. As expected, there was a noise outside the door as soon as he finished speaking. The door opened and someone walked in. Father, you are here, Elimina said with a smile. Well, I just heard a man's voice in the room. Has anyone been here? The king looked around and found nothing strange. No, no one has been here. Father, please hurry up. I'm a little tired today. Elimina did not betray Lu Yuan and chose to keep it a secret. The king of the western region nodded, and with a wave of his hand, a yellow light enveloped Elimina, and then he said gently, Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. Well, I believe you can cure my strange disease. The king of the western regions casually said a few words of comfort and left. Lu Yuan jumped out of the pool, breathing heavily. Are you okay? Elimina asked with a worried look on her face. It's okay. I just held my breath for a long time. If he hadn't left, he would have been discovered. Lu Yuan said after breathing evenly. After getting out of the pool, Lu Yuan frowned because he found that the duration of Elimina's dry state was refreshed again and became 24 hours. It seems that your father is not here to cure you, but to reimpose a curse on you. Lu Yuan suddenly realized. Impossible. How could my father harm me? Elimina looked in disbelief. Your dry spell was almost over, and now it's 24 hours. If father wants to harm me, he can just kill me. Why bother? Besides, father has a deep relationship with me and my brother. Elimina said firmly. Lu Yuan knew that she wouldn't believe him if he continued to talk. So he simply planned to go to the king's room to find out. Take care first. I'll go and check the situation. Lu Yuan was also confused. It seemed that the king of the western regions did not want to harm her. But why did he put a curse on her every day? Carefully walked to the king's room. And through the window found that there was no one in the room. Where could he go if he was not in the room so late? Lu Yuan simply entered the room directly. The king's room was very simple. A table in the outer room was covered with various scrolls. There was only a bed and two chairs in the room. But now there was an underground secret passage with the door above open. It seems that the king has entered the underground passage. Lu Yuan looked at the passage and said to himself. Lu Yuan didn't know what was going on down the passage. Maybe there was only one room after going down. And he would have nowhere to hide. He would definitely be discovered. Or it might lead to a certain place. So maybe he would have a chance. Reluctant that the child would not be able to trap the wolf. The worst that could happen would be to resurrect him. Lu Yuan walked down the stairs. The stairs were very long. And Lu Yuan tried not to make any noise. At the end of the stairs, there was a dark room. The king had his back to the entrance and was arguing with an illusory figure. What else do you want from me? I've already paid enough. I don't want to lose my children anymore. Why do I have to kill them all? Recently, the group of people from outside have caused us a lot of trouble. The western region country must end it as soon as possible. You are addicted to it when you are the king. Right. Yenju, don't go too far. Who do you think you are? How dare you call me by my name? People in my demon clan don't need disobedient pawns. The elusive and enchanting woman's eyes flashed with fierceness. And the king of the western regions directly held his head and began to cry in pain. There's a tail coming after him. He is indeed a waste. And the waste should die. 
the eyes of the elusive and enchanting woman have already looked towards Lu Yuan's location. Lu Yuan knew that he had been discovered, and wanted to turn around and walk away first to discuss the matter, but an invisible barrier had blocked him behind him, and he had no choice but to walk out from the darkness. At this time, the king of the western region has lost his mind. It seems that he is just a puppet of the illusory figure. It is estimated that the mandala I obtained previously was also delivered to this woman. Who are you? Lu Yuan asked to the illusory figure. You'd better think about how to leave alive first. After saying this, the illusory figure disappeared. The king of the western region's splendid clothes had turned into leather armor, and he was holding a spar dagger in his hand. The dagger was very strange, more like a stone than a weapon, but the cold light made Lu Yuan dare not take it lightly. Ely's level 60 special boss, with 5 million HP. Monster attributes, humanoid boss. Assassin profession. High burst. Low defense. No obvious weaknesses. It was another special boss. And its level was 10 levels higher than his own. It looked like it would be a tough battle. Lu Yuan took out his Yilin sword. Since he couldn't avoid it, he should fight. He just happened to use this boss sacrificial sword. Lu Yuan looked at the invisible Ely. A smile appeared on his lips. He raised his sword levelly and began to accumulate power. Chapter 138 Single Kill This type of humanoid boss is difficult to deal with because the intelligence will be much higher than that of some monsters. But now King Ely has lost his mind and what is left is only the fighting instinct and the desire to kill. Lu Yuan couldn't understand what this king did. He said he was a bad person. He had a disagreement with the illusory figure just now. He said he was a good person. But he used his daughter as a cover to achieve his own goals. And for some unknown reason, his goals were achieved. He also refused to let his daughter recover. If it were a different type of special boss, it would still be difficult for Li Yuan to kill it alone. But this monster was an assassin. And the stealth skill that assassins rely on most was completely defeated by Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan watched Ili slowly disappear. He did not stare at him directly, but used his peripheral vision to see that he was slowly moving towards him. He calmly gathered his strength and was ready to kill with a thousand troops. After charging up, he released it directly. The target was the direction Ely was moving in. The attack was swift and caught Ely off guard. A capable person died because of his ability. Ely never thought that he could still be seen while stealthed. Minus 96,445. This charge blow knocked nearly 10 W of Ely's health. After the entire set of equipment was strengthened, Lu Yuan's defense power had reached more than 25,000, and his attack power had exceeded the 30,000 mark. So with the blessing of Qian Junsha after hitting 90,000 damage, Lu Yuan was not surprised. It was a pity that the weapon's new property of ignoring defense was not triggered. Otherwise, he would have easily hit more than 100,000 damage. Lu Yuan was unreasonable and directly greeted Ely with Blood Slash and Lightning Slash. Seeing that Ely was about to run, he directly charged and stunned Ely on the spot. However, the 5 second stun attached to the skill only lasted. It's over in 2 seconds. Ely moved quickly, using his high mobility to prevent Lu Yuan from locking onto the target. Thrust and cut the neck. It is also the basic skill of an assassin. But the boss is obviously much more powerful when used. A simple thrusting skill leaves a string of afterimages on the path, which shows how fast it is. Lu Yuan could not block them all, so he could only choose to block the vital points. Seeing that the attack was blocked, Ely was not greedy for the attack and walked away. It is estimated that if Lu Yuan had not blocked it, subsequent attacks would follow. Maybe it was because the cooldown of his stealth skill ended and Ely started to become invisible again. Maybe he thought it was just a coincidence that Lu Yuan saw through the invisibility just now. Ding someone is calling from the outside! Lu Yuan glanced at the time. It turned out that it was almost time for dinner. He probably told himself to eat. He had no choice but to go out now. So he could only reply that he was busy. If there is no special second person skill, it is only a matter of time before Ely is killed. Because he can eat blood bottles as long as he is not hit by combos. And the boss obviously does not have the option of eating blood bottles. I have to say that since I started practicing internal skills, although my in-game attributes have not changed much, I feel that my body is more flexible and my reactions are sharper. My body movements no longer rely solely on instinct and intuition, but can be sensed in advance, generally. Rather than saying this is a boss battle, it is more like a PK. Ely's attack is very high, but 30% of his health has been worn away and he cannot use any powerful skills. Moreover, 
Lu Yuan found that his Yilin sword had a high chance of ignoring the defense every time the sword tip hit the enemy. It seemed to have a lot to do with the position of his last strengthening hand. It's not that Eli is not powerful, but the extra damage bonus for the first attack after the assassin's most powerful invisibility, and some stiff attacks, were all detected by Lu Yuan's eagle eye in advance. So Lu Yuan would have less there are a lot of threats. If it were someone else, without the cooperation of teammates to increase health and change defense, they would have been killed long ago. After Eli's blood volume dropped to 70%, he started throwing venom all over the room. Lu Yuan tried his best to avoid it. Looking at the degree of corrosion of the ground after the venom landed, he knew how much damage it would cause if it hit people. Although Lu Yuan is very restrained with this assassin-type boss, he still dare not take it lightly, because special boss often have killing moves. This Lu Yuan has long been aware of. Maybe you knock out 99% of its health, but it is killed instantly by one move. If so, your efforts will be in vain. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry and defended and counterattacked very patiently. Once he took the initiative to attack, it would be very dangerous for him to be defeated. After fighting for more than two hours, the boss's health was finally reduced to 30%. Although Lu Yuan's damage was very high, he was alone after all, and he did not dare to attack aggressively. The two of them fought back and forth, so it took a little longer. Seeing that the blood volume reached the red line, Lu Yuan quickly cheered up. Normally, in this situation, the boss would immediately go crazy either with a sudden increase in attributes or summoning creatures. This special boss would immediately release a big move. But the big move once it is released, the subsequent weakened state is enough to knock out a large chunk of his health. Adventurer, I didn't want to kill you. After all, you helped me get back the Eye of Mandala and fulfilled my promise many years ago. But you know too much. I am a loyal believer of the king after all. Although I have done a lot of things that I regret. It is my duty to clear the obstacles. Eli suddenly opened his mouth and said a bunch of words, seeming to have regained his consciousness. Lu Yuan did not dare to be careless and said cautiously, Is the king you are talking about the devil? Devil king? That's what you call him. When he was there, there were so many national wars. Look, now it's all open and covert fighting. In the past, those who had different intentions were directly executed. Isn't this a good thing? All the evil consequences can be eliminated in advance. I.K. as he spoke. He walked forward, and the dagger in his hand was turned over in various dazzling patterns. Li Yuan knew that there was no point in talking to him now, because political issues have always had their own position since ancient times. Decisive and cruel methods of killing are conducive to unification, but they are against human nature and will arouse the resentment of the common people. Isn't Qin Shi Huang an example? When he was here, he unified all the countries. Although everyone said he was a tyrant, he also made many contributions. What about after overthrowing him? Are people's lives really getting better? Must kill Flash. This move is extremely fast. From the moment it is launched to the moment it is closed. Just as its name says, only one blow passes by in a blink of an eye. Lu Yuan Yuan was about to release his skills. Fortunately, he never lowered his guard. Song Fong Blood Armor only had time to release a defensive skill and had no chance to dodge. Yi Li's figure appeared out of thin air behind Lu Yuan. And Lu Yuan suffered a severe heart injury. Minus 48,642. This high cost attack left Lu Yuan with only more than 8,000 health. You must know that he is the only one among the players wearing epic equipment. His defense and health are unmatched by others. If it were replaced by anyone else, this blow will definitely kill instantly. Lu Yuan took a bottle of instant recovery potion. Charged in front of Eli whose attributes had been reduced, and started to fight back. Eli was surprised. He was very aware of the power of his blow. But he did not kill the opponent instantly. The reason why he was talking nonsense was to let him take it lightly. The two of them had been fighting for so long. And Eli was so patient with this young man. I admire him very much. Even if he leaked a flaw, he did not attack rashly. He was distracted by his own words. Unexpectedly, he was already prepared in the end. After Lu Yuan set up attacks, Eli's blood volume, which was already weak and had low defense, almost dropped to the bottom. Eli wanted to run away, but suddenly a big golden hand appeared above his head and grabbed him back. Lu Yuan without hesitation. A sword pierced Eli's chest, reducing his blood volume to zero. Chapter 139 Three Women and One Drama Although Eli's blood volume was cleared, he did not die immediately. He sat down on the ground, with some relief in his eyes. 
adventure. Although I deserve my death. My two children are kind-hearted. I hope you won't embarrass them. Ely pleaded weakly. Why did you release the curse on your daughter? Lu Yuanjian asked the question in his heart as he could still speak. Ely shook his head and said, I didn't want to hurt her. But that woman refused to let me and her child go. I could only try my best to delay it. Saying that my daughter was still useful until I put the mandala after she surrendered. She kept forcing me to kill my children. I was afraid that my daughter would be in danger if she went out. So I was reluctant to let her recover. And the whole city was put under martial law. Both of your kids don't look threatening. Leaving no future troubles is our principle in doing things. But I have already felt sorry for her. And I can't feel sorry for me and her children anymore. Ely was dying. And it seemed that he could die at any time. Are you the man who stabbed the desert goddess in the heart? Lu Yuan recalled the last blow. Wasn't it his own heart that was attacked? If he was hit in the heart without defense or even armor, who would I can't bear it either? Yili said with some pain. I love her, but for the resurrection of the king, I have to do that. Who makes her so stubborn? Who is that figure? Yili shook his head and did not give a clear answer. He just said lightly, Looking at your nosy way, you will meet sooner or later. Yili still fell. Only the dagger and a skilled book in his hand exploded out. And nothing else. Moreover, the body was not refreshed. So it seemed that he would not be resurrected. Lu Yuan picked up the dagger that looked like a crystal. It was a level 60 epic weapon. He finally understood where the dry curse on the princess came from. It seemed that if he hadn't just released it on the princess. Curse. If it were put on oneself. It would still be difficult to deal with. Avoid water. Epic level. Level 60 assassin. Attack power. 5,820-59-60. Intelligence. Plus 750. Agility, plus 750. Additional skills, drying. Cursing the enemy. Causing its body to quickly dehydrate, lose blood, until it becomes a mummy. The duration is 24 hours, and the cooling time is 12 hours. Additional attribute, critical hit rate increased by 30%. Additional attribute, weak point damage increased by 30%. Additional attributes, critical hit damage increased by 30%. P.S. Weapons naturally form from crystals. Because the crystals themselves absorb water. They are named waterproof. An additional skill that continuously drops blood. And it lasts for 24 hours. Even if it is not fatal. The injured person has to keep replenishing blood. Which is really annoying. The other three are all for increasing critical hits and damage. Simple violence is the most suitable. It has the attributes of an assassin. And its base damage is very high. Making it a rare and best product. Must kill flash. Without any warning. A blitz attack is launched instantly, making the enemy unable to defend himself. The attack flashes past and hits the enemy's heart. After the attack, he falls into a weak state. All attributes such as attack and defense are greatly reduced. The cooling time is 12 hours. Any melee class. Lu Yuan recalled the situation of the attack just now. Generally, mysteries or special skills will have some special and handsome font prompts. But this special skill did not have any warning. It attacked directly and it was extremely fast. After the attack, it was above the head. The name that displays the skill is indeed a bit cool. Moreover, the burst is very high. Although melee professions can be learned, the most suitable profession should be the assassin profession. Lu Yuan checked the time and found that more than two hours had passed since he was called to eat just now. It was not long before he quietly exited the palace and went to find Prince Ika. If he didn't explain the matter clearly, it might cause misunderstanding. Ika was very painful when he heard that his father had died. It seemed that the king was still good to them. But because of his identity, he had to do a lot of things. When he heard that the desert goddess was actually his mother, he was very surprised. Because that was the god they had been worshipping since they were children. They didn't expect that she was actually his mother. Ika went directly into the palace to take care of the funeral affairs. And his sister naturally recovered to health late at night when the curse time was over. This was the only good thing. Lu Yuan also roughly figured out what happened. King Ika should have been a member of the demon clan. In order to find the body of the demon king scattered all over the country, he met the desert goddess. Unexpectedly, the two fell in love with each other and had this pair of children. The demons discovered the situation. So they forced Ika to do something he regretted. But they failed to obtain the Eye of Mandala. As for the seal of Taoyuan Temple, the demons should not be able to enter. So they leave it to the players to find. The Taoyuan Temple said that the Demon King harmed the people. 
so it defeated the demon king and sealed it. The demon clan people said that their king unified the continent with rewards and punishments. But he was just killing decisively. Everything is one-sided. It seems that if they want to find out the truth, the investigation must continue. Lu Yuan quit the game and was ready to see if there were any leftovers. He spent more than two hours just beating the boss. And his energy was indeed too tense. When he came to the living room, he found that the three women were drinking. And they were all a little drunk. Lu Yuan was a little speechless. At noon, they were like enemies. But when they drank, they were like good friends for many years. It's not that these three women were fake. Maybe they were just too natural. Simple and kind. Lu Yuan, you're out. Come and have a drink. Fong Ro shouted enthusiastically. Why did you get drunk again? You look so polite and elegant. And you all look like hidden drunkards. Lu Yuanka still remembers the last time when several people were drunk by Fong Ro. You are the drunkard. Let me tell you. Lu Yi is so pitiful. His family is so rich. But he has never experienced anything. It seems that apart from studying, he only does various kinds of music. Chess, calligraphy and painting. Fong Ro turned away from her initial hostility. He actually started to speak up for Xiao Lui. Xiao Lui nodded and said, Yes, but today is a new starting point in my life. Cheers to a new life. Cheers. Cheers. The three women held up the wine glasses in their hands and clinked them together. But they did not drink. Instead, they looked at Lu Yuan. What? Aren't you happy for your fiancé? Fong Ro suddenly asked. Well, I'm glad. Let's drink. Lu Yuan quickly poured a glass of beer and clinked glasses with everyone. Hm, Fong Ro snorted, turned her head to the other side, and drank the beer in the glass in one gulp. The food on the table was quite rich, and it didn't look like takeout. It was probably because Fong Ro was a good cook. She was a little hostile to Xiao Lui on the surface. But in fact, she still regarded her as a friend in her heart. Xiao Lui saw that the atmosphere was a little awkward. As smart as she was, she naturally knew the reason. Without Lu Yuan around, the three of them could be friends, understanding each other and talking to each other. But with Lu Yuan present, the relationship between the three of them became more complicated, can be said to be a love rival. Xiao Lui doesn't want to think too much about emotional matters now. She just wants to enjoy her freedom and life first. Fong Ro also promised to take me to a disco when I have time. There is also an amusement park and lots of delicious food. Xiao Lui said happily. Yes. I heard from Ruru that there are many handsome guys. I haven't been there either. Then the three of us will go play together. No. We will call Sister Jing by then. Li Tong looked at Lu Yuan and said. Chapter 140 Personal Customization Li Tong was obviously trying to anger Lu Yuan on purpose. But Lu Yuan didn't seem to understand. He was minding his meal and suddenly raised his head and said. Don't provoke another Lin Han dot. When Fang Ro heard this, she immediately became furious. Blue Yuan, you don't open and pick up any pot. It's been so long, and you still do it. Xiao Lui didn't know what happened, and then asked, Is that Lin Han from the Lin family? Do you know him? Fang Ro asked. After reading the information, the son of Lin Feng's wife, the head of the Lin family, although he is the second son, is more scheming than the eldest son Lin Lan. Although he is a bit domineering, he is fairly upright in his actions. Xiao Lui commented, How come you can investigate everyone's information? Lu Yuan was a little curious. Actually, these are not secrets in the industry. What circle? Entertainment circle? Business circle? For example, on my birthday, the people present are considered a big circle. The people who can sit in the first two rows are another circle. And the people who can sit at the head table are the core circle. Xiao Lui smiled slightly as she drank. Red, but still answered seriously. Didn't Li Yuan's parents also sit at the head table that day? I didn't expect Li Yuan to have quite a background. Fong Ro glared at Li Yuan, obviously not calming down yet. My parents are very mysterious and don't tell me anything. I even doubt whether I am my biological child. Li Yuan shook his head and said, Li Tong's father, Li Qin Bai, is also at the main table. Xiao Lui added, you all have such profound backgrounds. You can't imagine how I ended up among a group of rich second generation people. Fong Ro spread her hands and said, Li Tong was afraid that Fong Ro would feel uncomfortable. So he hugged Fong Ro's shoulders and said, No matter what, you will be my best friend in this life. By the way, I just exploded a level 60 epic dagger and a secret skill book for assassins. 
I'll give it to you when I get into the game. Lu Yuan suddenly remembered and added. No reward for no merit. I don't want it. You can keep it for yourself. Fong Rousey refused without hesitation. Lu Yuan just thought that Fong Ro was still angry and didn't know what she was talking about. He simply finished the last bite of his meal and stood up to put away his bowls and chopsticks. Are you going to have a few more drinks? Li Tong asked. No. You can have fun. I feel like you can be happier without me. Just eat and leave it alone. I'll clean it up when I get up to exercise tomorrow morning. Lu Yuan shook his head and returned to the house after speaking calmly. Lu Yuan is also a little depressed. Since attending the birthday party this time, he feels that the atmosphere is different. It seems that he is always targeted intentionally or unintentionally. Lu Yuan is not a fool and understands that it may be because of feelings. His father's letters also hinted at him. Lu Yuan, who had no experience in this area, couldn't tell what he was thinking in his heart. To say that I like Li Tong. I had some affection for him at first, but I never thought about it deeply. We always get along with him as good friends. And I have always been passive. As for Fang Ro, she usually bickered more when he was with her. And Fang Ro loved to joke so much that Li Yuan really couldn't figure out what she was thinking. Xia Lui had more contact with her in the game. And he was more impressed by her intelligence. Although he became her fiancé, Lu Yuan always felt that it was forced by the situation and could not be taken seriously. Maybe if you leave here, the situation will get better? When encountering emotional problems, Lu Yuan's first thought was to escape, putting aside those thoughts and entering the game. It was already bright in the game, and Lu Yuan decided to go to the palace to see it. This time, they entered the palace hall unobstructed, and Prince Ika was dealing with various matters. Prince Ika, has your father's matter been settled? Lu Yuan asked. Well, I found a letter in the drawer of my father's room. He had written it a long time ago and left it to my sister and me. He has been living in a tangled state over the years. Death may be a relief for him. I.K. was a little sad. Say, you have to manage this country well from now on. If you need any help, you can come to me. Lu Yuan was not confused. After all, in a game, it would be beneficial to make friends with a king. There is really one thing. Didn't I say before that there are always missing citizens? The matter has not been solved yet. And the reason for the martial law every day cannot be found out. Huh? Your father said that the martial law was just to protect you brothers and sisters. But it seems that the missing person's matter has nothing to do with him. I will add more manpower recently and try my best to investigate. Please help me investigate the clues. I will be very grateful. Although Ika will inherit the throne soon. He still speaks so modestly. No problem. Lu Yuan wanted to continue investigating the Demon King. But the clues were broken again. The only new clue he got was the illusory figure. Lu Yuan still remembered that when they were arguing. The king of the western region called her Yan Zhu. And it seemed that she was from the Demon Clan. Core management. Lu Yuan had nothing to do. So he simply returned to the Holy City blacksmith shop. There was still a group of people lined up at the door. He suddenly remembered that the ore obtained from Sky Island had not been used yet and everyone was almost reaching level 50. Anyway, he had nothing to do, so he might as well help everyone. Equipment. Zhang Yu, did you collect the materials you were asked to collect yourself? I've collected them all. I bought all the materials that can increase health and defense. Well, come to the Holy City Blacksmith Shop. I'm going to help you build equipment. Okay, come right away. Lu Yuan looked at his friend list. Zhao Xingha was also online but he didn't participate in Sky Island last time. He didn't know if the ore was enough. It must be based on those who participated. The three girls seemed to be in no mood to continue drinking after Lu Yuan returned to the house. They all got into the game. Lu Yuan sent messages one by one. After all, they had promised to do it all at once this time. In this way, they should all be done within a period of time. No need to change equipment. After a while, everyone gathered at the blacksmith shop and Lu Yuan brought over all the materials that everyone had collected. Do you have any requirements for the appearance of the equipment? Lu Yuan asked. Can I still customize the appearance? The three women asked almost at the same time. Sure enough, women were more concerned about appearance. I can't make it exactly what I want, but I can make a rough idea. By the way, where's like a spring breeze? Didn't she go there last time? Don't leave her behind. The boss is still thoughtful. I'll call her. Zheng Yu said particularly positively. Xiaolui said with some surprise. You seem to be very interested in Ling'er. 
Zhang Yu scratched his head and said, Ling'er took care of me last time I was drunk. I'm just grateful. Fong Ro, I'll give you this dagger and skill book. I can't bring the weapon with you now. When the time comes, I'll make one for you using the teeth of a five-headed snake. Fong Ro didn't want it at first. So Lu Yuan forcefully gave it to her without saying anything, and then went to think about which piece of equipment to start with. After putting all the materials together, Lu Yuan felt inspired, as if all his worries were forgotten. Today I will make a personal order for you. Chapter 141 Optimus Prime Boss, my measurements are 105.95.108. Zheng Yu said happily. Tell me why. Don't you want a private order? I have to tell you my size. Zheng Yu said happily. Lu Yuan looked at Zheng Yu speechlessly. Mine is. Stop. There's no need to report your measurements. This is a game world. Just make the equipment about the same size, and it will fit naturally. Lu Yuan Yin and Fang Ro also wanted to report their measurements, and quickly interrupted. Then you tell me. I'll give you the drawings. Xiao Lui volunteered, saying that his sketching skills were pretty good. Boss, can you make me a pair of big wings? And then I can spread my wings and fly. Zheng Yu fell into fantasy. It's not impossible. But it's not possible right now. I have to develop it slowly. If my ancestor was here, he would definitely be able to make it. After a while, Xiao Lui drew the appearance of the equipment everyone wanted. It didn't matter what the appearance was. It just took a little effort to build. Oh Yi once said that forging not only requires good quality, but also it should be beautiful and make people like it when they see it, which is also a manifestation of ingenuity. The appearance is fine. As for the color matching, we can just find some pigments for coloring later. Lu Yuan looked at the drawings and said there was no problem. Put the essence of sand excavated from the sky city on the chopping board. This ore is very dense. No wonder the sky island can generate its own gravity, allowing people to stand upside down on it. Lu Yuan hasn't built equipment for a long time. He has been strengthening it recently. Seeing so many materials put together, he felt a little excited. Let's start with Zhang Yu. His equipment is mainly heavy armor, and his main attributes are health points and defense. So the materials I asked him to prepare are all materials that come from monsters with high defense and high blood pressure. Lu Yuan introduced. The first impression Zheng Yu wanted to give Lu Yuan was that the appearance looked like Optimus Prime. The armors were all sharp-edged and full of mechanical feel. It seemed that Zheng Yu had realized his dream of mechas in the game. Everything is ready. And the essence of sand begins to be refined. Everyone does not feel bored watching from the sidelines. After all, they are building equipment for themselves. The huge or was flattened by Lu Yuan. Only to be folded and then flattened again. Sometimes it was long and sometimes it was square again. To Lu Yuan. Refining the ore was like a piece of cake for Zhang Fei to eat bean sprouts. After a while, he put all the refined ore aside. Took out the prepared giant turtle SH. L. Divided the turtle SH. L into five large pieces. Corresponding to five pieces of equipment and took out some blood that exploded after the monster died. Crystal. These two types of items both increase health and defense. The additional attributes of the equipment made in this way will be mainly defense and health. Directly put the ore into the furnace. Carefully control the heat. When the ore is almost burned, use tongs to take it out. Use a quick hammer to fuse the turtle SH. L. Blood crystal and sand essence together. And then start beating the ore into equipment step by step. The prototype was repeatedly smelted and beaten. After a while, the shape of the armor was roughly formed, and the details and shapes began to be processed. As the saying goes, a layman can see the excitement, and an expert can see the door. The bad-tempered old man in the blacksmith's shop was straight-eyed. Good craftsmanship! Good craftsmanship! Old Lou exclaimed. How's it going? You're not in the wrong place. Let's learn! The housekeeper Ah Fu said happily next to him. After Lu Yuan finished finishing a piece of armor, he turned around and asked, What are you going to call this armor? Zheng Yu seemed to have thought about it a long time ago and said without hesitation, It's called Optimus Prime Suit. This is a pervert. Fong Rose scolded relentlessly. Lu Yuan smiled and directly named the finished armor Optimus Prime War Armor. Go and die it yourself. Lu Yuan handed the armor to Zheng Yu and said, This was the first time for everyone to see equipment being made like this in the game. They all thought it was fun. And they all followed Zheng Yu to dye the armor, turning the forging equipment into DIY handcrafting, seeing everyone's happy faces. Lu Yuan felt very happy himself and couldn't help but thought. If there were no emotional problems, 
there really wouldn't be any grudge against us altogether. Putting aside distracting thoughts, I still have a lot of equipment to build. There are 25 pieces of equipment for 5 people, not including weapons. He took out the ore that was refined very quickly and started to build a helmet. The helmet was relatively small, so it was more of a test of his craftsmanship, but it saved more time than a battle armor. Lu Yuan finished all 5 pieces of Zheng Yu's heavy armor in one go. He felt that he was in very good condition and did not feel tired. He planned to finish it in one go. Who's coming next? Lu Yuan asked. Li Tong saw that Xiao Lui was busy helping Zheng Yu with coloring. And Fang Ro didn't say anything. So she had to come first. Then let me do it first. This is the drawing Lu Yi drew for me. Li Tong handed over the drawing and said, Okay, you are suitable for some equipment that increases your movement speed. In addition, your strength should also be increased to make it easier for you to kite your opponent. I will make you a light armor, which will also increase your defense appropriately. Lu Yuan first analyzed the attributes Li Tong needed, and then studied the drawings. After looking at it for a while, he continued, In fact, with the archer's equipment, there is no need for a full-body armor. Some non-vital parts can be properly removed, which saves some weight and increases your flexibility. Li Tong nodded and felt that Li Yuan was right. Lu Yuan pointed out the places that could be removed on the drawing. With Lu Yuan's vision, he could remove the unnecessary places without damaging the overall structure. Wouldn't this be too revealing? Li Tong saw that Li Yuan had removed a lot of places. His boots reached to his knees, and the battle skirt on his lower body was not too long. Moreover, the armor on his upper body also leaked out of his belly. There were no sleeves, only two wrist guards, and only a thin belt. On the upper edge of the battle skirt, if it weren't for the special texture, it wouldn't be considered a piece of equipment. There was only a simple forehead protector on the helmet, which Li Tong liked very much. Really? I only consider making the most suitable equipment for you as quickly as possible without affecting the attributes. I have never thought about anything else. Lu Yuan really never thought about the problem of exposure. Let me see how exposed you are. Fang Ro hurriedly came over, took a look and said with a smile, Tong Tong, this is good. With your figure, you will definitely have an extra skill when fighting in this suit. What skills? Do you know how to build equipment? Li Tong asked in surprise. I don't know much about building equipment, but you will definitely have an additional knockdown skill. If the enemy is a male, he will definitely fall to the ground and admire the scenery up his skirt. Fang Ro said with a smile. Li Yuan also felt that something was wrong. So he picked up the drawing and changed it again. It was basically the same, but it was slightly more conservative. Seeing Fang Ro laughing and playing, Lu Yuan felt that this was her style. Chapter 142 Metal Cloth Li Tong's equipment was relatively easy to use because they were all small pieces and his body was much smaller than Zheng Yu's. So Lu Yuan could still find time to carve the lines of the equipment. Considering the problem of exposure, Lu Yuan directly added leggings under the battle skirt. For the rest of the position, Lu Yuan still felt that it would be more appropriate to reduce some weight. He cut off the sleeves on the upper body and simply exposed the abdomen and directly made a helmet. The forehead protector with a simple triangular shape in the center of the forehead, is neat and sexy overall. Lu Yuan is very satisfied with his work. Li Tong's suit is made the golden color of sand. It is polished to make it shine more brightly, and the texture is carefully carved, so there is basically no need to dye it. What's the name for this equipment? Lu Yuan asked. How about the gold suit? Zheng Yu suggested. Taki, the goddess suit is better. Fang Ro refuted Zheng Yu and made suggestions. I think this piece of equipment is shining like a star. So let's name it after Starlight. Xiao Louis suggested. Okay, let's call it Starlight Suit Dot. Li Tong nodded in agreement. The most troublesome thing for Lu Yuan was to name the equipment. Fortunately, Xiao Louis, who had many ideas, was present. Who's coming next? Lu Yuan asked. You go first. My equipment is mainly cloth armor. I'm afraid it will be a little difficult. Xiao Louis said to Fang Ro. All right. Lu Yuan couldn't figure out what happened. If it was normal, he would have been clamoring to be the first to produce it. I will help you make level 50 weapons using the fangs of five-headed snakes. Therefore, in addition to adding agility and intelligence, the equipment is best for poisoning. So the materials are mainly used first to increase poison damage. So you have to sacrifice some critical hits. The one-hit-and-go tactic is the best. Use continuous poison to defeat the enemy. And with your high-damage secret skills, your ability to kill people in seconds can also be guaranteed. 
Lu Yuan seems to have already thought about everyone's level 50 route. Yeah. Okay. I thought about it for a moment. You are different from Li Tong. She can kite her opponent, but you have to attack at close range, while ensuring that the equipment is as light as possible. Overall protection is also relatively important. Leather armor is the most suitable equipment for you. You, a blacksmith, certainly don't know how to make leather armor. What are you going to do? The body is still mainly made of leather armor. I will add additional metal at each joint to ensure that while adding attributes, it can also give you some additional defense. The equipment of Fang Rou and Xiao Lui is what troubles Lu Yuan the most. The equipment of these two professions are leather armor and cloth armor. The life skills of the tailor profession are the most suitable for making. However, as a descendant of the lineage of the god of craftsmen, he naturally cannot maybe it's not possible because of the equipment. Lu Yuan took out a leather coat and said to Fang Rou, This is a blank that I asked a tailor to make before. It is similar to fashion, but it can be used to make the base material of equipment. Do you like this style? I said boss. It turns out you like tights. Catwoman type. Zheng Yu teased. Ah, Fu. Help me kick him out. Lu Yuan directly issued the eviction order, not even bothering to talk to Zheng Yu. Boss. Boss. I was wrong. I definitely won't say a word. Zheng Yu quickly begged for mercy. No problem. I can't wear any clothes. It just shows off my sex appeal. Fong Rose said nonchalantly. Well, I'll start building it based on this. After Lu Yuan said this, he no longer hesitated. He took the refined essence of sand and started to build it. He first used various materials with additional properties with the ores, and then began to forge the details of the vital parts of each joint. It should not be too thick or heavy. There can be no inflexibility. The main points are ankles, knees, wrists, elbows, and chest. After Lu Yuan's special treatment, the metal parts were flawlessly integrated with the leather jacket. The metal parts were extremely compressed by Lu Yuan and smashed into paper as soft as paper, but without losing toughness. Except for the fact that the wrists need to be a little hard. The knees, elbows, and chest are like a layer of membrane on the clothes. The head is simple. Just forge it out of metal. I don't know if it's a prank or Zhang Yu's inspiration, but Lu Yuan actually had a pair of cat ears made directly. This time, he definitely feels like Catwoman when he wears it. The metal parts are dark gold. If you don't like it, you can dye it black. What's the name for this? Phantom. Fong Rose seemed to have already thought about it. Lu Yuan directly took out the five-headed snake boss fangs and said confidently, The five-headed snake is very venomous, especially the teeth of the middle snake head. So there is no need to add other materials. Just give this pair of fangs a perfect handle. That's it. It's a purely natural weapon. Well, it's up to you. Lu Yuan kept his hands on. Since the snake teeth were slightly curved, Lu Yuan also made a slight arc at all the handles, which would be more conducive to exerting force when attacking. Boss, since you can't forge leather armor or cloth armor during forging, why can you just strengthen it? Zheng Yu asked Sol. Since the weapon was already a semi-finished product, Lu Yuan was not afraid of being disturbed in reply. Reinforcement stone is a special ore. Although it looks like metal, it can actually be dissolved in all kinds of items. It should be regarded as the rule of this world. Right. The whole thing didn't take long. And an epic level dagger was ready. Lu Yuan, you can always use epic equipment now. Why do you suddenly feel that epic equipment is worthless? Fong Ro sighed. The value is still there. The explosion rate of monsters has not changed. I was also trained by the most powerful craftsmen in the world. Besides, I can't just make equipment for everyone. It's an honor. Let's call this dagger venom. Fong Ro stopped refusing and put away the dagger. What are you going to do with Bujia? Use the same method just now? Xiao Lui asked. Lu Yuan smiled slightly and said, I have been thinking about this problem. And finally it occurred to me that I can compress the metal to be very thin, even similar to cloth. But the toughness of the metal will be greatly reduced. And after adding gold wire, you can make a kind of metal cloth, which although takes a lot of effort, is still a challenge. Metallic cloth? Yes. To put it simply, heavy armor is made thicker, and cloth armor is made thinner. In fact, they are all metal. The gold wires are arranged in order to increase the toughness of the metal, and then other materials are added to increase fire magic and increase intelligence. The equipment made must be suitable for mages. The gold wire is so thin. Arranged one by one in order? Well, this is the only method for the time being. 
Lu Yuan took the drawings designed by Xiao Lui, thought about it and said, I will help you make a row of diagonal buttons for your clothes. Put the long skirt in one piece and help you with the left leg. Make a fork on the clothes to facilitate movement and prevent long skirts from affecting flexibility. I plan to make the belt directly into a waistband and integrate it with the clothes. The boots should be made as soft and comfortable as possible. As for the helmet, it can be a headgear like theirs, or it can be made into a hood that goes with clothes. Make these all in one? Yes, except for shoes. Everything can be integrated. When you wear this one, all equipment columns will show equipment. Chapter 143 Peak Ingenuity I understand. Your approach is similar to fashion. You summarize all the parts in one piece, and then add the attributes that each position should have to each place, and that's it. See all the way concluded after hearing this. Smart. I also had a sudden thought. Based on my recent insights, the most basic thing about the grade of equipment is the selection of materials. The second is the precision of the construction. The more perfect the construction, the higher the grade of the equipment. This is it can be seen from the strengthening process that the lower the level of equipment, the more points it needs to be strengthened. Lu Yuan explained to everyone. Boss, I think some weapons are low grade, but they are very handsome. There are no shortcomings. Jum, you said. If you can see it, what do you need me to do? A handsome appearance does not necessarily mean a good structure. Most magic weapons are not that flashy. Lu Yuan paused and added, I will try to make it as beautiful as possible. If there are no suggestions, I will start. I still don't need a hat on my head. Can I make it into a hairpin? Lu Yuan thought for a while and said, Yes, but the defense will be relatively low, and the other attributes should not be affected. Well, defense doesn't matter. If it's your turn to resist damage, the damage won't be enough to save your life. Lu Yuan nodded. For a mage, flexibility and aggression are the most important. The production of cloth armor is undoubtedly a challenge for Lu Yuan, because it is beyond the scope of his profession. The so-called one-stop shop is all about making armor. What's the difference if it's thinner or thicker? Lu Yuan pounded the material that increased intelligence and fire attack power together with the essence of sand, and repeatedly smelted and compressed it. When it was compressed to about the same thickness as the cloth, he began to put the gold thread. Lu Yuan's hammer seemed to have magic power. Every time the hammer is hammered down, the gold wire merges with the metal. There are several vertical lines in a long skirt, and some places need to be reinforced with horizontal gold threads. Everyone looked at it and felt dizzy, but Lu Yuan hammered it tirelessly, hammering it, and there was no trace of it at all, not disturbed by the outside world. When the gold thread was almost finished, Everyone discovered that Li Yuan had actually used the horizontal and vertical stripes of the gold thread to create a blooming peony flower on the entire piece of equipment. While they were amazed, everyone was impressed by Li Yuan's craftsmanship. Admire? The metal buckle is also made very delicately. And the belt at the waist is made into a corset. With gold thread shining on it. The overall dress is orange-red with gold embellishments. It has a perfect waist shape and matches the slits on the thighs. Her beautiful legs are exposed when she moves and just thinking about it makes her look sexy. I didn't see it. Your skills can be used to design fashion. Fong Ro admired. Yes, I think this dress is so beautiful, but it's a pity that it's not suitable for me to wear cloth armor. Li Tong also looked at the cloth armor with admiration. Xiao Lui's face was also full of excitement. He obviously liked it and thought for a moment before saying, Just call it blue water and red tide dot. Yes, Lu Yuan agreed and handed the finished clothes to Xiao Lui first. After finishing the clothes, Lu Yuan finally felt a little tired, because this dress was too complicated and the operation required too much precision. Although he felt a little dizzy, Lu Yuan knew that if he persisted at this time, he would be able to do better next time. If he stopped every time he reached the limit, he would probably not be able to break through over time. Lu Yuan started to make the remaining shoes and hairpins. Shoes were easier to make, but hairpins were a bit difficult. Although the hairpin was small, it was difficult to compress all the attributes into this hairpin. No. Uya also said that the smaller the thing, the harder it is to make. Lu Yuan added some nugget gold to the hairpin, which is gorgeous and tougher at the same time. The hairpin has a hollow flower carved into it, and the style is simple and elegant. Although it was a hairpin, in order to replace the helmet, it turned out to be a special piece of equipment. The prizes from Lu Yuan's martial arts competition were a cloak and a mask on his face. The innate mockery face. Both were special equipment. 
The special equipment column did not indicate their locations. But they seemed to be quite diverse. Everyone was a little tired of naming this time. So Lu Yuan just named it Yifeng Pattern Golden Hairpin. Gold Hairpin with Cloud and Phoenix Pattern. Epic Special Equipment. Level 50. Intelligence plus 1000. Spirit plus 1000. Additional Attributes. Fire Attribute Damage Bonus Increased by 35%. Additional Attribute. Cooldown Reduction Increased by 15%. Lu Yuan briefly looked at the attributes. His special equipment only had some additional attributes and no basic attribute bonus. However, this hairpin actually increased intelligence and spirit by 1,000 points each and also had two very practical attribute words. Strip. I didn't expect that after doing it. I made it into special equipment. It is very suitable for fire magic. Here it is for you. Lu Yuan handed over the hairpin and said. Xiao Lui was also very surprised. She took the hairpin, and her eyes were full of joy. If everyone had it before, this little thing should be regarded as a gift. Sure enough, she is the fiancé, and Lu Yuan is partial to her even though she is still working for her. Fang Ro and Li Tong were looking at the hairpin next to Xiao Lui. But they said to Lu Yuan, Ro Ro, stop joking. Lu Yuan is already very tired. Li Tong hurriedly smoothed things over. She also felt that Fang Ro seemed a little strange. It's too small. Zheng Yu said to Fang Ro. What's too small? The pattern is smaller. Zheng Yu added. Lu Yuan shrugged. Although he knew that Fang Ro was only half joking. He did try his best. Lu Yuan didn't say much. And took out the ore again and planned to make a ring directly this time. He bought a top grade fire gem at the auction house and embedded it in the middle of the ring. Lu Yuan was already a little dizzy. And all the processes seemed to be running on their own. And during the dizziness. Li Yuan said to Ru Mu Chafong, I plan to make you a suit of heavy armor, so that your survival rate can be higher. In terms of materials, the main focus is on blood volume growth, supplemented by intelligence growth. Li Yuan insisted on completing the last set of heavy armor. Most doctors rarely choose heavy armor. The main reason is that the basic attributes attached to heavy armor are not suitable for doctors. However, Li Yuan made it tailor-made. So his idea is rather strange. Doctors become blood doctors. Ox has high defense and thick blood. As the team's key protection target, it will reduce the burden on the entire team. Ding congratulations. Your craftsmanship has reached its peak. Peak craftsmanship, passive. Exquisite craftsmanship. As long as the equipment is crafted with care, it must be a high quality product. The probability of equipment damage is basically zero. Due to the affinity for equipment, one can wear equipment 10 levels higher than his own level. All types of weapons and equipment have affinity, making them easier to use. Lu Yuan looked at his peak ingenuity and thought it was an unexpected gain. He originally wanted to help everyone strengthen it, but he consumed too much energy and couldn't hold on. You guys go play. I'll log off first. After saying that, Lu Yuan logged off directly, preparing to have a good sleep. What happened to the boss today? I feel that my mood is not too high. Fong Ro must have made the boss unhappy because you made him unhappy. So he went offline directly. Zhang Yu said to Fang Ro. No. He must be tired from forging. I'll go check on him later. Li Tong came to Fang Ro's rescue. I'll go with you. Chapter 144 A Master of Love The three bedroom doors opened at the same time. The three women looked at each other and smiled. With worries in their eyes. And walked to Li Yuan's room together. Sleepiness will not appear in the game. If you feel unwell, there must be other reasons. Ru. Why are you acting weird today? Did Lu Yuan offend you? Li Tong asked. No. I just suddenly got angry when I saw him. Fang Ro replied. If it's because of me, I'm sorry. Although Lu Yuan is the only boy who makes me attracted, I won't bind him with my fiancé. I really want to enjoy my life relaxedly and bring you all together. We all moved here as good friends. Xiao Lui suddenly stopped and said to the two of them sincerely. Fang Ro hurried over and grabbed Xiao Lui and said, Don't think nonsense. It has nothing to do with you. We are all good girls. But Lu Yuan is the big bad guy. The three women looked at each other and smiled, pushed open the door of Lu Yuan's room, and found Lu Yuan lying on the ground. They were immediately shocked and went up to check. What happened to him? Could it be that he fainted due to some terminal illness? Fang Ro shouted, Don't talk nonsense. It's probably because making equipment consumes too much. Didn't I have a headache for a whole day before? Li Tong stopped Fang Ro from talking nonsense. Xiao Lui was a bit professional. 
He went over and touched the arteries on his neck, sniffed, and touched his forehead. It's okay. It's probably because I was overtired. I fainted. My forehead is a little hot. I'll take a towel and apply it on it later. Xiao Louis said calmly. Now what? Let's lift him to the bed first. You two lift your legs. And I will lift my upper body. The three of them put Lu Yuan on the bed with force. And Li Tong and Fang Ro were out of breath. I can't tell. It's quite heavy. Fang Ro said while panting. Lu Yi is so strong. She bears the greatest weight. But she acts like she's fine. Li Tong was also out of breath. It's because you lack exercise. I've been practicing martial arts since I was a child. So I still have some strength. After working for a while, until they were sure that Lu Yuan was just asleep, his breathing was steady, and his forehead was not hot, the three of them went back to their houses. The next morning, Lu Yuan opened his eyes in high spirits. His biological clock had formed a habit over the years. Unlike the last time he had a headache for a day, he seemed to be more energetic this time. After going out for morning exercise, he brought back breakfast and called everyone out to eat. Lu Yuan was confident that this time when he was building equipment, he would not faint again. Continuously breaking through his limits would indeed bring many benefits. You're awake! You were so scared yesterday. You were lying on the ground and didn't even get into bed. Did you know that? Fong Rose stretched her waist and said as she walked. After making the equipment, I felt a little dizzy. So I quickly logged off. I don't remember the rest. You slept soundly. We just spent half the night together. Okay. Ruru, if he hadn't helped us build equipment, he wouldn't be so tired. After all, we should thank Lu Yuan. Li Tong quickly came to Lu Yuan's rescue. You guys eat. I've eaten outside. If there's nothing else to do, I'll check out the game first. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he went back to his room. Why did Lu Yuan come back to the house? How is he doing? Xiao Lui asked after she had just finished washing. Fong Ro pulled Xiao Lui and Li Tong to sit down at the dining table, and then said mysteriously, Do you think there is something wrong with Li Yuan? What is the problem? I think he is actually a master of love, and is not as dull as he seems on the surface. What do you mean? I didn't see it. Look, he seems to be indifferent to matters between men and women. But when he gives gifts, he is not ambiguous at all, and he gives them without asking for anything in return. He knows that if he gives them for pursuit, we may not accept them. In the early days, he was quite cool. Xiao Lui looked at Fang Ro's analysis with a smile and motioned noncommittally to Fang Ro to continue the analysis. Fang Ro became more and more enthusiastic as she talked and smiled, obviously knowing that she was talking nonsense. Anyway, with three women together, no one would take it seriously. With the looks of the three of us, we can't say that we will be the most beautiful in the country but it is a sight to behold wherever we are. When I was out wandering around, the man chasing me would have to queue up and down Chan'an Street. But I didn't even look down on him. But I was slowly attracted by such a wooden gada. Xiao Lui and Li Tong nodded in agreement. The only difference between them and Fang Ro was that they had never been to those entertainment venues. So Lu Yuan has captured our psychology. He is neither cold nor hot to us. He concentrates on being a warm man. Just like this breakfast. It has been windy and rainy for so long. And he just wants to pretend to be different from everyone. Different. Man, you managed to get my attention. Okay. Okay. Let's eat quickly. It would be nice if he was really that complicated. Li Tong saw that Fang Ro was getting more and more irrelevant and interrupted with a smile. Huh? Tong Tong? How could he be more complicated? Fang Ro asked with a smirk on her face. Xiao Lui was also amused and giggled. How could she hear these funny stories at home? Let alone anyone make fun of them in front of her. Let's go out to play together sometime. Playing games every day is too boring. Xiao Lui suggested. Okay, but if the three of us go out together, we will definitely meet rogues and some people who think they are the most popular people. It will be annoying. It's okay. I'll teach you two some self-defense techniques when the time comes. I'll beat up anyone who messes with us. Fong Rose stood directly on the stool pinched her waist with one hand and pointed forward, and said in a cold voice, Don't love me. There will be no results. Unless the flower hand shakes me. Then she started dancing. This breakfast was spent in laughter and laughter. The three of us were very simple-minded and had been in contact with each other for a long time in the game. So we were still very happy together. Lu Yuan had already entered the game and didn't know much about the outside world. 
after going online, he took a look at the income of the blacksmith shop. This was simply more profitable than doing business in real life. In just a few days, the gold coins he earned could be converted into RMB. Tens of millions. Lu Yuan is now a truly rich man. After his ingenuity reaches its peak, Lu Yuan finds that every time he swings a weapon, he becomes more comfortable and the equipment on his body feels lighter. Is this the effect of equipment affinity? When I was packing my backpack, I accidentally saw the imitation Poseidon's Poseidon fork. After thinking about it, Lu Yuan decided to put it in the auction house. Now most people are already rushing towards level 50. This level 45 epic can still be sold. It's a good price. And it comes with group attack skills. If you drag it back, you'll just be eating dust in your backpack. The price is quite high. Equivalent to 2 million renminbi. It is estimated that most people cannot afford it. However, epic equipment is not popular. Not everyone has Lu Yuan's adventure. But it is still worth the price. After cleaning up his backpack, he saw that he had two emails. One was the share that Gale Village had promised Lu Yuan on a regular basis. And the other was indeed from Mike A., the new king of the Western Region Kingdom. The investigation into the missing person's matter has been clear. However, I have just succeeded as king, and there is a shortage of troops in the country. I would like to ask the brave man to come to my country in the Western Region to discuss it in detail when he is free. Chapter 145 Starting with a Bat Lu Yuan had nothing to do at the moment. So he simply went to help. It was always a good thing to make friends with the new king after he took office. Moreover, the western region was vast and sparsely populated, so there should be a lot of benefits in exploring it. It's just that the journey is too long, and there are no teleportation arrays established with other countries. It takes a long time every time, which is really distressing. Lu Yuan, who is doing nothing on the back of the nine-color divine deer, browsed the forum out of boredom to see what was new. The number one hit is undoubtedly Strength in 16? The PY transaction between Bu Dao Huan and Tao Yuan. The general content is about strengthening 16 to break the system limit. What hidden secrets he has with the game company. And the conjecture about the manipulator behind Bu Dao Huan. It's wild and unconstrained. But it is also reasonable and well-founded. If the person involved was not me, I might have believed it. The National War Dungeon surprised the big boss 1v5 like chopping vegetables. This post is all screenshots from the dungeon. Lu Yuan participated in the level 40 National War Dungeon. There are still many people playing that dungeon to earn merits. Most of them think it is very balanced. The people who were matched were all equally matched. So the one-sided game in these few minutes attracted everyone's attention. How is this different from the king rank to the bronze fried fish? It aroused the condemnation of the players. Fortunately, Lu Yuan has since it has never appeared in the National War Dungeon. Shock! Monsters in the game actually appear in the real world. Although the post was highly liked, it was filled with criticism. The content contained several pictures and the corpse of a wolf. The author said that this was a coyote in the game. Everything below if you say he is sensationalizing. Then there are no wolves in the real world. Others said it was a dog and that the author abused the dog. But the author kept replying to confirm that he was telling the truth. There are many more in the back, which are all interesting things in the game, as well as some guides and other things. Because the game has such a high degree of freedom. It does not limit where the player can go. As long as you have the courage. The map does not limit the level. And the tasks are all I trigger it myself. Maybe some NPC suddenly needs help with something. So there is no clear main task. Some players lamented that this game is similar to real life. Most people have nothing to do. And don't know what to do. Some people work for gangs. And some people just wander around for leisure and entertainment. Rich people buy equipment to show off. And poor people buy equipment and sell it for money. There is no requirement to eliminate any big demons. And you can keep up with a large army by just leveling up some mobs. There was also a less popular post that attracted Lu Yuan's attention. Where have all the ordinary wild monsters above level 50 gone? The reason why it attracted Lu Yuan's attention was that there were indeed almost no monsters above level 50 near official roads and ordinary maps. The last time he encountered them was in the Sky City and that kind of place was not suitable for ordinary players to practice. Level. And the rest are in the pinnacle forest, where there are a lot of monsters, and near the cracks in the demon realm. It seems that players are about to start entering the forest, and the demon realm. Lu Yuan looked at it, and received another email. The sender was Yang Yan Zhao. Lu Yuan still had an impression of this person. He was a very special person during the martial arts competition. And he was also a martial artist at first glance. 
The content of the email is, Hello! You may not know me, but I have been following you for a long time. I have something to do today. I want the epic weapon sold by your auction house. But I have no money now. Can we meet and talk? I'll trade it with you for something else. It is true that it is difficult for ordinary people to come up with so much money at once. Those who can come up with it are either not in the right profession or do not lack weapons. Even though the Neptune Fork is a level 45 equipment, the attributes of rare equipment at level 50 are not comparable to it. Not all players are so lucky. And not everyone has the ability to kill the boss first. Even Yan Yan Zhao, who is very powerful, Lu Yuan thought for a while and replied, What do you have? If you have something of equal value, just sell it and buy it again. After a while, I received a reply. To be honest, I don't have anything of equivalent value. But I can create equivalent value. And I can help you work. I don't need anyone to work for me. Okay then. Goodbye. Lu Yuan thought for a while. Then took the weapon off the shelf and sent it to Yang Yin Xiao via email. You can use it first. I have something to do now. I'll chat after I'm done. Lu Yuan's move was somewhat risky but he just wanted to test the opponent's character, although a weapon was valuable. For Lu Yuan now, it was just the tip of a knife. As long as he had the materials, he could make one by himself. Bringing epic weapons is not difficult. It took a long time for Lu Yuan to receive the reply. Thank you for trusting me. I will definitely live up to your trust. Lu Yuan did not reply, and rushed towards the western region with all his strength. Fortunately, the nine-colored divine deer was faster. And soon Li Yuan arrived at the Western Region Palace again. King I.K. Long time no see. Li Yuan entered the palace and said H. Lo. Ha ha. Here you go. I'm sorry to trouble you again. Since we are friends. You are welcome. Tell us what is going on with the missing persons. Li Yuan asked. I.K. wiped his mind and said to Li Yuan. This starts with a bat. Since the discovery of missing people. We have been conducting non-stop investigations. The missing people have one thing in common. They are all young women. So we focus on watching a family with a young woman in the city. Eventually a huge bat appeared on a dark and stormy night. That is to say, the culprit is a bat monster. Do you know where its lair is? Lu Yuan summed it up. This IK said a lot. Most of which were useless modifiers. This bat monster should not have appeared in the western region. Logically speaking, it should be in dark areas such as caves. After humans signed an agreement with the Peak Forest many years ago, almost all of these high-level monsters went to settle in the forest. This time, they suddenly ran out. A bat monster. Very confusing. What level is this bat monster? Level 70. And for such a social animal, with such a leader, there will be many little bats under his command. Level 70? This level is too high. Yes. It's very strong. The country is in turmoil, and there aren't that many troops for a while. So I want to ask you for help. We can pay gold coins and gems as reward. Do you know where these bats are? Go southwest from here, and you will see a bear mountain. There is a cave halfway up the mountain that you can enter. The bats are in the deepest part of the cave. There are many small bats inside, and there are also some deaths that burrow into the ground. Bug? I sent a group of soldiers, but only one came back who was seriously injured. Are there other monsters besides bats? Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Why did such a high-level monster suddenly appear? It seemed that a team of people must not be able to do it anymore. This time, they need to find more people. I need some time. I'm afraid it will be difficult for me to complete this task. Well, I hope it will be soon. Lu Yuan left the palace, knowing that this mission was difficult. But the more risks he took, the greater the benefits. All the monsters in the peak forest ran out. And Lu Yuan couldn't help but think of what the Golden Retriever said before leaving in the zombie village. The world is about to be in chaos. Chapter 146 Cave Zhang Yu What are you doing? Lu Yuan suddenly had a plan in his mind. The most critical part of this plan was Zhang Yu. I'm upgrading with Linger. Zhang Yu quickly recovered. The latest news is that there is a mountain in the southwest of the western region. There is a level 70 boss inside. Which can explode epic level equipment. We're going to fight the boss now? Where can we meet? No. If you spread this news... It will be difficult for just a few of us to defeat it. There are too many monsters inside. Isn't that giving others an advantage? Level 70 monsters would be very difficult to kill without the use of human sea tactics. And they are also difficult flying monsters. So it would be difficult for me to perform well. Lu Yuan explained. I understand. 
I promise to complete the task. The two lost communication, and Lu Yuan stared at the world channel. Breaking news, a world boss has been discovered in a cave in the southwest of the western region. There are a lot of best items. Everyone, hurry up and compete for the treasures. Then a debate started on the world channel. They all said that he was a liar. How could he publish the information if he had a boss? I had already gone to fight secretly by myself. Otherwise, only Zhang Yu can do this job. Faced with doubts, Zhang Yu began to argue with the Confucian scholars. He knew that he was the only one who knew about the cave. But in the blink of an eye, what he said was so clear-cut that people had to believe it. I'm telling you, it's best for the gang to act together. Otherwise you won't know how you will die. After some bombing, the World Channel began to have a short period of calm. Because everyone ran to their own guilds to kill the boss. The most interesting thing in the game world is to fight for boss. Because the map is too big. Many boss are eliminated as soon as they are discovered. And the others have no time to organize people to fight for them. It's rare that someone has announced a world boss point this time. No one wants to fall behind. For a level 70 world boss. The first kill reward will be quite generous. And there are other monsters in the cave. So there are probably other bosses. Lu Yuan was not idle either. He asked Zhao Xingha. Zhang Yu and the three women at home to gather in the western region. While waiting. He started to buy strengthening stones at the auction house. I don't know who has such a big appetite and has been shopping for goods. Lu Yuan now has a lot of gold coins and doesn't care if it's more expensive. Besides, others only need 5 Yuan to make a higher level one. But Lu Yuan only needs 2 Yuan to make it 100. Percent. This is Lu Yuan's advantage. As time passed, there were more and more people in the western region country. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry while sitting in the small tea shed. Most of these small guilds were cannon fodder. And the real main force was the big guilds. Boss, I'm here. Zheng Yu shouted to Lu Yuan when he was far away. Followed by Ru Chunfeng. It seemed that he and Ling'er had gotten very close recently. The two might be in love. The rest of the people also arrived one after another. Zhao Xingha, whom he hadn't seen for a long time in the game, also brought a woman, who seemed to be his new girlfriend. Her name in the game was Chiu Shui and she was a female warrior by profession. Xingha, I haven't seen you for a long time. I always spend time with my girlfriend every day. Zhang Yu shouted, Don't talk nonsense. We haven't confirmed our relationship yet. Zhao Xingha carefully pulled Zhang Yu aside and told him not to say anything excessive. When did you turn into a licking dog? You're still so mouthy. Kid. Several people had not gathered together in a game for a long time. They greeted each other and saw that Li Yuan was not in a hurry. So they all sat down. Aren't we going to start? Xiao Lui asked. Don't worry. Let me help you strengthen your equipment. Although everyone except Xiao Lui can't put it on now. It's rare to get together. So Lu Yuan decided to help everyone get it done. If the level is high enough, there is no need to go out to find him. Zhao Xingha was a little jealous when he saw everyone's equipment. He put his arm around Lu Yuan's shoulders and said, Xiao Yuanzi, help me get one for me sometime. It's too late now. Wait until you come back. I'll prepare it for you. Lu Yuan didn't waste any more time and took everyone to the blacksmith shop to rent a place and directly helped everyone to strengthen. Even if the strengthening stones were useless, they all took them. Let's strengthen it to level 13 first. Otherwise, we won't have enough strengthening stones. If others heard it, they would probably be shocked. Others are worried about the success rate. But here it seems that they are only worried about whether there are enough strengthening stones. A 13-star suit is normal. Is this your friend? The one with the 16-star enhanced weapon? Chiu Shui looked at Zhao Xingha and asked. Well, he is my roommate in college. We are best friends. Zhao Xingha replied with a smile. Can I add him as a friend? I might have to ask him for help in the future. Zhao Xingha was a little surprised. This autumn, his eyes were higher than his head. And he looked aloof. This was the first time he took the initiative to add someone as a friend. No problem. I'll let him join you later. Lu Yuan was very fast and completed the equipment enhancement in a blink of an eye. Now, the 13-star enhancement was no longer difficult for him. Let's go. Let's join in the fun and see how the first group of people are doing. Lu Yuan took the lead in summoning the nine-color sacred deer, turned over and ran towards the outside of the city. The mountain top is not too far away from the western region country. It is a bit strange for the bare mountain peak to appear in a desert. After all, the foundation is soft sand. 
There are many people at the entrance of the cave, and they are sending away individual players who want to enter. Some small guilds are also blocked from the entrance. Everyone, go back. This place has been booked by our Chaos Guild and the Myth Guild. Why? The map is public and the information is public. Why do you reserve the venue? Hey, you move pretty fast. You two are booking the venue. So you don't take our God of War Guild seriously. Lin Han walked over with a large number of guild players. Lu Yuan and others also came over and stood aside without speaking in a hurry, watching the situation unfold quietly. Boss, these people are so overbearing. I told them I shouldn't tell them. It's okay. Let's take a look and talk. Lin Han had already signaled to his men to prepare to break in. The surrounding individual players and some small guilds saw someone taking the lead, and they all cheered in agreement. At the moment of tension, there was a commotion in the cave, and players ran out one after another. Zhao Jiuzhou, the hero of troubled times from the Troubled Times Guild, and Mythological Yaong from the Xinhua Guild were among them. A group of people ran out of the cave and saw the large number of people outside. They changed their previous panic and calmed down. There is no need to stop them. Let them in. This place is a public map. Don't be so arrogant and unreasonable. Zhao Jiuzhou waved his hand generously. He is worthy of his heroic name. It seems that the monster inside is too strong, Zhao Xingha said in a low voice. Players were still running out of the cave one after another. Suddenly, there was a sound of ground breaking at the entrance. A huge monster appeared and swallowed a player in one bite. The player turned into white light and returned to the city. Corpses like this even if it is destroyed. The doctor cannot resurrect it. Holy shit! What kind of monster is this? It looks like it's just an ordinary monster. How powerful is it? Chapter 147 The Death Insect Everyone at the entrance of the cave was surprised. An ordinary monster killed a player in one move. This was a bit too powerful. I'm afraid the boss behind it would be even more difficult to deal with. No wonder Mr. Zhao gave way so generously. It turns out that this cave has another mystery. Lin Han said with a smile to Zhao Jiuzhou. When it comes to generosity, my brother Liu is the most generous. He knows the information and announces it to all players in the server. Zhao Jiuzhou ignored Lin Han's provocation and instead pointed the finger at Liu Yuan who was aside. Liu Yuan was not surprised. He was still aware of Zhao Jiuzhou's methods. Zhang Yu could not hide the information from him when he announced it on the World Channel. Mr. Zhao, thank you. I know that I am not capable enough. So I invited everyone to deal with this powerful monster. Liu Yuan also learned to be thick-skinned. I think now is not the time to compliment each other. What are you going to do? Lin Han was no longer in a hurry to enter the cave at this moment. Liu Yuan took a few steps forward, stood with everyone and said slowly, I originally thought of using the human sea tactic to kill the boss inside, but now it seems that the level gap is too big. If people with insufficient equipment can get in, I'm afraid they won't be able to get up. To any effect, each guild will send some elites, and let's form a team of 100 people together. What do you think? Zhao Jiuzhou suggested when he saw Liu Yuan starting. I have no objection. We only have eight people here for the time being. You decide the rest. Liu Yuan pointed to the people behind him and said, Add me one. Liu Yuan followed the sound and saw that the person coming turned out to be Yang Yan Zhao. Yang Yan Zhao walked up to Liu Yuan, clasped his fists and said, Thank you for your trust. Brother, from now on, you will be my good brother. I will accompany you on the mountain of swords and the frying pan of oil. Liu Yuan nodded without saying anything and directly pulled him into the team. Zhao Jiuzhou and others are also very fast. They know that the monsters inside are powerful and have too many levels. So they will eliminate all those with poor equipment and insufficient abilities. Not only will they die in vain if they go in, but if they hinder the team, they will lose face to the guild. In the end, the Troubled Times Guild selected exactly three teams with 18 people. The Myth Guild had 24 people. The God of War Guild had 24 people. And Liu Yuan plus Yang Yanxiao had exactly 9 people. It was said that they could form a team of 100 people. But the three major guilds did not occupy too many places. Give some quotas to small guilds and individual players. You guys are really fast. Am I not late? Li Wei walked out of the crowd. Brother, you're here. Li Tong shouted happily. Well, I just finished handling the matter and didn't have time to summon the guild members. Li Wei glanced around at the people present. There were some people from his own guild, but they were not too strong. So he just went in by himself. 
Some of the surrounding small guilds also volunteered to form their own teams. Chunfeng Bolong and Chang Chunzi were relatively familiar with Yang Yinxiao. So they also came to Lu Yuan's team to form a team. Lu Yuan finally formed two teams. With Zhao Xinghe, Li Tong, Fan Ro, Xiao Shui, Zhang Yu, and Ling are forming one team. And Lu Yuan, Xiao Lui, Li Wei, Yang Yinxiao, Chunfeng Bolong, and Chang Chunzi forming one team. Boss, why did you team up with that smelly Taoist priest? It annoyed me to death during the group competition. Zhang Yu saw Chang Chunzi and recalled the scene of being teased in the group competition. You're a very vindictive kid. Follow me, and I'll keep you safe and healthy. While you're stinking the Taoist priests. Making excuses? Hey, let me tell you. Lang, aren't there ten of you in the Lang Trading Guild? Why do you only see yourself every time? After Zhang Yu flirted with Chang Chunzi, he ran over and put his arms around Chung Fong Bolong's shoulders. Asked, Am I familiar with you? TCH, why are you pretending to be cold? I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Although we are divided into two teams, we need to maintain a good formation. I will be at the front of the team to resist damage. The mage, archer and doctor are all in the middle of the team. Zhang Yu, you protect them. If a monster suddenly appears, you will taunt. Xiu Shui and Yang Yin Xiao were guarding the back of the team. Fang Rou tried to remain invisible throughout the process to prevent emergencies, and do not take action easily. Lu Yuan assigned the positions of the two teams. No problem. It's good to have a boss. I don't have to clear the way in front of you. Chang Chunzi. Follow me. I'll keep you safe and healthy. Zhang Yu never forgets to talk nonsense. Are you ready? Lu Yuan asked the other people who were about to enter the cave. No problem. Let's go. Everyone replied. There are a total of 16 teams, with a total of 96 people in the team. Of course, there are also some players, who are not afraid of death, who form their own teams and enter on their own. Of course, no one will stop them. Judging from the current situation, what is lacking is not monsters, but high-end players. After all, after crossing level 20 to fight monsters, the pressure is still very high. Lu Yuan's two teams were walking in the middle of the entire team. With so many teams entering together, everyone wanted to preserve their strength and find a middle position. But Zhao Jiozhou directly assigned some unimportant people. This was considered Zhao Jiozhou's betrayal. Lu Yuan is just a favor. Mr. Zhao, you have come in before. What is the situation inside? Lu Yuan asked. We haven't gone too deep. Although we are in the middle of the team, we are not necessarily safe. The monster guarding the entrance is the big bug you just saw. The Death Worm is a level 70 ordinary monster. Its specific attributes are unknown. It's clear. It's blood red and looks like a cow's intestines. It can spray corrosive poison from its mouth. Its eyes can also emit electric light. It's huge. It's resistant to hits, and it's high in damage. Zhao Jiozhou explained carefully. The cave was very dark. Everyone turned on the special effects of their equipment. And it became much brighter. The cave extended downwards and there were many large holes on the ground and on the cave walls, which were probably left by monsters crawling back and forth. The team was not moving very fast. About 30 meters into the cave, there was a rumbling sound, followed by the sound of breaking ground, and a huge death insect appeared in the middle of the team. Damn it. This damn bug doesn't play by the rules. Zhang Yu cursed. Although Zhao Jiozhou was also startled, he did not panic and commanded, The Guardian is trying to attract hatred. The doctor is paying attention to treatment. And everyone is focused on fighting. Lu Yuan's eagle eye skill could only see the name and level of the monster. Maybe the level difference was too big. And even the monster's blood volume showed a question mark. Deathworm's level 70 health? Although the monster is strong. It came prepared this time. This kind of monster simply does not live in groups. With the collective fire and organized treatment, there were almost no casualties. But every time I fight, this monster will get into the hole and become very entangled. It will be hit by the corrosive poison sprayed from its mouth. It will lose a lot of blood and last for a long time. The death insect is just like Zhao Jiozhou, described as having a body like a cow's intestines. It looks like a big dick at ordinary times. You can't see where its eyes are. However, once its eyes are opened, it will emit electric light and shoot. If it is hit, it will not only cause high damage to the body, but also cause damage to the body. It will also cause paralysis. As expected of a level 70 monster, it's already so troublesome just after entering the cave. 
I don't know what the boss will be like. Careful. A player just complained a few words. But unexpectedly, another death bug emerged from the other direction and swallowed the player directly with its big mouth. Chapter 148 The Dove Takes Over the Magpie's Nest Looking at the players who were instantly killed, no one could do anything about it. For a team with a large number of people, commanding is on the one hand, but mainly depends on the individual's combat quality. There will definitely be a price to pay for being careless. If there is no one left like this, he can only return. The town comes to life. Everyone should be careful, especially on your feet. If the monster swallows it, it will be instantly killed. Lu Yuan shouted loudly. The death bug opened its mouth wide. The monster's body was actually full of teeth, and the layers inside were like a meat grinder. No one of the players who were swallowed could never come out again. Don't chase those who run away. Prevent another attack and move forward slowly. Xiao Jiozhou gave the order. The death worm seems to have no brain, but it is very smart. Once it takes too much damage, it will directly drill a hole and escape. With dozens of elites gathering fire together, the damage cannot be underestimated. After continuous pulling, a death insect finally fell. Even though there were many players with experience points, each player's experience value increased by almost 1%, which shows how high the experience is. Although this monster is difficult to defeat, the experience is really high. Nowadays, there are almost no monsters above level 50 on ordinary maps. I haven't gained so much experience for a long time. Be careful. You will lose a lot more experience if you die once. The monster exploded some silver coins, as well as strengthening stones and level 70 blue equipment. And the explosion rate was not bad. After killing a death insect, everyone gained experience and also understood its attack methods. They could judge the attack of the death insect through changes in the ground and walls. And the team also began to cooperate with each other tacitly. There are many forks in this cave. I don't know if they were drilled by the death bugs or formed naturally. In short, they make the journey more difficult and more conducive to the attacks of the death bugs. The cave has been going downwards. But the intersection is so twisted that everyone can no longer tell the direction. I don't know where the death insects usually hide. There will be one or two at regular intervals. Everyone is already used to it. And they wish there were more of them so that they can gain experience points. Don't be careless. There are more than just this kind of monsters here. Lu Yuan Yuan reminded everyone as they were a little relaxed. Oh, Brother Lu, have you ever been here? Zhao Jiuzhou asked back. I've never been here. But the main monster in this cave is probably a bat. And it's a boss. You should know that bats are social animals. Especially in caves like this. Are you talking about the ones on the top of the cave? One player reminded. Everyone looked intently. And sure enough, the top of the cave ahead was densely packed with bats and there were no more death bugs nearby. Normally there would be a boss in a monster area like this. But there was no death bug. What should I do? A player at the front of the team stopped and asked. Don't disturb the bats above yet. Walk forward and take a look. Zhao Jiozhou said. Mr. Zhao, if we continue walking inside, will we be flanked by bats? I think it's better to fight here directly. If we can't defeat it, we can retreat while the death bugs haven't spawned. Lu Yuan suggested. I agree. If there is a boss in front of you, it will be difficult to defeat him if he is attacked from both sides. Well, start attacking from a distance. And use a human shield to hold it back. Various bow and arrow spells were fired in turn. After a commotion, the bats on the cave roof all flew up. And the already dark cave was suddenly filled with creaking sounds. Aren't bats all ultrasonic? Why does this bat sound like a mouse? Don't worry. Just resist. A group of bats rushed towards the team. They didn't just fly by as expected, but they bit people when they saw them. When they were at the top of the cave, they didn't think they were big. But when they flew up close, they realized that each one had more than half a meter long. Vampire bats level 70 health volume? Mage, use the group attack skills quickly. Vampire bats are not afraid of death at all. They hug people very quickly and start biting them. Their wings wrap around the player's head like a rice dumpling making it difficult for people to break free. There were too many bats and few players came in. Some bats that had no chance of contacting the players screamed in the air. At first, they didn't feel anything. After fighting for a while, their heads felt bloated and people became a little dizzy. Fortunately, each team had its own division of labor, mainly protecting the doctor and constantly adding blood to the bitten players. Under the continuous attack of the mage's group attack skills, 
this batch of bats was slowly eliminated. After finally clearing out this batch of monsters, no one here cared about what exploded. They were all gasping for air. It felt like too much of anything would cause disaster. Everyone, cheer up and keep moving forward. Xiao Jiuzhou stood up and gave orders at this time. Lu Yuan felt very strange. The people in the several major guilds in this team all listened to Xiao Jiuzhou. Logically speaking, the strength of the major guilds was not weak. So they did not necessarily have to follow the lead of anyone. As we continue forward, there are almost the same number of monsters as before. Fortunately, every distance in the cave is like a partition. The monsters did not come out at the same time. Otherwise, even if more than 90 players come, they will not be able to hold it. Fortunately, even if this bat can if a player is bitten to death, the doctor can still be resurrected after leaving the battle. Unlike the death insect that dies without leaving its body. What do you think that is? Looking in the direction the player was pointing, there was the corpse of a death insect in the corner. The body seemed to have been sucked dry. Even the mummy was much larger than the ordinary one. It seems that this is the boss of the death insect. It is estimated that the bat sucked the blood and caused death. Zhao Jiuzhou said after looking at it. I feel like this should be the nest of the death bug. But it was occupied by the later bats. Lu Yuan said. Well, the cave in front suddenly widens. It's probably the final boss. Everyone, please stay alert. Everyone walked out of the passage and came to the end of the cave. It was a very open hall. Judging from the holes on the ground and walls, it should have belonged to the death insect boss. But now it belonged to the huge thing hanging on the ceiling of the cave. The scene in the hall was mind-numbing. Three piles of human mummies were piled in the middle like a small mountain. It seemed that more than just people from the western regions were missing. Except for the huge creature in the middle. The top of the cave was surrounded by vampire bats. So densely packed that it was unclear how many they could count. Brother Lu, how do you think we should fight? Xiao Jiuzhu asked. Retreat to the cave passage and guard the entrance. This way we should not be flanked. Okay, let's fight like this. If we can avoid alerting the boss, just clear out the mobs first. Everyone cautiously returned to the cave. But the plan did not change quickly. The bats on the top of the cave were still alarmed and the boss also flew down. He circled twice and stopped in the air, mouthing, TSK, TSK, TSK. I didn't expect anyone to send it. Come to the door. What is the blood volume of the level 70 boss of Green Wing Bat King? Block the entrance, and the mage prepares group attack skills. Thousands of vampire bats rush towards everyone. The Green Wing Bat King roared a few times and launched a sonic attack. The air swayed like water ripples. Suddenly everyone's brains went blank, as if they were frozen. When they came back, God comes. Vampire bats have attacked. Fight it up. Look at my profound meaning, burial in the sand sea. And seal it for me. Zhang Yu jumped out of the crowd and released his secret skills directly towards the boss in the middle of the hall. Chapter 149 Borrowing a Knife to Kill the Bat At this time, everyone in the team activated their defensive skills and prepared to fight hard. Unexpectedly, a person rushed out of the crowd and launched his ultimate move without saying a word. Ultimate meaning, a rich burial in the sand sea. Countless sand began to appear in the sky. Some of the bats flying in the air were shot down by the sand and buried in the sand sea. The boss was also trapped by the pyramid made of sand. But many vampire bats still flew over. Zhang Yu's attributes dropped significantly. So he had to activate his defense skill stone skin to resist. Zhang Yu took the risk and bought time for everyone. Although there were still many bats left, they could still withstand it if they pressed forward together. However, the commander did not issue an order to move forward. It's too late to run back. Let's die heroically, Zhang Yu thought to himself. And then he swung the giant axe in his hand and struck a handsome pose. A figure flashed past, and Lu Yuan rushed out. With a few swords, he knocked away the charging bats. There were fires all around, mixed with wind magic and bursts of thunder and lightning. Two green lights flashed on his body, and he had not lost much blood. Zhang Yu's blood volume instantly returned to full. Boss, you are so touched, Zhang Yu said with tears in his eyes as he looked at the people rushing out. Fall back, recover and come to the front. Oh, Zhang Yu, who originally wanted to express his emotions, quickly moved back. Take advantage of now and quickly kill these scattered mobs, Zhao Jiuzhou shouted at this time. Lu Yuan smiled and shook his head taking the lead to kill the bats. One advantage of vampire bats is that in addition to ultrasonic attacks, 
they are all close attacks. So it is not particularly troublesome to fight short-range heroes. But the level is low. Too much blood and too thick. Brother Lu. It's not that I don't want to save your friend. It's just that I don't understand his skills. As a commander, it's not good for the whole team to take risks just because of one person. Zhao Jiozhou also rushed out and hurriedly explained to Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan also understood that Zhao Jiozhou might be right in this situation. Besides, he was not very familiar with Zheng Yu. So there was no reason to take risks because of his impulse. Understood. Let's kill the monster first. Lu Yuan knew in his heart that he was better at forging. Which made him feel valuable. So he came to explain. He didn't know what he would do if he was the one who rushed out. Although the monsters had thick health, they could not withstand the large number of people. Under the attack of various group attack skills, there were not many bats left outside. The monster sealed by the sand gradually flew out. The sand slowly scattered and finally fell to the ground. Disappear. Pay attention to the boss's hatred. Brother in trouble times. Your team will fight against the boss first. And the rest will clear out the mobs first. Zhao Jiozhou shouted after seeing the monsters regaining their freedom. When Lu Yuan heard this name, he felt very familiar. After thinking about it, this was not the person he had just entered the game and shouted at the Coyote boss to chase him after level 20. It was not that Lu Yuan had a good memory. But after entering the game, the people from the Troubled Times Guild had ever provoked him. The equipment looks really good. He should be regarded as the main MT of the guild. His positioning is also very stable. He can bypass the mobs and directly hold the green wing back king's hatred firmly. At this time, the guardians of other teams all distance themselves from the back row, releasing group taunting skills to attract hatred, and long-range outputs such as mages and archers stood at a distance to release their skills. Just when everyone thought the situation was stabilized, a sudden change occurred. The green wing back king was still in the front, and suddenly several phantoms appeared and attacked the team at the rear. No one knew whether these were entities or illusions. Protect the back row. Everyone got the order and stood up again. The two teams on Lu Yuan's side have maintained their original tactics. Because Lu Yuan told everyone privately on the team channel. If we make a mistake, the entire team will not order protection. We have to stand in good formation ourselves and not rely too much on the people in the team. Sure enough, Lu Yuan's worries were not unnecessary. Every guild member only protects his own people. Although this is human nature, without mutual cooperation and timely support, the meaning of a team is not obvious. Five bosses appeared in the sky at the same time, roaring upwards, and the air began to ripple in circles. Here we go again. Cover your ears. The ultrasonic attack is extremely penetrating. Covering your ears does not help. Coupled with a rebound from the cave wall, all the players in the cave were hit. Their minds went blank. Vampire bats swarmed up. Almost all players were wrapped in vampire bats and lost their lives. Value. The green-winged bat king reunited into one body, leaned down and rushed down very fast, grabbed a player and flew into the sky, biting it on the neck. In a few seconds, the player's health was drained and he fell heavily to the ground. After a few seconds, everyone regained their senses and began to break away from the bats. Some squishy professions with average equipment had already fallen to the ground. What should I do? I can't prevent the sonic attack. Fight fire with fire and sing a war song. Someone in the team channel called up the external player and started playing music loudly in an attempt to ward off the bat's ultrasonic attack. After some experiments, it turned out to be ineffective. Every sound wave seemed to directly attack the brain. But it had some effect on the monsters. They seemed to hate this continuous sound. But instead, they became more irritable and attacked more fiercely. There are no too complicated moves just ultrasonic control, and then group blood sucking. The boss and the mobs are released at the same time. It is impossible to guard against it, and the number of people in the team is also gradually decreasing. The wrong song was played. Look at me! One player shouted. The vast horizon is my love. Flowers are blooming at the foot of the rolling green hills. What kind of rhythm is the most swaying? What kind of singing is the happiest? Awesome! Talent! Oops! My body can't help but beat! A funny guy. As soon as the Divine Comedy came out, everyone was extremely excited. And people who did not usually listen to this kind of music were gradually brainwashed. It seemed that the effect of the ultrasonic attack was weakened a lot. And it was not effective for some people at all. Because some players were already immersed in it. Among the most dazzling ethnic songs. Brothers. Kill. Without the abnormal ultrasonic interference. 
the green winged bat king's attack seemed too monotonous. He only relied on speed and some simple attacks. Facing dozens of elite players, he had no power to fight back. The ultrasonic attack of the green winged bat king is also a very tricky skill in the peak forest because it cannot be defended at all. It uses ultrasonic vibration to attack the brain nerves, causing the enemy to fall into a short mental blank, coupled with its own speed. It is invincible. Unexpectedly, I was actually defeated by a song here. Stay! Okay. Okay. Stop singing! Turn off the music! The boss has fallen. The poor Bat King didn't even release his ultimate move. As he dived again, several strongmen grabbed his wings and pressed them to the ground to rub against each other. All the players released their ultimate move at the same time, and the struggling players were instantly overwhelmed. The Green Winged Bat King was wiped out. The loot is also quite generous, with a lot of gold coins. It is estimated that all the belongings of the missing people have been taken by the bat as his own. There is also an epic weapon, but the level is too high. The on-demand investment points are taken by a player. It's fun. The player couldn't keep his mouth shut, and there were still a lot of ordinary equipment left which were all considered top-notch. After each guild finished fighting, they found that they seemed to have gained nothing, and many people had died. Brother Liu is so good at killing people with a borrowed sword, Zhao Jiuzhou said with a smile. What? Liu Yuan pretended to be stupid. Nothing. See you later. Zhao Jiuzhou felt that he was being used. Although it would be great to get top-quality equipment or skills if the boss is eliminated. This boss is obviously not one that can be defeated by oneself. It would be boring if there are too many people. And who would want to lose their identity because of some equipment in front of everyone? Of course, it was Lu Yuan who benefited. Because what he cared about was not what happened to the boss. But the mission of the king of the western regions and his favor. Chapter 150 The Secret of Taoyuan World A group of people searched around the cave and found nothing else. Apart from gaining a lot of experience. There was basically nothing gained from this trip. When I returned the same way, I thought I had to fight my way out. But the monsters that were killed were not refreshed. Which was a bit strange. Even if the monster level was too high, it would be enough for new monsters to appear. Those who participated in this operation will ask the gang management for rewards. Let's disperse. Zhao Jiuzhou left the cave and dismissed the people in his guild at will. Although Lu Yuan had dealt with these people, he was not particularly familiar with them. He casually said H, low and left. To Lu Yuan's surprise, Several other people who were in the team also followed. I wonder if you guys have anything else to do. Lu Yuan said to the Chengfeng Bolong Chang Chunzi, who was following him. Lu Yuan probably knew what Yang Yin Zhao was thinking. We are friends with Lao Yang. We have heard about him. Thank you for your trust. Let me know if you need help in the future. Chengfeng Bolong was the first to say. Add a friend. Help each other in the future. Chang Chunzi changed his Taoist appearance and shook hands with Lu Yuan sincerely. After bidding farewell to a few people, everyone was about to disperse when Lu Yuan smiled and said, Why are you so anxious? They are working in vain. How can we work in vain? Huh? What do you mean? Let's go! Return to the Western Region Country first. Western Region Imperial Palace. I really saw the right person. I didn't expect that such a powerful monster would be wiped out by you. Ika said happily. You also know that the monster is very powerful. So I can't complete it on my own? Thanks to the help of these friends of mine. It doesn't matter. As long as my people are not persecuted and there is no panic in the country. It will all be worth it. I will give you 1,000 gold coins each. And I will give you a high-grade gemstone each. High in gems? Our country in the western region is the richest in gems. When you have level 60 equipment, every 5 stars you strengthen will create a mosaic slot, which can be inlaid with the corresponding gems. I.K. explained. Oh, we really haven't been exposed to this before. Gems are also divided into strength, intelligence, endurance, spirit, and agility. If a piece of equipment is all inlaid with high-grade gems, the combat effectiveness will be greatly improved. Then let me thank you first for everyone. After listening to Ika's explanation, everyone understood that there was a gem inlay system in games before. Obviously, in the world of Taoyuan, only those above level 60 can access gem inlay. Equipment enhancement is only available at level 30. And gems can be embedded at level 60. The pace of the game Taoyuan is really slow. Xiao Xinghe, a game veteran, commented after listening. But Taoyuan does not restrict the exchange of money. If the pace is too fast, 
The gap between civilian players and wealthy people will be too big. Li Wei knows the power of money. While everyone was talking, a little beauty ran into the palace. She was young and beautiful in the unique clothes of the western region country. She shouted happily, Brother, I heard that he is here. The visitor was none other than Princess Elimina. After talking to her brother, she walked directly in front of everyone and finally stopped in front of Li Yuan. Is it you? Even though you entered my room wearing a mask that day, I could still recognize you. Elimina said proudly with her hands on her waist. Lu Yuan nodded awkwardly. Well, your body is recovered. Well, I heard what my brother said. You can't be blamed for what happened to my father. My body is also thanks to you. So if you just see the matter about my body, I won't pursue it. Don't talk nonsense. I haven't seen your body. What else do you want to see? Zheng Yu and Zhao Xingha had already started laughing evilly. And the women present, including Qiu Shui, looked at Lu Yuan with disdain. The boss is still so powerful. He even dared to break into the princess's room. And even looked at her. Zheng Yu muttered to Zhao Xingha. But the whole room heard it. Don't talk nonsense. It was an emergency. I was going to investigate some things that day. Lu Yuan explained. Boss, you don't have to explain to me. I don't care. You should explain to them. Zhang Yi winked at Li Yuan and looked at the ladies. Don't tell me. It has nothing to do with me. Fang Ro turned her head to the side and didn't listen at all. Lu Yuan simply didn't bother to explain. After waiting for a while, Ika's men took all the rewards. These are gems with various properties. Just pick one of the properties you want. Each bag of gold coins is exactly 1,000. You can each receive it. After Lu Yuan and others received their rewards, they said H, low and left the palace. Boss, what are we going to do this time? Zheng Yu asked. Lu Yuan rolled his eyes at him and said, Nothing is going on for now. I plan to go to Taoyuan Temple. You guys hurry up and upgrade so that you can wear level 50 epic equipment as soon as possible. Oh, okay then. Zheng Yu replied, Are you going to the temple? Lu Yuan turned to Xiao Lui and asked, Then let's go together. What problem did you find again? Let's talk about it when we get there. Taoyuan Temple. Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui were brought to the temple by Mamanosuk. They waited for a long time before the old man appeared. And at a glance, it was obvious that he looked tired. What do you two want to see me for? The old man asked. I don't understand something. And I want to ask you. Ask? But there are some things I can't tell you. You are always a game developer. Right. Just like us. We are actually people in the real world. Lu Yuan asked a question that surprised everyone present. The old man looked calm and replied, No! Monsters in the game appear in the real world. Do you have anything to say? Are there no coyotes in the real world? How did you know it was a coyote that showed up? Is the demon king of this world going to be resurrected? It's not good for you to know this now. The old man looked even more tired. Maybe we can help you. The old man looked at the young man standing below the palace, nodded and said, You are indeed qualified to help me. I originally wanted you to practice for a while, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. Will the pinnacle forest and the demon realm be unable to be sealed? Did you see it? We just killed a level 70 bat lord today. There are no monsters above level 50 in the wild. A level 70 monster suddenly appeared. It must have escaped from the peak forest. Right. You are very smart and good at uncovering secrets. But smart people have to bear more. If you know less, you will actually be happier. The old man sighed. You shouldn't be a bad person. Otherwise, the game wouldn't be so widely promoted. Yes, I am the person in charge of the research and development of Taoyuan. Not only is the world of Taoyuan facing a crisis, the real world is also about to encounter a catastrophe. The research and development of Taoyuan is to deal with the disaster in the real world. But the progress is still too fast. Real world disaster? Taoyuan is actually not exactly a game world. It is a parallel world similar to ours. Chapter 151 Crisis in the Real World Taoyuan is actually not exactly a game world. It is a parallel world similar to ours. The old man no longer concealed the truth. What? Parallel world? Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui explained at the same time. I've only heard of this kind of term in science fiction movies. Does it really exist? The old man ignored the surprise of the two and continued. Actually, someone discovered the parallel world decades ago. So some people have been pursuing the truth. Until a few years ago, space cracks were accidentally detected. Through technological means, we finally took our people through the past. On the other side of the crack is the Taoyuan world. 
You mean, people have traveled through the past? Not through games? These wild words exceeded Li Yuan's imagination. Yes, the worlds on both sides are basically the same. But there are many things in Tao Yuan world that go against our common sense. In terms of time, one day in our world is equivalent to 10 days in Tao Yuan world. You should understand this in the game. Over there, there will still be magic in the world. You mean, what we call being in the game now is actually another parallel world. Yes. How is that possible? Our bodies are still at home. The old man thought for a while and replied. This place is not actually called Tao Yuan. It is just the code name we gave this project. The discovery of another world can be said to be a major breakthrough in human history. So we fantasized about it. It must be a paradise. When we entered this world, we discovered many interesting things. The magic in this world is actually because the elements are more active than in ours. Maybe the wind and rain in our myths and stories also existed before. The technology of Tao Yuan world is still far behind ours. So we use instruments to transmit the human spirit. And then receive. Present. And materialize it here. Therefore, after you enter the game, you will feel so real. Because only a small part of it will feel real. Is fake. Which part of it is false? The monsters you fight exist in themselves. But the ones that are refreshed after death are all produced through data copying. The old man explained. No one of the rewards for the first kill are usually generous. But why do the attributes of the equipment that exploded show up? The items in Taoyuan world all have magical effects. Which are so-called attributes. After our research, they can be concretely presented through equipment. This is more in line with our human habits. And even people in this world began to get used to it later. You have learned blacksmithing. And your attainments are quite impressive. So you should feel it more deeply. The old man was not impatient at all and continued to explain. As if he also wanted to be recognized for these research and development achievements. This is true. When I was making equipment later, I always felt that the probability of being the best was too high. Which violated the probability of ordinary gains. It seemed that as long as the quality was achieved, the equipment would be of high grade. Lu Yuan recalled that after he completed his forging, he rarely failed. If the game does violate the probability issue. You all know roughly. We started researching the space cracks five years ago. There are many powerful people in this world. And our staff have sacrificed a lot. They seem to be able to sense us. So there are many monsters that will actively attack you. Is the same truth. Later, after investigation, it was discovered that the space crack was torn apart by the top combat power in this world. Magic Emperor? It's not him. It's the Candle Dragon in the Peak Forest now. Not only did he tear open the rift in space, he also sent wild beasts to our world. So he was discovered. That. Don't interrupt yet. You will understand after I tell you. Before Lu Yuan could ask another question, the old man interrupted him directly. We don't know why Zhulong tore the space rift. But if there is a space rift, our world will be in danger. After the original research and development, we entered this world that we thought would be a paradise. After a while, after a series of fighting, we finally have a foothold here. But in this world, we are foreign invaders who have touched the ruler here, which is now called the Demon Emperor. His rule is not something we consider. We found out that he is a tyrant, and we can't stand it. We must obliterate everything that exists. Respect the law of the jungle. And kill decisively. Taking advantage of this. We cooperated with those who were dissatisfied with his rule to overthrow him. The holy city was actually built by people from our world. And gradually the residents of the Taoyuan world began to appear. Therefore, the holy city has always been neutral. It does not participate in the battles of any party. And will not let any party dominate. The professional mentors of the holy city are also us. People of the world. After the battle with the demon king. Our people suffered heavy losses. In order to reduce this unnecessary sacrifice. We conducted another two years of testing in the form of a game. Allowing everyone to participate and suppress the world together. In this world. Because you are not physically entering. You will not really die. The human spirit repairs very quickly. So death in the game will only feel like an illusion. And it will be repaired automatically soon. Some monsters of similar levels are specially left for you to experience. However, the demon emperor and high end monsters lack manpower and cannot be completely eradicated. They have been sealed by us. In fact, they are also capable of breaking the seal. However, they have been fighting all year round and have suffered heavy losses. They may also want to recuperate and gain momentum. So they do not fight to the death. As for the current crisis, 
You have also discovered that there are high-end monsters in the Pinnacle Forest who cannot bear the loneliness and break the seal to cause trouble. There are also some monsters that have broken through the space cracks again and begun to harass our world. The torn body of the Demon King has also the ones who are being looked for are almost the same and may be resurrected at any time. So our world is likely to be affected. Think about it. What would happen if a large number of monsters and demonic armies entered our world together? The firearms in our world would be difficult to cause fatal damage to these things. And weapons of mass destruction would destroy the ecological balance. The key is it is these demonic beasts and demonic armies that are as endless as the tide. Then why don't you agree with us to stop the demons from searching for the demon emperor's body parts? You are still too weak. And you are too tough to prevent them from resurrecting the demon king. The result is even more unfavorable to us. Because his men are also very strong. But they were injured and could not show their strength. After so many years of recuperation. If we work together breaking the seal and coming out may not be something you can resist now. What about you? If you can kill him once, you can't kill him a second time? The old man shook his head and sighed. After that war, I was the only one left among the first batch of people to enter this world. To be honest, my legs have been paralyzed and I can no longer fight. Now the only one who can really resist is. In fact, it's your group of players. Chapter 152 New Adventure Lu Yuan originally only wanted to come here to inquire about information. But he did not expect to learn such amazing information. It turned out that the NPCs he met were all indigenous residents of this world. No wonder I always feel that my feelings are so sincere. And I can feel the warmth between people from these people. In other words, to this world, we are just a bunch of data. The so-called adventures are just disturbing the lives of people in this world. Lu Yuan suddenly blamed himself. Don't think so. When two civilizations come into contact with each other, there will definitely be some friction. This has been the case in human history. If we can't coexist, of course we must put our civilization first and protect our homes and the people around us. Charlotte E. comforted. The old man nodded and said, The little girl is right. You have done a good job. You have helped several villages and even helped the country. I have investigated your information. If one day the monsters in Taoyuan world threaten reality, the most important combat power still needs you. I'm afraid that day is not far away. What can we do now? You just need to increase your strength normally now. When the time comes, I will invite you to meet in real life. The game will still run normally in the near future. If it is necessary, we have already thought of countermeasures and are now stepping up research and development. By then I will tell you when the time comes. Lu Yuan did not expect that things would develop so seriously. It turned out that while everyone was playing games, they were also indirectly protecting their homes. This means that if monsters enter the real world on a large scale, the main force to eliminate these monsters may be games of these players. Well, we will work hard. But it is difficult to find high-level monsters now. Where is the best place to improve your strength? The people in the demon world hate us deeply and are very powerful. Don't provoke us for the time being. The monsters in the Pinnacle Forest are all mixed up. It's a good place for you to train now. Don't think it's destroying the ecology. Those ferocious beasts do more evil things. Go you will understand. Okay. Give me more advice. Old man. Since we are the main force. If you have any equipment such as artifacts. Give us two pieces so that we can defeat the enemy. Ha ha ha. No. If you have nothing to do. You two can leave. I have to go and be busy. I guess it won't be long before I invite you to meet. It's not just you two. This matter doesn't need to be kept secret but don't make a big deal about it. Propaganda? Sometimes we have to not only guard against foreigners. After the old man finished speaking, he signaled to see off the guests. After Lu Yuan and the others left, Mamanosuk said to the old man, Professor Sun, can you tell them so much now? Since you have discovered it, tell him in advance. You will know sooner or later. So you can prepare early. This kid has a good character, a good identity in reality, and a very strong ability in the game. He looks like the first batch of it's me who came. When Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui left the Tao Yuan temple, they were also in tears. They originally wanted to get some clues, but they didn't expect to learn such shocking news. What are your plans? Lu Yuan looked at Xiao Lui and asked, I listen to you. It's rare to be so relaxed recently. I hope the disaster won't come so early and let me enjoy it more. Xiao Lui didn't seem to be affected at all. That's right. Something hasn't happened yet. Why do you miss him? Lu Yuan looked at Xiao Lui, who looked relaxed and couldn't help but said to himself, 
Lu Yuan decided to go to the blacksmith shop first to see how the business was going. After all, it was a huge income, and it was entrusted to him by Zhang Feng. He couldn't give up that trust. I'll go back to the blacksmith shop. Ask them if anyone wants to go to the peak forest. Prepare supplies in advance and enter the forest. Returning to the city will be ineffective. Lu Yuan planned an itinerary. No problem. It's time to find some challenges. I have been living too comfortably recently. And my skills have become sluggish. Xiao Lui nodded and said. The two of them went back to the city directly. Lu Yuan was looking at the account books in the shop and occasionally giving instructions to the blacksmith in the shop for forging. Xiao Lui was sitting at the tea table in the back, holding his head with one hand and watching silently. Hey, the boss lady is so laid back. Zhang Yu was the first to arrive and couldn't help but joke when he saw this scene. Linger behind him couldn't help but giggle. Xiao Lui glanced at Zhang Yu, nodded and said, Here you go. Sit down. Zhang Yu whispered to Linger. It's still fun to tease Fan Ro. This young lady in your family is too mature. Linger ignored Zhang Yu and walked directly to Xiao Lui to greet him. Linger, if you're with this kind of person, you're going to do bad things. You see, he's a grown man. And he can't be upright all day long. Xiao Lui said casually. When Zhang Yu heard this, he became anxious. He quickly stood up and bowed and said, Sister-in-law, I was wrong. I will never talk to my sister-in-law again. Well, go over there and sit quietly. We'll set off when everyone arrives. Xiao Lui didn't say much. Linger said with some admiration. Miss, you are still amazing. You can treat him submissively in just two words. It's not that I'm great. It's because you have a very high status in his heart, and you're not young anymore. If you like him, just get along well with him. Linger looked at Xiao Lui with some surprise. It seemed that the young lady she had grown up with had changed a lot in personality since she met him. She had become more humane. She had abandoned her cold glamour and became even more beautiful. Moving. After Lu Yuan gave the blacksmith some tips, he started banging on the window. It seemed that he was making equipment again, and he didn't know who he was making it for. Li Tong and Fong Ro arrived at the blacksmith's shop together. They saw Lu Yuan was forging without disturbing him. The three of them sat next to Xiao Lui and started chatting. Zhao Xingha did not refuse the invitation this time and brought his new girlfriend Xiao Shui with him. Visit. Lu Yuan also finished the work quickly. When he saw everyone gathered, he briefly talked about the situation, because it was better to know these things earlier and prepare for evacuation in advance. After all, everyone has a family, but not everyone can protect themselves. Capable. Everyone was surprised after hearing this. They once suspected that Lu Yuan was joking with everyone, but when they saw Li Yuan's serious eyes, they all realized the seriousness of the matter. Xingha, this is equipment made for you and Miss Chiu Shui. Because you major in thunder attributes, I use materials with additional thunder attribute attacks. Your damage and attack range should be greatly improved. Because the strengthening stone in short supply, I can only help you to strengthen to 13 stars. It's interesting. The name of the thunder spirit suit is quite random. Zhao Xingha patted Li Yuan on the shoulder and said happily, Xiao Shui took over a set of light armor for warriors. The appearance was smooth and curvy. He liked it at first sight, and it was a set of epic equipment. This kind of atmosphere was unheard of, and rich people may not have such strength. Miss Xiao Shui, since I am also a warrior, I built it according to my ideas, with main strength and secondary endurance. This ensures output, while also ensuring survivability. Thank you. Xiao Shui's face, which had always been calm, was also a little moved. Is everyone ready? You can't just go back to the city in Pinnacle Forest. Get ready. Let's head to the Peak Forest. Chapter 153 Enemies Never Get Together An Shen Lu Your daughter can go home. Lu Yuan said sincerely. Thank you. But the Peak Forest is more dangerous than you think. You must be careful. I will ask you for help then. After all, you live in that forest. Yes, but I have never been to the depths of the forest. The powerful monsters all have their own territory. And the ones at the bottom are the forest wolves that have besieged us. Although they are relatively weak. They live in groups and are fierce. So they should not be underestimated. As Lu Yuan and his party headed towards the pinnacle forest, they asked the sacred deer about the situation in the forest. Although Lu Yuan had been there once, he only hurriedly picked up the wood and left. Although he did not go too deep, it was still full of dangers. Now that my level and equipment have improved, and I have teammates following me. 
My ability to protect myself is still no problem. Have you noticed that Zheng Yu is very honest today? He has been following the team at the back without saying a word. Zhao Xingha looked at Zheng Yu a little unaccustomed and said, It's not good if you don't speak. You're a talkative guy who can't say anything good. Fang Ro joked. I thought Zheng Yu would retort a few words. But unexpectedly, he was uncharacteristically following the team. Looking left and right, but saying nothing. He teased my young lady before. But was subdued by the young lady with a few words. Ling'er explained with a smile. And then briefly explained the process. Ling'er. It seems that it's not Luo Yi who is great. But you? Li Tong's words made Ling'er feel embarrassed. While chatting and laughing. Everyone arrived near the pinnacle forest. The forest occupies a large area, and the trees are very thick. There is no clear entrance. You can walk in from anywhere. But after entering, the map loses its effect. It is also covered with thorns, and the sun cannot be seen. So it's easy to get lost. Except for some wild animals in the forest. The rest are monsters above level 50. Everyone must be careful. Lu Yuan explained. There are already many players on the outskirts of the forest. It seems that they are all here for high-level monsters. Some are guilds practicing together. And some are teams formed by players spontaneously. Let's walk deeper. There are too many people here. And there are obviously not many monsters. Lu Yuan looked at the situation and said. How close are you to upgrading? Zhao Xingha asked. It's almost level 50. You can get new equipment when you reach level 50. It's great. Fang Rou said excitedly. Zhong Yu was also on the ranking list at the beginning. Now he has been pushed down. I feel that the level rankings are not very useful. Back then, Lu Yuan was five levels shy, but almost won the martial arts tournament championship. Logically, the championship should be his. But he gave in at the last moment. Xiao Lui glanced at Lu Yuan with a complicated expression. I gave up a champion, but got Miss Xiao's heart. No matter how I calculate it, it's worth it. Fang Rou said with a smile. You're right. Maybe this guy is a master in love. Xiao Lui nodded and said to Fang Rou. Since there were two more people, they formed a team. They were all old acquaintances. They didn't pay attention to this dangerous place while walking and chatting. Instead, it felt like an outing. Careful. Before he finished speaking, several dark figures came out. Lu Yuan reacted very quickly. With one charge, he stunned the forest wolf that rushed towards the mage. Zheng Yu also hurriedly ran over to hold back the rest of the enemies. As a female warrior, Xiao Shui, a little bit not holding back, his reaction was second only to Lu Yuan. It's not that enemies don't get together. The first monsters we encountered turned out to be the Peak Timber Wolf. They besieged me last time. And I'm going to attack you this time. Peak Timber Wolf level 50 HP 500000. Now when I look at the level of the forest wolves, my mood is different from how I felt at the beginning. Back then, I was surrounded by wolves and was in danger. Now, beating these little wolves is like teaching a few pugs a lesson. The nine-color sacred deer transformed into a human form, holding a fawn in its arms. Seeing these forest wolves taking advantage of people's danger, they were filled with hatred and unleashed all kinds of skills at the same time. Leave one so that it can summon its companions. Today we will get rid of this wolf den. Eight people and two deer surrounded the city. There was a pitiful forest wolf inside. It didn't even dare to attack. Both of its hind legs had been broken off, and it could only lie on the ground shivering. Scream! Call your boss out. If you dare to bully my boss, I will show you how powerful you are today. Zheng Yu seemed to have vented all his silent resentment on this poor forest wolf. Isn't it a little cruel for us to do this? This poor little wolf. These forest wolves have done many evil things and deserve to die. Jusul Shenlu said with some disgust. After a while, pairs of blood-red eyes appeared around them. And forest wolves walked out of the darkness one by one. While some were still hiding in the darkness. I'll go. Don't tell me when there are so many wolves. It's quite scary. Zhao Xingha tightened his grip on the staff in his hand and said, Do you feel that the monsters in the peak forest seem to be more ferocious than those outside? In comparison, the coyotes at the gate of the holy city can only be regarded as wolf dogs. Fang Ro didn't seem to be very afraid. Those few just now have a lot of experience. Much higher than monsters of the same level. Xiao Shui, Zhang Yu, the three of us will form a triangle to defend the outside. The mage doctor will stand in the middle. If Fang Ro misses any monsters, it will be left to you. Lu Yuan interrupted everyone's chat and quickly formulated a strategy. After quickly forming a formation, Li Tong directly scattered and pulled monsters. 
The wolves seemed to have been waiting for a long time and pounced on them together. The nine-colored divine deer usually rarely participates in battles. But when they see their old enemies, these monsters who almost killed their own children can't help but take action. A thousand miles of frozen ablaze with fire. Xiao Lui also knew how to cooperate and did not attack the frozen monsters. Thunderclouds rolled in the sky. And Zhao Xingha also began to show off his power. The nine-color sacred deer was in the middle. And the metal mask was released. Covering all the crispy skins. When he got up, the blessing of earth was released directly to Chiu Shui. Increasing his defense by 10%. Chiu Shui was stunned and said to Lu Yuan. Your mount is really smart. Not only can it transform into a human form. But it also knows how to work as a team. I've always treated her like an ant. And I didn't think of her as my mount. Lu Yuan said as he kept moving the sword in his hand. Zhong Yi wielded the giant axe and vented all his grievances on the monster. The sky was half thunder and lightning and half fire rain. Beating the forest wolf back steadily. With a wolf cry, the Scar Wolf King came out. I let you live last time. But this time you come to hurt my wolves again. This is unforgivable. Scar Wolf King level 55 boss HP 5 million. Ha ha. This Wolf King is not a high level. And his tone is not small. I have even beaten a level 70 bat. But you are so capable. You scum. Zhang Yu mocked with gestures. Scar Wolf King bared his teeth and was so angry. Attack that kid. Let him see if our wolves are scum. The Wolf King gave an order. And all the forest wolves hiding in the dark came out. And more and more of them gathered. Reaching more than a thousand. Good job, Zheng Yu. You made the right choice in your career. You have the skill of ridicule with your mouth. Fong Rose said teasingly when she saw that the wolves were all targeting Zheng Yu. Chapter 154 Woof 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 When Zheng Yu saw thousands of wolves all staring at him, he felt a little frightened and felt like he was riding a tiger. Catch the thief first. Capture the king first. Hold on. I'll fight the wolf king. Lu Yuan analyzed calmly. It's too dangerous for you to go by yourself. What if the wolves surround you? Li Tong said worriedly. What we want is to lure the wolves away. Except for Luo Yi. You are all below level 50. You haven't changed your equipment yet. And your defenses cannot withstand so many monsters attacking at once. Surrounding way to save Zhao. Then be careful. We will try our best to clean up the mobs as quickly as possible. And then help you fight the Wolf King together. Xiao Lui was very confident in Lu Yuan. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he charged up and aimed at the Scar Wolf King. He and Juncha used it directly and stabbed towards the Wolf King. The Scar Wolf King is worthy of being able to command thousands of forest wolves. His huge wolf body is extremely flexible. And he jumped high to avoid this extremely fast sword. The additional attack of Qian Junsha itself is very high. Plus Lu Yuan's 16 star strength and Yilin sword. If it is stabbed, it will cause very high damage. Lu Yuan didn't care if the blow missed. He turned around and faced Scar Wolf Wang Zhan together. Sure enough, Lu Yuan's strategy worked. Some forest wolves attacked Lu Yuan, successfully reducing the pressure on everyone. Zhang Yu's arms and legs were all bitten by forest wolves. On the other hand, Chiu Shui flexibly attacked the wolves that rushed towards him and was not surrounded. There are nine color sacred deer in the middle to help. Once a wolf slips through the net, it will be frozen directly by the frozen thousand miles. Fang Ro is responsible for harvesting. And Xiao Lui and Zhao Xingha use their full strength to release group attacks. These monsters are very important to this group of people. It's not difficult. Ling'er can still heal Lu Yuan and restore his health if he takes the time. Lu Yuan rushed back and forth among the wolves. Since he practiced internal strength, although his attributes have not improved in the game, his body skills have become more flexible and his body seems to have a natural reaction to avoid danger. Since his ingenuity has reached its peak, he can use weapons. Sure always felt that he was more skillful, and the speed of his sword was also faster. Various reasons made Lu Yuan more skillful against the enemy. You said that if this battle really comes to the real world, and so many wolves pounce on it together, it will really be fatal. Zheng Yu said while shaking off the forest wolf on his body, If this were the real world, who would dare to fight so many wolves? Even if you were bitten, your skin would be torn apart. Fong Ro killed a charging wolf by slicing its neck. She felt a little shuddered when she heard what Zheng Yu said. If we really fight the war in the real world, the long-range profession will be fine and we can hide. But the melee profession will suffer. And we will have to face all kinds of monsters and monsters. Since we can teleport everyone to this world, can't we do it in our own world? Xiao Lui analyzed. 
then our world will be in chaos. After all, not everyone can do good things, Zhao Xingha said. The old man said he would look for us soon. We will soon know what will happen. Out of everyone, Xiao Lui did the most damage because he had already upgraded to level 50 equipment. After killing hundreds of forest wolves, Zheng Yu also reached level 50. Ha ha. I can finally put on my Optimus Prime suit and transform into an armored warrior. Zheng Yu shouted and made a pose. After changing the equipment, his blood volume and defense were greatly increased. Zheng Yu suddenly felt relaxed and shouted loudly. Shake! Ants! Ling! I think he's not in good spirits. Please pay attention to yourself. Xiao Lui looked at Linger and said. Linger nodded in agreement and said. It seems that I have reconsidered it. Sister-in-law, don't do it. I was wrong. Zheng Yu quickly shouted pitifully. Humph a wallflower. Fong Ro kicked the forest wolf's body towards Zheng Yu. Everyone was joking and killing monsters easily. And one after another, they all rose to level 50. Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui also rose to level 51. Everyone who changed their equipment at level 50 had their attack and defense greatly improved. At the same level, everyone the mobs no longer pose a threat. The most tiring person was Lu Yuan. He was protected by the forest wolf and attacked and bit him in various ways. However, Lu Yuan seemed to have eyes in all directions. He was able to dodge sideways every time, or hit the monster aside with a weapon. It was really he took very little damage, and the number of forest wolves around him was also decreasing. Boss, I'm here to help you. Zheng Yu ran over with a giant axe. Meteors and fire showers fell in the sky. Thunderclouds gathered again. And the peak timber wolves were gone. Scar Wolf King roared to the sky. And the wolves began to retreat. Lu Yuan charged and controlled Scar Wolf King. And said coldly, Want to leave? Do I agree? The Wolf King was enraged and rushed forward again. The Wolf King's attack was very fierce and fast. The two front claws seemed to have been strengthened. There were only a few claws in the gap. If he was hit continuously, it would still be very painful. If it was, it is naturally a little difficult for ordinary players. But it happened to meet this group of people. In the end, all the wolves retreated, leaving only the Scar Wolf King. It was probably because the Wolf King was afraid of being exterminated. So he ordered a retreat, but he was tightly surrounded. Aren't you very cool? Come on! Show me your teeth! Zheng Yu held a big axe. He didn't use the blade to chop, but used the side as a racket, hitting the Wolf King's head time and time again. Head. Despite everyone's intentional actions, Scar Wolf King's legs were injured, and he could hardly move. His two front paws were still scratching hard, and he roared unwillingly to be teased like this. Zheng Yu ignored the Wolf King and patted it on the head. Pretend. You are pretending. You are said to be a scumbag. Don't you accept it? Call your little brother over. Hey. The villain has succeeded. Fong Ro shook her head, ignored Zheng Yu, and went to clean the battlefield and pick up trophies. Hey, it's enough to play. Don't waste too much time. Zhao Xing has said this and went to pick up the loot. After Zheng Yu kept talking for a while, he found that Scar Wolf King was already lying on the ground as if resigned to his fate. No matter how he ridiculed, slapped or humiliated him, he stopped resisting. Zheng Yu also felt bored and raised his giant axe to prepare. In the life of King Scarwolf. Wait a minute. King Scarwolf said in a weak voice. I didn't have a choice before. But now I want to be a good person. Zheng Yu knelt down and patted the Wolf King on the forehead with his hand and said. Tug whatever you want. And I'll listen to your last words. It's impossible to let you go. Well, I can be your mount. If you don't kill me, I can be a pet. I will bite whoever you want me to bite. The Scarwolf King said coquettishly in order to survive. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Let's do it. If you bark like a dog twice, I'll let you go. Zheng Yi became interested. Okay, it's pitiful enough. Stop torturing it. Lu Yuan couldn't stand it anymore. Zheng Yi stretched out his hand and patted the wolf king on the head while saying, Do you want to bark or not? The wolf king's angry eyes bared his teeth and whispered, Woo. Zheng Yi raised the axe again and looked down at the wolf king with a sneer. The wolf king lying on the ground was slowly covered by shadows. Woof woof woof. Be good to this. Wag your tail. Yes. 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 You will be called Wonkai from now on. Chapter 155 Forest Python. Well, can you not call it Wonkai? Scar Wolf King begged. Zheng Yu thought for a while and said, Okay then. Let's call you Mao Mao. Yes. 
Yes. Let's call it prosperity. The Scar Wolf King nodded listlessly. In the end, Zheng Yu took the Scar Wolf King as his mount and named it Wan Kai. The Scar Wolf King is also a high-level spiritual beast. Although it does not have many additional attributes, it can also assist in combat, which is an unexpected bonus. Zheng Yu originally wanted to call it out for a ride, but the system prompted that it was too seriously injured and needed to rest for a while. So he gave up and went to clean up the battlefield with everyone. Have you noticed that the corpses of these wolves have not been refreshed? If some of them had not been burned, they would have piled up into a mountain. Yes. Why not refresh it? The nine-colored divine deer said. In the peak forest, the monster disappears when it dies. So the wolf king desperately wants to live. What about us? I don't know about this. You must be an exception. Right. Lu Yuan thought about it and felt relieved. After all, what is entering the game now is only the spirit and it should not be all. Even if this forest is special, the game company cannot let the players be in danger. Otherwise they may be stopped. We have a large number of players. If the monsters we killed disappear, wouldn't this forest be slowly killed? This forest is bigger than you think, and there are many wolves like the ones just now. The same monsters are also divided into strong and weak ones. The monsters reproduce faster than you think. The ones who retreated just now, the wolf pack will almost have a new batch in a few days and it won't take long for them to grow up. And if the Wolf King is no longer there, a new Wolf King will be elected soon. Just Shen Lu explained. I know this. The animal world values strength. It's very realistic and cruel. Zheng Yu muttered as he didn't know what he was eating. I guess the only program you can understand is animal world. Fang Rou said disdainfully. Jia Xingha saw Zheng Yu eating there. So he came over and asked. What are you eating? Roast wolf meat. Look at this wolf being burnt on the outside and tender on the inside. Try it. I won't eat it. You can eat it yourself. Do you think it's strange that the fire in Louis burned so big, but the surrounding trees didn't burn? And although the ground was scorched by the grass, it didn't spread. Ju Solution Lu said patiently. The reason why Pinnacle Forest is said to be a holy land for monsters is because of the forest itself. As long as the trees don't wither, ordinary fires can't be lit. Otherwise, if you want to destroy the forest, you'll be done with just one fire. Unlike the outside world, including the tree demons in the forest, their fire resistance is very high, and only sharp blades can cause the greatest damage to trees. After hearing this, everyone felt that it was strange that Wood was not afraid of fire. But everything in the world has spirituality. This forest may be a gift from God to the world, giving all monsters a place to live, compared with human beings' construction and destruction capabilities. Monsters always considered a weakling. Of course, some powerful monsters can harm the world and kill many humans. But throughout the ages, all evil things have been eventually eliminated by humans. This is the ability of humans. Humans don't have high attributes. They just have good equipment. Where shall we go next? Keep moving forward and find some other monsters to fight. It's all about leveling up anyway. Everyone continued to move forward and met some herbivores along the way. Individuals who were not afraid of threats. Everyone agreed not to attack. As modern people, everyone understands how important the ecosystem is. Maybe these weak animals will eventually be eaten. But the food chain must exist. If outsiders destroy too much, the entire chain of the forest will be broken. Although it is not their own world, Lu Yuan and others do not want to do this. Everyone walked for a while, but they still didn't see any decent monsters. Have you noticed that there is not even a living thing in this area? Let's take a rest after walking for such a long time. Zheng Yu sat down on the ground, leaning against the big tree, and took a rest. It's possible that we have entered the boss's territory. So be careful. Before Li Yuan finished speaking, his eyes were fixed behind Zheng Yu. Everyone looked in that direction in surprise. Zheng Yu also felt something strange. He turned his head stiffly and saw only a huge snake head with a mouth. He even spat the letter at himself. Zheng Yu was frightened and jumped up on the spot and ran towards the crowd. The snake's body seemed huge, but was extremely flexible. It wrapped around Zheng Yu in an instant. Forest Python level 60 boss HP 50 million. Boss! Help! Before Zheng Yu could finish speaking, his entire body was completely wrapped in a thick snake body, and his health bar continued to drop. The body of the giant python is very long, and it wraps around Zheng Yu's entire body, leaving a large section. The entire body of the snake, except for the tail, is as thick as a small tree. Attack quickly! After Liu Yuan said that, he rushed forward. 
The python's defense is very high. The snake's body is covered with fine scales and the like. If it is struck by an ordinary sword, it will be directly relieved of the force. It is difficult to break through the defense except for a little collision damage. And the more the attack, the tighter the body is entangled. No way! Our attack can't break through the defense? Fong Ro was a little surprised. How could she say that she was also wearing epic equipment? It hides its weakest parts. Let me do it! Lu Yuan raised the yellow sword, dodged the attack of the giant python's head, and stabbed it in with all his strength. In addition to its great strength, the giant python did not have any poisonous attacks, which saved everyone a lot of trouble. Lu Yuan tore a hole in Xi's body, and everyone focused their fire on the injured area. In the end, the giant python gave up and continued to entangle Zheng. You? The giant python moved quickly, and its huge tail swept across the blow, sweeping Chiu Shui away in one fell swoop. He lost more than half of his health, and Zhao Xingha hurried over to help him. Go fight! No matter what I do! Chiu Shui didn't seem to appreciate it. Aren't I afraid that you will get hurt? I chose the warrior profession, and I have to face these. Should everyone stop attacking when someone is injured? Will the monsters wait for you? Chiu Shui seemed a little excited. What's wrong with you? Zhao Xingha was a little surprised to see Chiu Shui's emotion. But in the face of that determined look, he finally retracted his hand. Okay, then be careful. I'm going to help. Hey, Lao Zhao, come and help me. My arm seems to be stuck to my body. Please break it open for me. Zhao Xingha looked at Zheng Yu and saw that he was still standing on the same spot. His body twisted, and it seemed that he was squeezed by the huge force. You, Optimus Prime, also had that big python bent by you. How do you feel? It's quite sour. Zheng Yi recovered, picked up the giant axe and rushed towards the giant python. Hack you. Let's see if I don't skin you today. The big tree behind shook for a while. And Zheng Yi, who had just rushed over, was swept back by the tail of the giant python. Chapter 156 The Demon General Arrives Suddenly I thought that snakes all attack with toxins and have high attack and low defense. I didn't expect that this forest python is a powerful type. Not only has high attack, but the defense is also ridiculously strong. Only the belly of the snake is relatively fragile. But it is attacked by the giant. Pythons are very protective. Come on! Kill this forest python and pull out its tendons to make a good bow for Li Tong. Lu Yuan shouted loudly. Okay. Kill me. Damn. You dare to slap me with your tail. Zheng Yi ran over again with the axe in hand. A figure flashed past. Followed by another scream. And Zheng Yi was whipped out again by a tail. The giant python is extremely flexible. It raises its body and then jumps to the tree. It does not have any powerful skills in seconds. But it brings great difficulty to everyone. Damn it! My thunder attribute attacks didn't paralyze it even once. Zhao Xingha said with some displeasure. Don't worry. You attract its attention. Lu Yuan ordered and went around behind the tree to hide. Although everyone didn't know what Lu Yuan was thinking. They followed what he said and tried their best to attract the python's attention. Be careful to spread out your positions, and don't hit multiple people with his sweep. Xiao Lui reminded calmly. Zhang Yu, what are you doing? Is it fun to be beaten like a ball? Fang Ro couldn't help scolding Chiu Shui when she saw that she was fighting against monsters alone. I'm coming. I'm coming. Zhang Yu ran over again with a big axe. Before he could draw the hatred again, another tail hit. And Zhang Yu was whipped out again. Your uncle. Just slap me. I'm angry. Zheng Yu quickly ran back this time and directly released his ultimate move. Ultimate meaning, a rich burial in the sand sea. No! Hurry up and close your skills! Xiao Lui shouted loudly. But it was too late. Sand appeared out of thin air in the sky and sealed the forest python inside. Along with it was Lu Yuan who fell from the sky. Lu Yuan bypassed the python's sight and climbed up the tree. He waited for a moment to let the python focus on the people below. As soon as the python's tail attack ended, Lu Yuan saw the opening and fell from the sky, releasing the hand of the void. A big hand grabbed the giant python, but the giant python was not pulled. But Lu Yuan accelerated towards the giant python and fell down. The tip of the Yilin sword was pointed down and went straight to stab the giant python's head. But who knew that Lu Yuan came into contact with it? The moment the giant python burst into flames, the sand also sealed up the man and the snake. Zhang Yu! What are you doing? Fang Ro asked angrily. Zhao Xingha slapped his forehead with his hand. 
shook his head helplessly and said, Beautiful. It's okay. The team members won't be harmed anyway. Let's seal them off for a while to prevent the giant python from coming out and running around again. Zhang Yu glanced at Lu Yuan's health bar. He didn't continue to lose blood. Nor did he. Too anxious. Anyway, they couldn't control it for long. So everyone simply adjusted their positions and waited for the skill to end. The sand gradually peeled off, revealing a person and a snake inside. Lu Yuan stood on the snake's head. Yi Linjian had already pierced the snake's upper jaw. Without the seal of the sand, the snake's head could have been nailed to the ground with the help of inertia. Zheng Yu's skill it was a disservice. The giant python was pierced and did not die. But the blow was obviously fatal. The blood kept flowing down. The snake's body was swinging wildly. And the snake's head was shaking. Lu Yuan stood on the snake's head, holding the hilt of the sword tightly and trying to control his body. In the end, the giant python fell unwillingly. The equipment that exploded were all rare equipment, as well as some strengthening stones and gold coins. The only ones worth paying attention to were a few elementary gems. It seems that monsters above level 60 will produce gems. Lu Yuan cut open the giant python with his sword, pulled out the snake's tendons, and then peeled off the snake's skin after thinking about it. Boss, since you have cleaned up everything, let's roast the snake meat and eat it. Zhang Yi remembered that he was teased by the giant python, and his teeth itched with hatred. I may not have time. I have to go out. The old man from Taoyuan Temple just sent me an email and asked me to meet at Taoyuan Development Headquarters. Lu Yuan said after packing up the trophies. So soon? Didn't you say we would see you in a few days? Xiao Lui was very surprised. Suddenly, not only the two of us were invited, but someone else seemed to be invited as well. Lu Yuan explained. It's already afternoon anyway. Let's go out together. When you two are done, we can have dinner outside today. Li Tong saw that the two of them were going offline, and it seemed that he didn't want to stay in the game anymore. Let's go together. Take me with you to do team building tonight. Zhang Yu quickly indicated that he was going too. No matter what you do, you'll be the first to eat. Fong Ro mocked. Zhang Yu was not angry either. He leaned into Fong Ro's ear and whispered, Sister-in-law, Although I call Miss Xia sister-in-law, your position in my heart is unshakable. You really have no position. You idiot. Then let's come together tonight. I will also participate. Xiao Xingha also signed up, and then said to Chiu Shui, Aren't you also in the capital? Let's have dinner together. Chiu Shui hesitated for a moment but nodded. Okay, let's call him. Lu Yuan and others got off the game, simply packed up and got ready to go out. They knew that women usually go out slowly, and they would definitely have to put on makeup when they just got off the game. So they didn't rush them and sat on the sofa in the living room to wait. Are you still going to take a break? What time did you agree on? As soon as Lu Yuan sat down, he heard a voice. It turned out that Xiao Lui had packed up and was ready to go at any time. She was wearing simple jeans, sneakers, and an unknown brand of t-shirt. She didn't look like she had any makeup on, but she was still beautiful. Maybe... This is natural beauty. Let's go together. Or should we two go first? Lu Yuan asked. I'll ask them. You go find the driver's license and you drive. Xiao Lui said and walked to Li Tong's room. In the end, the two girls decided to put on simple makeup. After all, there were many people at night. So they decided to tell Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui about the hotel. Tao Yuan building is located in the most prosperous office area. And the interior is full of technology. As the hottest game on the market, its strength can be imagined. Their names were informed at the front desk, and the two were taken directly to the R&D department on the 32nd floor. After entering, there is a very spacious waiting area. There are many high-tech products in the area. People have already arrived to drink coffee, and there are also a few acquaintances. Zhao Jiozhou, Lin Han, Li Wei, and another person were sitting with Zhao Jiozhou. They looked familiar but they couldn't remember who they were. There were also some unfamiliar people, most of whom were men. Lu Yuan and the other two greeted them. Although they were a little hostile in their hearts, they still seemed to be getting along. After a while, someone invited everyone in. There was an old man sitting in an electric wheelchair, still playing with the computer equipment that was close to the entire wall in front of him. Professor Sun, everyone is here. A young assistant said softly. The visitor put down his work, fiddled with the electric wheelchair and turned around. He smiled and said H, low to everyone. 
after seeing Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui. He nodded, and then led everyone to a place similar to a conference room inside. The matter is urgent. Today we are inviting the top combat forces in Taoyuan. Of course you are not the only ones. Because the number of places this time is limited. And some people are not in this city. Without further ado, there is a mission here. And very dangerous. What mission? One of the top 10 demon generals in the demon world has come to this world. Chapter 157 This is Reality. What? Come to this world? Everyone present except Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui were surprised. Professor Sun seemed to anticipate that everyone would be surprised. And continued, This operation will be dangerous. And you may even lose your life. If any of you don't want to participate, you can withdraw now. Many people began to murmur when they heard that their lives were in danger. After all, you only have one life. And no one wants to take risks without knowing why. Can you tell me more specifically? A young man asked. This mission has been approved by the leadership and is a service to the country. There are only six places. The first six people will be given priority. If any of these people are unwilling to participate, the next ones will fill the place. Those who are willing to participate but have no chance can enter. The reserve team will give priority to dispatching tasks next time. Professor Sun still did not say the content of the task. Can't you tell me the content of the mission? Professor Sun shook his head and said, Only those who stay can listen to the specific content. Just trying to be mysterious. Forget it. I'm leaving. In the end, only three people left. Most of them probably didn't believe that a game company could put their lives in danger. They were probably trying to scare people away. Okay. I will participate by default for the rest. The reason why there are only six places is because something unexpected happened and the organization does not want to apply this technology on a large scale yet. So I only applied for a place for one team. What is going on? One of the top ten demon generals in the demon world has passed through the space rift and came to the present world. His demon army does not need you. He only needs six selected people to defeat that demon general. Does the organization not have an army to eliminate him? Someone asked. The organized army is trained uniformly and equipment is distributed uniformly. There are no particularly well-equipped individual soldiers. In fact, the purpose of this game is to cultivate a group of masters across the country. We are all ordinary people. Even if we are powerful in the game, we will not be able to do it in the real world, another young man said, and everyone thought it made sense. Of course, I can't let you go alone. I will give you a piece of equipment to bring all the equipment in the game to reality. In this way, the various professions will cooperate, just like fighting boss. However, due to the limitations of the world, you will be the ones controlling this time. If you are injured or die, it will be irreversible, Professor Sun said calmly, giving everyone enough space to think. You're saying that things in the game can be brought into reality. And the game is still controlled by you. So if you just buy some top-notch equipment in the game and distribute it to whoever you want, wouldn't that make you invincible? Professor Sun smiled and said, I forgot. I only told them about the game. I'll tell you again. Professor Sun briefly explained what happened in the game. And then said, Do you understand? The equipment in the game is not controlled by our game company. But exists in the world itself. So what we can do is just for batch deployment of the same scale. Some of the best will be assigned to commanders. But commanders are crucial and cannot be taken lightly. So we need you now. No matter how high the level of the players is. If they are unwilling to play, won't your calculations still be in vain? Zhao Jiozhou had been silent until he heard this and suddenly retorted. There are no unbroken eggs under an overturned nest. Anyone who invades our land will be punished. Lu Yuan looked at Zhao Jiozhou with some surprise. It stands to reason that the most afraid of death is this kind of rich man. But he didn't expect him to be so passionate. Okay, Mr. Zhao really understands justice. Where are you? Professor Sun asked, looking at the people in the front row. I'm participating, said the familiar person next to Zhao Jiuzhou. Well, as long as you don't continue to mess around, the higher-ups will be more lenient on you. Seeing that Lu Yuan didn't recognize him, Li Wei reminded him in a low voice. CK Yin. Fong Tao, who used to be involved in gangs. Although they are not breaking the law now, they have always been walking on the edge of the law. Lu Yuan nodded with sudden realization. Then he remembered and answered directly without hesitation. I will participate too. In the end, none of the young men with the most problems got a chance. And some were dissatisfied. After learning their identities in the game, all of them became silent. Sure enough, I saw the right person. 
With the six of you here, a demon general is nothing. The final list is Lu Yuan Warrior, Xiao Lui Mage, Lin Han Guardian, Zhao Jiuzhu Warrior, Feng Tao Assassin, and Li Wei Doctor. Professor Sun handed the rest to his assistant and led the six people to another room. The room was very empty, like a practice room. Professor Sun took out six watches and handed them to six people one by one and said, This device can reflect the equipment in the game. If you put it on and do facial recognition, it can be bound to your account. Professor, since we have brought all the equipment in the game, why can't we resurrect after death like in the game? Lin Han asked. Because the mind and body are in the same world. The gravity between them is too great. If they are forcibly separated, it will cause schizophrenia. The sound of a sharp blade being unsheathed was heard. Zhao Jiuzhu had finished scanning and summoned his own equipment. He had the Snow Dance Crazy Sword in his hand. And he also had a piece of equipment that looked like the best at first sight. Seeing this, everyone hurriedly bound their accounts. And each one summoned their own equipment in the game. Wearing their own equipment in the real world felt weird. But it also felt cool. The skills can actually be used. I really don't know how my body can do such difficult movements. Feng Tao sighed. In fact, what you learned in the game has also been learned in reality. But you haven't discovered it yet. Professor Sun explained. What time do we leave? Tomorrow afternoon. Professor Sun, what if your teammate's skills hit one of your own? There will be no judgment in the game. In reality, if you stand in the sea of mage fire, you will not be roasted alive. There is a team button on the watch. After teaming up, a barrier will appear on the device so that teammates will not be accidentally injured. Also, this device is bound and cannot be lent to others. Please familiarize yourself with the operation. Professor Sun stood aside and smiled and stopped talking. After everyone's testing, we discovered a problem. The blood bottle and blue bottle cannot be used. And the own health bar is also gray. Professor Sun's explanation is that blood bottles are not that magical in our world. And the blood bar is just a symbol. If the opponent stabs you in the neck, heart, etc., and the wound is fatal, you will die with one blow. If the attack hits your own equipment armor, it depends on the defense of your equipment and your own strength. Your health bar will be a reference. If the health bar is cleared, you may not die if the wound is not fatal. The healer's healing spells will be your only way to heal your wounds. Otherwise you will be hospitalized. As for the magician, how many skills he can use depends entirely on his personal ability. The magic value can be automatically restored through rest and meditation. It looks like this is more real than the holographic ecological simulation warehouse. Everyone sighed. Chapter 158 The Signs of War Zhao Jiuzhou danced with the snow dance crazy sword in his hand and said to Lu Yuan, Thanks to Brother Lu. My weapon can be strengthened to 15 stars. You're welcome. You also paid me accordingly. After Lu Yuan accepted the money, he didn't feel that the other party owed him a favor. And there was no need to say thank you. Mr. Zhao, is this him? I didn't realize that he still has this ability at such a young age. Although Feng Tao behaved very kindly, he always felt that his face revealed murderous intent. No wonder he used the assassin profession in the game and specialized in killing people. Everyone got used to it for a while. And it felt similar to the one in the game. Lu Yuan and others knew some martial arts. And even felt that they were more flexible than in the game. And they could also use their own martial arts. Lin Han was a little annoyed. If I had known this, I might as well have become a warrior. So that my Lin family's 13 deadly swords would be useful. Professor Sun said with a smile. It doesn't matter. You can use any weapon. After entering the real world, the division of professions will actually be a bit blurred. If a mage can dance and wield a sword, you can use it. Really? That's great. I'm going to buy a good sword tonight. Lin Han was a little surprised. I didn't expect the second son of the Lin family to know martial arts. I always thought that only Lin Lan got the true inheritance. Feng Tao said. I only learned a little bit. Lin Han was modest. After everyone practiced for a while, the equipment was taken back. Professor Sun said, The organization does not want to promote this product on a large scale yet. In case you go out to cause trouble, except during the mission, the equipment cannot be handed over to you. By Taoyuan Group, save it for you. When everyone walked out of the building, it was already dark. Feng Tao couldn't help but ask, Mr. Zhao, why are you so proactive in asking to participate in the war? With your status, you should not take risks. Zhao Jiuzhou did not shy away and said directly in front of everyone. Can't you see? 
This is just the beginning of war. More and more monsters will come out in the future. And they will have to fight sooner or later. It is better to adapt earlier. As for wanting to be alone, that is simply a fantasy. For those who did not participate in the end. Do you think you can still enter the game? The last pile of data does not all belong to Taoyuan Group. As expected of Mr. Zhao. He has foresight and foresight. Lin Han said flatteringly. Ha ha. You kid. You obviously thought of it yourself. But you come to flatter me. Zhao Jiuzhou laughed. After listening to what they said, Lu Yuan felt that it made sense. As for why, he wanted to participate in the war. He didn't think of many reasons. It was not about eliminating harm for the people. It might be the innate sense of justice among the descendants of the Lu family. Lu Yuan said goodbye to Zhao Jiuzhou and others. For someone who was a scheming person, Lu Yuan didn't like to interact with others. He was not lacking in intelligence and talent. But compared with these people, his methods were completely different. Brotherly, come with us to dinner. Li Tong is here too. Lu Yuan Dao. Li Wei patted Lu Yuan on the shoulder and said, I'm not going. I still have things to do. Don't play too late. Protect my sister. Remember to help me strengthen my equipment when you have time. After bidding farewell to Li Wei, Lu Yuan and the two drove to the hotel. Everyone had already booked a private room and was waiting for them to finish. Entering the private room, I found that everyone was extremely excited today, especially Zhao Xingha, who was smiling all over his face. There was a beautiful woman sitting next to him, who seemed to be Chiu Shui in the game. Everyone was playing the classic board game Werewolf. I don't want you to kill me first every time. You are targeting me, Zheng Yu said aggrievedly. Who told you to be so deceptive? Fong Ro said with a proud smile. Do you know that playing games like this will lose the fun? You should respect the rules of the game. Killing you is our pleasure. You two are done. Let's have dinner. Zhao Xing has said when he saw Lu Yuan and others entering the room. Luo Yi, you're back. Let's all go play together after dinner. Li Tong also seemed very relaxed. Zhao Xing has said that Mr. Zhao will pay for everything tonight. Everyone applauds and thanks. Fang Ro winked at Zhao Xingha. Zhao Xingha also agreed. This was Fang Ro giving him a chance to show off. So he responded. No problem. Brother Zhao. I want to eat lobster. Zheng Yu climbed up the pole. Eat. Eat a big one. Are two enough? Zhao Xingha waved his hand and said nonchalantly. That's enough. Thank you. Brother Zhao. Brother Zhao is so nice. Zheng Yu grabbed Zhao Xingha's arm and rubbed his face against it. Zhao Xingha pushed away Zheng Yu, who was like a rice cake, and said with a look of disgust, Come on! I don't like men! The whole meal was held in a relaxed atmosphere. Chiu Shui's real name is also Chiu Shui. It seems that he is really destined to Zhao Xingha. But he is not very talkative. He gets along well with everyone. But there is always a kind of repulsion to others. It seemed that Zhao Xingha was chasing after him. Lu Yuan! We have already booked the card table. We will all go to the disco together later. Zhao Xingha said excitedly. You guys go ahead. I won't go. I don't like such noisy places. And you know my drinking capacity. I have something to do tomorrow. Lu Yuan really doesn't like too noisy environments. Lu Yuan. Don't spoil the fun. If you don't like it, you have to go to me. Even if you sit there, you have to go. Fong Ro drank a few bottles of beer and shouted. Under the deafening music. Lu Yuan and Zhang Yu sat on the card table blankly, watching everyone continue to drink. It wasn't that Zhang Yu didn't want to drink, but that he couldn't drink anymore. And he hugged Li Yuan with blurred eyes. Boss, let me tell you. Last time I drank too much. Miss Linger took care of me. I was like an angel descending to earth. She was as white as snow. And no one could compare to her gentleness. Zhang Yu lay on his back. Lu Yuan said in his ear, Look. Linger has a better drinking capacity than you. It seems like she has to take care of you again. Lu Yuan fiddled with his phone. After finally getting rid of Zhang Yu, he looked at the message his father sent back to him. From the moment he entered this place, Lu Yuan was very uncomfortable and didn't know what he should do. He watched them drink excitedly and sway to the music. He could only sit aside. Lu Yuan simply drank two or three bottles while eating and didn't drink too much. When he got here... He kept drinking more drinks. He knew his own drinking capacity best. Looking at the people coming out to relax in the venue. Under the dim and flickering lights. Both men and women seemed to be very handsome and sexy. Some people were wearing very revealing clothes. Lu Yuan was too embarrassed to stare. So he had to focus on his mobile phone. 
Lu Yuan asked his father if he had any sword moves. He planned to sharpen his sword before the battle, so that he would be better able to save his life on the battlefield tomorrow. Lu Fei replied like this. After mastering the secret of the Chinku and mind technique, you can naturally control all things. What difference does it make if you use a palm or a sword? One palm is yin, and the other is yang. The combination of yin and yang can pierce the intestines. The palm technique in the Chinku and E throw in the game. All the energy is concentrated on the sword. Isn't it just a sword move? I taught you the Chinku and Huahua to when you turn around. Changing your palm to a sword. Isn't it a sword move? If you think about it without learning, you will be in danger. You have to use your brain. 80,000. Don't mention it. I'm playing Mahjong. Lu Yuan couldn't hear the voice clearly, so he had to convert the voice into text. And then he saw this paragraph. As a father, he seemed to be able to talk about his martial arts skills casually, and anyone could listen. Look who this is. I just found Sister Jing Bai over there getting drunk. So I caught her. Li Tong pulled Li Jing Bai, who was already a little drunk, and said, Come Lu Yuan, try this drink. Is it delicious? Fong Ro brought a fruity drink, and handed it to Lu Yuan. Everyone toasted to welcome Li Jing Bai. So they put down their mobile phones and stood up to clink glasses and blend in with everyone. We will talk about tomorrow's matters tomorrow and relax ourselves. Chapter 159 Boys must protect themselves when they go out. Lu Yuan opened his eyes and felt a headache. In his mind, he was still clinking glasses with everyone. He couldn't remember what happened next. He obviously didn't drink much. But how could he drink too much and be so drunk? The room was not my own bedroom. It had huge floor-to-ceiling windows, and the door was wide open. The bed was very big and soft. It looked like it was a hotel suite. Everyone was probably very drunk and didn't go home. I was so thirsty that I went straight to the table in the room to get some water. Suddenly, I felt something was wrong. Why was there someone on the other side of the bed? Because the quilt on the bed was so big. And that petite body, if not for a small head leaking out. Lu Yuan, maybe they didn't even notice seeing that he was only wearing a pair of underwear. Lu Yuan was a little confused, and hurriedly put on the clothes and pants under his bed. Judging from the position of the clothes, he should have taken them off subconsciously when he felt hot while sleeping. And the quilt and sheets were not its messy. I probably didn't do anything excessive. After drinking some water, I hurriedly sat on a chair and practiced internal energy for a while. As expected, my head no longer hurt. When I walked out of my room, there was a living room and several other rooms with their doors open. It looked like this was a hotel suite, probably at the level of a presidential suite. Lu Yuan looked around at other rooms and was so frightened that he quickly retracted his head. There was endless spring in the room. Lu Yuan was not a bad person. So he quickly closed the room. He opened the door and sat down in the living room. Lu Yuan probably figured out what was going on. It was estimated that everyone drank a lot and he was drunk again. Looking at the room in the house, it was enough for everyone. It was possible that Sister Jane Bai went to the wrong house in the middle of the night. Fortunately, she didn't something outrageous happened. It was still too early to delay things at noon. So Lu Yuan simply practiced his internal skills in the living room and waited for everyone to wake up. Thinking of the message my father sent me yesterday, I feel that some moves can indeed be interoperable. Using a sword instead of a palm may have higher attack power. But if the opponent dodges properly, the sword will always cause trauma, unless it hits a vital point. And a palm is a real hit. The opponent will suffer internal injuries. And if he does not adjust his breath in time, he will not be able to continue fighting. It is better to receive 10 punches than one slap. If you punch the surface and the palm hits the inside, internal injuries will be much more serious than external injuries. Lu Yuan became interested while thinking, seeing that the living room was very spacious. He directly started to practice Jinku and palm. Through the practice of internal skills, Lu Yuan had a deeper understanding of the palm technique. At this time, he was using Chinku and palm, and his momentum was very strong. Wind. The momentum is very strong, but a little too showy. You should put all the energy into your palms. It seems normal, but one blow is fatal. Lu Yuan concluded after finishing a set of palm skills. Lu Yuan, you're up so early in the morning. What are you doing here? Fang Ro opened the door rubbed her eyes, and asked angrily. Lu Yuan turned around, shocked, and quickly looked away. He had specially closed the door for her just now, but he didn't expect to see clearly after all. Can you put on some clothes when you come out? 
go shirtless and think of yourself as a man? Without the expected scream, Fong Ro ran back to the house and closed the door. What's wrong? Li Tong also heard the voice and came out to ask. It's okay. I saw that you didn't get up. So I did some morning exercises. Unexpectedly, I woke up Fong Ro. Lu Yuan explained. Well, it's all her fault for giving you a high degree of alcohol. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so drunk. What kind of wine? I didn't drink either. That's the drink. Who knows where she got it? Everyone calls it the virginity drink. It tastes like a drink and has no alcohol taste. But the alcohol content is much higher than that of ordinary wine. Even if you drink it, you can't finish it. Don't talk about you. This is too much alcohol. This girl. How can she even trick one of her own people? She said she wanted to see what you looked like when you were drunk. And she didn't disappoint. What happened next? Look at Fawn Rose's phone later. She is crazy about collecting evidence and recorded everything you did. Li Jingbai wrapped a big quilt around her and walked out of Lu Yuan's room. She was a little confused and said, Ta Tong, you are all awake. Why did I come to this room? Who knows? I haven't been so relaxed for a long time. I also slept very deeply last night. You drank too much. Yesterday, I settled you down and fell asleep next to you. Li Jingbai glanced at Li Yuan awkwardly and hurried into Li Tong's room to change clothes. Lu Yuan has always been a self-disciplined person. This is the first time in his life that he doesn't remember anything and was tricked by someone he trusted. Everyone dressed up and went to a breakfast together. The most embarrassed person during the dinner was Lu Yuan because Fong Ro showed everyone the video from yesterday. The video started with Lu Yuan being handed a drink. Lu Yuan drank the drink handed by Fong Ro. After a few minutes, his eyes became blurred. Then, he was pulled into the dance floor by everyone to dance. Lu Yuan's arms were raised to the left and right by everyone around him, wandering around blindly. These Lu Yuan were not conscious at all. After jumping on the dance floor for a while, he returned to the card table and started playing some drinking games, such as drawing lots, dice, and chewing paper. Finally, the video ended when Lu Yuan passed the last piece of napkin. I have forgotten all these things. After Lu Yuan watched the video, although he was very embarrassed, he still found it funny. Fong Ro was also a little shy. At first, everyone agreed that they just wanted to see what Lu Yuan would look like after drinking too much. As a result, after a bottle of strong beer was poured down, Lu Yuan lost consciousness and let anyone pull him to do whatever he wanted. Until the end, he played a game. During the game of drinking and passing tissues, Lu Yuan only had a little bit in his mouth and kissed himself heavily before the video ended. It's too dangerous for you girls to go out to play. No matter how good you drink that kind of wine, you'll be unconscious after drinking it. Right. Lu Yuan said with emotion after watching the video. We are not as stupid as you. We will give you whatever you want to drink. Fan Judao. Lu Yuan smiled slightly and said nothing more. He looked at his watch. It was almost time to gather at Tao Yuan group. It's time for us to meet up. It's almost noon. Yeah. Xiao Lui replied somewhat unhappily. After everyone finished eating, they dispersed. Lu Yuan and Xiao Lui gathered at Tao Yuan group. They were having fun and relaxing yesterday. But today they are going to the battlefield. Before 12 noon, everyone had already gathered. And equipment for a total of six people had been distributed. Just like in the movie, they entered a military man helicopter. No one knows where the destination is. Since you have chosen to participate and fight for your country, you can only do your best. After flying for more than two hours, through the low-flying helicopter, I saw tens of thousands of people fighting below. One of them was a soldier, uniformly equipped with weapons, and the other was similar to humans, but looked and dressed completely different. The two sides fought with swords and swords, and each soldier fell down and never stood up again. Can we escape and scathe? Lin Han said tremblingly as he looked at the battle below. No one in the helicopter, including Li Yuan, answered. They had been in harmony for so many years. How had they ever seen such a scene before? We are enjoying singing and dancing to bring peace. It turns out that there are people who have been carrying the burden for us. Li Yuan remembered that everyone was playing last night. But as a result, countless warriors died on the battlefield today. And he felt a little uncomfortable. Chapter 161st Experience of War The helicopter landed and the six people followed the guide into the military camp. The soldiers who were busy coming and going were all wearing watches developed by Taoyuan Group. Entering the tent of the headquarters, 
a resolute middle-aged man was analyzing the battle situation. Although the firearms were not very effective, the radar system and satellite positioning were still effective. At first, the artillery SH. LS had some effect. But later those demon mages. It can use magic to detonate cannonballs while they are flying. In the end, they can only fight hand to hand. Both sides suffer casualties. And the battle situation is not optimistic. When the middleman saw the arrival of the six Lu Yuan people, he did not show much expression and continued to issue orders. After all his men had gone out, he said to Lu Yuan and others, I am the commander of the frontline command. My surname is Li. I am passing by outside. You should have seen a lot at that time. The situation is not very optimistic. According to the information sent by Tao Yuan Group, you are either students, group bosses, and rich second generations. What I want to say is that this war is not this is not a game. And you may lose your life at any time. No matter what the people from the Tao Yuan Group tell you, it's still too late to quit now. And I will bear the consequences. Captain Lee, we already know the matter. Although we may not be good at military literacy, in terms of combat ability in another world, we can be said to be top-notch. We are probably more experienced than you in fighting these demons. And the equipment is better. Zhao Jiuzhou, as the eldest among the six, naturally stepped forward to speak. Having said that, the real battlefield is not that simple. Since you have this determination, I won't say anything more. The enemy is leading the troops. Sha Qian Dao, who claims to be one of the top 10 demon generals. According to the information, it shows that the strength of the top 10 demon generals is at the bottom. It is difficult for modern technological products to harm them. And there are many demon soldiers. We cannot let our soldiers sacrifice in vain. As a last resort, we can only start the Taoyuan plan in advance and choose some excellent combat power. But you haven't reached the expected level yet. Let's talk about the battle situation and see how we can join in. You'd better go to the front line first and fight against the demon soldiers together with the soldiers. While getting familiar with the battlefield, you can quickly adapt to the differences between the two worlds. When you adapt and feel confident to fight against the demon generals, I will ask the soldiers to cooperate with you and send you to the enemy general. Captain Lee simply stated his thoughts. Okay, you should really get used to it. Everyone started their watches together, and their respective equipment appeared on their bodies. The most dazzling one was Xiao Lui's blue water and red tied suit, with orange red cloth armor, a peony flower with gold and silk thread, and white flowers leaking out when walking. His thighs have undoubtedly become the focus of the military camp. My son is not lucky enough to have a good relationship with Miss Xiao. It's such a pity, Zhao Jiuzhou said in an elder's tone. Miss Xiao is naturally beautiful. Fortunately, my unlucky brother didn't win. Otherwise, she would be like a flower stuck in cow dung. Lin Han looked at it twice and then looked away, mocking himself. Even the generous Xiao Lui, walking in the military camp, everyone looked at her, and she was a little shy. She quietly said to Lu Yuan, Next time when you make equipment, can you be more conservative? Are your thighs leaking? Too much. Be careful and follow me while using your skills. Let's not be too far apart. Lu Yuan said seriously, as if he was thinking about something and did not focus too much on Xiao Lui. Oh, Xiao Lui felt a little disappointed when she saw that Li Yuan didn't pay much attention to her. So she just responded lightly. Feng Tao followed at the end. With a playful look, he had been involved in the underworld all year round. And all he met were romantic women. A beauty like Xiao Lui, with her untouched appearance, was what attracted people like Feng Tao the most. Brother Lu and I will take the lead in a while. Miss Xiao and Li Wei will follow us. After Lin Han breaks up, Feng Tao is not suitable to face the enemy head-on. He should hide himself and do a good job of supporting him. Zhao Jiuzhou made a simple arrangement. Mr. Zhao, from a professional perspective, it's better for me to open the way. Right. Lin Han was a little reluctant after hearing that he was asked to cut off. The order after entering the battlefield is also very important later. Because you are the only one, the pressure will be great. You must protect Li Wei. He is the core of our team. He is the only one who can reply to us. Everyone is a master. And they all understand what to do if they just talk. After leaving the military camp, they got into a jeep and soon arrived at the front line of the battlefield. At this time, the two sides had just reached a truce. The injured warriors on our side were in great pain. The doctors were all there. He tried his best to help heal the injuries. But without the support of the magic bottle, it would be difficult to fully recover all the injured. 
When Ling Wei saw this, he wanted to step forward to help, but was stopped by Zhao Jiuzhou. Personal strength is of little use to the war. We don't know how long the war will start again. You have to maintain your condition. Otherwise, our own safety will be difficult to guarantee. Li Wei naturally understood this truth. Although he felt a little uncomfortable, he still stopped. Adjust the frequency of your watches to the same frequency as ours, so that when there is a range attack, you can avoid accidental damage. The leading soldier said to Lu Yuan and others. Not long after, the alarm sounded, and the demon army launched another attack. It seemed that the demons could recover their physical strength much faster than their own. Let's follow suit. I suggest we play on the flanks so there's less pressure. Zhao Jiuzhou always made suggestions. But he was not dictatorial and easy to accept. He also gave suggestions that were most suitable for the current situation. Although I don't know what his intentions were. At least, he was on the same boat now. Only when I actually went to the battlefield did I realize that although there were bonuses from equipment and improvements in strength and endurance, in the real world, people would feel tired. Every time they swung a sword and every time they were hit, they would consume their physical strength. You can't feel it in the game. When entering the world of Taiyuan, you control your body with your mind. But now you are completely on your own. When the swords collide, every small wound is a real pain. However, after the doctor's treatment, there will be no scars. This is probably the case. It's a miracle. The reason why the invaders are called demons is probably because the two horns on their heads look very much like the demons in fairy tales. As for whether they have done anything evil and invaded this world. For humans, that is the greatest evil. In addition to being more realistic, it is similar to leveling up in the game. The enemy only has killing intent in their eyes. And they will rush forward and chop them even if they are facing a sea of fire. Xiao Lui didn't dare to use skills that consumed too much mana. After all, this was a protracted battle. As a mage, it would be useless if he ran out of mana. Save your physical strength as much as possible. It seems that physical strength is the key to combat. If you are exhausted, you will be drowned in the sea of people. Zhao Jiuzhu was the first to express his thoughts. In fact, Lu Yuan also felt it. But thinking that with Zhao Jiuzhu around, he didn't want to be in the limelight. The most important thing was to protect Li Wei and Xiao Lui from harm. Have you noticed? The experience value is still rising. And the growth rate is quite fast. Lin Han said. I have an idea. The demon soldiers have an average IQ. Although they are of high level, they can be killed more easily. There is no need to fight forcefully. Chapter 161 Burning Demonic Soldiers Demon Warrior Level 55 HP 300000 The human soldiers had average equipment and fought very hard. And the demons were very powerful. There were also mages and long-range archers in the rear using their skills. Fortunately, they had excellent military literacy and good cooperation, which more or less made up for the equipment gap. Lu Yuan and others faced these demonic soldiers very easily because they were all martial arts practitioners. Although Li Wei had no martial arts background, as a doctor, he only needed to treat and dodge the demonic soldier's attacks. Lu Yuan and others also focused on protecting him. As an assassin, Feng Tao was not good at hard steel. Whenever there was a magic soldier approaching a mage or a doctor, he would hit the back and slit the neck accurately. In the real world, they no longer measure life based on blood volume, and they would not be affected by fatal attacks. Will be killed by one blow. Zhao Jiuzhou was holding the snow dance crazy knife, but he could not move very fast with his feet. He could just dodge the attack every time and give him a fatal counterattack. The sharpness of the 15 star weapon was not fake. Lu Yuan fought very easily. The demon soldiers couldn't resist Lu Yuan's sword at all. And they could pierce the opponent's armor with just one stab. Xia Lui is even more simple and rude. The ground is covered with sea of fire. He occasionally releases meteor showers. All of which are ranged attacks. Although he has a lot of mana. He has no recovery potion and there are many enemies. The cost effectiveness of single target attacks is too low. Fortunately, the watch comes with a team function. If you don't distinguish between enemy and friend attacks, the mage profession will be half the time. The experience value is indeed very high, probably due to actual combat. It is more than three times higher than killing monsters in the game. When everyone heard Zhao Jiuzhou say he had a clever plan, they were all a little curious. Since the commander was a regimental leader, how could he not think of any way to deal with the enemy? Does Zhao Jiuzhou know tactics better than soldiers who have experienced hundreds of battles? Mr. Zhao, do you have any clever ideas? Among the few people 
the one who can cooperate with Zhao Jiuzhou the most is Lin Han. It seems that if you want to fight for power in the Lin family, you have to rely on some external forces. Fire attack. There are no combustion props in the game, so it is difficult to achieve. But in reality, gasoline and other things are everywhere. Burn the vine armored soldiers on fire? Lin Han revealed with just one click. Captain Lee wouldn't have thought of such a simple tactic. Right. Lu Yuan reminded. If I guess correctly, the monsters are still very strong. Ordinary fire takes a long time to kill them. And during this period, it is impossible to control where so many monsters are escaping. And if you look at the high platform where the monsters were last placed, that person should be Ten. He is one of the great demon generals. And he directs all the arrangements of the demon soldiers. So he should belong to that kind of special boss. Zhao Jiuzhu can analyze the battlefield in such a short time and come up with countermeasures while fighting monsters. It has to be admired. He is not called a hero in troubled times for nothing. Then what should we do? I'll go back to the military camp and refresh my memory. Now I'll get used to this fighting method. Although one of the top 10 demon generals is ranked last. He should not be a bad person. Zhao Jiuzhu said calmly. After nearly an hour of fighting, the demon soldiers retreated again. The losses of the human soldiers were much heavier. After many days of hard fighting, the demon soldiers were obviously able to recover faster. After this battle, Lu Yuan and others also feeling a little exhausted. I finally understood that taking the head of a general out of a million soldiers was all nonsense. Back at the command center, Captain Lee couldn't help but frown when he heard the casualty figures. These demonic soldiers were really difficult to deal with. Even tanks and vehicles couldn't defend against their attacks. He didn't know what materials those weapons were made of. Captain Lee, since high technology cannot deal with these monsters, we might as well use the power of nature and local methods to control them. Zhao Jiuzhou suggested. Oh, what do you think? Fire attack. I have tried fire attacks before. Those monsters have a lot of blood and will not be burned to death for a while. Moreover, the continuous burns will make them go crazy and run around. Once they rush into our camp, they will be very harmful to us. Threaten. I've thought about this question. But what if they can't run away? There are at least tens of thousands of people on the other side. Such a huge legion may be difficult to control. Commander Lee said. How about using a net? The demon soldiers are not very intelligent. The only threat is the demon general. When the time comes, we will entangle him. The demon soldiers usually attack in a straight line. They use steel chains to make several giant nets and pass them through the plane. The throw trapped them. A bunch of people were covered and struggling with each other. It was difficult to rush out in a short time. Even if the weapon did not have enough space to swing, it was difficult to exert its power. Quickly spray gasoline. And once the fire was gone, the rest was just watching the show. That'll be fine. Zhao Jiuzhou briefly expressed his thoughts. It's worth giving it a try. I'm used to shooting every day, but when I encounter these monsters, my weapon becomes useless and there's nothing I can do for a while. Captain Lee shook his head and laughed at himself. In terms of productivity, who dares to compete with China? It only took a few hundred meters to complete the net in one night. To be on the safe side, May were built. There were iron balls hanging around the net. And there were plenty of combustion aids such as gasoline. Lu Yuan and other six people were airborne to the rear of the demon army overnight, preparing for the two sides to start fighting. Once the fire attack reached a large scale, they would jump out and entangle the demon army leader. In the early morning of the next day, the demons launched another attack, and they rushed forward in dense numbers. The human soldiers did not go out to fight. What greeted them were more than 20 planes, and a huge steel cable net fell from the sky, landing very accurately. Area with dense monsters. The demon soldiers were in a mess. The more they struggled, the tighter the net was being pulled from left to right. It would not be possible for weapons to break through the steel net in a short time. Gasoline sprayed out from the sky again. Human soldiers fired a round of rockets. And the fire ignited instantly. Rise. Some of the demon soldiers slipped through the net. But they were sparse and there was nothing to fear. Seeing that their companions were surrounded by fire. They were at a loss for a moment. Water and fire were merciless. Under the pain. The demon soldiers struggled harder and harder. Even if they pulled left and right. They could not break through. The sky was dyed red. Seeing that the soldiers under his command had been fooled. The demon general was about to rush out to rescue him. But Lu Yuan and others had already arrived. Your opponent is us. Zhao Jiuzhou said proudly as he looked at the fire all over the sky. 
insidious and cunning. Why should our warriors die? You dare not fight head on, but resort to some underhanded tactics. Demon General Sha Qian Dao shouted through gritted teeth. Ha uh ha. -huh. You invaded our world. But you said that we are insidious and cunning. Lin Han smiled. Looking at the fire in the sky and the defenseless demon soldiers. He admired Zhao Jiuzhou even more. My clan will fight you to the death. When my holy emperor is resurrected, I will drive you all away. After saying this, Sha Qian Dao raised his sword and rushed over. The blood volume of one of the top 10 demon generals at level 70. Sha Qian Dao? The demon generals with the lowest strength are all level 70. Which surprised everyone. They just formed a hundred man team some time ago and killed a level 70 bat boss. Today, there are only six people. And they are dead. Can't be resurrected. Let's fight. Lin Han will be the main resistor. The mage and doctor will take care of their positioning. And the rest will be free to do whatever they want. Because there is only one enemy. Zhao Jiuzhou doesn't have many tactics. Lu Yuan looked at the fire in front of him and felt a little unbearable. Although they were foreign enemies to humans. Why didn't humans invade their world? Not only did he invade, he also overthrew their rule, which was equivalent to taking the initiative in their world. Was he also considered an invader? Brother Lu, don't be stunned. Get on. Lu Yuan looked at it and raised the sword in his hand. Chapter 162 Kill a Thousand Knives Right and wrong are different positions. Lu Yuan didn't want to think too much. At least the weapons in his hands would not kill innocent people. If these magic soldiers were allowed to enter the city, life would inevitably be ruined. Lu Yuan raised the Yi Lin sword in his hand. And he started with the same. Thousands of army killing. Strategy. And stabbed with one sword. But he struck first. Sha Qian Dao seemed to feel the threat of the sword. He jumped up and flipped several times in the air to avoid the attack. After landing, the saber in his hand swept out. The sword energy swept out as if it had substance. And hit Lin, who had not yet reached him. Cold. Lin Han raised the sledgehammer in his hand to resist. The sword energy collided with the sledgehammer, making a sound of metal collision. Immediately afterwards, Lin Han was knocked upside down by the huge force and could not get up for a long time. Damn it! You knocked me to death! Be careful of that sword energy! Lin Han said as he stood up. Extreme dragon control technique. A huge fire dragon sprang out from behind to meet Lu Yuan. Xiao Lui could see clearly from behind. After Lin Han was knocked away, Zhao Jiuzhou stopped and Feng Tao even watched with cold eyes. The six people also Lin Han is a young man with a lot of enthusiasm. But the other two have their own thoughts. Sha Qian Dao is different from ordinary boss. Most boss have gorgeous skills and a wide range of moves. His attacks are simple and unpretentious. But he rushes to kill people. With a wave of his hand, he will emit sword energy. He can attack from far and near. And his body, the method is flexible, and it is difficult to attack key positions. The huge fire dragon was controlled with extraordinary flexibility. In the gap between Lu Yuan's attacks, it crashed into Sha Qian Dao's body. The thousand thousand swordsman's saber was swung horizontally. The other hand was pressed against the back of the saber. His legs kicked off the ground. And the saber was jammed into the fire dragon's mouth. And he actually withstood the huge fire dragon's attack. Just when Li Yuan Gang wanted to use the power of the fire dragon to attack together, the Sha Qian Dao's body spun around, dragging the fire dragon into a circle. His feet landed on the ground again and pushed the fire dragon into the sky. The saber in his hand slashed down and actually split the fire dragon into two halves. Li Yuan saw the right moment and charged over. Even though Sha Qian Dao's footwork was exquisite and he had just finished killing the fire dragon with all his strength, he could not resist this attack and was knocked unconscious on the spot. Blood burning. Lu Yuan's strongest single attack was so powerful that he fell backwards with a killing blow. Sha Qian Dao also regained consciousness. He looked at the wound diagonally downwards on his chest. He was furious. He clenched his fists with both hands and roared. The wound on his chest actually recovered. Mr. Zhao, are you still going to watch the fun? Li Wei said coldly after releasing the treatment. Zhao Jiuzhou's expression did not change when he was exposed. Instead, he said in a dignified manner, Only when you know yourself and your enemy can you win the battle. It is not a wise choice to rush in with everyone. Mr. Zhao is really scheming. I almost believed him. Li Wei had a very good impression of Li Yuan. And with his sister's relationship, he didn't want to see Li Yuan make any mistakes. Ha ha. That's ridiculous. I'm going to help right now. Zhao Jiuzhou was not angry. And then rushed forward. At this time, 
Lin Han also rushed forward again. There were four melee fighters in the entire team, and only two were long range. It was probably Professor Sun's intention. If there were too many crispy skins, he might not be able to block the powerful attack of Sha Qian Dao. Zhao Jiozhou is very proficient in swordsmanship. After participating in the battle, he fought back and forth with the enemy. Lu Yuan's yellow sword was still a bit bigger. It was easy to use when fighting, but it was a bit cumbersome in real close combat. Especially it is to face this kind of enemy who mainly attacks with swords. The actual combat is really different from the game, Lin Han said with emotion. Well, I didn't feel it when I fought with those little soldiers yesterday, but when I meet such a master, the difference becomes obvious. Lu Yuan also felt this. After releasing a skill in the game, the system will automatically release it with the body. However, after releasing the skill in reality, all aspects of the body must coordinate and cooperate to complete the action on its own. Physical strength, strength, endurance, and agility are all crucial. Maybe, burning blood slash. In the game, it's most powerful when it's full of health. That's what it means. In the game, only physical strength floats back and forth. And basic attributes will not change unless external blessings such as skills are provided. In reality, as the battle progresses, all attributes will decline due to fatigue. I'll try my best to control him with my ultimate move. And you guys are just waiting for the opportunity. Lin Han shouted while leaping high with his giant hammer in both hands. Mysterious meaning earth shattering and heaven collapsing. The ground began to shake with Lin Han as the center. And thorn shot out layer by layer from the surface. Sha and Dao had nowhere to hide for a while, so he could only jump high into the sky. However, this skill had a large range, and it finally fell. When it reached the raised thorn, it was knocked away, and rocks continued to fall from the sky. In the game, this skill is not very powerful. It is mainly used for control. But in reality, maybe a big rock falling from the sky can kill a person. Fortunately, the watch comes with a team-up effect. There is a layer of protective shield on the surface of the body. It will automatically bounce away when it encounters attacks from companions. No one can explain exactly why. Maybe this is the setting of the system. And it can only be like this. Comfort yourself. Although the attack was ineffective, the changes in the terrain affected everyone's pursuit. Such an attack was obviously not enough to cause fatal injuries. Seeing Sha Qi and Dao being hit farther and farther away, there was no good solution for a while. Just when Sha Qian Dao thought he was safe, a figure suddenly appeared. Feng Tao had been holding back until now and finally took action. Shadow attack backstab neck cut. Must kill dark prison shadow killing formation. After a set of fatal combos, Feng Tao also used his special move. The surroundings of the two were instantly shrouded in darkness, and the sound of weapons colliding could be heard from inside. Lu Yuan and others also moved towards the two of them as quickly as possible. After all, if they made a mistake, they would lose their lives. And if they lost one combat force, the rest of them might also be in crisis. The effect of the dark prison shadow killing formation ended, and the two men emerged again. Sha Qian Dao had a few more wounds on his body, but they were not fatal. On the contrary, Feng Tao was seriously injured, and a large gash was cut on his right shoulder. Blood flowed. Blood escape. Feng Tao forced himself to become invisible and disappeared to join the team. Li Wei reached the casting distance and hurriedly added blood. Although Feng Tao's wounds were slowly healing, he might not be able to participate in the battle for a while. Do you know how long it took me to climb to where I am now? Do you know how much effort I put in? Do you just want my efforts to go to waste? Damn humans! Sha Qian Dao stood up straight. The wounds on his body healed again, and an evil smile leaked from the corner of his mouth. Lu Yuan and other scalps were numbed by that smile. Who is this? The wound can still heal. It's so unfair, Lin Han complained. If it's so easy to defeat and the army has been dealt with, do we still need us? Zhao Jiozhou didn't seem surprised. He was the only one among them who didn't seem tired. Mr. Zhao, do you have any good ideas? Lu Yuan asked tentatively. He should also have lost blood, but his self-healing ability is very strong, and it can't be seen on the outside. When the blood volume drops to a certain level, he probably won't heal anymore. It would be great if his blood bar could be seen through. So that would be I know how hard it went. Lu Yuan nodded when he heard this. Basically, it was similar to what he thought. Luck comes from his eyes. He had the eagle eye bonus. But it was just beyond the level. Lu Yuan wanted to try to see if he could see through it. Chapter 163 The World Looks Back 
Lu Yuan gathered his energy in his eyes and stared at Sha Qian Dao attentively, seeing the opponent walking towards him step by step. Murderous intent rushed towards him. Lu Yuan remained unmoved at all. Hey, boy, why are you looking at me like that? Even if you worship me now, it can't change your fate of death. Killing Thousand Swords took his time, drawing out the saber in his hand, and it became more and more quick. Suddenly the rhythm of his steps changed, and he rushed towards Lu Yuan in an instant. Be careful. Xiao Lui couldn't help but exclaim, and took out a fire phoenix, hoping to help Lu Yuan withstand it. Lin Han and Zhao Jiuzhou were not far away from Li Yuan, but they had no intention of helping to resist. Although Li Wei was far away, he still rushed forward, hoping to push Li Yuan away. But everything happened too fast, and there was no time. One of the top ten generals of the Demon Clan had really unparalleled control of the battle rhythm. In an instant, the two collided with each other. The saber was drawn out from the side of the body. Sha Qian Dao showed a proud smile and looked at Li Yuan as if he were a dead person. What he saw was not fear, but a pair of clear eyes. The sword flashed past, but did not hit Lu Yuan. When Qian Jun fired, Lu Yuan twisted outwards and made a quick 720 degrees turn, avoiding the fatal blow. Sha Qian Dao's smile froze, and he felt a pain coming from his butt. He turned his head and saw that a dark sword was inserted between his buttocks. It turned out that at the most critical moment, Lu Yuan did not choose to give up and instantly broke through the level of the eagle eye skill and reached the peak of eagle eye. Peak eagle eye, see every detail clearly and see through everything. There were only eight words in the skill introduction, and Lu Yuan suddenly felt as if he had seen a new world. Everything slowed down, the attack trajectory of the knife, the strength of the opponent's sprint, and the proud smile were finally fixed on his face. Of anger. However, it was also due to his agility. Otherwise, he would not have narrowly escaped the attacks, but would have watched his own death. Just because his vision was reached does not mean that his body could react. Despicable human beings actually use such despicable moves. Sha Qian Dao took a step forward, and a stream of blood spurted out from the middle of his butt. Shakyando endured the pain and pulled away. This time, his angry shouts became sharper. It took a while before he gradually returned to normal. Brother Lu, what kind of move was that just now? Did it happen? Zhao Jiuzhou didn't feel embarrassed at all for not going to the rescue just now. Lu Yuan didn't care, as if he didn't intend for others to help him at all, and said casually, My father taught me a trick to create my own Qingku and look back and draw dot. Lu Yuan himself also suddenly had an idea. He was supposed to use his palm, but the distance was not enough. He stabbed out with a long sword in his hand without thinking too much. He didn't choose the position specifically. He didn't expect to hit such an embarrassing part. Are you okay? Xiao Lui hurried over and asked worriedly. It's okay. Go to the back. Be careful he's very fast. Lu Yuan directly blocked Xiao Lui behind him with his arm. Xiao Lui also knew that now was not the time for love between children. So she quickly distanced herself and fired the spell in her hand. Fire Tornado. This kind of linear skill is difficult to hit directly. Sha Qian Dao seems to have regained his flexibility but his movements are still a bit stiff. He dodges the attack casually to the side. His blood volume is less than 50%. Let's continue to attack. If we hit his vitals, it will be difficult for him to recover. Lu Yuan said to everyone. This was obviously good news, but something strange flashed in Zhao Jiuzhou's eyes. Can you see his blood volume? Well, Mr. Zhao, if you continue to show off your thoughts, I'm afraid it will be difficult to accomplish the task. Lu Yuan said coldly. Brother Lu, don't mind. I'm just a little slow to react because I'm older. It's not that I don't want to take action, Zhao Jiuzhou said with an apologetic smile. Lu Yuan didn't want to keep talking, so he got into a posture and rushed over. Sha Qian Dao burst out with all his strength, and red flames erupted from his body. It was obvious that the blow completely angered him, and he entered a violent state in advance. Lu Yuan's charge did not produce a stun effect. Instead, it was struck by a knife that could kill a thousand swords. Lu Yuan was unable to dodge, and was cut open on his right arm. Hide for a moment. Be furious. Lu Yuan quickly retreated and warned. These people are not novices, so they naturally know the boss mechanism. But they did not expect to enter the violent state so early. Generally speaking, it will drop below 30%. Except for Lu Yuan. Everyone else was far away, and dispersed minding their own business. Only Li Wei immediately released a health booster 
and Xiao Lui released a control skill on the boss. Lu Yuan was calm and even though his arm was injured, he still blocked every slash. And finally used the last charge slash to distance himself. Sha Qi and Dao continued to pursue, with only Lu Yuan in his eyes. He was obviously irritated by the blow. Secret Poison Spring For cylindrical poison springs appeared out of thin air around them, and the poison began to spread. Killing thousand swords rushed in haste, and it was inevitable that the blood volume began to drop continuously, and the speed also began to slow down. Luoyi! Protect brotherly! Lu Yuan knew that he would be weak after releasing his ultimate move, so it was definitely unreliable to rely on the other three. Domain Scorching Sun Xiao Lui saw that the boss's status was declining rapidly, so he did not hesitate to consume mana and began a general attack. With the blessing of the field, various skills not only greatly increased their power, but also increased their range. Seeing that something was not going well, Sha Qi and Dao retreated quickly, intending to withdraw from the venom range. We can't let him go out! Xiao Jiozhou shouted. But he didn't move. Lin Han released the taunting skill, but it didn't work at all. There was no one in Sha Qi and Dao's eyes except Lu Yuan. So he had no choice but to retreat back. A huge meteorite fell from the sky, blocking Shakyando's retreat. Shakyando was affected by the poison and moved slowly. He had to resist the blow and slashed out the air blade. This time, he did not cut off the meteorite, but but it left a hole, just enough for him to fit in. Even with such a huge impact and the temperature of the meteorite, it still caused him a lot of damage. Sha Qi and Dao rushed out of the poison range in a panic, and the poison slowly sank into the soil and disappeared. Mr. Zhao, why don't you charge forward and stop him? Lin Han said angrily, unable to control his emotions. He is so violent. Can he be stunned if he rushes forward? Zhao Jiosho always has a reason. Stop arguing. He has lost a lot of HP this time, and is already less than 20%. Be careful with his killer moves. Lu Yuan didn't want to hear them shirk responsibility from each other. After the violent rage, his defense obviously dropped a lot. The venom and the impact of the meteorite destroyed a lot of Sha Qi and Dao's health at once. Do you know why I am called Thousand Swordsman Killer? That's because of my famous stunt. Thousand Swordsman Slash. It is your honor to die under this move. Sha Qi and Dao let out some crazy howls. And then he slashed out with a sword energy. The range was very large and it felt like the air was being torn apart. He didn't stop after one sword strike, and then slashed out with several more swords. The sword energy overlapped towards him from all directions. Everyone came and chopped them down. Several people were dodging in panic, but the figure of Sha Qi and Dao was nowhere to be seen. Lu Yuan, be careful, Xia Lui shouted. Hey, kid, you're dead. Sha Qi and Dao's cold voice came. Lu Yuan felt a murderous aura coming from his side. He didn't have time to raise his sword to block it. The sound of metal clanking sounded, and after one blow, the shadow of the sword came like a tide. Lu Yuan was surrounded by shadows of swords in the sky. It was too late to retreat, so he could only passively block. From the initial embarrassment to the later calmness. You shouldn't be called Sha Thousand Swordsman. Asking you to kill 25 knives is considered a compliment. Lu Yuan blocked all the attacks without a single scratch on his body. He couldn't help but sarcastically said, after reaching the peak of Eagle Eye, these sword shadows have long been seen through. It looks like a dazzling sky full of sword shadows. But in fact only one of them is a real attack. And only 25 swords were killed in total. Secret Open Heaven. Zhao Jiozhou didn't know when he ran behind Shakyando. And took advantage of the gap after the attack to use his secret skills. Lu Yuan smiled and said, I'll give you a knife too. Mysterious Azura Slash. The distance was very close. Coupled with the strong control of Shura Slash, it was inevitable to avoid the thousand killing swords. Both of these swords were cut firmly, and he basically fell down, with no room for recovery. One after another. A top-down white light. A diagonally upward golden slash. The outcome of thousand swordsmen kill is already determined. He he. He he. If that's the case, then don't live anymore. A maniacal smile emerged from the corner of Sha Qian Dao's mouth. He had already fallen down with all his blood. But he was still alive. His whole body swelled and black light overflowed. Hack it! Self-destruct. Lu Yuan is very familiar with this move. Lu Yuan and Zhao Jiozhou had just released their ultimate moves. And their attributes were greatly reduced. But they could only run as far away as they could. Run towards the meteorite. You should be able to resist it. Li Wei's voice came from behind. 
pointing to the landing position of the meteor released by Xiao Lui. Even though the attributes have declined, no one wants to die. At this time, people's desire to survive has stimulated unlimited potential. And Zhao Jiuzhu is not as old as he said. And his legs and feet are slow. Lu Yuan, run. Xiao Lui did not retreat in a hurry, but looked at Lu Yuan worriedly. The explosion had hit from behind, leaving no chance for anyone to think. When Zhao Jiuzhu passed by Xiao Lui, evil thoughts suddenly occurred, and he used his Tai Chi push hand to push Xiao Lui out in the direction of the explosion. He also used the help of the reaction force jumped into the air and jumped back. Since you don't want to run away, then help block it from behind. Lu Yuan was not far behind Zhao Jiuzhu. When he saw Xiao Lui being pushed back, he jumped down to protect her and activated his only increased defense skill, Song Feng Blood Armor. After the explosion, the dust slowly fell, and everything returned to calm. The fire on the magic soldier's side was also burning to an end, and three figures climbed up from the dust. Zhao Jiuzhou, why are you pushing away Miss Ya? Li Wei shouted angrily. Zhao Jiuzhou's everlasting face also showed some guilt. The situation is critical, and I just want to survive. It's a pity for this beautiful woman of this generation. Lin Han shook his head and said nothing. Feng Tao had already run away to hide. He only attacked once in the whole process. Except for Lu Yuan. No one in the entire team tried their best. There was a squirming movement in the dust. Xiao Lui crawled out and quickly pulled Lu Yuan out of the dust. Zhao Jiuzhou, if something happens to Lu Yuan, I, the Xiao family, will make you pay the price. Xiao Lui shouted hysterically with a few tears on her dirt-filled face. Oh, how about that? Xiao Jiuzhou showed murderous intent in his eyes. But when he saw that the military jeep had already driven over, he stopped talking. Li Wei hurriedly stepped forward to treat Lu Yuan. His entire back had been blown to pieces with blood and flesh. His breath was very weak. And the blood and soil had mixed together. Chapter 164 Recuperation Lu Yuan opened his eyes and found that he was lying on a bed. The bed was very soft and did not feel uncomfortable. The slightest movement caused an injury on his back. He grimaced in pain, and large beads of sweat started to drip down instantly. You're awake! This is where? Fong Ro walked over from the sofa and said softly, I'm back! You've been in a coma for three days! Why can't I feel my legs? Isn't it an amputation? Li Yuan said with some pain. Don't worry! It's not an amputation! Although the injuries are serious! They are all skin injuries. He just lost too much blood and fell into coma. But if he is treated in time and rests, it will be fine. Fong Ro couldn't help but feel a little funny when she saw Lu Yuan like this. How is Luo Yi? Is everything okay? You are your fiancé. Did it take you so long to think of her after you woke up? Fong Ro said with a smile. The blockage should be quite tight. So even if I get injured, it shouldn't be too serious. I still have some judgment in this regard. Lu Yuan said with a wry smile. You're still laughing. Why didn't you two tell us when you went to such a dangerous place? And you were still with those three despicable people? Fong Ro couldn't help but clenched her fists when she remembered what Xiao Lui had learned when she came back. I'm afraid there will be similar battles in the future. How is it in the game? Is everything normal? Lu Yuan asked. If you hadn't come back injured, nothing would seem to have changed. However, the game was very lively. Tao Yuan Temple suddenly appeared and began to publicly prevent the Demon King from resurrecting, and announced several locations, all similar to Mandala at the sealed place of the eye. Fong Ro told everything in the game one by one. Lu Yuan was thoughtful after hearing this. Professor Sun didn't want to prevent the Demon Emperor from being resurrected on a large scale before. He was afraid that the demons would all come out to resist. It is estimated that the war has started early now, and he has to do it as a last resort. If the Demon Emperor is resurrected, he will nowadays. Players' abilities are probably unstoppable. After all, the last of the top ten demon generals has already caused such a big impact. What are you thinking about? Fong Ro asked. Does the doctor say how long it will take for me to recover? The doctor said that it would be a conservative estimate of three months. But Luo Yi's father said that if you wake up and start running the marrow cleansing meridian, you will be able to walk on the ground in half a month. And you will be back to normal in less than a month. Fong Ro said. Well, if I hadn't started practicing internal skills some time ago, I would probably be done with it right now. Lu Yuan didn't seem to be in a heavy mood for the rest of his life. When you recover, why don't you teach me some martial arts? Fong Rose suddenly suggested. Practice is very hard. 
The Marrow Cleansing Sutra is considered a Kung Fu method of the Xiao family. I don't have the right to teach it to you, but my family's palm techniques and internal skills are quite good. Do you have anything to eat? I feel so hungry. Lu Yuan has not eaten for three days. My stomach felt empty just relying on the nutrient solution. Half an hour later, Fong Ro was feeding Lu Yuan some porridge when a large number of people entered the ward one after another. Boss, you finally woke up. You scared us to death. Zheng Yu greeted him worriedly, contrary to his usual playful demeanor. Yes. Why didn't you tell us when you went to such a dangerous place? Zhao Xingha said with some reproach. Brother Lu, blame me for not protecting you. Li Wei felt somewhat uncomfortable when he saw Lu Yuan lying there. It's okay. It'll be fine in a few days. It's my fault that I was careless at the time. Demons are good at self-destruction. Lu Yuan has no habit of blaming others. I just didn't expect that Zhao Jiozhou was so vicious and wanted to use someone to block the harm at the critical moment. It's still my fault. If it wasn't for protecting me, Lu Yuan would have been able to run further. Xiao Lui said blaming herself. Okay, don't blame yourself. I'll be fine in a few days. Well, Brother Lu, I may have to leave first. As long as you are okay. Through this incident, I have discovered the future trend. If the war continues, Communication during combat will be critical. Our LJ communication has already communicated with Tao Yuan Group signed a cooperation agreement. Li Wei was busy with official duties and just took the time to visit Lu Yuan. Just be busy with your business. It doesn't matter to me. Lu Yuan greeted. After Li Wei left, Xiao Lui sorted out his thoughts, clenched his fists and said, I told my father about the situation at that time. Although my father was very angry, there was nothing he could do. Zhao Jiozhou controlled all major the company's shares are a man who can stir up troubles. There is no clear evidence to prove that he wants to kill people. And Tao Yuan does not agree with making these things public. So now we can only let it go. Well, what he did was in line with his character. He took action when it was time to take action in battle. He just didn't want to take risks and always focused on his own safety. You can't blame him for this. But he pushed you out. This deal the accounts should be settled. Lu Yuan thought very openly. That kind of person is based on his own interests. And there is no point in getting angry. Also, all the watches distributed by Tao Yuan Group have been taken back by us. But many watches of sacrificed soldiers have disappeared. Feng Tao also disappeared after becoming invisible in battle and did not come back with us. Xiao Lui continued said, If Feng Tao and others really took that kind of equipment and used it to do bad things, it would be a disaster. No ordinary person can withstand the stealth attack of the assassin in the game. Everyone shuddered when they heard what Li Yuan said. After all, there is no health bar in reality. If someone suddenly appears and stabs anyone, it will be fatal. Several medical staff came in and said, It's time to change the dressing. The family members will stay away for a while. Li Yuan's body was pulled down. And he was wrapped like a mummy. His back was still a little bright red. When everyone saw that the medical staff had closed the curtain beside the bed, they could only wait outside. A week passed quickly. At this time, Lu Yuan was able to move around freely. During this period, Lu Yuan wanted to play the game to check the situation. But everyone rejected it, leaving him to rest in peace and recuperate. I have to say that the Marrow Cleansing Sutra is magical. If you run it several times a day, your body will recover much faster. Even the doctor was surprised. Lu Yuan took advantage of the time to go to the bathroom and entered the bathroom with his hospital clothes. He took off the bandage himself opened his chest, and opened his back. After a crackling sound of bones, the scabs on his back fell off piece by piece. He looked in the mirror. Not even a single scar was left on his back, and his skin was as smooth as new. While putting on the hospital clothes, I lamented the magic of the Marrow Cleansing Sutra. The legend of the Marrow Cleansing Sutra is indeed not false. When Li Tom got his lunch back, Lu Yuan had already put on his hospital clothes and stood at the window. Why did you go to the ground? Go back and lie down quickly. Li Tong said worriedly. No. Go home. I'm fine. Lu Yuan said, taking off his shirt and letting Li Tong look at his back. Li Tong looked at it with some surprise. He couldn't believe that such a serious injury could heal so quickly. He touched Lu Yuan's back with his little hand and found that it was still very smooth. Not even a scar? Well, let's go through the discharge process. It's time to settle the account. Chapter 165 Tianshan Ice Crystal and Copper Essence 
I have never been in a hospital for such a long time since I was a child. When I left the hospital, I felt like I had been given a new lease of life. When I got home, I immediately started playing games. Now that we know that troubled times are coming, many of the future fighting methods will definitely rely on the game system. So becoming stronger in the game is equivalent to becoming stronger in the real world. Lu Yuan also felt vaguely uneasy. The whereabouts of the lost watch from Tao Yuan group were unknown. And Feng Tao seemed to have disappeared from the world. With today's technology, it is very simple to find someone. It was obviously a premeditated gang action. After playing the game, I directly appeared in the center of the holy city. I looked at the equipment on my body and saw that all the equipment was gray and badly damaged. Fortunately, my yellow sword was still there. Although I could wear high-end weapons. After all, it was Uya gave it to him personally, which is of great commemorative value. I took a look at my friend's list and saw that everyone was online. Li Tong, who came back with me, was also online. Boss, why are you in the game? Why were you discharged from the hospital? Didn't I let you rest for a few more days? Why are you playing games again? Lu Yuan was helpless for a while. And after replying one by one, he ran to the blacksmith shop. These people were actually fighting a guild war. His side's red flower club had been fighting against the troubled world guild for many days. A challenge was launched. But Zhao Jiozhou from the troubled times guild never showed up. The main forces on his side are all epic suits made by Lu Yuan. How can ordinary people stop them? What's more, Zhao Jiozhou is not here yet. For a time, the morale of the guild in the troubled times was low. And it changed from a big guild in the whole server to a big guild in the whole server. Laughing stock. Lu Yuan didn't think this was a good thing. With Zhao Jiozhou's character, how could he suffer such a big loss? And for people like him, how could a mere guild in the game take it to heart? There must be more important things. And this matter must be related to Tao Yuan Group's game watches. Putting aside these random thoughts, Lu Yuan hurried to the Holy City blacksmith shop. There were still many players strengthening their equipment at the door. And some were synthesizing strengthening stones. The business was still so booming. Boss, you're back. Why haven't you come back for so long this time? Afu, the butler, greeted him directly. Some things have happened recently. How is business? Have you received any rare ores? Lu Yuan asked. Afu handed over an account book and a booklet and said, This is the account book, and that booklet is the ore received. It can be said that the income of all major cities combined is not as much as ours. As for the ore, there is nothing particularly precious. Among them, Tian Shan the ice crystal should be pretty good, but there are only four pieces, and the other mercury rich ores, gold nuggets, etc., are not too rare. What is this copper essence? Lu Yuan said, pointing to one of the items. Oh, I remember this guy. He also discovered it accidentally while mining. It is much smaller than ordinary copper mines, but the above description is that it absorbs the essence of heaven and earth and condenses it. It looks quite high end, but no one accepted it. Later, he saw us collecting ore. So he brought a bunch of ore over. I thought it was special. So he finally paid it at the price of a gold mine. Okay, bring me the copper essence and Tian Shan ice crystal. The gold coins from the revenue have been used to pay the holy city's official taxes. After paying everyone's wages, bring me the rest. Lu Yuan said after that. He sat on a chair in the store and waited. Not long after, Ah Fu came over with a gold coin bag and took out four Tian Shan ice crystals and a fist-sized copper essence from his storage ring. Boss, the ore is stored in the blacksmith's warehouse. If you need anything else, you can go and take a look yourself. This bag is specially for gold coins. Even though the bag is small, there is a lot of money in it. After Ah Fu finished everything, he continued to supervise the blacksmiths to work. Lu Yuan put the gold coins into his ring of artisan god inheritance. He had more than three million gold coins. It seemed that he had made a lot of money in more than a week. He picked up the copper spirit and looked at it carefully. Although the copper spirit was small in size, it was very heavy and very dense. There were no fixed lines on the surface, and it was actively changing as if it were alive. Of course, ordinary people couldn't see it. Copper essence, born from copper or veins, it absorbs similar essences around it and dissolves into itself. Lu Yuan felt a little pity. It looks like a good thing but it is too small to be used to make anything. How about adding some tin or to smelt it into bronze? Lu Yuan was thinking in his mind. To say that copper or is not the best choice for making weapons, because its texture is not very hard. 
so it is not as good as other ores in forging. But copper has good thermal conductivity, which is very suitable for a person. Lu Yuan thought of looking for Han Tai the descendant of the medicine god whom I met when I was in Jing. Lu Yuan quickly found him in the friend list. Because Lu Yuan didn't have many friends in total. Hello brother. Do you still remember me? Lu Yuan sent the message. Not long after, the other party sent back a message. Remember? This descendant of the god of craftsmen lineage came to me to buy some medicine? Lu Yuan was slightly stunned. It seemed that this boy was better at doing business than him. He started by selling medicine. Well, are there any special medicines? Lu Yuan was not in a hurry. The medicines produced by the goddess of medicine would naturally be much better than ordinary pharmacies. It would be a good idea to buy some special medicines for emergencies. There are many more that add attack and defense. Restore blood and mana. Increase basic attributes. Increase experience. And disguise. Just tell me what you want. I can't develop it without you. Yuanzi replied. Lu Yuan was stunned again and felt a little ashamed. It seemed that the descendant of the medicine god only focused on refining medicine. But he was just running around all day. Only occasionally tinkering. Didn't you say you wanted to build a medicine cauldron last time? Oh. Are you free? But I usually focus on collecting herbs. And I haven't found any rare or materials. So I haven't contacted you. I found a small piece of copper essence here. But it is too small to make a medicine cauldron. If tin ore is added to smelt it into bronze. It should be good to make a bronze cauldron. Lu Yuan said. What? Copper essence? Don't add other ingredients. I'll find you right away. Yuanzi replied. Lu Yuan Yuan had a strong reaction to the pill and looked at the fist-sized copper essence in front of him with even more curiosity. Wasn't it just some special copper mine? So why was he so surprised? Lu Yuan picked up the Tianshan ice crystal again and looked at it. Rather than saying it was an ore, it was more like an ice cube. It was completely transparent and exuded a hint of coolness. The only thing that was different from the ice cube was that it did not after melting. The edges and corners of the crystal are very sharp. If it is made into a weapon, it will be easy to grind the gold and break the iron. Tianshan ice crystal. It is formed by the slow condensation of thousands of years of cold air. And only one piece is produced in a thousand years. The ore formed by gas solidification only takes a thousand years to produce one piece. The formation process is difficult to understand. And the time of formation proves its value. It seems like it's time for my Yilin sword to rest. Lu Yuan played with the ice crystals in his hands and said to himself. By the way, where are you? Yuanzi sent another message asking. Chapter 166 Incense Burner Lu Yuan already had a rough idea in his mind and had been collecting various materials from the auction house. The most troublesome thing for Lu Yuan was the armor on his body. Armor required the most materials. But ordinary materials were difficult to detect by Lu Yuan. A clever woman can't make a meal without rice. And Lu Yuan has nothing to do for the time being. Top quality materials are hard to come by. So he can only accumulate them slowly half by hard work and half by luck. Afyu, how do you usually promote our blacksmith shop? Lu Yuan asked the housekeeper, who was supervising the work in front of him. Afu had just received his salary, and was as happy as a chicken blood. When he heard his boss calling him, he naturally responded quickly. Boss, I usually pay some gold coins to the Holy City Propaganda Officer through the national announcement. And then they help to issue the national announcement, so that all players in the server can see it and it is very prestigious. Although the cost is not low. Compared with the income, the effort is not worth mentioning. Then you are posting an advertisement for me. The general meaning is that players who have special rare ores or materials can come to the Holy City Blacksmith Shop to build equipment. I will build it for free. And each person is limited to one piece until I leave. Lu Yuan after thinking for a while he said, Old man, I understand. This guarantee can push our Holy City Blacksmith Shop to a new level. Ah Fu smiled from ear to ear. The more profitable the Blacksmith Shop is, the more his salary will be. Depending on money, the faithful Ah Fu simply loves this boss to death. Lu Yuan looked at the clerks in the shop without anything to do. He hired the Blacksmith Lao Lu. He seemed to get along well with everyone. He was also talking and laughing in his spare time. He was not at all as bad-tempered as everyone said before. Lao Lu seemed to get along well with everyone. Feeling Lu Yuan's gaze, he nodded respectfully, and then went back to working hard. Lu Yuan looked around casually without thinking too much. The clerks in the store stopped joking and started working seriously, probably because they were afraid that Lu Yuan would think they were being lazy. 
Is Bu Dao Huan here? There was a voice of inquiry outside the store. And Lu Yuan stood up and took the pills in. Without the permission given by the owner. Ordinary store players are not allowed to enter except for restaurants or inns. Lu Yuan sometimes also wonders. Professor Sun said that this is also a real world. But why can it be transformed into this way with technology? What is the structure of Frankenstein's head? Where is the copper spirit? Let me take a look. Yuanzi asked impatiently as soon as he came in. Lu Yuan casually threw the fist-sized copper spirit over. And Yuanzi caught it nervously, looking back and forth in surprise. Are you really going to use this to make a medicine cauldron for me? Isn't it just a copper block? But it's probably not practical to make such a small piece. Lu Yuan nodded and said. Such a small piece? If you want to make a medicine cauldron for me, one third of the size will be enough. What? How can it be used when it's so small? Lu Yuan didn't know why. Yuanzi looked at Lu Yuan and said, You are the only one who is a descendant of the craftsman god. Although this thing has an ordinary name, such a large copper essence must absorb an entire vein of copper or to form it. I don't know the rest of the ores. I understand. But there are several types of medicinal cauldrons that can be made. My master told me that copper can be said to be one of the materials with the best and most uniform thermal conductivity. However, the melting point of ordinary copper is too low and it is difficult to reach the level of all medicinal materials, melting temperature, and this copper essence is the best choice among coppers. A whole mineral vein? Lu Yuan said in disbelief. Well, so this copper essence that is one-third the size, after being made into the finished medicine cauldron, can even become the size of a house, which is enough for me to use. Oh, that's good. Do you have any samples? I don't know much about medicinal cauldrons. It would be best to have drawings or something like that. Wait a minute. Aren't you talking about money? I don't have that much money to pay you. Yuanzi said with a pout. Lu Yuan's look was a bit funny. How old are you? Little brother? Look at your tender face. Just like a little girl. He couldn't help but reach out and pinch Yuanzi's face. Yao Wanzi knocked off Lu Yuan's hand and said. I'll trade elixirs with you. Business has been bad recently. Most people think my medicines are expensive. Those who can afford it think my output is small. Then he spread all the medicines he had made on the table. Let's do this. I'll give you the medicine cauldron. From now on, you can sell your medicines to us at normal prices. I'll charge you as much as you want. But I can't sell them to others. How about that? Lu Yuan proposed cooperation. Are you going to buy me out? Then do I have no freedom? Do you want me to produce medicines like a machine? Yuanzi is still very cautious. As long as you make it normally. It's okay. There are no requirements. The products will be sold to us first. And the money will not be less for you. Is this such a good thing? You don't have a problem with your orientation, and you are attracted to my beauty. Right? Yuanzi is still worried. Lu Yuan didn't think too much. There must be many benefits to keeping a descendant of the medicine god lineage by his side. His ancestor had lived for more than a thousand years just because he took a pill. And he was getting younger and younger. This kid the future is limitless. You can sign the contract. Forget it. It's settled. My master told me that although the craftsmanship of the god of craftsman lineage is getting worse from generation to generation, the moral character of the disciples is still trustworthy. Yuanzi waved his hand and said, Is this a compliment to us? Yuanzi did not answer, but took out a small medicine cauldron and said to Lu Yuan, The medicine cauldron has three legs. There is no need to waste materials if it is more. It must be the same height without deviation. Otherwise the fire will heat it. Unevenness. The cauldron wall is the key. It must be rounded so that the temperature can be balanced and the thickness of the cauldron wall must be consistent. Otherwise, the cauldron will explode. The vent on the cauldron cover should not be too large. Take the supreme number nine and the distance must be balanced. The pores must be the same size. Lu Yuan looked at the finished medicine cauldron. Even if he didn't understand it, he could see that the cauldron did not quite match what Yuanzi said. What about the appearance? Do you have any requirements? It doesn't matter what they are. As long as they can meet the requirements, I said. That's fine. Well, I roughly understand it. But one third of this copper essence is too small. I will practice with ordinary copper or first. Since Lu Yuan knew how precious the copper essence was, he naturally did not dare to be careless. Instructing Yuanzi to wait aside, Lu Yuan casually took out a few pieces of copper or from the shop, went through the steps in his mind, took out the set of tools Uya had given him, and took out the smallest hammer among them, ready to start trying. Well, 
This looks a bit like him. Just now, he looked like a clueless novice. Yuanzi murmured to himself. Since he was practicing, Lu Yuan wasn't that focused. He glanced at Yuanzi and smiled to ease his embarrassment. He didn't blame others for saying that he was a blacksmith. He only went to see Grandmaster Special every time when he was in need. Training? Some common sense and the like. I really haven't had much contact with it. Lu Yuan first refined the copper, or several pieces of ore were refined by Lu Yuan and deliberately compressed to one third of the size of the copper essence, so that they would be of similar size when made. He kept hammering, smelting, and shaping it, and used his own eyesight to ensure the distance and thickness. Without carving any shape, a simple copper tripod was created. Ding the high-grade medicine cauldron is finished. Please give it a name. What do you think of this cauldron? It's done well. But the material is not good. And it's so small. You might as well make a few vents and use them as incense burners. Yuanzi said with a smile. Chapter 167 Chiling Cauldron Lu Yuan felt a little funny when he heard Yuanzi's sarcasm. He still remembered that the first time he saw this kid, he was blocked in a corner by a vulture and shivering. He thought he was a pretty honest person. But he didn't expect him to quite good at making fun of people. Isn't this an experiment? Can't the ordinary copper mine be made larger? It can also become larger. But the ductility is poor. It can only be a few times larger at most. And it cannot be used to make high-end medicines. Otherwise, the tripod will be melted before the medicine is melted. The craftsmanship is almost like this. Right. Well, that's basically it. You can actually make a high-level tripod using ordinary ores. And it's your first time making it. You're already very good. Although Li Yuan was affirmed. He didn't feel much about it. He had the two great skills of peak ingenuity and peak eagle eye. If he couldn't do these things well, it would really be an insult to the teacher. After having a successful experience, Lu Yuan did not plan to try again. He took out a fist-sized piece of copper essence, separated one-third of it, and then refined it. Strangely enough, the separated ore was small. But no matter how it was refined, the volume has not decreased even one centimeter. As expected, it is a crystal that incorporates the entire mineral vein. There are no impurities at all. Lu Yuan murmured to himself. That's natural. You have to be serious. Otherwise it would be a pity to waste the materials. Yuanzi stood aside and stopped disturbing. Lu Yuan stopped talking and began to smelt. Forge and shape according to the steps of the experiment without any pause. The melting point of copper essence was indeed much higher than that of ordinary copper ore. And it was also harder. Lu Yuan had no choice but to tap slowly testing the hardness of the copper essence, and then adjusted his strength, getting faster and faster. Lu Yuan still didn't do anything about the tripod, because he didn't understand the problem of uneven heating. The three legs have also been carefully observed by himself, and there are almost no errors. Lu Yuan carved a unicorn head on the lid of the tripod. The cover body is composed of circles of scales. There are nine exhaust holes corresponding to the positions of the three legs. There are three in each place. The finished glyphs are arranged. Ding congratulations on making the epic medicine cauldron. Please give it a name. Chilin Cauldron. Lu Yuan named it directly. Chilin Ding. Epic level. Can be used by alchemy specialist. Additional attributes. Increase the speed of refining medicine by 30%. Additional attributes. Increase the success rate of top quality elixirs by 35%. Additional attributes. Increase elixir output rate by 10%. Additional attributes. The size can be changed at will. And living objects can be accommodated. It is difficult to break out of the cauldron. Yuanzi took the medicine cauldron and played with it fondly. The medicine cauldron, which was originally the size of a small wine cup, turned into a medicine cauldron as tall as a person as soon as it fell to the ground. And it continued to grow. Okay. The roof will leak for me soon. Lu Yuan quickly stopped him. Only then did the pill stop. And it became the size of a sea bowl again. He held it in his hand and looked at it carefully. Seeing him like that, Lu Yuan couldn't help but ask, In your lineage of medicine gods, didn't your master pass down a medicine cauldron or something to you? What do you know? The medicine cauldron needs to be raised. My master's medicine cauldron already has a cauldron spirit, so it is difficult to change the owner. The master's medicine cauldron used to be at the epic level, but now that it has a cauldron spirit, it should be considered a spiritual weapon. Yuanzi said happily, but you are really good at medicine. You are so young and your skin is well maintained. The young man is more hydrated than the little girl. Are you taking some beauty pills? Where do I make medicine? 
Lu Yuan looked at Yuanzi and ignored him to tease him. Maybe the little boy has a stronger self-esteem now and doesn't like others calling him a bitch. Don't you have room? You'll be the ones buying it after all. Why should I travel so far? I can just refine the medicine in the blacksmith shop. Then you can go into the inner room. Except for a few of my friends. No one else has permission to go in. Lu Yuan directly arranged the pills in the inner room. And then said, If you have anything to do, just call the housekeeper after you and make it according to your mood. After Lu Yuan finished explaining, he ignored Yuanzi. After all, he still had to make a set of equipment and he still lacked materials. As for weapons, it was decided to use Tianshan ice crystals to make them. But these ice crystals are not suitable for sword hilts. Lu Yuan still has to find suitable materials. He has no materials left for the armor he wears. He used all the equipment he used to make for everyone. And recently, he has also used it. I didn't collect it, but took a look at my jewelry equipment. It was still level 20 or 30. Although the attributes were excellent, I also planned to take the opportunity to recreate it. Lu Yuan waited for a while. And Ah Fu finally came back. How is it? Lu Yuan asked. The news has been released. And it is announced every minute. It is estimated that someone will come soon. Those who have good materials are not necessarily high-end players. After all, rich or highly skilled people are often too lazy to waste time collecting materials. Instead, it is some middle-class players who collect while exploring and enjoy the fun of the game. What many players don't know is that they are actually just tools of the game company used to suppress the world. The reason why currency exchange is encouraged after leaving the novice village is obviously to use players' money to support the research and development of the game. Equipment Maintenance Some people make money through games, which is just equivalent to earning a salary from a part-time job. Making more money by getting the best products is actually equivalent to earning commissions. The more you know, the less fun you have. Lu Yuan still feels that it is better to be as ignorant as when he first entered the game. He took back his thoughts because someone had already arrived with the materials. But the materials were not in Lu Yuan's eyes. They were just mercury-rich mines and nugget gold. Brother, your materials are not high enough, Lu Yuan said. Help, brother. Just make me a level 50 warrior weapon. Look at me coming all the way here. Lu Yuan in was just a civilian player. So he softened his heart and agreed. Just this once. Lu Yuan took the ore and forged a purple rare quality long sword with ease. He didn't even bother to think about the name and just called it Mercury Sword. It might be just a simple task for Lu Yuan. But the player was so happy that he didn't even know his last name. Players arrived one after another. But after all, rare ores or materials were not that common. And there were even fewer who could catch Lu Yuan's eye. Do you think I can make any equipment out of this stone? Asked a burly guardian. Lu Yuan took the ore and took a look. Takaishi is an earth type or with a high density. However, although it is very large. There are not many metals that can be truly extracted. If there are enough ores of this quality, it can reach level 70. Equipment standards. How much do you have? This ore is good. But despite its size, it doesn't produce much metal. I have 56 yuan. Please tell me first what quality equipment I can make. The guardian asked. Level 50 or 60 epic equipment. At level 70, this alone is not enough. What? The guardian was surprised. What? Is something wrong? The old blacksmith from the Burning Sun Kingdom told me that he could only make one piece of purple rare equipment. And it would cost extra money. I almost got fooled. Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. The man was breathing heavily when he spoke. He thought he was not satisfied with the epic level equipment. How many levels do you want? Let me go! This service, epic level equipment is actually optional. Your holy city blacksmith is awesome. Chapter 168 Full of Harvest Lu Yuan thought to himself, I am a descendant of the majestic craftsman god, and I can't be too unconscionable if I hack you some materials. I'm level 48 now. Just make me a level 50 dress. Put on epic level equipment, and let's see who dares to say that I can't defend well. Lu Yuan stopped talking nonsense. It was the best solution for players who only wanted attributes. He thought of something in his mind and started to build it. The first thing was to refine the ground stone. After banging it for a while, Lu Yuan picked up a small piece of metal, said, Look at such a large piece of ore. Only such a small piece of metal is extracted. Well, I don't know if more than 50 yuan is enough. I got this accidentally in a canyon crack. I may not have it if I go there again. The player was a little nervous, 
fearing that he would not have enough materials to make good equipment. Lu Yuan actually wanted to scare him on purpose. Otherwise, it would be unreasonable to make more than 50 pieces of or into a piece of equipment. However, an ordinary blacksmith might not be able to make an epic piece of equipment if he was given 500 pieces of speed. Lu Yuan spent his own money to buy some materials such as Turtle SH. LS and started making ding dang ding. It didn't take long for Lu Yuan to complete this heavy armor. It was full of muscles and all had defensive attributes. For a mediocre player, this piece of epic equipment was of great significance. In his circle of friends, it will definitely be the center of attention. Lu Yuan directly named this piece of clothing Muscular Man's Heavy Armor. Firstly, it fit the appearance of the armor. And secondly, he also made fun of the burly figure of the brother outside. When the guardian took the heavy armor, he burst into tears with excitement and praised Lu Yuan. Brother, not only are you good at making equipment, but the names of the equipment you make are so satisfying. This player probably didn't know that he could name his own equipment and thought it was a random name. Lu Yuan didn't bother to explain that only 10 pieces of Dikai stone were used to make this equipment and the rest was mixed with nugget gold. Level 50. It would be bad if the purity of a single ore in the equipment is too high. In this way, Lu Yuan earned 46 pieces of Dikai stone. Boss, what do you think I can do with this material? An assassin player behind saw the one in front of him coming up with epic equipment and hurriedly asked. Lu Yuan took the 10 pieces of iron ore. He didn't know what to say, so he could only shout. Af you, go outside and sort it out. Don't bother anyone who is causing trouble. After Af you's screening, the quality of the ore has indeed improved a lot. Although Lu Yuan is opportunistic to earn some ores and materials, Lu Yuan is serious about making equipment. I am afraid that no one in this continent except Oh, you can do this. Beyond Lu Yuan, put everything to good use. If these ores were placed in the hands of ordinary blacksmiths, the equipment they made would be ordinary. It was better to let Lu Yuan make good use of them. In the end, when Lu Yuan was called out for dinner, he collected a total of useful ores. 46 pieces of ground stone. 20 pieces of black bismuth gold ore. 15 pieces of give sight. 18 pieces of refractory ore. 20 pieces of poisonous heavy stone. There are also many materials with various attributes that can be used as auxiliary materials. Although they don't look like many, there are really few rare ores. Lu Yuan is very satisfied with having so many. Zhao Jiozhou seems to have disappeared. He hasn't appeared in the Guild War for so many days. Fan Ro said while eating. Lu Yuan, are you okay? You just ran out of the hospital and played games. Xiao Lui said with some reproach. Lu Yi, your family's martial arts is indeed amazing. Lu Yuan's back didn't even have any scars left at all. Li Tong heard Xiao Lui's accusation and helped out. There are many injuries and they will not be healed as soon as the appearance improves. The energy and blood still need to be nursed back to make up for it. Then make some chicken soup tomorrow to replenish him. I'll get him some juju brown sugar water later. The three women said something to each other, and it was not Lu Yuan's turn to interrupt. So Lu Yuan simply kept eating. Lu Yuan, Xiao Jiuzhou tricked you like this. Don't you want to take revenge? Sooner or later the account will have to be settled. But I heard that you have been fighting guild wars for several days. If he doesn't show up, it would be meaningless for me to follow and kill those guild people. Lu Yuan also knew that these people ignore the guild wars every day. Just to vent your anger, Xiao Lui sighed and said, This man has a very deep mind. He usually looks dignified. Although I knew he was not an upright person. I didn't expect him to be so despicable. How could all things in time be the same on the outside and inside? Everyone had their own thoughts after hearing this. Are you planning to join us later? Li Tong asked. No, my equipment is all broken. I want to build a new set of equipment. I will help you make a bow when I have time. I still have the tendon of the python I killed before. After everyone had dinner, there was nothing special. Lu Yuan logged into the game directly. He had almost collected the materials and started to build his own equipment. The ores this time are very mixed. Although there are a lot of earth stones. I am a warrior after all. If I blindly increase defense, it is not the best to only use this earth attribute or, after taking a look at the four attributes of water, fire, earth, and metal, I decided to make an equipment with all five elements. Everything was very balanced. If there was no wood attribute, I would use poison attribute ores instead. Just as Lu Yuan was about to start making his own equipment, a weak voice came from outside the store. Excuse me, can I still make equipment for free? It's over. Come earlier next time. 
The butler Ah Fu was afraid that someone would disturb Lu Yuan. So he kept guard outside the store. Oh, that's a pity. I wasn't here during the day. Later, I heard from my friends that the probability of getting the best equipment here is high. So I wanted to try this stone. The player said and took out a large piece of brown or with pits. Afu, call him over and help him build it once. The player walked in and handed over a large piece of ore. It was more like an ore than a meteorite. The head of the ore was unusually smooth and round. But the tail was pitted. Meteorite, the remnants of fallen meteorites, which are extremely hard. With a simple introduction, Lu Yuan could tell at a glance how valuable this meteorite was. What do you want to do with it? I want to make a weapon. Lu Yuan shook his head and said, It is too wasteful to use this or as a doctor's short-term weapon. Forget it if you can't do it. I just want to use it as a weapon. The doctor outside said firmly, Are you selling it? I can charge it at a high price. You can buy any weapons with the money. Not for sale. Then I will use other materials to make an epic short battle for you. How about trading it with you? Lu Yuan said unwillingly and unwilling to give up. I want this weapon made of star iron. The doctor outside insisted. The doctor Lu Yuan Yuan was about to put away the ore and quickly stopped him. He nodded with some regret. Okay, I'll do it for you. Lu Yuan looked at the meteorite iron in his hand with extremely complicated emotions. If it were made into a sharp weapon such as a sword, how sharp it would be. But it was a short sword. If this wasn't a violent act of nature, what could it be? But with this extraterrestrial meteorite, even if there is only a small piece left, my weapon will be perfect. This can be regarded as a blessing and misfortune. Chapter 169 Five Elements Natural Disaster Set Lu Yuan had no choice when encountering such a stubborn person. He couldn't snatch the materials away. As a doctor's weapon, the short stick basically didn't add any attack power. So as long as the stick body was strong and some materials were added to increase the healing capacity, you can make a very good weapon. It seems that the short stick is very short. But the solid body of the stick actually uses a lot of materials. The meteorite iron seems to be very special and difficult to fuse with other metals. No matter how Li Yuan smelt it, he still can't blend into it. So he can only endure the waste of materials. Heartache. Making a short battle. If the player outside is fooled, he actually won't be able to tell after the production is completed. But a gentleman loves money in a wise way. As a craftsman, Lu Yuan's bottom line is to withhold some materials without affecting the equipment. How can you deceive the guests? Short sticks are mostly made of wood, and are generally short and thick in the shape of a mallet. However, Lu Yuan felt that it was unsightly and a waste of materials. So he made the stick body into a cylindrical shape as thick as a stick, and the head of the stick was curved with two crescents. The shape of the blade, between the two curved blades, is inlaid with a gemstone that increases the amount of healing. The two blades on the head of the staff are not simple. They are as sharp as any sword. But they look like decorations from the outside. Ding congratulations on successfully creating the epic short battle. Please name it. Lu Yuan had no worries about the quality of the equipment. As for the materials, he thought about it after the production was completed. For him, using such good materials for a doctor's weapon was a waste. But for the doctor profession, he wanted to have a top quality weapon. Why not? Blessing of the moon. Lu Yuan gave this short stick a nice name. The blade of the stick is like a crescent moon. The name fits the characteristics of the doctor's profession. Seeing the doctor player happily leading with his new weapon, Lu Yuan's heart seemed to be touched by something. You may not like dumplings, but you cannot say that they are not delicious. As a craftsman, you should not look at everyone based on your own preferences, nor should you judge others. Afu, that's it for today. Don't let anyone disturb me. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he was immersed in the realization, and it took a while before he opened his eyes. First, he took out the ground Kaisher and started to build armor for himself. With actual combat experience, Lu Yuan paid more attention to flexibility and protection of key parts. A hard guard for the heart was essential, and he planned to make a protective shield for the left hand. A small shield slightly wider than the palm of your hand, so you don't have to use your full weapon when blocking, and it doesn't affect your flexibility. The shoulders are prepared to be made into shoulder pads, which are shaped like a basalt turtle sh. L. With spikes protruding from them, which can cause damage when struck. The height of the protrusions can also protect one's neck. After conceiving the idea, I picked up the ore and started making it. After so long experience, I have already mastered this set of processes, and I already have the finished product in mind. 
and there is no hesitation in starting. There was a clanging sound in the blacksmith's shop, and all the blacksmith clerks put down their work, and their eyes were all drawn to Lu Yuan. Although they couldn't understand some, they just couldn't keep their eyes away. Lu Yuan focused on nothing else. Smelting and forging. Creating the shape of the equipment step by step. Adjusting local details time and time again. And integrating materials with added defense and earth properties into it. When the equipment was formed, he deliberately placed it in the front center position. Using the remaining Tianwei meteor, the breastplate was made of iron and inlaid on the armor. The ground stone is originally earth yellow. After refining and polishing, the finished clothes are like golden armor. Only the breast shield on the chest is dark and shiny. It is so conspicuous that it will definitely become a priority attack target. But the breast shield is, but it happens to be the hardest part of this armor. Ding congratulations on successfully making the epic armor. Please name it. Five Elements Ground Opening Armor. Lu Yuan didn't think much and directly named it after the name of the or starting with five elements. The armor received the backpack without looking carefully and then took out the black bismuth gold or to make leggings. The bottoms fit perfectly according to the proportions of my legs. Knee pads were specially added to the knees. And many materials were added to increase attack. Constantly smelting and forging. After the black bismuth gold ore is refined. In addition to gold. There are also traces of black threads. Lu Yuan cleverly made the black threads to the edges and corners of the leggings. Just like the shadow of muscles. Which does not affect the effect. But makes it more three-dimensional and beautiful. Ding congratulations on successfully making the epic leggings. Please name them. Five elements bismuth gold leg armor. Lu Yuan kept moving. And directly took out the poisonous heavy stone. And prepared to use it to make a belt. The poisonous heavy stone was originally dark green. And after being refined. It was close to black. Lu Yuan added a lot of highly toxic materials. And the metal body turned pitch black. In order to match the basalt turtle sh. L on the shoulder pads and the middle buckle of the black wide belt. Lu Yuan made the appearance of a basalt head with clearly defined and powerful water chestnuts. Ding congratulations on successfully making the epic belt. Please name it. Five elements poison heavy belt. He kept taking out the gib sight with both hands. Lu Yuan planned to make combat boots from the gib sight. After special treatment and forging, the already somewhat transparent gib sight became softer. He took out a carefully selected ice type the material is added and the gibsite suddenly has a moderate softness and hardness. Some bismuth gold or is also added as the sole, and the color can match various parts of the body. There are some random patterns carved on the boots, and the tips of the shoes are specially pointed, so that when you use your fists and kicks, you will get some extra attack damage. Ding congratulations on successfully making the epic boots. Please name them. Five elements water aluminum boots. Lu Yuan took out the refractory fire, or from the helmet part. After refining and adding fire-based materials, they were turned orange-red. Lu Yuan also added some bismuth gold or into it, and connected a 10-centimeter soft piece under the helmet. Armor. Further protecting the back of the neck. The edge of the helmet is shaped like a flame, extending to the top of the head. The gold on the bottom, and the red on top echo the body. Ding congratulations on successfully making the epic helmet. Please name it. Five Elements Fire Helmet. After all five pieces of armor were completed. A prompt sounded from the system. Congratulations. The armor you made meets the set standard. Please name it. Lu Yuan was stunned. This was not the first time he had made a suit. But it was the first time he had triggered the suit's attributes. In the past, he had always made it in the direction of suits. But only a single piece of equipment was powerful. But the suit's attributes were not activated. Five Elements Natural Disaster Set. Lu Yuan took a look at the attributes of the set and gave it an appropriate name. Lu Yuan didn't have time to take a closer look at the properties. He didn't stop. His current condition was very good. Lu Yuan didn't dare to interrupt at will. With this mysterious feeling, Lu Yuan directly took out the Tian Shan ice crystal and the remaining small piece, meteoric iron, intending to directly build a new weapon. Lu Yuan had already thought about the shape of the weapon in his mind. The moment he saw the meteorite, the new weapon had already taken shape in Lu Yuan's mind. There was silence in the blacksmith shop, and the blacksmith old Lu was stunned. He didn't expect that his boss was making top quality equipment like an assembly line. Chapter 170 Shadowless Sword Lu Yuan began to refine the Tian Shan ice crystal. This ice crystal was extremely sharp. Every time he dropped the hammer, he felt like he was colliding with the enemy's weapon. Lu Yuan could even feel the environment in which ice crystals were formed. The wind was as sharp as a knife, 
and the cold was extremely cold. They were formed from nothing and condensed in this extreme environment. Lu Yuan only needed one and a half pieces of Tian Shan ice crystal to complete his weapon, leaving three pieces in his storage ring. The remaining half Lu Yuan planned to make some arrows for Li Tom later. The process of refining and smelting the ice crystals was also difficult. The ice crystals had a very high melting point and were insoluble in fire. Lu Yuan simply gave up on the smelting and directly forged them with a forging hammer. The ice crystal did not break as expected, but kept changing its shape with the hammer. After hammering for a long time, it was finally beaten into a sword shape. During this period, the forging hammers were changed three times, and they were all broken while beating the ice crystal. Damaged, Lu Yuan had never seen an unopened weapon with such power. Lu Yuan then used meteorite iron to forge the hilt of the sword. When he made the breast shield himself, he had already calculated the size. The meteorite iron did not need to be refined. After being smelted and shaped, it took shape quickly. The hilt of the sword is about 15 centimeters, and there is room for one hand to hold it. The cross-shaped guard is one finger and a half wide, one finger thick, and 10 centimeters long. It is a simple straight line. The sword body was two fingers wide and one meter long, and was connected to the hilt through the sword tongue. After it was fixed, Lu Yuan began to polish it. Although it was already very sharp, Lu Yuan could see that it was far from that. The limit of spar. The sword body is originally made very thin, so both sides must be very fine when polishing. If you are not careful, the sword body will be destroyed. It was even more difficult when the sword tip was ready to be polished. Several whetstones had been damaged before the sharp sword tip was fully formed. Lu Yuan's eagle, I had reached its peak, but it still hurt from the sword light. Even so, he didn't dare to neglect it and polished it more carefully. This is the first time Li Yuan has made a sword like this. In the past, it was a repeated process of smelting and forging, then quenching and cooling, and finally polishing. However, this sword omits all smelting and quenching, relying entirely on the material itself and polishing. Li Yuan kept polishing and perfecting it, and it seemed that there was no deviation at all. But there was no sign of successful forging. The whetstone was damaged one by one by the sword's edge. In Li Yuan's opinion, the sword's edge had been polished very well. Perfect. But still no response. Li Yuan was also aroused and got into trouble with this sword. Except for going offline to eat and go to the toilet. He spent the rest of the time polishing it. It took three days and three nights to polish it. Exactly thirty days had passed in the game. Li Yuan was still polishing it tirelessly. And the clerks in the shop had already gone about their business. Even the blacksmith old Lu changed from his admiration at the beginning to questioning thinking that his boss would not admit failure, and he would face his hardening. After all, a month has passed in the game world. The clear sky suddenly darkened. Everyone looked towards the sky and saw a stream of light cutting through the sky, heading straight for the blacksmith's shop, and finally fell on the sword. When the divine weapon was born, the sun and the moon failed to shine. It turned out that the sword in Lu Yuan's hand was finally polished, and even the light of the sun and moon was absorbed into the sword. After a while, the sky cleared again. Ding congratulations on successfully making a pseudo-artifact. Please name the sword. Lu Yuan looked at the almost transparent long sword in his hand and was very excited. Is it a fake artifact? Is he finally close to the realm of the ancestor? Shadowless sword. Lu Yuan looked at the long sword in his hand and could only think of these three words. Ding congratulations to player Bu Daowan for successfully forging the pseudo-artifact Shadowless Sword. Dot. Ding congratulations to player Bu Daowan for successfully forging the pseudo artifact Shadowless Sword. Dot. Ding congratulations to player Bu Daowan for successfully forging the pseudo artifact Shadowless Sword. Dot. The world announcement was broadcast three times in a row. All players on the server were shocked, and the world channel was even more chaotic. Fake artifact? I haven't even seen epic equipment. Is it this guy again? Last time it was strengthened to 16, and this time there's another magic weapon? Here I go. I'm also a blacksmith. I have trouble making purple rare level equipment. But he actually made an artifact? Resist cheating and advocate fair games. Resisting is not a good idea. Return me the pure land of Taoyuan. All of Li Yuan's friends also hurriedly sent messages to inquire. And those with quick legs were already running to the blacksmith's shop. Wanting to see the artifact. Li Yuan finally relaxed and could take a look at the properties of the equipment he forged. Shadowless sword. False artifact. No level occupation required. Attack power, 9,200-9,200. Additional attributes, 
Increase own attack power by 40%. Additional attributes. 50% chance of ignoring enemy defense. Additional attributes. Lightness. The sword body is extremely light. And the attack speed is increased by 50%. Additional attribute. Ice attribute attack. There is a high chance of freezing the opponent when attacking. And the wound is difficult to heal. Additional skills. Sun and moon shine. Windborn. It absorbs the light of the sun and moon. Causing the sun and moon to lose light. It can actively release the light in the sword. Blinding all enemies around it. P.S. When the divine weapon was born. The sun and the moon failed to shine. And the sword was almost transparent. Making it difficult to detect. When someone blocked it. It was already damaged. And the real killing was invisible. Lu Yuan looked at the light red weapon name. And these amazing attributes. And he couldn't believe that it was made by his own hand. Each of the five additional attributes was the best of the best. There was no restriction on level occupations. Even for children. You can hurt anyone with this sword. Maybe this is the power of the artifact. This is just a fake artifact. I don't know what the real artifact can achieve. Lu Yuan can't help but yearn for it. After putting on his own armor. He has only been focusing on building weapons for so many days without even taking a closer look at the attributes of the armor. How many surprises can the five elements natural disaster set bring to him? Five elements ground opening war armor. Epic level. Level 60 melee profession. Physical defense plus 9600. Magic defense plus 9600. Strength plus 960. Stamina plus 960. Additional attributes. Increase own defense by 30%. Additional attributes, increase own earth attribute resistance by 30%. Additional attribute, counter damage. When receiving a physical attack, 15% of the damage will be counterattacked to the enemy in the form of magic attack. Additional attributes, there is a 5% chance of triggering an earthquake when attacking. The ground within 10 meters of the target will vibrate violently, causing the enemy to fall down. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. 5 Elements Bismuth Gold Leg Armor. Epic Quality. Level 60 Melee Profession. Physical Defense plus 7,200. Magic Defense plus 7,200. Strength plus 720. Stamina plus 720. Additional Attributes. Increase own attack power by 30%. Additional Attributes. Increase own endurance by 30%. Additional Attributes. Cuts caused by sharp objects. Metal Bonus. Making the wounds difficult to heal. And the treatment effect is weakened. Additional Attributes. When receiving a fatal attack, a metal light shield is produced to block an attack. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Five Elements Poison Heavy Belt. Epic Quality. Level 60 Melee Profession. Physical Defense plus 7200. Magic Defense plus 7200. Strength plus 720. Stamina plus 720. Additional Attribute. Poison Attribute Resistance Increased by 30%. Additional Attributes. Defense Increased by 20%. Additional attributes, poisoning. There is a 5% chance of causing the enemy to enter a poison state when attacking. And the enemy will continue to lose blood for 15 seconds. Similar effects cannot be superimposed. Additional attribute, poisonous mist. When attacking, there is a 5% chance that a large poisonous mist will appear within 10 meters of itself. Enemies in the poisonous mist will continue to lose blood. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Five elements water aluminum boots. Epic quality. Level 60 Melee Profession. Physical Defense plus 4,800. Magic Defense plus 4,800. Strength plus 480. Stamina plus 480. Additional Attributes. Increase Own Agility by 35%. Additional Attributes. Increase Own Movement Speed by 35%. Additional Attributes. Increase Water Attribute Resistance by 30%. Additional Attribute. When Attacking. There is a 5% chance of causing Freeze to appear within 10 range of itself. The enemy under attack has a chance to be frozen by ice and unable to move. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Five Elements Fire Helmet. Epic Level. Level 60 Melee Profession. Physical Defense plus 4,400. Magic Defense plus 4,400. Strength plus 440. Stamina plus 440. Additional Attributes. Head Damage Reduced by 35% when received from Bow and Arrow Headshots neck cuts, etc. Additional attribute, fire attribute resistance increased by 30%. Additional attribute, burning. There is a 5% chance of causing the enemy to enter a burning effect when attacking, which will continue to lose blood for 15 seconds. 
similar effects cannot be superimposed. Additional attribute, Earth Fire. When attacking, there is a 5% chance that Earth Fire will appear within 10 meters of itself, causing a large amount of damage to the enemy. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Additional skills of the five elements Natural Disaster set, Natural Disaster. A ball with extremely unstable attributes mixed with various attributes. It explodes after being launched towards the enemy, causing horrific damage. The cooldown time is 30 minutes, and the damage to players is halved. Seeing these attributes, Lu Yuan was so happy that he almost fainted. After falling into that state, he only thought about making equipment and did not think about what the equipment would be like. Is this the legendary divine help? After concentrating for so many days in a row, Lu Yuan was also a little tired, especially his eyes, which felt like needles and burning. He really wanted to put on some eye drops, but there was no such thing in the game. I hurts! Lu Yuan turned around and found that Yuanzi was behind him. Um, take one and apply it on your eyes. Close your eyes and rest for a while. Yuanzi handed over two green leaves. Lu Yuan Zhao felt much better after doing it. After a while, all Lu Yuan's friends came to the blacksmith shop. Even Zhao Xingha, who was busy dating every day, came. Boss, let us see what the artifact looks like. Let him rest for a while first. Yuanzi hissed. Who are you? Yuanzi saw too many people. So he stopped talking and went back to the inner room to refine the medicine. Sisters-in-law, I'm so mad. The boss is hiding a man in the house. Lu Yuan took off the leaves above his eyes and said, I haven't seen you for a few days, and you will be talkative when you come. Let's take a look. Lu Yuan casually took out the shadowless sword and handed it to Zhang Yu. Boss, what's the hilt of your sword for? Look carefully. Wow. Everyone gathered around curiously. Be careful not to cut your hand. By the way, please help me collect some strengthening stones. I'm going to start strengthening, Lu Yuan said to everyone. But everyone was watching the artifact. And I don't know if they heard it. At the same time, there was a room full of scientific research equipment. Mr. Zhao, there was a report in the game that that guy Lu Yuan made a fake artifact. Well, I tried to win over him before. But they already turned against each other in the last battle. It's probably irreversible. Then what should we do? Let's destroy that watch before it becomes popular. It's a pity though. Mr. Zhao still loves talent so much. I hope we can successfully develop it as soon as possible. So that our power in reality will be unmatched. Take two watches and send two younger brothers. One look is enough for me. Who in the real world can stop a stealth assassination? The ones who spoke were clearly Zhao Jiozhou and Feng Tao. The lost watches were also in the hands of these two people. A group of scientific researchers in the room were analyzing and replicating Tao Yuan Company's watches. Chapter 17115 Stars All Over the Body Lu Yuan took a short rest and felt that his mental state was much better. It seemed that everyone was happier than him. Who is that person? Fong Ro asked. He is a descendant of the god of medicine. I asked him to refine the medicine here, and the medicine will be recycled directly. Oh, it always looks weird. I don't think there's anything strange about it. It's just that my skin is a bit too good. And my eyes are big. A bit like a boy. My ancestor just took the elixir from their lineage of medicine gods. As a result, after more than a thousand years, he looks at me. We are similar in age. So the lineage of the medicine god may be well maintained. Lu Yuan thought for a moment and replied. That's right. It seems that it's important to have a good relationship with him. If you just give him some magic medicine, you can stay young forever. Lu Yuan stopped chatting. He still had a lot of work to do. This time, he was injured and his companions' lives were in danger. Next time, he might not be so lucky. Only by being stronger can he protect himself and those close to him. After thinking about it, I decided not to make my own jewelry first. Because there are too many people now. And I will inevitably be distracted. I decided to make the weapons I promised Li Tong first. And then study making my own jewelry. Lu Yuan thought for a while, divided the remaining copper essence into two parts, and began to build it. Boss, what are you doing? Get some copper or and make models? Zhang Yu asked in confusion. When have you ever seen Lu Yuan playing around? Just watch. Li Tong replied. This sword is just a pseudo-sacred weapon. Not to mention it's very handsome. This sword is really capable of fighting. I'm afraid it's hard for the enemy to see the sword coming out. No wonder it's called the Shadowless Sword. The most important thing is that there are no restrictions on professions and levels. 
Even though it looks too thin, I don't know if the knot is strong or not. Zhao Xingha held the shadowless sword in his hand and waved it lightly towards the open space. The square table one meter in front of him instantly disappeared. He was cut in half and didn't even make a sound. This, Zhao Xingha looked in disbelief and was a little speechless. Ah Fu came over and said, The table is high and solid with furniture, and it has been coated with paste for many years. Please pay the price according to the price of 50 gold coins. The table is still covered in pulp. Go. Be careful. I'll let your boss fire you. Zhang Yu waved his hand and said. Ah Fu rolled his eyes and went to watch the clerk at work with a smile. Not to mention that this little housekeeper knows how to manage things. Zhao Xingha said with a smile. Can't you see that he did it on purpose? Xiao Lui said. Oh, he knew we couldn't compensate. So he came here on purpose to appear to be in charge. Zhang Yu suddenly realized. What are you talking about? Lu Yuan had already walked over with a bow and arrow. Is it over so soon? Well, it's a top quality material. You don't need to specifically process it, as long as you straighten out the texture of the ore. Shape it, and work out the details. It will naturally become a good weapon. Boss, are you kidding me? Who are you going to shoot with a palm-sized bow and arrow? Don't look at how small you are now. When it grows bigger, it can be taller than you. He handed the bow and arrow to Li Tong and said, when you equip it, you can control the size with your mind. These are arrows made of Tian Shan ice crystals. There are only five of them for the time being. It has a better anti-proofing effect and can also produce a freezing effect. If it is convenient to recycle it after use, it can be reused. Li Tong took the bow and arrow. Sure enough, the bow and arrow had become bigger and the size could be controlled freely. The name was even more aptly named Rui Bao. Boss, please make me a stick like this. Then I can be Sung Yukong. The name of the equipment will be Rui Golden Kajal Dot. Zheng Yu said with a greedy look on his face. Lu Yuan shook his head and said, This copper essence is not suitable for use as a melee weapon. It is not hard enough. Because of its excellent toughness, it is more suitable for bows and arrows. In addition, the forest python's tendons are also very stretchable. These two the materials are a perfect match. Zheng Yu nodded disappointedly. Lu Yuan continued, do you have any extra strengthening stones? I plan to strengthen the equipment first, and then change the jewelry. If you have anything that needs to be made, you can tell me. There are many auction houses for strengthening stones now. Since Xiao Jiuzhou disappeared, the auction houses have also returned to stability. I don't know if there is any relationship. Xiao Xingha replied, Luo Yi, there are no materials that are particularly suitable for the fire element recently. There is a kind of refractory, or that I use to make armor. I will help you redo your weapon when I find suitable materials. Lu Yuan suddenly thought, Xiao Lui, the weapon is still the one given by the tournament. It doesn't matter. This weapon is very useful. A more advanced weapon may not necessarily have better attributes than it. It has a little more basic damage. But it is better to have a few practical and good attributes. Xiao Lui said indifferently. Lu Yuan nodded. This idea is correct. Although some equipment is of low level, in terms of practical effect, it is not necessarily worse than high-level equipment. Level 40 epic weapons are not necessarily worse than level 60 rare weapons. Base damage isn't everything. After chatting for a while, Lu Yuan was fully relaxed. He asked everyone if they needed to strengthen their equipment. Everyone said that they should just take care of their own affairs first. No one wanted to burden Lu Yuan anymore at this time. It's not a matter of minutes when he will be free. It is estimated that only the descendants of the craftsman god lineage would dare to talk about strengthening above 13 stars so lightly. It would be much easier to buy reinforcement stones at the auction house. In terms of gold coins, Lu Yuan is no less than anyone else. After all, there is a blacksmith shop that makes crazy money every day. If he does not pay taxes, he will probably earn more. But tax evasion is shameful, and Lu Yuan strives to be a good, law-abiding citizen. After the strengthening stones were prepared, Lu Yuan took out his battle armor first. Since the breast shield and the battle armor were not made of the same material, Lu Yuan specially strengthened the strength of the breast shield to connect it with the battle armor. It became stronger, and then the small shield on the left hand guard was strengthened. Since the clothes were larger, there were many places that could be strengthened, so it was strengthened to 15 stars casually. Lu Yuan had no intention of continuing to strengthen it. After all, the limit was not that high. What a breakthrough. The leggings mainly strengthened the knees and increased the overall strength after the strengthening. 
The shoes do not feel heavy, but become lighter. The belt is small, and every part is evenly strengthened, and the basalt head carvings on the buckles after strengthening. It looks even more impressive. The helmet mainly strengthens the neck guard connected below, as well as the overall toughness. I looked at my armor, all of which reached 15 stars. When I strengthened two 12-star armors, I felt dizzy. Now I have made the artifact for three days in a row, and then strengthened another 15-star armor, and I still feel like I still have enough power. Wearing 15-star equipment for the first time, Lu Yuan turned on all the special effects, and the unique golden light of the epic level equipment shined brightly. The attributes of the suit were combined with the 15-star equipment, and deep purple thunder and lightning flashed back and forth on the surface of the equipment. It is estimated that if you wear this on the battlefield, you don't need to take action. As long as you stand there, everyone will know that this person is not easy to mess with. After stretching his muscles, he picked up the shadowless sword and looked at it carefully, muttering to himself. Next, let's see how the pseudo-artifact can be strengthened. Chapter 172 18 stars. All the body armor has been strengthened to 15 stars. Every 5-star upgrade of level 60 equipment will indeed produce an inlay slot. And for Lu Yuan, naturally he can inlay the gem wherever he wants. After looking at the auction house, the primary gems cost 1 gold coin each and the strength and intelligence gems were sold to three gold coins. The quantity was still very rare. It seemed that players had not started fighting monsters above level 60 yet. Looking inside his backpack, he saw the high-grade gemstone given to him by IKA from the western region country. Only now did he know its value. Instead of rushing to inlay it, Lu Yuan decided to strengthen the shadowless sword first, and then use the remaining materials to make jewelry. After all, Lu Yuan had not made jewelry specifically yet, and didn't know what it would look like. The hilt of the shadowless sword is made of meteorite iron, which is already strong enough. So Lu Yuan plans to focus on the sword body. It's not that Lu Yuan doesn't want to strengthen the blade, but after polishing, the blade has reached its limit. If it is strengthened, it will be counterproductive. The sword body was now translucent. If it weren't for the fact that the scene seen through the sword body was a little distorted, as if there was nothing there, Lu Yuan began to strengthen it from bottom to top. Generally, it is easiest to strengthen a weapon by one star. But when Lu Yuan was about to strike, when he suddenly felt something was wrong, this feeling is as if the 15-star thing is about to be strengthened. The shadowless sword is shaking crazily, seemingly repelling the integration of the strengthening stone, and seems to automatically launch an attack on Lu Yuan at any time. This situation will only occur when the level is strengthened to 14-15 stars. And when this happens, the same part is strengthened to the limit. Now one star is like this, which means that if you want to successfully reach 15 stars, it is equivalent to continuous strengthening. 15 times 15. The difficulty can be imagined. Lu Yuan no longer hesitated, took out the synthesized special grade strengthening stone, and successfully integrated it with the sword body with just one strike. At this time, Lu Yuan was sweating profusely. This hammer seemed to consume a lot of Lu Yuan's physical strength, and a deep sword mark was left on the forging hammer. The sword body is flat, and the forging hammer should not be damaged. Lu Yuan wiped his sweat casually, and smiled at the shadowless sword. Young man, you have quite a bad temper. Let's see which one of us is better. The shadowless sword actually let out a soft cry, and Lu Yuan took out a few strengthening stones. Regardless of the shadowless sword's resistance, he took out a new forging hammer, and the hammers jingled for a few times. This time the forging hammer was not damaged but there were several sword marks on the wall behind Li Yuan, and they had come out through the wall. How dare you attack your master? It's treasonous. It turns out that every time Li Yuan hits the hammer, the shadowless sword will launch an attack, which is like Li Yuan's key attack. He is strengthening while avoiding the attack at the same time. You can imagine the difficulty. Boss, if you keep doing this, I'm afraid the store will collapse. Li Yuan seemed not to have heard and ignored the butler Ah Fu. At this moment, he could only see the sword. This sword had always been against him since it was forged. Now that it had begun to strengthen, it actually started to fight back, issuing sword energy attacks on its own. Polishing it alone took a month of game time, although the real world only lasts for three days. Everything in the game develops according to the game time. The definition of time in the two worlds is different. But in the game, it feels like one day it's also very long. Although it's only equivalent to 2.4 hours in real life. This long polishing process not only sharpens the blade but the heart. 
It is a competition between Lu Yuan and the Shadowless Sword. They are competing with Lu Yuan all the time. And Lu Yuan also suppresses it with his powerful aura. Finally, it was polished successfully. After strengthening it this time, the Shadowless Sword actually resisted again, as if it felt that it should not be manipulated by others, and that it should have freedom instead of being controlled by others. Your sword is very good. It already has consciousness. Over time, maybe a sword spirit will be born. Lu Yuan turned around, and it turned out that Yao Wanzi heard the noise and came out. Yao Wanzi obviously had good theoretical knowledge, since his master could live for more than a thousand years. The Yaoshan himself must also be alive. Yao Wanzi devoted himself to learning medicine, and he must have taught him everything from the medicine god himself. So he must know a lot. Originally, weapon spirits, sword spirits, and the like should be regarded as Lu Yuan's specialty. But Lu Yuan would run into fights every two days, and had not systematically learned these knowledge. Maybe, but no matter what it breathes, it must surrender to me. How could the lineage of the god of craftsmen be defeated by the sword it made? After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he regained his composure, raised the forging hammer with great momentum, and began to beat it with a clanging sound, while the strengthening stone continued to be integrated into the shadowless sword. Lu Yuan's hands kept moving, but his body was dodging strangely from left to right. The sword marks on the wall behind him were also increasing, and the sunlight shone into the blacksmith's shop through the sword marks. Lu Yuan who was sweating profusely, still had a firm look in his eyes. He strengthened to the point where his will was supporting him, and the world channel had already exploded. Announcement! Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 12 stars. Announcement! Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 13 stars. Announcement! Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 14 stars. Announcement! Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 15 stars. Announcement. Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 16 stars. Announcement. Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 17 stars. Lu Yuan ignored it and strengthened it to 17 stars. At this time, the sword body was completely transparent. Even if Lu Yuan had peak eagle eyes, he could barely see the sword body. Only the tip of the sword was still intact. Lu Yuan threw the strengthening stone. The forging hammer seemed to have suction. And it hit the shadowless sword with the strengthening stone. The golden light suddenly appeared. And everyone except Lu Yuan lost their vision. They could feel the stinging pain even with their eyes closed. The shadowless sword finally stopped resisting and actually floated in front of Lu Yuan. Chirping quietly like a gentle kitten. The wall behind him finally couldn't bear it anymore and collapsed suddenly. Fortunately, there was more than one support in the house. Otherwise, the shops will be destroyed. Announcement. Congratulations to player Budaowan for successfully strengthening the Shadowless Sword to plus 18 stars. The Shadowless Sword is truly shadowless at this moment. Even Li Yuan can no longer see the sword body. However, because he has been recognized by the Shadowless Sword, Lu Yuan can sense the existence of the sword body and will not be unable to control when swinging the sword. Good distance. It's this kid again. I can't complain anymore. GM, can't you see someone is cheating? No Dao Wan. No Dao Wan. I love Bu Dao Wan. A group of supporters suddenly appeared on the world channel. If you don't want to be happy, I will give you a monkey. Great God. Please take care of me. I can warm the bed. Lu Yuan didn't pay attention to the chaos in the world channel. He gently held the hilt of the shadowless sword and stroked the sword body with two fingers, breaking through the limit again. Lu Yuan felt calm in his heart. He put away the shadowless sword, put his hands behind his back, looked up at the sky and murmured to himself, Master Oyi, I don't know that I am still far away from the realm you mentioned. How far? Brother Zhang Feng, if you saw my current achievements, would you be happy for me? Only craftsmen can understand craftsmen. At this time, Lu Yuan actually felt a little lonely. Chapter 173 Sword Test Boss, is it over? If it's over, I'll go find someone to repair the wall. Butler Afu asked. Only then did Lu Yuan realize that everyone was already standing outside the blacksmith's shop. They were probably frightened by the scene just now. Go, everyone. Come back and continue working. Lu Yuan said to everyone. The blacksmith's shop quickly returned to normal. And craftsmen were repairing the back wall. After Afu's promotion, more players came to the Holy City blacksmith's shop to upgrade their equipment. 
and there was a long queue outside the shop again. Lu Yuan also felt a little tired. It seemed that the production of jewelry had to be postponed again. This armor was enough for him, for the time being. Besides, the properties of his jewelry were still very practical. The necklace plus the percentage of the upper limit of health could be said to have many levels. It's not outdated. The Pope's ring has five dimensions and a high value. Only the bracelet is relatively weak. The two zombies summoned are no longer practical. Boss, I see you have finished strengthening. Do you want to level up and try out the new sword? Zheng Yu sent a message. Lu Yuan thought for a while and replied. That's fine. Level is also a part of strength. You organize people. Lu Yuan clicked on his character attribute panel. After changing to new equipment, his attributes skyrocketed, and all the 15-star weapons were strengthened to reach 18 stars. As for the jewelry, Lu Yuan planned to make new ones, and he did not plan to strengthen them for the time being. Not happy. Level 52. HP, 71,246. Magic value, 12280. Attack power, 75165. Physical defense, 65550. Magic defense, 65550. Strength, 4,343. Intelligence, 830. Spirit, 788. Endurance, 5,482. Agility, 1,139. Skills learned, slam. Charge, Sonfeng blood armor. Whirlwind slash. Lightning slash. Waiting moon slash. And death slash. Special skills, thousand army kill. Mysterious shura slash. Burning blood slash. Void Hand. Passive Skills, Peak Ingenuity. Peak Eagle Eye. Equipment Skills, Natural Disaster. Sun and Moon. Even though he was mentally prepared, Lu Yuan was still shocked. The attack power had actually reached a terrifying 70,000. If combined with the Shadowless Sword's 50% ability to ignore defense, he would not be able to get a hit even with the skill critical hit. Hundreds of thousands. And the health and defense values have also been greatly improved. Strengthening 15 stars increases the attack power by 800. And strengthening it by 16 stars increases the attack power by 1600. In the future, each star strengthened will double the increase. Although the attributes are greatly improved, the weapon's endurance is also limited. Just like the Shadowless Sword strengthened to 18 star, there is nothing left to strengthen. If you insist on continuing, it will cause damage to the weapon. Lu Yuan was pulled into the team. Li Tong. Xia Lui. Fang Rou. Zheng Yu and Ling'er were considered old partners, and Zhao Xingha was probably in love again. Are you ready? Well, let's go and meet at the east gate of the holy city. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he entered the inner room. Since he had a royal alchemist, there was no need to go to the apothecary anymore. Lu Yuan also accepted Yuanzi's commission. If there were any exotic flowers and herbs, he would bring them back. Yuanzi was not greedy. The medicines were cheaper than those in system pharmacies. On the basis of the cost, they only added a little hard-earned money. A group of people quickly gathered and set off towards the peak forest. Zheng Yu finally rode the scar wolf King Wang Kai, looking very majestic along the way. Lu Yuan also suddenly remembered that he had agreed to put the deer back into the forest last time. But during the battle, he took the mother and daughter back to the pet space. After fighting the giant python, they hurriedly went offline. Lu Yuan explained, and the nine-colored sacred deer also said understand. Everyone quickly arrived at the Pinnacle Forest, where players could be seen everywhere. After nearly ten days of delay, the level of the large army also caught up. But what if the level was higher than Li Yuan's? Continuing to move deeper into the forest, monsters of more than fifty levels are no longer a challenge to everyone. With hundreds of thousands of health, Li Yuanping only needs more than ten cuts. In addition, various equipment attributes are triggered, and the poisonous mist, ground fire, ice, Ground opened. Monsters fell in pieces. How can this be a warrior? This is clearly a magician. Fong rose sighed. Zheng Yu also said with a slight embarrassment. I feel that with the boss here. I seem to be of no use. So I can just be a nanny. Go protect your sister Ling'er. We don't need it. Fong rose said with a smile. Lu Yuan was alone in the monster group. Xiao Lui and Li Tong did not slack off and kept helping Lu Yuan clean up the monsters. I haven't felt it for a long time. There are not enough monsters to fight. Zheng Yu simply sat on the ground and started paddling. If you don't help, you just make sarcastic remarks. Aren't you here to watch the excitement? Fang Rou and Zheng Yu were quarreling tit for tat. 
while the nine-colored sacred deer on the side watched the fawn eating grass kindly. Scar Wolf King was not taken back to his mount space, but also turned into a human form. He got some plant leaves from somewhere, rolled them up in paper, and started smoking, leaning against a big tree, pretending to be melancholy. That man is very strong. You should have a bright future following him. Unlike my master. Scar Wolf King exhaled a smoke ring melancholy. You're lucky if you didn't get killed. You're still complaining here. The nine-colored divine deer didn't even look at the Wolf King. Humph, actually, even if he didn't save you that time, I didn't intend to really kill you. I just can't stand your feeling of being superior. I just want you to face up to our strength. If I really want to kill you, do you think a token can make me stop? From the moment you are born, some things are doomed. No matter how hard you wolves try, you can't reach the highest point of the monster beasts. The monster beasts have worked hard for thousands of years to cultivate, but they can't compare to the decades of human cultivation. Just the sacred deer sighed. Scar Wolf King was just about to say something more when he felt his head being slapped and the cigarette in his mouth fell to the grass. Wakai, you're lazy too while we're paddling. Why don't you go help me? Boss? Scar Wolf King's facial muscles twitched for a while. But in the end, he didn't resist. He transformed into a wolf and rushed forward to help. The nine-colored divine deer looked at Scar Wolf King, then at Lu Yuan, and suddenly felt that his master was really good. He knew that he was not good at killing, and rarely let himself participate in battles. Your mount is really good. It can be ridden, and it can also be used as a pet in battle. If our big horse fights, it will probably become monster rations in one round. Fong Ro complained. Soon the area was cleared of monsters, and everyone continued to move forward in search of monsters. Bah! Why are there so many cobwebs hanging on my face? Zheng Yu said, while waving his hand to break the cobwebs. I guess we have reached the territory of the ghost-faced demon spider. Master, can you let me return to the mount space? I can't defeat it. I have a showdown. King Scarwolf looked timid. Zheng Yu didn't want his new mount to be eaten. So he put away the Wonkai without any nonsense. Lu Yuan also put away the mother and daughter of the nine-color sacred deer. After all, the fawn was still young. So he had to find a safe place to release it. Place. A huge spider web fell from the sky and covered everyone. A bunch of spiders as tall as a person crawled out from nowhere, instantly surrounding several people. Ghostface spider level 60 HP, 1 million. This monster is okay. Those monsters just now are not enough to defeat. Let's try the sword with these spiders. Lu Yuan said excitedly, holding the shadowless sword in his hand. Charge stepped forward and slashed one of the demon spider's legs and then quickly swung several swords. The ghost-faced demon spider lay on the ground unable to move, and could only spit out spider webs randomly. Chapter 174 They are both men. So why is the gap so big? The ghost-faced devil spider spider legs were comparable to blades. After being cut off by Lu Yuan, they grew back within a few seconds. However, this kind of rebirth was obviously a waste of one's own blood. One million blood volume is not low for mobs. After all, the base of ordinary monsters is large. But what Li Yuan likes most now is to fight monsters in groups. Because of the special effects of equipment attributes, various poisonous fog, earth fire, ice foam also has a knockdown. Although there is only a 5% chance of triggering it, the higher the attack frequency, the more triggers it takes. The monsters in the Pinnacle Forest are much more experienced than ordinary monsters. The spider didn't know where it was hiding at first. But after being alerted, it rushed out in an endless stream. How big of a nest can accommodate such a big spider? I don't know where it was hidden before. Fong Ro said with emotion. Look at the special effects of the boss's equipment. They are flashy but actually useful. Stop chatting. This monster is of a high level. Hurry up and help. Li Tong urged everyone when he saw that they were not in a hurry. I thought that Spider Silk would be afraid of fire. But when Xiao Lui's attack landed on the surrounding spider webs, it had no great effect and it was not much stronger than ordinary attribute attacks. It seemed that the ghost-faced demon spider had high fire resistance. Be careful with spider leg attacks. They are very sharp and poisonous. Lu Yuan reminded. Lu Yuan has moved very carefully. There are too many monsters, and he will inevitably be attacked a lot. However, it is difficult for these ordinary mobs to cause fatal damage to Lu Yuan. The poison is very annoying, and the blood is forced to drop. Fortunately, it does not stack up. Otherwise, even Li Yuan with 30% poison resistance would not be able to withstand it. Why is it dark? Fong Ro felt like she was covered in shadows. 
everyone looked up and saw that it was getting dark. Suddenly, a huge demon spider appeared above their heads. The spider's body was about five or six meters high from the ground. Its eight spider legs seemed too slender compared to the spider's body. However, no one dares to underestimate its toughness. There are actually sharp blades on the inside of the spider's legs. And there is a ferocious face on its abdomen. The huge spider tail has been aimed at everyone's position. And it shoots out spider webs continuously. Ghostface Spider Lord Level 65 Boss. HP 70 million. Everyone! Be careful! Lu Yuan saw the spider web coming and shouted quickly. There is no need to remind everyone to dodge quickly. If you are trapped by a spider web at this time, regardless of the attack power of the boss, the damage from the group of small spiders below alone is enough to drink a pot. Such a big guy! Why didn't you notice it just now? Zheng Yu was a little unbelievable. The spider is crawling around on the spider web. So it may not make any sound. Fang Ro went directly into the invisible state to look for opportunities. It's so high. How can I fight? Melee professions will suffer a lot. You try cutting off the legs first. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to attack the boss, but continued to clean up the mobs. In order to hate him, he had already put on the mocking face mask. If the mobs ran behind the platoon suffered, Zheng Yi ran to the demon spider lord's legs and swung the sledgehammer. Unexpectedly, the spider legs did not move at all. Instead, Zheng Yi was stunned by the shock. With a casual sweep of the demon spider's legs, Zheng Yi was swept away before he could recover. Then a spider web shot out from its tail and directly stuck Zheng Yi to the big tree. Help! Damn! This is the first time I've seen you so useless! Last time I fought with a python! It was swept away! This time it was even more powerful! It climbed directly into the tree! Fang Ro was speechless. Li Tong hurriedly stepped up his bow and arrow shooting moving back and forth to draw away the hatred of the boss to prevent Zheng Yu from being attacked later. Xiao Lui released a skill towards Zheng Yu, and the flames burned for a while before Zheng Yu broke free. This peak forest is poisonous and won't prosper me. Zheng Yu rushed forward again with a sledgehammer. Hold on for a while. I'll go over after cleaning up the mobs. Lu Yuan couldn't get away at this time. The ghost-faced demon spider sprayed another round of webs, and no one knew how much spider silk was hidden in its tail. Everyone. Please pay attention. This boss has no intention of shooting us with spider silk. Stepping on the spider silk on the ground will affect our speed. Xiao Lui reminded. Although Li Tong was very agile and moved very quickly, the demon spider leader was too big. He caught up with him in just two steps. His spider legs swept across the attack. Li Tong narrowly avoided it. But a big tree behind him unexpectedly it was cut off directly. Zhang Yu! Take away the hatred quickly! Fang Ro shouted. Coming! Coming! Zheng Yu hurriedly ran behind the boss and used his taunting skills. No one expected that the boss's attack power was so high. A large tree as thick as one person could be cut down with just one blow. If it hit Li Tong, how could his slender waist withstand it? Although it was a bit difficult for Zheng Yu to carry it, there was no danger to his life as Ling'er was behind him to add blood. The demonic spider lord seemed to have gone crazy. His tail sprayed out spider silk like a fountain, spinning in circles. Everyone could only run clockwise. If such a large amount of spider silk was sprayed, they would definitely not be able to come out. Boss! Hide for a moment. Lu Yuan was still cleaning up the mobs. Although he did a lot of damage, there were too many spiders. It would take some time to fight alone. Hearing Zheng Yu's shouts from behind, he turned around and saw spider silk like a sprinkler. I was afraid that it was too late to run in circles. So I charged directly towards the boss. Lu Yuan got close to the spider's legs and slashed at them with his sword. The spider legs that stunned Zheng Yi were cut off silently. The boss attacked in pain. Lu Yuan did not stop. Directly he slashed at the other three legs on the same side. The attack was so fast that the spider legs had no time to regenerate. The boss suddenly lost its balance and hit Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan was well prepared. Qian Junxia quickly charged up his power. Rushed directly towards the group of ordinary monsters chasing him and dealt another wave of high damage. Clear the mobs first, and then we'll fight the boss together, Lu Yuan shouted. There were not many mobs left. It would be more efficient if everyone worked together to swarm the mobs. Finally, after the demonic spider lord got up again, the mobs were also cleared. Lu Yuan casually killed the last demon spider and raised his sword to gather strength. Thousands of troops whirlwind. Using whirlwind at the moment when thousand army kill is activated is something Lu Yuan newly discovered. 
With the momentum of thousand army kill, the power of whirlwind slash is also greatly increased. And the cutting ability is also stronger. This is also due to the equipment affinity attribute of peak craftsmanship makes it easier to use any weapon. Lu Yuan's goal is very clear. Since you have the advantage of height, I will chop off your spider legs. With a sudden increase in strength attribute, the sprint distance of the thousand army killing skill is further. A huge demon spider in a straight line has not had time to react. It has just grown. The spider legs that came out were cut off again. Seeing the huge ghost-faced demon spider lord falling down again, everyone who had been chased for a long time all used their highest damage skills and began to beat the falling spider hard. Hey! They are both men! How come the gap is so big? Fong Ro looked at Zheng Yu, then looked at Lu Yuan inside. Chapter 175 Chapter 175 Deja Vu Hey! They are both men! How come the gap is so big? Fong Ro looked at Zheng Yu, then looked at Lu Yuan inside. Zheng Yu looked at Fong Ro awkwardly. Unexpectedly, the other people also looked at Zheng Yu and nodded, expressing their agreement with Fong Ro's view. You can't blame Zheng Yu! It's Lu Yuan who is too good! In the end, Ling'er spoke for Zheng Yu. After the joke, everyone started to fight monsters seriously, but the boss level was more than 10 levels higher than everyone else. It was no accident that Zheng Yu couldn't fight just now. This time, when the Spider Lord fell, Everyone focused on the soft parts of the spider to attack. And of course, the tail was given special care. Just as everyone was getting ready to fight, the demon spider lord raised his tail and spit out a piece of spider silk. His body instantly rose up from the ground. It was hard to imagine how such a big body could be hung up by a piece of spider silk. Look at the sky above the forest. Xiao Lui pointed to the sky. It turned out that this large area was all connected by spider webs. And the trees were filled with spider webs. At this time, the demon spider lord was hanging on the largest spider web. Greedy humans, you slaughtered my children and injured me. You all deserve to die. The demon spider lord uttered human words. And after speaking, he sprayed out green venom, falling from the sky like rain, making people avoid him. There is no way around it. How come a monster can talk in this pinnacle forest? Zheng Yu said, holding up a sledgehammer to protect Linger from the rain. Feel the scorching sun and meteor falling. Xiao Lui directly released his domain skills. The temperature in the crowd area suddenly increased. Part of the poisonous rain was instantly evaporated. The huge meteor fell and directly hit the boss that was spitting venom on the spider web. With the help of inertia and temperature, it directly killed the demon spider. The lord smashed it down. Frozen arrow. A flash of blue light flashed. And Li Tong shot an arrow. His skills were only enhanced by the arrow given by Lu Yuan. The boss that fell from the sky was instantly frozen into ice. Good arrow. It can be controlled for up to five seconds. If you go through too many levels, it will probably unfreeze soon. That's enough. Lu Yuan directly started to accumulate power. His longest range attack skill now is the thousand army kill that he first obtained. As his strength continues to improve, the distance he can thrust is also getting farther and farther. A figure flashed past. And the moment the demon spider lord thought, he felt something stabbing into his body. But it didn't hurt at all. The eight spider legs swept around. Trying to repel Lu Yuan. But because the distance was too long. Due to the close distance and Lu Yuan's agile dodging left and right. The attack was not effective. Holding the hilt of the sword with both hands. He exerted downward force. The shadowless sword that had been inserted into the demon spider's chest instantly opened a large hole in the demon spider's chest. Dark green blood flowed out. Lu Yuan hurriedly jumped away. The blood is also rich in a large amount of toxins. Even more powerful than the venom sprayed out. Be careful. Its blood is poisonous. Lu Yuan reminded. Zheng Yusai ran to the boss. Hearing Lu Yuan's reminder, he didn't dare to get too close. He was embarrassed for a moment. Logically speaking, he should be the main one to resist the monster. And the others would deal damage. But who would have thought that he would meet someone like his boss? Capable of resisting and fighting. He can resist monsters better than himself and his output is not weaker than that of any profession. Which makes his situation in the team very embarrassing. The ghost-faced spider lord screamed in pain and spun silk from its tail to hang it into the air. However, as soon as the spider silk was shot out, Li Tong's precise arrow shot it down. It can be seen that boss is trying hard to make the wound heal and stop bleeding. But there seems to be some force preventing the wound from healing. Who would have thought that having a sword hilt inserted into the body can cause such great damage? if it weren't for the sharpness of the shadowless sword. 
everyone would probably be in a hard fight against this large monster. Even with his own Yilin sword. Lu Yuan only had the confidence to pierce it. But he couldn't cut such a big wound. Its HP is less than 30%. Be careful of any big moves. Lu Yuan reminded again. Zheng Yi ran up cautiously and started to draw hatred from the monster. But the taunting skill seemed to have no effect. And regardless of the arrow rain and fire magic attacks, the demon spider lord just stared at Lu Yuan. The furious Zheng Yu swung his sledgehammer and hit the spider's leg. The seriously injured spider lord was not as strong as before. This time, the spider was shaken. Zheng Yu just wanted to use his skills to attack again. What if this time, if you knock it down yourself, you can prove yourself? Zheng Yu thought in his mind. But things went counterproductive. As Zheng Yu said, the peak forest was not prosperous for him. The demon spider lord still controlled his injuries and kicked Zheng Yu's hammer with his spider leg. Naturally, Zheng Yu was no match for the two sides. His feet were kicked to the ground, and spider webs spurted out and stuck Zheng Yu to the ground again. Lu Yuan hurried forward, slashed the spider web with a sweep of his sword, stretched out his hand to pull Zheng Yu up, patted Zheng Yu on the shoulder, and rushed towards the monster. Zheng Yu felt a little uncomfortable in his heart. But Lu Yuan's encouraging eyes and comforting pats just now still moved him. In order to prove himself, he had been working hard to reach the level. Although he was on the level ranking list, his strength was not good. Later, he met when I arrived in Lu Yuan. I just thought it was fun at first. But slowly I realized how good my boss was. Such an outstanding person never disliked me. No matter how others laughed at me or didn't want to see me. My boss was always there. Every time I encounter difficulties, it is my boss who reaches out to help me. I felt like someone was patting me on the back of my head. And a familiar voice came. You were kicked stupid? Go and help. It turned out that Fong Ro jumped up and slapped her on the back of the head. Zheng Yu smiled and thought. Yes. Although I am stupid. When have these people ever really disliked me? Here we come. Zheng Yu cheered up again and rushed forward. Divine arrow piercing the heart must kill flesh. Li Tong used his secret skills, followed closely by Fang Ro. Both skills attack the enemy's heart. But Lord Ghostface Spider is huge, and no one knows where its heart is, or whether it has one heart. Both attacks were thunderous, and the chest injury dealt a huge blow to the demon Spider Lord. Coupled with these two attacks, the boss was directly spread on the ground and fell into a weak state. Lu Yuan raised his sword and planned to end the life of Lord Ghostface Demon Spider. This battle seemed to be different from ordinary battles. In the past, Boss always had a trump card at the end. But this demon spider was beaten to the point where it could not get up. Wait! Boss! Leave the rest to me! Zhang Yu walked over with a smile on his shoulder. Carrying a sledgehammer. Lu Yuan knew that Zhang Yu had been tortured enough just now. So he gave the final execution power to Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu summoned the Scar Wolf King and said, Wang Kai! Look at it! This thing can scare you into a dog! King Scarwolf was a little unhappy to be called a dog. But he didn't object. He was under the roof, and there was no way back. Zhang Yu! Don't waste time! Be careful it recovers! Lu Yuan reminded. Zhang Yu nodded. Hit the demon spider lord on the head with a sledgehammer and said, Aren't you awesome? Come on! Beat me! Scarwolf King's facial muscles twitched a little. And this scene seemed familiar. Chapter 176 Lu Yuan was assassinated. Scar Wolf King looked at the scene in front of him and remembered that he had been bullied like this in the past. The muscles on his face couldn't help but twitched a little. But he didn't feel bad for it because his wolf pack often dealt with these demon spiders. The ghost-faced demon spider relies on the high level of its tribe to hunt the surrounding monsters. The wolf pack is one of its victims. And the wolves also live in groups. Which is not a good thing. But even if both sides hurt each other, the ghost-faced demon spider really has nothing to eat. So the wolves have always suffered. Even if there is always a grudge in my heart. It is the rule of survival after all. Everyone has to eat. And you can't blame anyone. Looking at the ghost-faced demon spider lord being humiliated in front of you. I feel a little happy. Master. Master. Don't face that person. Its head is down there. Did you see that grimace? That's it. Scar Wolf King reminded with a mean look on his face. Oh. Death brings wealth. You didn't tell me earlier. Although he was complained about, Scar Wolf King didn't show any concern at all, and followed Zheng Yu with a secretly happy face. Although he was not a good master, he was still very happy to see him bully others, especially his enemies. 
Zhang Yi walked to the face of the ghost-faced demon spider on its chest and stopped. It turned out that this was its head. No wonder it collapsed after being cut by Lu Yuan. Zhang Yi reached out and patted the devil spider's face lying on the ground and said, Little spider, isn't it awesome? Come on, kick me. Come on, kick it. Be arrogant. Scar Wolf King also echoed from behind. Lu Yuan really couldn't stand these two. So he told them not to touch the blood of the ghost-faced demon spider and then went to pick up the trophies of ordinary spider monsters. When everyone had collected the trophies, he found that the two people were still punching and kicking the demon spider. Lu Yuan took a look at the ghost-faced demon spider lord, and his blood volume was less than 1%. Although the wound was no longer bleeding, his blood volume is still declining, and he is about to die, and he probably won't be able to make any waves. Hey, you two are done with this, so hurry up and kill him. Fong Ro walked forward impatiently fiddling with a dagger in her hand. Don't worry. Look at the way it can't stand me and can't do anything about me. How fun it is. Zheng Yu started to play. That's right. Look how majestic my master is. Scar Wolf King was still flattering him. It will self-destruct in a while. You two should be honest and go to the back and stay there. After Fang Ro said that, she dragged Zheng Yu to the back, holding a dagger in her hand and preparing to end the life of the demon spider lord. The ghost-faced demon spider looked at Zhang Yi with resentment and said with determination, Little girl, let me live. How about I help you fight? Fong Ro, you can't let it go. It will definitely take revenge on me. After Zhang Yi said that, he raised the hammer and was about to strike. Fong Ro looked at the demon spider lord, then at Zhang Yu, and nodded with a smile. Since your desire to survive is so strong, I also want to have a special mount. Just as Zhang Yu's hammer fell, before any damage could be done, Lord Go's face spider had turned into a ray of light and entered Fong Ro's mount space. Fong Ro, how could you leave such a scourge behind? I didn't humiliate it. My revenge is also revenge on you too. You both have special mounts. What's wrong with me getting a big spider to ride on? Fong Ro got a big advantage. Okay, it's a good thing that Fong Ro got a new mount. We are upgrading the guild level. It will be dawn soon. Lu Yuan quickly interrupted the quarrel. Otherwise the two of them would have to argue all night. Everyone continued to go deep into the forest and leveled up for two or three hours. But they did not encounter a very powerful boss. During this period, Zhang Yu kept complaining that it would be great to kill the spider lord and explode two pieces of equipment. But Fan Ro said nothing. Zhang Yu was left speechless. With Lu Yuan here, do you still need equipment? Friends are always relaxed and happy together. In the blink of an eye, it is morning. Lu Yuan decides to go out for morning exercise first, and then continue to level up. After all, the battlefields in the future may not all be in the game, and the physical fitness in reality will also have a great impact on the battle. I'll log off first. We'll continue leveling in about two hours. Lu Yuan said H, low and logged off. Lu Yuan got off the line and changed into sportswear. Washed briefly, and then went out. He came to a nearby artificial lake and started running laps. Since recovering from his last injury, he feels that his internal strength has improved to a higher level. Cleansing the marrow, it was indeed magical. And with my own mental skills, I would probably win even more easily against that Enli. After running around, Lu Yuan always felt a little strange. As if there were a pair of eyes staring at him. He looked around and didn't find anyone suspicious. Ignoring the uneasy feeling, I continued running at my own pace. After running a few more laps, I began to slowly perform palm movements. During this period, the uneasy feeling persisted. But I never saw anything suspicious. Lu Yuan, why did you come so far? Lu Yuan heard someone calling him and looked along the sound. It turned out to be the three women at home. Judging from their attire, they should also be here for morning exercises. The air is better here. Why are you here? Didn't I say that I want to learn martial arts from you? I have to practice physical fitness first. Fan Rose said. Well, then you guys warm up first and go run a few laps. Lu Yuan pulled Xiao Lui and whispered. You take them running. If anything happens later, you can leave first. Xiao Lui looked at Lu Yuan's serious eyes and knew what might have happened. He didn't ask any more questions and just nodded. Lu Yuan waited for the three of them to finish running and took this opportunity to briefly teach the three of them the essentials of Qingku and Palm, as well as some basic Palm techniques. Lu Yuan was not afraid of others looking at it. After all, martial arts is a very important thing in today's society. 
it is not taken very seriously. And not so many people can insist on exercising. Having skills without physique is just a trick. Only strength without moves and skills is not enough. As Lu Yuan's father said, all kinds of martial arts nowadays are either not learned by anyone, or they are only passed down to their own people, hiding them from each other. This is also the reason why martial arts is desolate. That's it for today. You go back first. I have something to do. Lu Yuan said to the three women. Originally, Fang Ro wanted to have breakfast together before going back. Finally, under Xiao Lui's hint, Li Tong and Fang Ro agreed to leave first. The few people separated, and Lu Yuan walked towards a remote street. When he reached a dead end, he turned around and said, Show up! Is the sneaky person from Zhao Jiozhou? Lu Yuan seemed to be talking to the air, and there was no response in the alley. But Lu Yuan was very confident, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. The air fluctuated, and a figure appeared and stabbed the opponent with a sharp knife. Lu Yuan held the opponent's wrist with his right hand and thrust the knife into the air with his upward force. He hit the opponent's chest directly with his left hand, knocking the assassin back a few steps. Only then did he stand firm. Lu Yuan was a little surprised when he saw the scene in front of him. The palm he had prepared for a long time actually only knocked back the opponent a few steps. Since the last battle against Thousand Swordsmen, Lu Yuan could see through the opponent's health. After reaching the peak eagle eye, his eyesight has been greatly improved. Now, although there is no equipment bonus, he can still see the individual's health. Perhaps, the assassin had been hiding in the dark and observing. Lu Yuan did not find the exact location. It was not until a few people were about to leave that he leaked the clues. So Lu Yuan walked to the hiding place and lured him to take action. Facing Lu Yuan's questioning, the man did not speak, but continued to attack. With equipment and game attribute skill bonuses, the assassin posed a great threat to Lu Yuan. Chapter 177 Bad News Lu Yuan's palm didn't have much effect. It didn't seem to be a big surprise. Instead, he was eager to try. He often fought against assassins in the game. But in the real world, relying on his own martial arts with bare hands, he was still the first to defeat the characters in the game. Once, Lu Yuan was not too confident. Since he could see the opponents in his ability, he had a great chance of winning. If he couldn't defeat an ordinary assassin, it would be difficult for him to perform in the future war. Another most important reason is that Lu Yuan discovered that the Marrow Cleansing Sutra technique does not seem to be afraid of injury. The more serious the injury, the more conducive to growth. Even if he cannot save his life, he is still very confident. The assassin was repulsed and just stood firm before he rushed forward with all his strength. Various assassin skills, shadow attack and strike, followed one after another. If Li Yuan was hit by any of these moves, the result would be fatal. Even if he was slashed by a normal attack, it would be unbearable for the unarmed Lu Yuan. The alley was only about two meters wide, which was not conducive to Lu Yuan's dodge. On the contrary, the assassin's attack was very convenient. After running, he jumped up and stepped on the wall, attacking Lu Yuan from various angles. On the other hand, Lu Yuan dexterously dodged the attacks every time. After the strengthening of his own mind skills, the Qianquan Palm's palm skills and his body skills have been qualitatively improved. His body has also been strengthened by the Marrow Cleansing Sutra and improved a lot. Another stab came. At this time, Lu Yuan had been forced into a corner with no way to retreat. Before he could make a move, Lu Yuan directly grabbed the opponent's wrist with his left hand. The assassin's entire body stopped in place, and the original huge momentum seemed to be non-existent. Average. The assassin was a little moved. He had a full thrust with the blessing of equipment attributes. But he was restrained like this. How much power does this have? The universe moves. Lu Yuan used one of the moves of the Qianquan Palm. It turned out that all the assassin's momentum passed through the left arm, turned into Qi, and then transferred to the right arm. He shook his right shoulder back and forth and struck out with his right palm. And the assassin flew directly backwards. Lu Yuan kept moving, followed up with a lunge leaped high and turned his palm into a fist, hitting the assassin in the abdomen with one punch, causing him to fall heavily to the ground. Blood escape. The assassin who had just landed directly activated his forced invisibility. Lu Yuan could only see a nearly transparent shadow, quickly got up from the ground, and then sneaked around him, looking for opportunities. Lu Yuan was like a mirror in his heart. The assassin's stealth attack would definitely have to go behind him. So he pretended not to know, and quietly waited for the other party to take action. 
when the assassin carefully moved to Lu Yuan's side. Lu Yuan suddenly attacked and raised both palms, thinking he was invisible. The assassin, who was absolutely safe, didn't react at all. He was knocked back and hit the wall so hard that the wall cracked. The Endless Universe The main palm of the Qianquan palm technique has never been so powerful before. It seems that my father is right. If you practice boxing but not martial arts, you will be in vain. The palm technique is best matched with the practice of internal strength. Lu Yuan kept walking, stepped forward and touched the assassin's neck, and the assassin fainted. Sure enough, in the real world, even if you use the skills and attributes in the game, there will still be some real-life rules added to it. Lu Yuan subdued the assassin and originally thought of taking off the opponent's watch so that there would be no threat. However, he searched for several times on his wrist and couldn't find it. He didn't understand the reason. So he had to sit on the assassin and call the police. But Lu Yuan was still careless. It was obviously unwise to deal with the assassin as an ordinary person. After a while, the assassin woke up. He felt that there was someone sitting on top of him. He turned over and violently took another weapon from nowhere. He pulled out a dagger, made a quick backhand stroke, and then disappeared and ran out of the alley. Lu Yuan was careless and did not dodge in time. He was cut in the abdomen. The wound was not deep, but the blood still flowed down uncontrollably, staining his sportswear red. Lu Yuan checked and found that there was no toxin. This was fortunate. It was probably because the attack was hasty and the weapon was taken casually from the backpack. So Lu Yuan was not seriously injured. When he walked out of the alley, the assassin had long disappeared. The dagger knocked off by Lu Yuan was still there on the ground. He went to the pharmacy opposite and bought a bottle of Yunnan Biao. Under the horrified expression of the clerk, he sprinkled it on the wound, and the bleeding stopped immediately. Lu Yuan couldn't help but think in his mind. There is a blood bottle of golden sore medicine over there, and we have Yunnan Biao. The police arrived at the scene in less than five minutes. Lu Yuan had already returned to where he was waiting and took out the dagger that fell on the ground. When the police saw that Lu Yuan was injured, they wanted to help call an ambulance. But Lu Yuan said that the bleeding had stopped. In order not to cause panic among the citizens, they took Lu Yuan back to the police station to understand the situation. Tao Yuan Company has long informed various departments about the watch. And this matter has also received great attention. After all, the Tao Yuan project is also a key project that receives support. The ordinary staff had not been exposed to such incidents. And no one was found after calling the surrounding surveillance cameras. The alley was in a blind spot. So they had no choice but to record what Li Yuan said. It was not until Tao Yuan Group sent someone to confirm Lu Yuan's account. The person who came here, Lu Yuan, also knew him. He was Professor Sun's assistant. And he was probably Mamanosuk, who was the first to come into contact with Tao Yuan Temple in the game. Brother Lu, I am Professor Sun's assistant. My name is Lu Zhu. This matter is of great importance. Could you please go to Tao Yuan Group? Even though Lu Yuan had a good temper, he was a little impatient at this time. A whole morning had passed and he hadn't even eaten anything. Although the bleeding had stopped, the blood stains were still there, making him feel uncomfortable all over. Lu Yuan thought for a while and went along, just to learn more about the situation. After all, the other party was targeting him now. Although he escaped this time, who knows what will happen next time. And the person who came to assassinate this time was obviously somehow. If Lu Yuan hadn't been able to see a figure in a daze, he might not have been able to escape the enemy just by feeling. Tao Yuan group seemed to be well prepared. As soon as they entered the headquarters, they took Lu Yuan to the infirmary. After a simple bandage, he put on the prepared clean clothes and went to the restaurant for a light meal. The employee meals of Tao Yuan group were really sumptuous. Lu Yuan was in a much better mood after wearing one. It wasn't because of eating or changing clothes. The most important thing was that he was respected. Although he couldn't blame them entirely for losing his watch, he should not have taken the risk. If he didn't apologize at all, it would be disappointing. Feel uncomfortable. Brother Lu, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect that what we were worried about happened. Professor Sun said with an apologetic look. I can't blame you entirely. After all, the situation was emergency last time. Otherwise the damage would be very serious. And you have to sell the first step. This kind of thing will be faced sooner or later. Lu Yuan is not an ignorant person. With sharp weapons and murderous intent. Giving ordinary people powerful powers will cause chaos. Let alone bad guys whose interests are paramount. Is there any good solution now? Lu Yuan asked. Yes, there is. 
but it cannot be implemented at this stage. And there is also bad news. After getting the equipment, it is not difficult to copy it. In other words, maybe they have more than a few in their hands now. A watch is so simple. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. This was undoubtedly great bad news. Chapter 178 Moving to a New Home Lu Yuan was shocked after hearing this. If you let others copy the equipment, wouldn't it be possible to form an army? There is no need to worry about this. Although modern firearms and weapons have little effect on monsters and beasts, their lethality to people is different. Even people wearing game equipment, just some powerful people or people with enmity against them. It is difficult to guarantee safety, Professor Sun said confidently. Then what do you mean by calling me here? I heard that the blacksmith shop in the holy city is now owned by you. And you are also a descendant of the lineage of the god of craftsmen? Professor Sun asked. Since Professor Sun already knows, why bother to confirm it? I came to you this time to discuss cooperation. When Li Yuan walked out of Taoyuan group, it was already past four in the afternoon. He took a taxi and ran straight home. He originally planned to go online and continue upgrading after his morning exercise. He didn't expect that the day would pass as soon as he left home. However, although this day it was a bit thrilling, but it was also rewarding. When I got home, I found that none of the three girls had played the game. They were sitting on the sofa watching TV and chatting. They greeted Lu Yuan with concern when he came back. Although they talked on the phone in the middle, they were still uneasy. Are you okay? I heard that he was an assassin from the game who came to our world. Although Fang Ro heard about the battle they went to participate in last time, she still couldn't believe it. It's okay. The assassin was a little careless and thought he would succeed. In the end, he let me fight him off. Really awesome. I originally wanted to go back and help you. But I was afraid that Li Tong and the others were not safe. When I went out to look for you, I no longer knew where you were. Xiao Louis explained. It's a good thing you didn't go. It's hard for a flesh and blood body to compete with the game characters. If I hadn't improved my internal skills after recovering from my injury, I wouldn't have dared to try. I didn't expect that Zhao Jiuzhou jumped over the wall and wanted to kill people and silence them. It may be more troublesome later. Professor Sun said that watch equipment is not difficult to copy. With their financial resources, it is estimated that they will be able to copy many of them soon. What should we do? Aren't they invincible? Li Tong asked. They don't dare to do anything big. But some important people may be threatened. Lu Yuan shook his head and continued. Do you want to go home and hide? Their main target is me. If there are too many people, I'm afraid to protect them. Don't come. The three women looked at each other. No one wanted to leave. But they were afraid of being held back. So no one spoke. Lu Yuan sighed and said, The only option is to move. I'm so angry. Is there no other way but to hide? Fong Ro said angrily. Xiao Lui patted Fong Ro on the shoulder comfortingly and said, Bong Tao has taken all the blame. Although they all know that Zhao Jiuzhou was behind it. The evidence is insufficient, and the police can't do anything to him. Maybe the best way now is hiding. Don't be so pessimistic. I guarantee that you will be satisfied with the new house. Let's all go back home and pack up our clothes. We will set off soon. It just so happens that another plan of mine will be implemented as soon as possible. Lu Yuan said to everyone a little dull. Leave now? The three women said in surprise at the same time. Well, who knows if they will suddenly attack at night. And everything there is ready made. Even the gaming equipment is complete. It can be said that you can move in with your bags. The equipment here will be sold by an agent. The atmosphere that was a little gloomy just now suddenly became lively. Fong Ro, who was downcast, also became happy and said, Lu Yuan, have you made a fortune? Go and pack your things first. Take your personal belongings with you. You can pick up the less important things later. Let's go there early while it's still dark. I want to know what I'm asking about my new home. Lu Yuan glanced at the time and said, The four of them split up. Lu Yuan didn't have much. He just had a few changes of clothes. He thought about putting on the gaming helmet he bought in the first place. He took a look at his small room. He couldn't say he was nostalgic. But he it can be regarded as growing up here. Lu Yuan thought it would take a long time. But he didn't expect that the three of them were very fast. Each of them had two large trolley boxes. Lu Yuan still remembered that Xiao Lui only took one box when he came. But it took only a short time to fill up two large boxes. And Li Tong and Fang Ro originally had a lot of things. But it seemed that they had given up a lot. The four people and two cars drove according to Lu Yuanfa's position. Without talking all the way, they quickly arrived at a villa area. 
It was not too far from the city. It was probably around the third ring road and close to the fourth ring road. There were trees and walls outside. Details inside. There were five or six people standing guard at the gate. When they saw a car approaching, they stopped them and asked about the situation. Lu Yuan took out his pass and explained the situation. Only then did the two cars enter the gate. The gate not only had a railing, but also an electric lift. Taiju, it is impossible to break into the post. The villa area is very large, with rows of single-family three-story buildings, and the area is quite large. After driving a short distance, I stopped between two houses. Lu Yuan motioned for a few people to get out of the car, and said excitedly, Which of these two buildings do you want to live in? Both buildings are rented. Fong Ro asked in surprise. It's a waste to rent two such big houses. Don't spend it like this if you have money. Li Tong said. Xiao Lui smiled and said. Let's go in first and take a look before choosing. It's not rented. Now these two houses are mine. Li Yuan said calmly following the three of them. Damn it. If you haven't seen me all day, you're not going to sell yourself. Right. Fong Ro suddenly turned around and said in surprise. Then ran over and circled around Lu Yuan and said. TSK. TSK. It doesn't seem to be worth the price. Lu Yuan just smiled and didn't refute. This could be regarded as earned by his own ability. And he still felt a sense of accomplishment. Let's go. Let's take a look at the houses first. It's my first time here too. Lu Yuan entered one of the houses first. Xiao Lui and Li Tong didn't speak. They looked at each other. Both of them admired Lu Yuan. It would be easy for these two families to buy a villa like this. But seeing Lu Yuan's success, they were both very happy. Happy. Fong Ro ran in quickly, fearing that she would be left behind. Entering the door is a spacious hall. On the left is a seating area with a sofa and TV. On the right is a large dining room with a rectangular table that can seat more than 10 people. In the back is a large open kitchen. There are 300 people on the first floor. It's more than in square meter. The backyard is huge. There's a large swimming pool. And there are two bathrooms on the first floor. The bathrooms are larger than Li Yuan's previous small house. Which makes Li Yuan very embarrassed. There are four small bedrooms on the second floor. Each about 30 square meters. There are some leisure and entertainment facilities on the other side. There is also a bar next to the billiard table. The wine cabinet in the bar is filled with various kinds of wine. There is also a KTV-like room next to it. The deluxe private room is very spacious as a whole. And each room has its own private bathroom. Large or small. There are four large bedrooms on the third floor. And there is a public rest area in the middle. They are all comfortable looking sofas. There is a table and four chairs next to it. There is a large floor to ceiling window in front. A tatami on the floor. And a table in the middle. There is a small table with a chessboard on it. Each bedroom is large and has all kinds of facilities. Even the sheets and quilts are ready. Every room on the three floors has no peculiar smell. It seems that it is maintained and cleaned by someone. Lu Yuan. Not to mention this house. Just the decoration costs several million. Right. Fong Ro knocked on the furniture in the house. And she could tell by just looking at it that none of it was cheap. This is my first time here too. This is a house given to me by Tao Yuan Group. Lu Yuan was also a little surprised. Look. There's an elevator here. It's so considerate to have an elevator on the third floor. Wow. There's also a two-story basement. Fong Rose seemed to have discovered a new world. Several people came to the basement again. Except for the slightly lower temperature. They did not feel any humidity. It seemed that they had worked hard to insulate against heat and moisture. This floor was very large and empty. Apart from the elevators, there was a stairway next to it. There is another floor, which is no different from the previous floor. It is not humid and has central air conditioning. The exhaust system is also very good, and there is no odor. Everyone was very happy when they returned to the first floor. It was hard for anyone not to like such a big house. They had their own independent space to do whatever they wanted to do. Especially Xiao Lui, who was used to living at home. The house and even the bathroom are shared. Although I don't say it, I still feel a little uncomfortable. Lu Yuan took the three girls to another house. This one had a similar layout on the first floor and there was a swimming pool at the back. However, the second and third floors were all separate rooms. There were about eight rooms on each floor, and the decoration was all high-tech. Simple style. Each room has a separate password lock. Black and white tones. It looks like the base of an esports club. The two underground floors are full of fitness equipment. 
which can be found here on the market. This was also specifically requested by Lu Yuan, because he had long planned to create his own studio. If war really came, there would at least be a team of teammates who could support him. Of course, there are not many yet. But Lu Yuan, it's better to prepare a place to stay if you are far away. This side is more like a dormitory than that side. It feels like home. Xiao Lui expressed his opinion directly. And Li Tong and Fang Ro also agreed. Well, okay. You three will live in that building. I'll be here first. I plan to set up a studio and recruit some reliable people. If a war breaks out in the future, everyone will have someone to take care of them. And there will be no danger at the critical moment. Got stabbed. Lu Yuan said calmly. Seeing what Lu Yuan said, Li Tong replied, You are the owner of the house. Since you live here, how can we be embarrassed to live there? If you find us annoying, I will take Fan Ro back to my own home. Lu Yuan said in a loss. That's not what I meant. I just think it's inconvenient for me to be with you as a grown man. You can live more freely without me. You can dress casually if you're not here. But I still agree with what Li Tong said. I won't do anything that takes the spotlight. If you want to recruit studio members, you can count me in. Is there any salary? Fan Ro also expressed her position. It doesn't matter where I live. I left home just to be free. Lively and not alone. I will be wherever you live. In the end, the four of them settled in the building they looked at first. Each of the four rooms on the third floor had one room for each person. Originally, Lu Yuan wanted to live on the second floor, which was more convenient. But the three girls all said that they could keep Linger and housekeepers down there. And the bedding was all new, as if they had just been changed today. And the game storage room was also newly shipped and can be used at any time. A few people ordered takeout and finished eating. Lu Yuan thought about going into the house to rest. But Fong Ro took it again. I scanned the house with my cell phone to see if there were any cameras. After all, it was a new house. When Lu Yuan entered the game, it was already past 10 o'clock in the evening. You guys level up first. I'll go back to the blacksmith shop. Lu Yuan said. How can we level up without you? It's too dangerous to team up with Zheng Yu. Fong Ro said. Is there anything urgent? Li Tong was also confused. Lu Yuan smiled and said. I have to pay off my debt. What debt? Do you think they gave me the house because they thought I was handsome? Chapter 179, Taking a Big Order Look, I just said he sold himself out, Fong Ro said with contempt. Lu Yuan didn't say anything and directly released the nine-colored sacred deer mother and daughter. The last time he left, he forgot to put the fawn back into the forest. He almost forgot this time and couldn't break his promise. Aunt Shen Lu, I'm going back to the blacksmith shop. Where do you think the deer should be placed? Lu Yuan asked. The nine-color divine deer looked at the surrounding environment and then at the fallen. It felt like it was not safe anywhere. She wanted her child to return to the forest. However, she was a little reluctant and worried. All her inner struggles were reflected on her face. Lu Yuan said directly, Well, now that there are more and more players in the forest, it is really not safe to leave the deer here by itself. So you should stay with it. You should repay your life-saving grace. If it is destined to be like this, it is God's will. Just leave it here to fend for itself. The nine-colored divine deer's eyes showed determination. And the little deer seemed to feel something. And pressed against the nine-colored divine deer. The thighs refused to leave. Lu Yuan hates this kind of thing the most. And doesn't like the feeling of parting. The three women around him can't bear it. They want to give some opinions. But they can't say anything. After all, this world is an illusion for everyone. Who can I have the nerve to persuade others to release a high-level spiritual beast? In this way, you live with Xiaolu in the forest first. When she can become independent and you can relax, come to the blacksmith shop in the holy city to find me. Lu Yuan could have no mount. But he just couldn't bear to see this scene of mother and son being separated. And now that there are more players in the forest, Xiaolu stays here by himself. And Xiaolu is no match for anyone who comes. After all, Xiaolu can be regarded as Lu Yuan's birth. But he still can't bear it. This kindness is unforgettable. With strength and such a kind heart, I will become a great weapon in the future. I, the nine-colored divine deer, am willing to follow me. When I handle my daughter's affairs, I will definitely repay my benefactor. Nine-colored divine deer is deeply moved. Bowed. Lu Yuan didn't say anything and directly started returning to the city. There were more important things to do than upgrading right now. What Lu Yuan didn't expect was that when he returned to the city, the three women also followed him. 
It seemed that everyone's desire to upgrade, including Xiao Lui, was getting weaker and weaker. Boss! Boss ladies! You are back! Afu greeted him enthusiastically. Boss ladies! Do your job well and don't just try to flatter yourself! Lu Yuan said. After entering the blacksmith shop, Lu Yuan was explaining things to Afu. The three girls didn't want to ask any more questions. At Fong Ro's suggestion, they went into the inner room to find a new little fresh meat to play with. Ah, Fu. From now on, we will not accept outside orders for seven days. We will start to work hard to forge the drawings I gave you. I will give you the drawings in a while. In addition, I will recruit some people to add some equipment to the backyard of the store. There will be people in a while. When the forging materials are delivered, you can take them and check them. You will work overtime these days to catch up on the work. And the wages. Benefits. And food must satisfy everyone. Seeing Ah Fu trot off directly to recruit workers. Lu Yuan said to the busy Lao Lu. Old Lu. Come here. Boss. What's the matter? I will forge the equipment in a while. And you will watch from the side. You will control the quality of the mass production. Ah Fu has already gone to recruit workers. And will make 5,000 sets for me within 7 days. 5,000 sets? Old Lu was a little unbelievable. Although the blacksmith shop had to do a lot of work every day, a set was different from a piece of equipment. A set consisted of five pieces of equipment, and the overall synergy of the set should also be considered. Even a set without set attributes would be more expensive than a set. The combination of ordinary parts is much better. No confidence. Spare no effort. Old Lu nodded firmly. Being complacent with the status quo will only lead to mediocrity. Only by challenging yourself and breaking through can you achieve higher achievements. Your foundation is very good, but you lack self-confidence. Craftsmen must have confidence in their craftsmanship to make something satisfying. Thank you, boss, for your guidance. I have learned a lot in the past few months. It is an honor for me to work in our blacksmith shop. Lu Yuan nodded. His blacksmith shop recruited both of them very well. Ah Fu was tactful and knew how to employ people. Seeing the old Lu with a bad temper become like this must be Ah Fu's credit. Since old Lu found a sense of belonging. He couldn't help but no matter how unkind he is, he has learned how to communicate with others. Coupled with his down-to-earth character and solid basic skills, he is considered a rare talent. Lu Yuan signed an agreement with Tao Yuan Group. In fact, the military entrusted Tao Yuan Group to build a batch of heavy armor suits first, and they will continue to make them later. The materials are provided by Tao Yuan Group. He only provides craftsmanship here, and Lu Yuan needs to be personally made five sets of epic equipment and the advance payment was for the two villas. Lu Yuan provided the quality of the set to decide whether to add money later. Of course, Lu Yuan was happy when someone provided him with the materials. Even if his forging level has improved, he still needs to keep improving. He has to find advanced materials by himself. He doesn't have that much time and energy. And besides, he can't find them just by looking for them. It depends on chance and luck. Lu Yuan found some needed or in the blacksmith shop warehouse. Tao Yuan Group didn't know when it would be delivered. But he had to seize the time to teach Old Lu the lesson first. The set requires reaching the purple rare level. The refined quality of these ores is completely sufficient. If you want the equipment to be of high quality, refining is the most basic and important step. While refining, Lu Yuan explained to Old Lu that refining this basic skill is a blacksmith's job. But not everyone can do it perfectly. And not everyone can see the lines of the ore. Lao Lu watched from the sidelines and felt that it was similar to what he usually built, and didn't see anything unusual. Lu Yuan finished refining and began to smelt and forge. While pulling the bellows, he said, The heat is also critical. We are using ordinary cold iron or this time. It is relatively fire resistant. If the heat is too low, the metal will not melt. If the heat is too high, the cold iron will not melt. The inherent coldness will dissipate and may even explode so the temperature must be increased step by step, and the temperature must be maintained once the requirements are met. Lao Lu nodded and didn't see any difference. Then Li Yuan began to forge and shape it repeatedly. Soon the appearance of a battle armor was formed. After tempering and cooling, a piece of equipment was completed. Since it is mass-produced, the appearance of the armor is not fancy, which saves a lot of time. What matters most is practicality and the attributes of the equipment. Old Lu took the armor and looked at it carefully. Although it was a purple rare level piece of equipment, it was almost perfect. It seemed that if Lu Yuan wanted to go further, it could even be made into an epic level. Is this the difference? 
with an understatement of explanation and ordinary forging. You can make the best products of the same level. Old Lu muttered as he watched. Lu Yuan successively made the remaining pieces of the suit. Since it was a demonstration, Lu Yuan didn't take it too seriously. But once he got to the level, he would be top-notch no matter what he made. When Lao Lu got started on his own, he made three pieces in a row before making a purple rare level equipment. And its attributes were much worse than Lu Yuan's. Lao Lu thought carefully and still couldn't find out how different the level of the two was. Or has texture. And the texture must be consistent when refining. So that the toughness of the metal will be improved. The heat can be controlled well. But it is still unstable. When forging the shape of the equipment, the force must be even and the thickness of the equipment must be consistent. Lu Yuan and Lu Yuan were confused and began to point out some of his shortcomings. Forging is like this. Details determine success or failure. It seems that everyone is swinging the hammer. But the secret is revealed to the world. And few people can achieve it. After all, everyone can do Tai Chi. But there is only one Zhang San Feng. Boss, I'm afraid the workers you recruited are not as good as me. It seems that this task is really difficult to complete. Old Lu was a little discouraged. Lu Yuan smiled and said, Of course, I have thought about this problem. It can be made into an assembly line. A few people specialize in refining. A few people specialize in smelting. And then it is forged and shaped by skilled craftsmen. You just need to remember the standards and check them at all levels. Assembly line? Old Lu thought for a while before he finally understood what the boss was saying. You practice slowly, and a large amount of materials will be delivered in a while. Lu Yuan stepped aside and began to think about the high-end private customization plan he wanted to make. Suddenly the three girls came out of the inner room angrily and said anxiously, Linger sent a message saying that Xinghai had a conflict with someone. What happened? They didn't contact me. Let's go and take a look first. Chapter 180 In Yang Soul Locking Array Lu Yuan was also a little helpless. He had his best brother on one side and the order he had just taken over on the other. In the end, he chose to help. At worst, when the order could not be completed, he would just take action and work hard. Lu Yuan's mount was no longer on him. This time, Lu Yuan sat on Fong Rose new mount, the ghost-faced demon spider. After turning into a mount, he was much smaller, but his back was wide enough to seat several people. My little spider is awesome, isn't it? Things are changing. And this time it's your turn to ride with me, Fong Rose said proudly. Can we make it in time? Lu Yuan was not in the mood to joke. It was natural for his friends to come forward when something happened. But he still had a lot of things to arrange. It was his first time accepting an order. And he didn't want to mess it up. It's in Luasha Mountain in the southwest. Not too far away. Linger and Zheng Yu are also there. I heard that these people are not interested in leveling. They went to Luasha Mountain to watch the sunset. But they were surrounded by a group of people. They were anxious to kill. As if they just wanted to wait for us to pass by. They thought it was a trap, so they didn't tell you. Xiao Louis explained. I understand. I guess he knows someone who knows us. Who could it be? Lu Yuan couldn't think of anyone he had offended. You'll know when you get there. Li Tong said. Whose man is the one feeling sorry for? Both Ling'er and Zheng Yu are here. But they say something happened to Zhao Xinghe. And they still know how to save face for Zheng Yu. Fang Rou said with a smile. It seems to be related to Miss Chiushui. Xiao Lui explained. He knew that the opponent was deliberately luring him into a trap. So he was not afraid that something would happen to Zhao Xinghe and others. After all, death in the game would only result in the loss of some equipment. And the opponent's purpose was obviously not to equip them. Soon after arriving at the foot of Luasha Mountain, Lu Yuan said to the three women, I'll go up myself. And you guys stay hidden so that we can take care of them if anything happens. The three of them thought for a while and nodded. They still had confidence in Li Yuan's strength. If there was any conspiracy, self-protection would not be a problem. Li Yuan climbed up the mountain road. There were no wild monsters in this mountain. They were just small animals. The steps were also very neat. It was probably a leisure area for people to enjoy the scenery. When he reached the top platform, there were more than 10 people surrounding Zhao Xinghe and Zhao Xinghe who were sitting on the ground. Zhang Yu and Ling'er would attack every once in a while to prevent them from getting out of the battle, and then restore full health to prevent them from dying. Call your leader. Lu Yuan walked over to the three people who were surrounded without any nonsense. Boss, why are you here? Come on. There's a trap here. Zhang Yu shouted anxiously. Shut up. The guard kicked Zhang Yu on the head 
and interrupted his words. Hand of the Void. Three big golden hands appeared out of thin air and directly pulled the three people surrounded towards him. After Lu Yuan's strength increased, this skill became more handy. With a wave of the shadowless sword, the ropes on the three bodies were disconnected and they were free again. You guys should look for an opportunity to retreat first. Someone will take care of you below. Lu Yuan Dao. There was a burst of laughter. And then a cold voice came. Now that you are here, you still want to leave? There was a flash of light around the top of the mountain. And then the lines on the ground also lit up. It looked like some kind of formation. Lu Yuan looked around and saw a group of people who had just come online standing outside the formation. The leader was Yin Li, who had been injured before. Behind him stood the girl Chiu Shui. There was also a man and a woman beside him. And there were a bunch of people behind him. Subordinates. So it's you. If in the real world, you could just get some people to plot against you. In the game, even if you kill us once, what will you get? Lu Yuan sneered. Originally it's nothing. But when you enter this Yin Yang soul locking array, it's different. Yin Li said unhurriedly. Lu Yuan's expression didn't change. He was already mentally prepared since he arrived. But since he arrived here, Zhao Xingha has always lowered his head and said nothing. Xingha, what's wrong with you? Is everything okay? Lu Yuan asked with concern. I've caused trouble to you again. You shouldn't have come. Zhao Xingha finally raised his head. But his eyes were no longer as bright as before. Yin Li pulled Chiu Shui, who was standing behind him, and said with a smile, Ha ha ha. Look at your useless friend. He is obsessed with this woman. Although I am tired of playing with him. It is not his turn. Poor man. Bah. Shameless. Don't you know what our Xingha treats you? You actually betrayed us. Zhang Yu scolded from the side. Oh. By the way. Brother Lu is really generous. I didn't expect that it would be an epic suit. I have to thank you for this bitch. After saying that, he threw Chiu Shui behind him. Stop talking nonsense. If you want to fight, do it quickly. I still have things to do. Why haven't we seen each other for so long? Why are we talking as much nonsense as we did in the ring? Lu Yuan didn't seem to hear it. Boss, I don't blame him. People who are not strong enough talk a lot of nonsense. So he just equates me with me. Zhang Yu said from the side. No, he is not as good as you. And the nonsense he talks is not as interesting as yours. Lu Yuan patted Zhang Yu on the shoulder and consoled him. Well, my boss still has the vision. Seeing that his method of provoking the generals was not working, Yin Li waved his hand angrily, and his subordinates rushed forward. More than a hundred people poured into the formation, and it suddenly became crowded. An overwhelming amount of magic and arrows fell down, and the ranged enemies on the outside, who had not entered the formation, also began to attack. Lu Yuan rushed back and forth and tried the surrounding light walls. Sure enough, he couldn't get out, and his attributes dropped by 30%. He did a good job in this game. But even if his attributes dropped, it wasn't something that these miscellaneous soldiers could do. Then, Xingha, cheer up. You are just a woman. So what about you? Zheng Yu pulled Zhao Xingha and ran around the field to avoid attacks. Just when Lu Yuan was about to kill an enemy, several green lights fell filling up his blood. The attribute reduction array was full of blood cows. It was really difficult for a while. What worried Li Yuan the most was the other three. After their attributes are reduced, they cannot withstand the attacks of so many people. Sure enough, Zhao Xing had died first. But he didn't have to wait for resurrection and resurrected directly in the center of the formation. You must know that every time you die, you will lose experience. You can't go back to the city after death which proves that it is possible to be killed directly to 20 here, below level 20. If the system did not protect players below level 20 from PK, they would probably have to reach level 0. Do you know the power of this Inyang soul locking formation? Yin Li stood outside the formation and watched the excitement with a smile. Lu Yuan relied on his good equipment and always felt that there was no game he could not break. He didn't expect that there was such a thing in this game. It seemed that he had to pay for his carelessness this time. The range of the formation was not very large, and Lu Yuan did not dare to stand still, so he simply used his group attack skills. After the cooling down of Thousand Army killing was completed, he rushed directly to kill without accumulating strength. The distance was enough to get from one side to the other. Aside, with Lu Yuan's attack power of more than 100,000, if it was in a normal state, these soldiers would be able to kill one of them in two or three strikes. However, now that the attributes have dropped, and there are health boosters outside. 
once the loss lasts for a second, the health will be reduced instantly. Full return. Even so, the Shadowless Sword triggered the ignore defense. Coupled with the special effects of Lu Yuan's equipment, including poison, fire, ice, and the ground cracking effect, he still killed many enemies in seconds. But he didn't know who the enemy was. How many people are there in total? Enter the team. Zhang Yu. Protect Xingha and Ling'er. I will kill the enemy. Lu Yuan sent a team invitation to the three of them. He kept his hands on them. And the enemies seemed to be cooperating with them. Lu Yuan did not see them touch them. And some people still fell one after another. Xiao Shui. Fortunately I have your information. Otherwise Lu Yuan would really be unable to deal with him. Yin Li said coldly. Xiao Shui looked at the four people trapped in the formation. His expression did not change. And he did not open his mouth to answer. Chapter 181 Vitality Bomb Young Master, Lu Yuan should be using the pseudo-artifact Shadowless Sword. It looks really good. It is indeed a rare and good sword. Inli couldn't help but nodded and said, Lu Yuan kept moving in the formation. And Zheng Yu protected Zhao Xinghe and Linger and hid aside. If Lu Yuan hadn't been bearing the pressure, the three of them would have died several times. Lu Yuan shouted to Inli while facing the enemy. Is this the number of people? I'm afraid it's not enough. Inli smiled evilly. Let's see how long you can keep your stubbornness. Lu Yuan had actually come up with a countermeasure a long time ago. But he was not sure. He was afraid that if he couldn't break the formation and there were reinforcements behind him, he would be in trouble. So he kept using up his forbearance. But if it dragged on, Zheng Yu and the others might not be able to hold on. The sun and the moon shine. Lu Yuan raised the shadowless sword high and released additional skills on the sword itself. The transparent sword body was like the sun, and suddenly shot out a dazzling light. Even if you closed your eyes, you would feel bursts of stinging pain. Everyone lost sight, including Zheng who was in the team. You and the others didn't know what happened. This is the first time Li Yuan has used this skill. But Lu Yuan has experienced the power of this light before when it was strengthened. After a burst of white light, everyone's vision gradually recovered. There was no movement in the formation and Lu Yuan did not take advantage of the enemy's blindness to attack. Inli resisted the discomfort in his eyes, and opened his eyes first. Looking for Lu Yuan's figure, this person always gave him an uneasy feeling. He had always been a leader among his peers. But there happened to be such a person. It was the first time he met him. Let yourself taste failure. Lu Yuan in the formation was seen raising his hands upwards, and looking up in the direction of his hands. He saw that the sky was composed of elemental balls composed of five colors. Red, yellow, green, gold, and blue. Hurry! Stop him quickly! Inli shouted loudly. At this time, the people on the top of the mountain gradually recovered their eyesight. When they heard Inli shouting, they hurriedly looked for the target and launched an attack on Lu Yuan. Act of God. The five elements natural disaster set has the additional skill natural disaster. Lu Yuan did not attack the player because he did not know the explosion range of this skill. He shot directly towards the wall of the Yin Yang Soul locking array, which happened to be in the direction of Inli. Inli looked at the extremely unstable elemental ball. His past combat experience told him that this ball was very dangerous. So he stepped back without caring about others. Holy crap! Is this a vitality bullet? Zheng Yu said in surprise as he looked at the falling attribute ball. The explosion swept across instantly, and the Yin Yang Soul locking array shattered in response. The attributes of Lu Yuan and others were restored instantly. Most of the players in the array with remaining health were killed or injured, because this set of skills have the damage to players. The Blood Ox profession was not instantly killed. The enemies outside the formation were not fatally injured due to the obstruction of the formation walls. But they all had residual health and did not bother to attack Lu Yuan. They all took medicine where they were. After Lu Yuan released his natural disaster skill, he had already charged up and headed towards the place where the doctors gathered to kill him. With full firepower, Lu Yuan took the special effect attack potion and special effect defense potion made by pills. He was like a murderer in the crowd. With the various special effects of the suit, these soldiers could not stop him at all. You three come up too. Why don't you watch the excitement? Inli came back from behind and said angrily. Lu Yuan and Inli showed their heads and rushed towards him with thousands of troops. Inli felt threatened and just wanted to hide. But unexpectedly a big golden hand appeared in the sky and pulled him towards Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan, who was stabbing quickly, bumped into Yin Li, who was pulled over by the giant golden hand. Yin Li looked horrified. 
He didn't expect that he would be defeated so cleanly. There was only a sword hilt left on his chest. And his health bar disappeared instantly. And he was actually killed. You are no match for me. Lu Yuan whispered in Im Li's ear. Seeing that his boss fell. The top of the mountain was already in chaos. He was no match in the first place. So his morale was gone. Since we were in a team. The doctor couldn't use his resurrection skills unless he was out of combat. Zhang Yu. Go and block the mountain pass. No one can leave today. Lu Yuan said to Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu pulled the silent Zhao Xingha slowly to the mountain pass. No one dared to stop him during the whole process. Zhang Yu summoned the Scar Wolf King. Wang Kai, let me show you what massacre is. Zhang Yu started to show off again. Seeing that he didn't need his help, the Scar Wolf King transformed into a human form. With no place to lean on. He simply sat down on the ground and smoked his cigarette melancholy. Lu Yuan had already rushed forward and started killing randomly. It was a bit challenging at first. But now the opponent has no fighting spirit. Lu Yuan just regarded it as practicing his PK skills. Lu Yuan, can you please not kill her? Lu Yuan looked at Zhao Xingha with some surprise. It seemed that he had been hit hard before he came. But even so, he was still protecting Qiu Shui. Xiao Lui, Li Tong and Fang Ro also caught up. The whole battle didn't last long. They saw the explosion at the bottom of the mountain and rushed up the mountain. Unexpectedly, when they arrived, it was already a one-sided massacre. In the end, there were only three people left, including Chiu Shui and a man and a woman, who seemed to be the main generals under Inli. Lu Xia, Gu Wu and Chiu Shui. It seems there should be a Chan Tian. Why is there no one there? Lu Yuan said coldly, looking at the remaining three people. Boss, how do you know? The falling clouds and the solitary owl fly together. The autumn water is the same color as the sky. You don't even know this poem? As Lu Yuan spoke, he suddenly took a big step diagonally backward, stabbed out a sword, and a figure appeared, then fell to the ground. Oh, it turns out that Chang Tian is here. I didn't expect you to be so powerful. This mistake was not unjust. Although we were fully prepared, we still underestimated you. The woman named Luaxia said, Your name is Luaxia, but you came to Luaxia Mountain. It's like a baby chick arriving at Lufengpo. It's unlucky. Lu Yuan kept charging directly at his feet. Luo Xia was also an assassin, and Gu Wu was a guardian. Their fate was already destined. These two people were obviously quite good, but they were not even a little bit worse than Lu Yuan. In the end, the top of the mountain was only Lu Yuan, and his group were left with Qiu Shui. The air suddenly became quiet, and no one spoke. Lu Yuan also walked to the back and patted Zhao Xingha on the shoulder. Lu Yuan really couldn't give any advice on relationships. Let's go! Zhao Xingha said firmly without raising his head. I don't need your pity. Xiao Shui said coldly and walked straight towards the edge of the mountain top. Don't want! Zhao Xingha also ran towards the edge of the mountain top, trying to stop Xiao Shui. But he was still a step too late. Seeing Xiao Shui fall off the cliff, Zhao Xingha jumped down without hesitation. Holy shit! What are they doing? Dying for love. Fang Ro was a little surprised. Sad and discordant. I ended my life for love. Half body was hurt by wind and rain. Half body was cold after half a word of farewell. Lu Yuan shook his head and murmured. Chapter 182 The Prototype of the Studio Don't be stunned. Pick up the equipment. Lu Yuan Yuan. No one spoke. And didn't know what to say. At least the equipment all over the floor couldn't be wasted. Fortunately, it's in a game. If this were the real world, you would be dead if you jumped. I really didn't expect that Miss Chiu Shui is actually a serious person. Zheng Yu said while picking up the equipment. You guys haven't been online all day today. Linger and I were bored and went to find Galaxy to upgrade. Later, they were going to come here to watch the sunset. But they didn't expect it to be a trap. We were tied up here and humiliated. It lasted for several hours. Especially Xing He, who suffered a huge blow. His beloved goddess is actually a dog in Ian Li's eyes? Linger also came over and explained. Miss, I didn't know there was such a formation here. Otherwise, even if one was under house arrest here, I wouldn't let you take risks. It's okay. I'll be angry if you don't tell me if you have difficulties. But there's something wrong with the timing. I don't know if you guys noticed it. Xiao Lui said. What time? Lu Yuan was still feeling sad for his good friend. And sent a message but did not reply. Before you attended my birthday party. That is... Before Lu Yuan offended Inli, 
Shanghai had already said that he was going to fall in love and had not been seen for several days. On the day of the birthday party, he also repeatedly emphasized that he had met true love. Although Lu Yuan was in the game, he is still somewhat famous in China. But in reality at that time, no one knew about him. And it was impossible for Yin Li to arrange Chiu Shui to be with us before Li Yuan offended him. Xiao Lui analyzed clearly. That seems to be the case. In other words, Chiu Shui was not an undercover agent at first. But later Yin Li found out about this relationship. So he took advantage of Chiu Shui. Lu Yuan said clearly. But Miss Chiu Shui didn't explain a word. And she also knew about the ambush in this place. What shocked Xingha the most was that the goddess he pursued so hard but couldn't find turn out. Ugh. Zhang Yu said and finally sighed. Tone. If nothing goes wrong, let's go back to the city. I asked Xingha to go to the blacksmith shop. Although I don't have much contact with that person Yin Li. He actually talks rubbish. What he says may not be true. But no matter what what Chiu Shui did was betrayal. Let Xingha handle it on his own. Lu Yuan was still anxious to have orders to do. And he didn't want to delay the matter too much when it was over. This battle made Lu Yuan a little awakened. Since his equipment was formed, and he had attributes that were far superior to other players. He always felt that nothing could threaten him. As long as he kept up with the level, and the equipment continued to be updated. He would be afraid after reaching the full level. Even the Demon King can fight. But today, Lu Yuan discovered that he didn't know enough about this world. It could develop for thousands of years. And there were still many things that he had not touched. If more people came today, and if Ian Lee's equipment was on par with his own, then as long as he was in if you die once in the formation, you may really get killed to level 20, and your equipment will be exposed. The formation appears today. Who knows if something else will appear tomorrow. Even if you have a magical weapon in your hand, you shouldn't be so careless. But when you have more friends around you, all kinds of things will increase and someone will take advantage of you in the future. When people around you threaten you, this is just the beginning. Holy City Blacksmith Shop. Zhang Yu, I want to set up a studio. If a war breaks out like Professor Sun said, I will have some reliable teammates. Are you coming? Lu Yuan plans to start as soon as possible. Who knows which one will come first? Accident or tomorrow? Come! Boss, is my level okay? Zhang Yu is a little unsure because he had been a laggard for so long. Of course your level is not up to par. Lu Yuan said with a smile. Oh. Zhang Yu was a little downcast. But since I asked you to come, I naturally want to train you. Even if you don't go to the battlefield in the future, I can give you some ability to protect yourself. At least to protect your family around you. I want to participate too. Fong Ro raised her hand to sign up. Me too. Li Tong was also very positive. I won't need basic training. But I will always be your most reliable comrade. Xiao Lui also said seriously. Lu Yuan nodded. These are old friends, and they work together very well. Even if they don't say anything, Lu Yuan will try his best to help them. At least, they must have the ability to protect themselves. Does your studio provide food and accommodation? Lu Yuan turned around. And it turned out that it was Yao Wanzi who was talking behind him. Well, we can provide accommodation if necessary. But there is no salary. But we can help you in the game. Lu Yuan nodded and said, Oh, can I participate? Although my fighting ability is not good, no one should be able to surpass me in refining medicine. The salary is not important. The money you make in the game is enough. And the help you provide in the game should be more than the salary. It's worth a lot. Yuanzi's calculations were quite clear. Okay, with your medicine, I can rest assured about supplies. Boss, I want to live there too. Will Linger go to the dormitory? Zhang Yu asked in a low voice. Okay. Come on. I won't leave you alone. In addition, you go find Xingha. He is not in a high mood. It may be the most painful time for him recently. And I can't get away for the time being. You two can come to my place together. Lu Yuan said to Zhang Yu. After finally finishing everything, he quickly got into work in the blacksmith shop. At this time, the blacksmith shop was closed to the public. What surprised Lu Yuan was that he was no longer idle in the blacksmith shop. Both Lao Lu and Ah Fu were busy supervising the workers in the shop. It turned out that not long after he left, Ah Fu had already completed the recruitment and returned to the shop. Old Lu told Ah Fu about Lu Yuan's assembly line plan. Ah Fu was smart enough to understand what it meant. If he wanted all the workers to forge a set of equipment is very difficult. And there is no time and materials for them to contact each other. 
So everyone only has to do one thing and practice only one task to reach the standard. Lu Yuan nodded. One for management and one for technology. He was more and more satisfied with recruiting these two people. Lu Yuan walked around the entire assembly line. Although these people were still a little unfamiliar, they had generally reached the standard line for mass production. It seemed that old Lu had worked hard. Boss, what do you think? Ah Fu came over and asked. Remember that materials are the key. So the seemingly inconspicuous first step of refining is very important. You must check it carefully. Forging and shaping can't be done by Lao Lu alone. You need to train two people to do it together. This is already good. Everyone's processing fees, and food must not be neglected. Lu Yuan nodded in affirmation. Ah Fu was very happy to be praised. After working here for a long time, he gradually felt that salary was not so important. He could be appreciated. His abilities were affirmed. And the future of the store was bright. All these made him get more salary than himself. I am happy. Maybe this is the sense of belonging. Looking at the young boss in front of me. There is really a kind of charm that can make me. Who loves money. Take money less seriously. And can make the blacksmith with a bad temper work hard with sincerity. Af you. Please bring all the materials. I'm going to start working. It's been delivered. It's all in the warehouse of our blacksmith shop. Lu Yuan walked into the warehouse and looked at the boxes of ore. Even though he was feeling heavy just now, he couldn't help but slightly raise the corners of his mouth. Finally, we can do something big. Chapter 183 The Magnificent Set Tao Yuan Group ordered all level 50 equipment. After Lu Yuan's careful guidance, the assembly line of the blacksmith shop was basically formed, and the equipment produced met the requirements. However, the newly recruited people were not proficient enough and the production speed was not enough. Hurry. There is nothing you can do about it. You can only do it slowly. If the scale of the store is larger, maybe we can be more confident. Lu Yuan thought after looking around the store again. After my own calculations, I may not be able to complete this batch of orders in seven days. But the difference should not be too much. After thinking about it, I would make up for it by making more high-end equipment myself. After all, my human side has more high-end combat power which is better than more the improvement of small soldiers is much greater. For Lu Yuan, there is no loss or loss. No one can please anyone if he is overturned. Since he has this ability, he should pay more. He does not have any lofty ideals to maintain world peace, at least for himself and those close to him. Work hard to win the war. The several sets of top quality equipment that Lu Yuan forged have a very popular appearance. After all, they are not people he knows, and he doesn't know what style they like as long as the quality is acceptable. It is easy for Lu Yuan to complete these sets of equipment now. He also made a set of jewelry for himself using the remaining Bati on stone. Lu Yuan rarely makes jewelry equipment, and his necklaces and bracelets are already relatively behind. The Pope's ring is just fine, because the five Vega ones are very high. He could bring it with him. But Lu Yuan also changed it directly this time. Bati on stone is a kind of, or with special properties. The equipment made can have a super body effect. The so-called super body is immune to stun, knockdown, deceleration and other control effects. It is especially practical on the battlefield. If you are beaten in the crowd, holding it for a second or two is enough to kill someone on the spot. Lu Yuan saw the potential of this stone, so he specially reserved some for himself. Tao Yuan group was also very generous and gave a lot of all the materials, so it did not affect the quality of the goods shipped to them. Lu Yuan didn't understand what it meant to handle three points of oil before. But now, he finally understands it. Necklaces are still mainly about increasing health. And Lu Yuan found that all necklaces on the market are like this. Rings are mainly about adding five dimensions. And there are no special additional attributes. But the increase in five dimensions is very high. Bracelets usually come with a skill is generally an auxiliary skill. It is not very powerful. And most of it can only be regarded as better than nothing. Observing the auction house. After opening the server for so long. There are still very few jewelry equipment on the market. Each item only has a few dozen pages to read. And there are almost no high-level ones. Occasionally, one or two are priced astronomically. Knowing how big the player base is, this ratio shows the scarcity of jewelry equipment. As Oyi said at the beginning, the smaller the thing, the harder it is to make it. It is rare that it is not shaped but compressed. It does not mean that if something is small, it will be better to use less material. The grade of the equipment forged in this way will not meet Lu Yuan's requirements. Extreme compression is the difficulty in forging jewelry. 
and the difficulty in necklaces lies in the connection between the chain and the pendant, which is both fine and strong. Rings and bracelets are much easier to shape. The only difficulty is the ring setting, because Lu Yuan does not want to make his own things. It's the same. If other people's rings don't have additional attributes, can't you wear your own? Finally, the attributes were finalized, and the necklace increased its health and was made into a wide and flat shape with a lifelike gemstone embedded underneath. The ring was filled with a lot of offensive materials, which took Lu Yuan a lot of energy. Such a small object had so many materials compressed into it, and the metal ore itself had been compressed to the limit, so it was very repulsive to foreign things. But in the end, he couldn't resist it. Lu Yuan had an attack gemstone embedded in the ring holder. The bracelet's main purpose is to increase endurance. Lu Yuan didn't think about adding any skills, so he just filled in the attributes he wanted. However, he didn't expect that the bracelet would automatically generate a skill in the end. And it was also a good buff. Skill. A bracelet that is 4 centimeters wide and looks like a wristband. With an endurance gem embedded in the middle. Plus 15 pendant of peerless elegance. Epic quality. Level 60. No occupation limit. Strength plus 200, plus 500. Intelligence plus 200, plus 500. Stamina plus 200, plus 500. Spirit plus 200, plus 500. Additional attributes, HP increased by 35%. Additional attribute, life recovery speed increased by 10%. Additional attribute, increased healing effect by 10%. Additional attribute, when attacking, there is a 5% chance to enter the hegemonic effect for 10 seconds. Cooling time, 30 seconds. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Plus 15 ring of unparalleled elegance. Epic quality. Level 60. No occupation limit. Strength plus 600, plus 500. Intelligence plus 200, plus 500. Stamina plus 200, plus 500. Agility plus 200, plus 500. Spirit plus 200, plus 500. Additional attributes. Attack power increased by an additional 20%. Additional attribute. There is a 5% chance to increase the attack speed when attacking. Additional attribute. When attacking. There is a 5% chance to enter the hegemonic effect for 10 seconds. Cooling time, 30 seconds. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Plus 15 Magnificent Bracelet. Epic Quality. Level 60. No Occupation Limit. Strength plus 240, plus 500. Intelligence plus 240, plus 500. Spirit plus 240, plus 500. Stamina plus 480, plus 500. Additional Attributes. Endurance increased by an additional 30%. Additional Skills. Tian Gang Roar. Release skills on the spot, causing yourself and surrounding teammates to enter the Tian Gang Roar state. Increase physical defense and magic defense. Additional attribute, when attacking, there is a 5% chance to enter the hegemonic effect for 10 seconds. Cooling time, 30 seconds. Forger, Bu Dao Huan. Set skill, Armor of Overlord. Actively releases the Overlord effect of the Peerless Elegant Suit, putting oneself into a state of Overlord for 10 seconds, during which the attack power, attack speed, and movement speed increased by 10%. Lu Yuan is very satisfied with this set of jewelry. Sure enough, after adding materials to his limit, the equipment has various corresponding attributes. The ring is outstanding for strength and attack. The bracelet is outstanding for endurance and defense. And the life effect of the necklace is also more obvious. After all were strengthened to 15 stars, the added attributes reached 500 points. And the set attributes were also triggered. There must be a huge difference between actively entering the hegemonic state and triggering when attacking. Even Lu Yuan didn't expect that this set of jewelry could bring him such a big improvement. The bracelet's Tian Gang Roar skill was actually a group buff, which would undoubtedly add a lot of strength to his team. The time stipulated in the order has passed halfway, and several sets of equipment on Lu Yuan's side have been completed. After a round of inspection, he found that although the efficiency of the store clerk has improved, it is still more than half of the target. Lu Yuan is not surprised by this progress. It is already very good to reach this level. Although only three days have passed in the real world, a month has passed in the game. The blacksmiths have been supported by their will and high salaries. Lao Lu was almost sleepless, sleeping at most two hours a day, and his physical and mental energy was obviously exhausted. Lu Yuan rolled up his sleeves and joined the men directly. The efficiency was more than doubled, and the morale of the blacksmith men was also greatly boosted. Chapter 184 There is only one kind of happiness, but there are thousands of kinds of sadness. Not happy. Level 52. 
HP, 152,303. Magic value, 32211. Attack power, 101108. Physical defense, 65550. Magic defense, 65550. Strength, 6,143. Intelligence, 2,230. Spirit, 3,188. Endurance, 9,371. Agility, 2079. Skills learned, slam. Charge, Sonfeng Blood Armor. Whirlwind Slash. Lightning Slash. Waning Moon Slash. And Death Slash. Special Skills, Thousand Army Kill. Mysterious Shura Slash. Burning Blood Slash. Void Hand. Passive Skills, Peak Ingenuity. Peak Eagle Eye. Equipment Skills, Natural Disaster. Sun and Moonshine. Tian Gang Roar. Domineering Armor. Lu Yuan took a look at his attribute list. This time the jewelry was updated which mainly increased some attack power and health. Especially the increase in health was particularly obvious. Lu Yuan suddenly changed from a warrior with good strength to a blood ox, has a blood volume of over 150,000, and its attack power has finally exceeded the 100,000 mark. Although the defense value has not changed, there are two more skills. One is a buff that increases defense power, and the other is a hegemonic state. Lu Yuan is very satisfied with the results of this forging. After putting them all on, Lu Yuan can be said to be the number one person in Taoyuan. His whole body is equipped with a plus 15 star epic suit. And his weapon is a plus 18 pseudo artifact. Even a Krypton Gold boss cannot wear all the epic suits with suit attributes. The next step is to accumulate gems. If you have all kinds of attribute gems all over your body, your strength will definitely reach a higher level. After Lu Yuan inspected the blacksmith shop, he found that although the efficiency had improved a lot, the order might not be completed when the date was up. So he had no choice but to join the forging process himself. And the efficiency more than doubled. It was already after 1 o'clock in the afternoon when he went offline to eat. Lu Yuan was a little strange. The three girls in the family knew that they would be busy recently. So they all called Lu Yuan to cook. But no one called him today. I didn't see anyone until I went down to the first floor. The three women were chatting with Zheng Yu and Ling Er. Zhao Xingha was sitting on the sofa on the other side. He didn't seem to have any sad emotions. He was in a daze, and didn't know what he was thinking. There was another wearing of the strange figure of the man in the peaked cap, as his back to Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan walked to Zhao Xingha and sat down, and lightly punched Zhao Xingha on the shoulder with his fist. Zhao Xingha came back to his senses, and looked at Lu Yuan. And the two looked at each other and smiled. Lu Yuan suddenly felt that Zhao Xingha seemed to have changed and become calmer. It seemed that Qiu Shui's incident had a great impact on him. He did not ask him how to deal with that relationship. Sometimes, it was like that between men. It was not necessary at all. Too many words. Xiao Yuanzi. I didn't expect that in just over a month. You actually have two villas in such a good location. Zhao Xingha seemed to have returned to his former playful self. But only Li Yuan could see the slight sadness hidden deep in his eyes. Would you like to leave home and come to my place for a while? Let's have some fun together and teach you some self-defense skills. Li Yuan invited Zhao Xingha. Zhao Xingha nodded and said, I just want to leave home and relax. I've also heard about this situation. Don't worry. I will always be your most reliable comrade in arms. Lu Yuan. Linger has also moved here. And I arranged her to the second floor. Xia Lui said. Just make up your mind. Lu Yuan nodded. And your little brother Zheng Yu. Who is so shameless. Also wants to live here. We have arranged for him and Xingha to live in the building next to him. And let them accompany him as the building manager. Fang Ro added. Sister-in-law, we can't talk like that. I was officially invited by my boss. Zhang Yu refused. If you don't have a gatekeeper, I will tell Linger to ignore you. Fang Ro threatened. My Linger won't listen to you. I listen to Sister Rower. Linger said with a smile. Okay, stop making trouble now. Lu Yuan, this is the pill in the game. Li Tong quickly interrupted their nonsense and said. Lu Yuan stood up and walked over to shake hands with Yao Wanzi. Taking a closer look, Yao Wanzi was not tall and looked about 16 or 17 years old. He was wearing a loose t-shirt, jeans, and a peaked cap on his head. She looks different from the one in the game. It should be said that she is more delicate than in the game. She has big eyes and good skin. But the skin on her hands is obviously rougher. Zaya Wanzi, you are here. If your hands weren't rough, you would look like a girl. 
Lu Yuan smiled and reached out to touch his hat-covered head. Yuanzi pushed Lu Yuan's hand away and said angrily, My name is not Zai Yuanzi. My name is Huasian. Why did you do something when we first met? Lu Yuan was a little funny. Why do you have such a big reaction when a man touches you? I feel like you are just like a little brother. Who is your little brother? I'm a girl. Huasian took off his hat and let his braided hair fall loose. Forehead. Lu Yuan looked at the other people in the room at a loss. But no one seemed surprised except himself. It was obvious that they already knew about it. Cyan also lives on the second floor with us. We also need to find a housekeeper to be responsible for cooking and hygiene. Li Tong said with a smile. Aren't you a man? How come you have become a girl, and you can dress up as a man in the game? If Lu Yuan knew that the other person was a girl, how could he reach out and touch his head? The women in this room didn't know how to deal with it. Because I took their own Dan. If it weren't for so many sisters here, I wouldn't come to your place. I can also help clean the house and cook the meals. Huasian said. You don't need to do so much work. My sisters will protect you. Besides, Lao Lu has made a lot of money. Why don't you keep it if you don't want to spend it? Fong Ro said without saying anything. Eat quickly. I have to catch up on work after eating. You can just take care of the housekeeping matters. We really won't have time to do these odd jobs in the future. Lu Yuan suddenly remembered that now was not a good time to chat. Everyone also knows that Lu Yuan is quite busy these days. So they all go to the restaurant to help. The meals are already ordered for takeout and only need to be heated briefly. Seeing that everyone had gone to the restaurant, Xiao Lui said to Lu Yuan, Tian's parents died early and she has been staying with her relatives. The relatives were not particularly kind to her and even occupied the small house left by her parents. I went out to work part-time to make money when I was 14 years old. It wasn't until this year that I saved up money to buy gaming equipment. I had some adventures there, and my life became more comfortable. However, the rented house recently expired. Maybe it was to save some money. Let's chat. I got along well with him. So I came here from out of town. Lu Yuan nodded after hearing this. There are always thousands of kinds of suffering in the world. Looking at her appearance. If her parents had not died prematurely. She would have been a little princess. Recalling her rough little hands. She couldn't help but feel a little distressed. Xiao Xinga took out a bottle of foreign wine from the wine cabinet on the second floor. Poured some for everyone. And said with a smile. I'd like to propose a toast to you. I've been worrying about you for the past few days. Let's level up together to improve our strength later. I must be Xiao Yuanzi's strong backing. Fang Ro shook her head and said. How can you drink at noon? That's all right. I see how pitiful you are. I'll do the same with you. Ru, be careful when you speak. Li Tong quickly whispered out of fear that Zhao Xinghe would be upset. Drinking without smoking, being romantic without being obscene, and being pitiful is beyond words. Maybe it's retribution for being too carefree in the past. Zhao Xinghe also drank it all in one gulp. Lu Yuan didn't know how to comfort him. He took a sip of wine and said, Xinghe, I have something to do in a while. Let's have a good drink after my order is over. Zhao Xinghe nodded his expression a little unnatural, as he was choked by foreign wine. Everyone could see that he couldn't let go in his heart. When the bitter wine goes into your throat and your heart hurts, just think of it as a dream, Zhao Xingha suddenly said with a smile, and then poured himself another glass and drank it all in one gulp. But I've been awake for a long time, and I'm still very touched, Zhao Xingha said with a wry smile. Chapter 185 Order Completed The atmosphere was a bit dull for Lu Yuan. So he hurriedly said, since everyone has moved here, let's start running laps at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Starting with physical training. Boss, what are you doing? You're not here to be a soldier. Why are you doing morning exercises? You are too weak now. Luo Yi and I have been on the battlefield before. Although wearing equipment in reality has attribute bonuses, it still requires your own physical fitness to keep up. Fighting in reality will be tiring. Lu Yuan explained. In reality? Wearing equipment to fight? Wasian obviously doesn't know these things yet. Do you know why Tao Yuan Group wants to customize equipment? Although you didn't tell me clearly, you can tell that the battle may be coming soon. You all saw the injuries I suffered last time. If it were you, I'm afraid died on the battlefield. Although Lu Yuan's words were unpleasant, he also wanted everyone to realize the seriousness of the problem. Our country of China is so powerful. Maybe the war has subsided before it's our turn to go to the battlefield. Zheng Yu still felt lucky. Old Jung, I didn't expect you to be this kind of person. It seems like you don't deserve to live here. 
Hurry up and pack your bags and go home, Fang Rou said with disdain. And even Linga turned her head to the side and stopped looking at Zheng Yu. Lu Yuan said patiently, I am not bringing everyone together for fun. Even if there is no war, we must improve our strength. People like Zhao Jiozhou and others have many subordinates. Now, although we won't be bullied because of our equipment advantage, but what if the level reaches a bottleneck? Everyone's equipment has caught up. What will we rely on then? Then we will have to rely on combat awareness, our own abilities, and everyone's cooperation. Xiao Yu and Z is right. I agree. Zhao Xinghe was the first to express his opinion. Don't get me wrong. I must have participated in the training. But I'm used to being talkative. Go to bed early and get up early to exercise. Zhang Yu hurriedly shouted slogans. Luo Yi and Xiao Yaowen also have to participate. Lu Yuan added. Xiao Lui felt that he had a foundation in martial arts before. So he was reluctant to participate in basic training. So this time Lu Yuan specially emphasized it. My name is Wasian. Not Zai Yaowen. Wasian said angrily. Xiao Lui also nodded and said. It's up to you. After eating, Lu Yuan hurriedly started the game. There was still a ding in the blacksmith shop. After he was offline for a while, half a day had passed in the game. Lu Yuan has been feeling more and more recently. Although time flows very quickly in the game, he always feels that a day in the game is also very long. It even feels the same as in reality. If he also needs sleep in the game, it is probably more like real life now. Although Lu Yuan felt strongly, he couldn't explain the reason. Scientists couldn't give a clear answer on the subject of time, let alone Lu Yuan, a mere college student, throw away distracting thoughts and quickly join in the forging. There are only three days left, and more than half of it is still unfinished. It is time to show your true strength. The past three days were very peaceful. Besides eating, Lu Yuan took half an hour every morning to take everyone for a run. Zhao Xinghe seemed to have made up his mind and worked very hard to exercise. According to Zhang Yu, apart from eating and playing games every day, Zhao Xinghe would be on the ground floor over there, exercising. Lu Yuan was surprised. After two years in the same dormitory, this guy didn't even bother to buy breakfast. He didn't buy it himself and then asked him to eat. What surprised Lu Yuan even more was was Cyan. He thought she was younger and would complain. But after running every day, even Xiao Lui felt a little tired. But she pressed her legs and stretched like a normal person. She was familiar with everyone and could even bully Zhang Yu. Lu Yuan was very pleased to see these friends around him. And he was also very happy to see Wu Cyan happy. This is the smile that one should have at this age. Instead of shrinking back and fighting to survive. The seven days passed quickly. The order was delivered on time. And all batches of suits were completed. Lu Yuan's special high-end customization exceeded Tao Yuan Group's expectations. Tao Yuan Group was also generous. It transferred another 5 million to Lu Yuan and set a long-term order with Lu Yuan. No specific quantity was required. As long as Lu Yuan's production was completed and met the requirements, Tao Yuan Group would accept the order. Lu Yuan was curious as to why they didn't make some equipment for mage assassins. Tao Yuan Group claimed that they had left the cloth armor and leather armor to the tailor's shop. Lu Yuan felt relieved after thinking about it. After all, not all blacksmiths have this ability. Besides, making a piece of cloth and leather armor requires too much energy and is not suitable for mass production. His first order was finally completed. Lu Yuan also breathed a sigh of relief and simply gave the blacksmith shop workers a holiday to have a good rest. However, Ah Fu strongly objected and said a little tiredly, Boss, our store has been closed to the public for a long time. I'm afraid it will be affected if we continue to rest. It's okay to rest. But let them take turns. The store must resume business. Although the order volume is large. But we should still rely on individual customers to maintain our business. Lu Yuan nodded in agreement. And he also appreciated himself as a butler even more. Since the order began, although Ah Fu did not know how to forge, he had been ensuring the logistics and supervising the work of the newly recruited men. It can be said that he worked hard. Lu Yuan wanted to give him a holiday. And Ah Fu also said that he could still persist. Even his proposal of rotating holidays did not include himself in the ranks of rest. Unexpectedly, such a housekeeper who seemed to be very calculating would end up he cares more about the store than himself. Everything in the game was finished, and he could finally log off to rest. Lu Yuan walked from the stairs to the first floor and saw no one. It seemed that he had not logged off yet. Everyone had been cooking for such a long time. 
He logged off early today, preparing to miss a chance. When I came to the kitchen, I saw a strange figure busy. I just heard that there would be another housekeeper coming for an interview today. It seemed that I passed the interview. In the past two days, several people have come to apply for nannies. After all, they work in such a good environment. The wages are not low, and they are still taking care of young people. All they need to do is cook and clean up. Many people are vying for ideas. Come! But these girls are also very demanding. Not only do they need to cook delicious food, but they also need to have some cultural literacy, a clean appearance, and a kind-hearted look. Because Li Tong and Xiao Lui didn't care about these things at home. They didn't have much experience in recruiting people. Fong Ro gave them educational lessons and talked about the nannies in the news. There are a lot of shady things in this industry. It must be strictly controlled. Otherwise it will attract wolves into the house. Xiao Lui and Li Tong were so frightened that they didn't know what to do. In the end, Wisayan comforted them with a small pill. It's okay if there is such a nanny. I'll give her some medicine to make sure she stays honest. Are you new here? Lu Yuan asked. The stranger in the kitchen was startled when he heard the sound. He turned around and replied. Well, yes, I'm preparing lunch for you. Let's go to the sofa and wait for a while. Well, thank you for your hard work. Lu Yuan didn't say much. Turned around and went outside to get some air. After a while, Zheng Yu and Zhao Xinga came over to eat. There were still few people in the two rooms. So they always ate here together. Boss, we found a mysterious place. Didn't you finish your order today? Let's go explore it together. Zheng Yu said mysteriously as soon as he saw Lu Yuan. What mysterious place? Lu Yuan asked. Zhao Xinga smiled and said, He just wants you to avenge him. We found a palace in the peak forest. But there are many high-level monsters outside. Your little brother was almost killed. So I wouldn't ask for your help. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. I just have nothing to do for a while. Let's go take a look together. Chapter 186. Who can withstand this? Tell me. What kind of palace can be built in the peak forest? Lu Yuan asked while eating. It's strange to say that the location is an open area. And there is also a lake. Although the source has not been seen. The water quality should not be stagnant. This kind of place is most suitable for monster beasts to practice. But there are many powerful monster beasts that only guard the surrounding forests. But did not enter the open area. We thought we would be attacked by other monsters in the past. Xiao Lui explained. Lu Yuan looked at Zheng Yu and asked. You didn't ask Wang Kai if he knew? I asked. But it has been outside the forest. And he doesn't know the situation inside the forest. Zheng Yu said. Didn't the ghost-faced demon spider ask? Fong Ro also shook her head after hearing this. Such gregarious monsters rarely leave their territory. So they don't know much about it. If Aunt Shalu is here, she must know that in such a special place, there must be a powerful person. You will know when you go up and take a look. Lu Yuan said. By the way, that's Zhang Pan. From now on, he will be responsible for home hygiene and our meals. Fong Ro said. Didn't you say you were looking for someone older? Why did you find a young man? Lu Yuan said in a low voice. It's okay as long as you can work. And young people also have common topics to talk about together. It was not easy for her to work here when she first came here. Fong Ro explained. Lu Yuan was not unsympathetic. But he always felt that hiring people for work and compassion should be separated. Otherwise there would be no point in hiring people. However, since it had been decided, Lu Yuan did not want to express his opinion on this trivial matter. After dinner and playing games, the others were waiting for me in the peak forest. I went to the back room of the blacksmith shop to get some potions. And then went directly to the stable to buy a horse to ride on. An ordinary war horse was completely different from the nine-color sacred deer. After riding for a long time, we reached the entrance of Pinnacle Forest. Following the approximate location everyone told him, Lu Yuan searched all the way and avoided elite monsters such as Boss. Ordinary monsters did not pose any hindrance to Lu Yuan. But it still took a lot of effort to reunite with everyone. The peak forest map cannot be used. It's really troublesome. Li Yuan said with some complaints. The boss is finally here. We are almost done with the wait. Zheng Yu jumped up and said. Why are you here instead of waiting in the open space over there? Ask your little brother. He's a huge human shield and runs away as soon as he's beaten. How can we? A bunch of little squishy guys. Clear away the monsters? Zhao Xing has said with a hint of helplessness. Hey, I'm really worried about Linger. Such a man has no sense of security at all. How can he be entrusted with it for the rest of his life? 
Fong Ro fan the fire at the side. Have you not seen how many high-level bosses there are? Even if the boss is here, he can't handle so many bosses. Besides, can you not always think about ruining the relationship between me and Ling'er? Zheng Yu was a little helpless. Explain. After Li Yuan arrived, everyone changed the team mode to a small team. After entering the team, everyone led him to check the situation and introduce the boss they encountered before one by one. Lu Yuan also got a general idea after the introduction. With the open space as the boundary, many boss-level monsters were guarding the forest. But no one took a step. Each monster also kept a certain safe distance. But there was no how far. Strangely enough, most of these bosses live alone. And most of them are more vicious. But here they are all calm and do not fight each other. This also makes Lu Yuan more curious. Who lives in the palace in the open space? Or who is there any treasure worthy of the covetousness of these monsters? What bosses have you encountered before? Lu Yuan asked. If you go straight from here, there is a blue-eyed leopard in front of you. It is very fast and can climb trees. It always attacks the back row and is very annoying. Xiao Lui said. The most important thing is that when you hit it, you will alert a big wild boar next to it. That big wild boar reminds you that it is so huge that ordinary trees can't stand it. And its defense is very high. When it comes, the blue-eyed leopard will not be able to stand it. Dare to get close. Li Tong added. There is a gorilla on the other side. It is very powerful, and not a monster to be trifled with. Fang Ro also added. All boss? No ordinary mobs. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Well, yes. All joking aside, although Xing Yu is a bit bad, he is not able to handle even a boss. There are two or three of them in one fight. And the level is not low. So he blocked us. It's outside. But such a mysterious place must have good things and be very curious. Zhao Xing has said, I roughly understand it. So I'll fight this blue-eyed leopard. Zheng Yu will stay by their side. If it goes to the back row, I'll taunt it and draw hatred. I'll try to trap it. Monsters like this that are fast and agile usually don't have high HP. Lu Yuan felt that instead of running around in circles looking for weaker monsters, it would be better to directly attack the monster that already knew the information. Tian Yang Roar. Lu Yuan used his jewelry skills, and everyone added buffs with him as the center. The skills did not clearly say how much defense power was increased. But according to Lu Yuan's observation, it was about 10%. Boss, aren't you busy making orders? You can learn new skills just by staying in the blacksmith shop. You're really awesome. Zhang Yu couldn't help but flatter him. After Ling'er also gave everyone the life buff. Lu Yuan slowly moved forward. After all, he could avoid disturbing the extra monsters, and no one wanted to get into a hard battle. On the tree, Li Tong reminded, shoot an arrow at it, and then you stand back and distance yourself. Blue-Eyed Leopard level 65 boss HP 50 million. The leopard seemed to be asleep, lying motionless on the branch. But no one doubted that if he took a few steps forward, he would definitely be attacked by it. So Li Yuan decided to strike first. Li Tong didn't hesitate. He took out the ice arrow that Lu Yuan gave him and used the skill freeze arrow. A blue light flashed across and the leopard was frozen into a lump of ice, lost its balance and fell from the tree. The ice cracked as soon as it hit the ground and the blue-eyed leopard rolled over. He was attacked while sleeping and even fell from the tree. Just when he was about to get mad, a figure rushed over. He jumped up to avoid the fatal blow, but his hind leg was still scratched. Minus 236,120. Lu Yuan was a little dissatisfied with a one-hit kill that only dealt over 200,000 damage to a thousand troops. If this hit was real, the damage should be higher. He is worthy of being a highly agile boss. With his seamless connection, he was still dodged. Passed. With Lu Yuan joining the battle, the situation immediately changed. Zheng Yu was in the back to protect him, and Lu Yuan was in the front to resist damage. Even though the blue-eyed leopard was extremely fast, he was helpless. He was beaten again and again until he bared his teeth and roared. But it was obviously of no use at all. Look at Lu Yuan. Even this golden leopard turned into a kitten when he joined the battle. Fang Ro said to Zheng Yu. If you want to compare others to me, I will definitely not be convinced. But as for my boss, neither of them can compare to him. Zheng Yu did not refute. Because he knew that the more he resisted, the happier Fang Ro would be. The blue-eyed leopard is not easy to deal with. Although it can do nothing to everyone, the actual attacks that fall on it are limited. The speed is too fast, 
and the leopard keeps approaching to the side intentionally or unintentionally. At first glance, it wants to alarm the people next to it. Big wild boar. The leopard's efforts were not in vain, and it indeed alarmed the wild boar next to it. Steel Thorn Porcupine Level 65 Boss. HP 80 million. The steel spurred porcupine is more than 2 meters tall and nearly 3 meters long. It is huge and has a blood volume of up to 80 million. It sprays hot air from its nose and has a viscous liquid like saliva in its mouth. The pig hair on its body is like steel needles as its name suggests. The root stood up straight and the hoof bounced twice, heading straight towards Lu Yuan. I'll go. It's really no wonder Zhang you can't carry it. Who can carry this size? Lu Yuan shouted as he ran. Chapter 187, Run Away If You Can't Beat Him The Steel Needle Porcupine was charging rampantly, and Lu Yuan did not dare to confront it head-on. He had to keep dodging, and the momentum stopped after it broke three big trees in a row. The blue-eyed leopard actually hid in the tree and watched the excitement. Lu Yuan had to sigh. Every monster in the peak forest is not easy to mess with. Not only are they strong, but the most important thing is that the higher the monster, the higher the intelligence even if the intelligence is average like that of a wild boar. But with this body type, even if you arch it casually, it won't crush you. Be careful of the leopard. I'll attract the attention of the big wild boar. Lu Yuan had to take care of the most dangerous thing himself. However, Lu Yuan's considerations were unnecessary because the golden leopard looked like it was a good show and seemed to want to use everyone's help to get rid of the wild boar and had no intention of continuing to attack. Killing with a borrowed knife is a bit wise, but it's a pity that it doesn't understand the meaning of death and coldness. Xiao Lui whispered. Extreme Dragon Control Technique Fire Dragon Technique. Two skills were released in a row. Fire Dragon Technique is a newly learned skill at level 50. It is a little less powerful than Dragon Control Technique and cannot be controlled. Moreover, Fire Dragon Technique is condensed from the fire element. It is all flames and has no entity. The Dragon Control Technique has an entity and the dragon becomes whatever attribute it is released. And the pros and cons can be easily distinguished by comparing it. The two fire dragons circled each other and rushed towards the steel needle porcupine. The porcupine was not afraid and accelerated straight into it. Xiao Lui let his fire dragon technique hit the porcupine first. And the dragon control technique flew upwards. When the first fire dragon collided with the porcupine, the dragon flying into the sky also swooped down. And the porcupine fell to the ground. A huge thunderball in the sky also fell down. And Zhao Xing has lightning technique followed up with a tacit understanding. Two figures flashed past and launched an attack on the fallen porcupine's belly. The two figures were none other than Fang Rou and Lu Yuan. Fang Rou was holding a venom dagger made from the fangs of a five-headed snake in her hand. She pierced the soft skin of the porcupine's belly with a backhand stab. And the toxin instantly turned a small piece of belly into a turn green. But when she wanted to cut the wound wider, she found that her dagger was not sharp enough. So she had to retreat with one blow. On the other hand, Lu Yuanqian's army broke through the steel needle porcupine's defense. He poked a bloody hole with a twist of his wrist. Various skills such as blood slash, lightning slash, and death slash were quickly released with the blessing of high attack speed. It hit a high defense porcupine with nearly a million blood. The porcupine rolled around on the ground and stood up straight away. The wounds on its body showed signs of healing but the toxins had not been eliminated. Although the bleeding from the bloody hole Lu Yuan stabbed had stopped. The sword hole was still there. The wound is too deep. Even a monster with strong recovery ability cannot fully recover for a while. The series of attacks obviously angered the steel needle porcupine. He not only looked at Lu Yuan and others angrily, but also cast his peripheral vision at the blue-eyed leopard watching the excitement in a tree. The back of the steel needle porcupine suddenly arched up and the steel needles on its body still had the current from the lightning attack. The steel needles shot out like rain, covering a wide area. Everyone had to hide behind the tree, and the leopard on the tree was also within the attack range, jumping and dodging quickly, staring at the steel needle porcupine angrily like exploding hair. After the steel needle porcupine hit it, its body was a little bare because all the steel needles were shot out. But in the next second, a whole body of steel needles sprouted from the flesh. Although the steel needle is easy to hide from a distance. If you are shot at close range, you will have to turn into a hedgehog. And if you are shot in large numbers, you may be killed instantly. Be careful. Lu Yuan's eagle eye skills can be seen. The key to this attack is that the close range damage cannot be underestimated. Although the blue-eyed leopard was angry, it did not participate in the battle. It still hid in a high place to look for opportunities. 
At this time, Lu Yuan and others were naturally not far away to draw its hatred. The steel kneel porcupine was different. His abdomen was seriously injured. It was heavy. The poison was still spreading. And the sword penetrated very deep. Although the skin no longer bled, the injuries in the body had not recovered. In anger, the steel kneel porcupine exerted all its four hooves and began to collide again. It first broke the tree where the leopard was and then crashed all the way forward. Lu Yuan originally wanted to hide, but when he saw that the porcupine was knocked sideways, he thought that the porcupine was afraid and ran away. So he stared directly at the leopard. Jean Bao had fought against Lu Yuan and others and knew that he could not do anything to these people, especially after Lu Yuan arrived. His speed did not have much advantage. When he saw the wild boar running away, it did not matter if everyone focused on him. Anxious, he jumped a few times and climbed to a high place, waiting quietly. As the noise rang out, the steel kneel porcupine came back, followed by a black gorilla about four meters tall. Damn! This guy turned out to be looking for help. How shameless! Zheng Yu said. The grumpy chimpanzee is a level 70 boss with a blood volume of 100 million. This is actually a level 70 boss with a HP of 100 million. It will be difficult for us to defeat three bosses together. Lu Yuan Yuan saw the monster's attributes from a distance. Can you see its information? We see it is full of question marks. Zhao Xinghe said. You haven't teamed up with us for a long time. Lu Yuan is much better than before. Fang Ro couldn't help but praise. Don't chat for now. There are two ways now. The first is to retreat until they stop chasing. The second is to rush into the open space and enter the castle. After all, they are guarding here, but do not dare to enter the open space. Obviously, there is something wrong. No scruples. But the enemies inside are definitely more powerful than them. Lu Yuan analyzed quickly. But after all, it was related to everyone's safety. So he had to win everyone's opinions. I think it's more cost-effective to go in. Even if we die, we will lose some experience at most but we can know the situation inside. If we retreat, we may not be able to escape unscathed, regardless of how far they chase us. Xiao Lui said. Everyone agreed with this idea. After spending so long here, no one wanted to leave without knowing anything. If they waited until they could defeat these monsters, they didn't know how long it would take. If something unexpected happens later, you can run behind me first. Don't hesitate. I will find a way to escape. Lu Yuan planned his escape first. Otherwise, at the critical moment, if something about loyalty arises again, everyone will be harmed. Seeing that everyone nodded to express their understanding, Lu Yuan faced the three bosses and motioned for everyone to slowly change directions and move towards the open space. The later gorilla was really as irritable as the name suggests. He picked up a thigh thick tree trunk from nowhere and swung it randomly. The steel kneel porcupine was running desperately in front. Apparently, after provoking this person, he just wanted to get it to join the group. But but I don't want to bear its wrath. The blue-eyed leopard could see clearly from a high place. And suddenly shouted to the pig and monkey below. They are approaching the palace. Stop them quickly. The steel needle porcupine and the irritable gorilla rushed towards everyone faster as soon as they heard the news. Even the blue-eyed leopard, who had been watching the excitement joined in the pursuit. Run quickly. Lu Yuan also shouted. And everyone let go and ran quickly to the open space outside. Chapter 188A Smile That Lasts Forever Lu Yuan and others quickly ran to the open space outside. At this time, the level of agility attributes was reflected. Fang Rou and Li Tong ran the fastest, followed by Xiao Lui and Zhao Xinghe. Ling'er was relatively slower, and the slowest was a Jin Yu and Lu Yuan ran at full strength. Their speed should be about the same as that of a mage. After all, their agility is still relatively high. Seeing that Zhang Yu was running slowly, Lu Yuan had no choice but to slow down and stay behind the team. The blue-eyed leopard was the fastest and came first. Fortunately, Lu Yuan was prepared and raised his sword to fight with it. Run quickly! Don't worry about me! Lu Yuan said again. Lu Yuan retreated while fighting. And the steel needle wild boar and the violent chimpanzee also caught up. But they ignored Lu Yuan and went straight towards the other people. Lu Yuan had no choice but to chase after the wild boar and gorilla. When the blue-eyed leopard saw Lu Yuan running away, he pounced with all his strength and planned to give Lu Yuan a fatal blow. Unexpectedly, Lu Yuan turned around and stabbed him with his sword. The universe looks back and digs out. Lu Yuan felt more and more that his father's move was powerful. It was a bit like the turning spear in marksmanship. At first, 
It was used in the palm technique. Looking back means turning back. The reason why he used the word, draw, is because his father specializes in his vital points and the enemy is male. He would attack the person's crotch. And if the enemy was a woman, he would grab his breasts. Although Li Yuan didn't know what harm grabbing the breasts could do. So this move was Lu Fei's own creation and was not included in the Qianquan palm technique. Among them, this trick is extremely effective in actual combat. The palm of his hand was replaced by a sword. And it was also a shadowless sword. The blue-eyed leopard charged too hard. Although he could not see the sword body with his eyes, he could already feel the sharpness of the sword. However, it was too late to hide. The shadowless sword penetrated his right chest. Through it, Lu Yuan moved the sword forward to avoid entanglement. The sharp shadowless sword almost cut off the entire right front leg of the blue-eyed leopard, leaving only half of the muscle connected. Obviously, this leg was wasted. The blue-eyed leopard was in pain, knowing that he would definitely die if he continued to chase him. And his speed had been greatly affected. The enemies here were not only Lu Yuan and others. Seeing that he was injured, the other monsters would inevitably kill him. In the end, they had to leave in anger and find someone to kill him. Recuperate in a secret place. In fact, the gains from chasing down the leopard at this time are definitely not small. But my friends are in danger, so I don't care about them. Although it takes a few seconds to charge up the skill of killing a thousand army, the distance to rush is still very far. Just right for pursuit now. As soon as Lu Yuan Qian Jun released his sword, he was about to hit the chimpanzee with his sword. Unexpectedly, the tree trunk in the opponent's hand was swung over, knocking Lu Yuan away and losing more than 20,000 health. The level 70 boss is really powerful. Although it is only 5 levels short, it is a qualitative leap. Think about the Blue Winged Bat King in the caves of the western regions at that time. If it were not for the most dazzling national style song that restrained its ultrasonic waves, 180 people would probably the whole army would have to be wiped out. But Lu Yuan's equipment was different from what it used to be. The violent chimpanzee is not only powerful but also very fast. Especially in the forest. After all, it is a primate creature. It keeps getting closer to everyone by flipping and jumping around. Ultimate meaning, a thousand burial in the sand sea. Seeing that he was being caught up, Zheng Yu had no choice but to use his secret skills. Countless fine sand appeared out of thin air and enveloped the forward steel needle porcupine. But the chimpanzee nimbly dodged it. What the H? L is this gorilla? Not only is it powerful, it's also fast. And its agility is so flexible. Zheng Yu couldn't help but complain when he saw that he couldn't control both of them with one move. After using the secret skills, all of my attributes were reduced. I was running slowly. But now I can't run anymore. I can only watch the chimpanzee swinging the big tree in his hand. This blow is really fatal. Gotta peel off the skin. Everyone also stopped and even though they had decided to run away, an accident occurred now. If Li Yuan and Zheng Yu didn't run in, then there was no point in them going in. Zheng Yu had closed his eyes in despair, unable to hide, so he could only activate the stone spirit body protection to add some hard resistance. After waiting for a while, the attack did not fall. But Lu Yuan's voice came. Run quickly! It turned out that Li Yuan rushed over at the last moment and used his set skill armor of Overlord. After using the Overlord body armor, Lu Yuan's whole body seemed to be covered with a layer of golden light. Although the sweeping blow caused damage, it was not knocked away. His weak body only used his left arm to block the blow. Lu Yuan had already taken the special attack potion and defense potion. After blocking the attack, he charged directly towards the grumpy chimpanzee. Attack is the best defense. As long as they can't kill themselves, they can just rely on taking drugs to recover. After all, there is a recovery medicine made by the medicine god lineage. The chimpanzee was approached, and the tree could no longer be lifted. After throwing it away, he started beating Lu Yuan, taking advantage of his dominant state. Lu Yuan simply fought with it. Anyway, he used his sword. If it punched him, he would stab him. With one sword strike, Lu Yuan took advantage of him. Finally, with Lu Yuan trying hard to buy time, everyone ran to the open space. We're out. You run as well. Then run towards the palace. I'll be there shortly. No need to wait. As soon as Lu Yuan finished speaking, many boss appeared around the open space. These boss were not afraid to enter this area as Lu Yuan and others thought. When they saw someone breaking in, they all rushed in excitedly. The target was people entering the forest. The edge of the forest is not far from the palace. 
only a few dozen meters away. But there are at least dozens of monsters densely packed. And they are all boss. Holy shit! Who can withstand this? Zheng Yu was the last one to run into the open space, and was a little confused when he saw the scene in front of him. Everyone had no time to think about it. So they had to try their best to escape to the palace. From the time, they entered the game until now. They have never seen so many boss. Moreover, they are all high-level bosses, with the lowest level being level 60. Most of them are question marks, and no one can see the basic information at all. Lu Yuan injured the chimpanzee and ran out at full speed. He was a little shocked when he saw the scene in front of him. While running, he saw that some bosses had even reached level 85, and their health volume was at zero. There was no time to check carefully. Everyone except Lu Yuan had almost reached the palace, but Lu Yuan was in trouble. Seeing that they couldn't catch up with those in front, the bosses all came to attack Lu Yuan. Even if Lu Yuan had strong equipment and flexible body skills, he couldn't dodge so many people. A collective attack by high level monsters. Lu Yuan had no choice but to dodge and run. It was really dangerous. But there were too many monsters, and there were even birds flying in the sky. Zhao Xinghe and others who were running in front were also entangled, and everyone was in trouble. Struggling hard, the group is about to be destroyed. The door to the open-air balcony on the second floor of the palace opened, and a stunning woman walked out gracefully. The eyes of all the monsters were immediately attracted, salivating, and they all seemed to be petrified, and the attacks in their hands stopped in midair. The birdman hovering in the sky was even more exaggerated and plunged directly into the lake. The woman frowned slightly and said unhappily, Didn't I tell you not to make such a big noise? And you have made the lake water dirty. Excuse me. Miss Bai. A level 85 tyrant bear turned into a human and said with his hands raised. Then he turned around and walked towards the forest. He looked carefree but very artificial. He was obviously pretending to leave a good impression. The other monsters also followed the same example, reluctant to leave, and walked back towards the forest in a few steps. The woman known as Miss Bai also smiled slightly when she saw this, and the monsters couldn't stand it anymore, and their saliva was almost drooling. Not only the monsters, but also Lu Yuan and others, including several women, were also fascinated. What a charm this was. A smile will last forever. And a cry will last forever. Lu Yuan said with emotion. Chapter 189 The Guardian Beast Lu Yuan was tripped to the ground by a tree spirit, and the surrounding monster bosses attacked him. Just when Lu Yuan thought he was going to die, the palace woman resolved the crisis with a casual word, and the monsters were fascinated completely forgotten about Lu Yuan and others. Lu Yuan couldn't help but marvel at the beauty of the woman upstairs. No wonder so many monsters fell in love with her. Her every frown and smile captured people's souls. While everyone was in a daze, the woman in the palace spoke again. It's rare for a few hairless people to come. Come in and sit for a while. After that, she turned around and entered the house. With the blessing of Lu Yuan's peak eagle eye skills, he could only see that her name was by Sienner and the rest could not be seen at all. How could a human live in the peak forest? No matter how authoritative a person is, he would not be affected by so many monsters, favored by him, and looking at that breathtaking appearance. I am afraid that it is not something that humans can achieve. Everyone cast questioning glances at Lu Yuan, since they were already here. It would be a waste of risk if they didn't go in. Lu Yuan took the lead and walked towards the palace. It was different from what I expected when I pushed the door in. The entire first floor was very empty, and there were no stairs to the second floor. Looking up, it seemed that the entire palace only had one floor. Are you hallucinating? Zheng Yu asked doubtfully. Everyone pushed the door open and found that it looked like it had two floors. But no matter how many people asked, there was no movement on the second floor. It seems that if you want to go up, you have to find clues yourself, Lu Yuan said. Otherwise, let's not go up there. There is only one woman. And it's such a sinister place. It's probably not good. Fong Ro was a little scared when she saw that the hall on the first floor was a bit gloomy. I'm afraid we are riding a tiger, and it's hard to get off. If we go out like this, can the monsters outside let us go? Zhao Xingha replied. Since we're here, let's take a look. There might be some hidden mission waiting for us. Zheng Yu said. I think so. It's too frustrating to go out like this after taking so much effort to get in. Lu Yuan also said with some reluctance. I think you are just fascinated by that white girl. Look at your squinty expressions just now. Did you smile at you? You have even thought about the name of the child. Fong Ro said angrily. 
everyone has a love for beauty. She is indeed very beautiful, Zhao Xingha said nonchalantly. Man, I looked sad a few days ago, but I forgot all about it when I saw a beautiful woman, Fang Rou said with a smile. Zhao Xingha didn't take it seriously, knowing that Fang Rou loved to joke. So even though it touched his sore spot, he didn't take it seriously. The man's pain was buried deep in his heart. Seeing that Zhao Xingha was ignoring her, Fang Rou turned around and asked, Lu Yuan, do you think she is beautiful? Lu Yuan was looking around the hall and replied without thinking too much. Well, it's very beautiful. To be fair, it should be considered as the most beautiful thing in the country. Hearing Lu Yuan give such a high evaluation, everyone including Ling to turn their attention to Lu Yuan. Obviously a little unconvinced. But she is obviously not a human being. If my guess is correct, she should be in the human form of a fox. Otherwise, she would not be able to attract so many monsters here. They probably covet her beauty. Look at those monsters pretending to be the graceful look is quite interesting. You two are considered to be the most beautiful beauties among humans. And you are as beautiful as monsters. Lu Yuan said while checking the surrounding environment. Fortunately, Lu Yuan added this paragraph. Otherwise the women wouldn't have eaten him. After hearing Lu Yuan's analysis and admitting their beauty, the women's eyes softened a little. Hearing Lu Yuan say that the woman was a vixen again, he even felt a little happy in his heart. What's wrong? Why are you all looking at me? Lu Yuan looked up and found that everyone was looking at him. Zhang Yu gave a thumbs up and ran over and said, Boss, you're so tall. I didn't expect you to be so good at picking up girls. If I were as good at picking up girls as you are, I wouldn't be able to pick up any girl. Listen to what you mean. Aren't you satisfied with Ling'er alone? Xiao Lui asked Soul Torture. Lu Yuan interrupted everyone and said, This is a seal. It seems that the person upstairs was sealed here. But the formation on the ground does not look like a human being, but rather a seal set by a monster. Since she can stand on the terrace, why not jump off? The second floor is not very high. It's probably just a restriction on her freedom. Not a seal is a punishment. Just because she can stand on the balcony doesn't mean she can jump out. Can this formation be broken? This formation uses patterns on the ground as a medium. Since there is no one to control it, it is not difficult to break it. But what happens after it is broken? Will there be any bad things? Even the level 85 boss outside dare not come in. Don't they know how to please them? Her? Lu Yuan was a little worried. Try it. The worst case scenario is that you will die once. Otherwise you won't be able to get out. Since she invited us in, she probably wants us to help her. Zhao Xing, huh? Okay. Let me cut off the formation's veins. After Lu Yuan said that, he walked around on the strange patterns on the ground. When he reached a place, he swung the shadowless sword and slashed. When he hit the third sword, a boss appeared out of thin air in the center of the hall. And the formation on the ground the monster pattern on it also disappeared. It seems that the monsters on the ground are the guardian spirit beasts. They should be sealed according to the four divine beasts of Qilong. White Tiger, Suzaku, and Xuanwu. However, they should only be the corresponding monsters, not the real four divine beasts, Lu Yuan said. Frost Sabertooth Tiger Level 70 Defending Spirit Boss HP 1000000000. Pay attention. It should be a high attack warrior type monster. It took a while for the Frost Sabertooth Tiger to open his eyes. Lu Yuan and others did not dare to attack rashly. After all, this was a level 70 boss, who knew if he was pretending to be asleep, and waiting for the attacker to plot against him. The Frost Saber-Toothed Tiger is not too big and is no different from a normal tiger. It has two sharp teeth in its mouth and the hair on its body is somewhat white and bluish. Lu Yuan, can those two teeth of it be used as daggers? Fang Ro asked, looking at the venom in her hand and then at the two teeth of the Saber-Toothed Tiger. It's not sharp enough. This kind of animal usually relies on its bite force to bite the enemy to death. The level 60 dagger I gave you to avoid water has not been used yet. Why are you so anxious to get a level 71? The Frost Saber Toothed Tiger was obviously very angry at the disregard of these people and was still talking about his two most precious teeth as soon as his two front paws were raised and fell to the ground. The entire ground began to freeze. Although the entire first floor was not too big. It's big. But it can freeze two inches of ice in an instant. Which shows how powerful the boss is. Lu Yuan and others also jumped to avoid it. Otherwise it would not be fun if they were all frozen on the ground. The four claws of the Frost Saber-Toothed Tiger have a strong grip on the ground, and there is no sign of slipping at all. 
The situation is different for everyone in the audience. Fighting on the ground is greatly affected. Especially Zheng Yu. Lu Yuan and Li Tong who are wearing metal shoes. Are all high-level monsters so smart? They also know how to change the terrain. Careful. The frost saber-toothed tiger rushed directly towards Zheng Yu who was standing in front. Zheng Yu was anxious to avoid it. But his feet slipped and he fell directly. The back of his head fell to the ground. The saber-toothed tiger jumped into the air. With the help of Qian Junsha, Lu Yuan rushed over and held back the hatred. The shadowless sword swiped a few times at the iceberg, making edges and corners on the ice. And then, he stood firm. Ling, how did you fall in love with such a funny guy? Fong Ro said with a smile. Chapter 190 Breaking the Formation Although Linger knew that they always joked with each other, she was still a little unhappy when she heard others laughing at her boyfriend. Although he has some skills, he is a very nice person. Game level does not mean everything, Linger defended. Seeing that Linger was serious, Fong Ro said with some embarrassment, Don't take it seriously when I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful in the future. As a woman, Fong Ro could also understand Linger's mood. Although she had nothing to do with Lu Yuan, she wouldn't like to hear it if others said bad things about Lu Yuan. Stop chatting and pay attention to increase blood, Xiao Lui said. Field Scorching Sun. Xiao Lui directly released his domain skills and surrounded him with group skills such as Sea of Fire and Meteor Shower. Gradually, the ice beneath his feet showed signs of melting. Xingha, as soon as the ice turns into water, use the most powerful lightning to conduct electricity through water so that the boss will have nowhere to stay. Xiao Lui had already planned. Lu Yuan is still fighting against the Frost Saber-Toothed Tiger. Now Lu Yuan is summing up his experience every time he fights and tries his best to understand the attack methods of the sword. After all, it is not a big deal if he is injured in a game. But when fighting in real life, he has no chance to practice at all. Because once you are fatally injured, you are destined to withdraw from the battle even if you don't die. Although the Frost Saber-Toothed Tiger has ice magic damage, it is also very powerful in close combat. And its agility is not low. The Tiger Claws can actually collide with the Shadowless Sword. After fighting for a while, Lu Yuan discovered that it turned out to be the Ice Crystal attached to his Tiger Claws. On top of it, although it will be broken with each hit, another layer will be added immediately. Lu Yuan wanted to get behind or to the side of the Saber-Toothed Tiger, but every time the Saber-Toothed Tiger moved its front paws, it would attack and it had already adjusted its direction when it fell. As soon as the blue light flashed, ice cones continued to rain down from the sky. The huge ice cones did very high damage. If they hit the body, they would be interrupted, and the attack would be interrupted or even knocked down. Zhao Xingha saw that the ice under his feet had almost melted, and he condensed dark clouds and continued to strike lightning into the water. As expected, the water under his feet was full of electricity. Every time the frost saber-toothed tiger landed, he felt like he was getting an electric shock, although it did not cause paralysis. Effect, but still affects action. Xiao Lui's field skills perfectly suppressed the frost on the ground. The ice attribute saber-toothed tiger was even more uncomfortable. The wounds on his body gradually increased. He could only seal his wounds with ice cubes to prevent them from bleeding. However, his field control skills, on the contrary, he hurt himself and wanted to freeze the ground again. But the temperature in the hall was already too high. The saber-toothed tiger jumped into the air again. When he landed again, he was paralyzed by the electric current in the water. Lu Yuan saw the right moment and used the chinkuin throw. It turned out that this was also a move in the palm technique. He saw the right moment and made a desperate throw with a palm, hitting the vital point. It was now replaced by a sword. Lu Yuan jumped up very quickly. Even though the frost saber-toothed tiger recovered and reacted very quickly, Lu Yuan was still cut from the foreland to the buttocks leaving a big bloody gash on the saber-toothed tiger. On the body. Originally, Lu Yuan and others were still on guard against the saber-toothed tiger's killing move, but they didn't expect that until the end. They only had some ice attacks and physical attacks. It seems that only special bosses have some special skills. After the death of the frost saber-toothed tiger, no useful equipment was revealed. A level 70 purple rare ice magic wand was obviously of little value. There was also a skill book. Ice surface which can turn the ground 50 meters around itself into ice. This skill is even more useless. And it is probably only suitable for monsters. Because monsters cannot slip. Lu Yuan continued to destroy the formation on the ground. This time, an earth attribute monster appeared. But unlike the white tiger, 
This time it was a transformed human form, with a very majestic figure and a big mallet in its hand. Just when everyone thought this was a human shield boss, this guy actually used earth magic, ground thorns, falling rocks, and even hard walls to block long-range attacks. Lu Yuan felt it was very easy to fight this kind of monster that was biased towards defense because it was difficult for the opponent to threaten him. And so far, the shadowless sword in his hand had never been in a situation where it could not break through its defense. Solid Stone Tortoise Level 70 Defending Spirit Boss HP 3000000000 So what if it has 300 million health points? If it has no damage, it is destined to be a sandbag. Moreover, Lu Yuan discovered that although the boss has transformed into a human form, it moves extremely slowly. His physical attacks are not very advanced, but his defense is indeed very high. Moreover, his magic skills are also defensive and have long-range attacks. Very close. At this time, it was Lu Yuanfang's turn to show off his power. The two of them were attacking the boss in circles with high attack and agility. Zheng Yu also used a sledgehammer to clash head-on with the boss's club. In the end, Zheng Yu's sledgehammer had the upper hand. When the solid stone tortoise's blood volume was less than 50%, it actually returned to its true form and stopped using magic attacks. It retracted into its SH. L and remained motionless, allowing everyone to attack at will. After retracting into the turtle SH. L. The defense power is greatly increased. Except for Lu Yuan. None of the attacks can cause high damage. Although the attack speed is slow, it is very easy. Just attack at will. Because Zheng Yu couldn't break the boss's defense. He simply took out a small stick and poked the boss in the head to tease him. The stone tortoise was already very angry. Faced with this insult, he stretched out his head like lightning and bit Zheng Yu's hand. Zheng Yu's blood bar began to drop. Although the drop was not fast, he actually felt it. Pain. What's going on with this turtle? Why is it biting people? Zheng Yu screamed. A turtle doesn't like to let go when it bites something. It is said that imitating a donkey's brain can be effective. Zhao Xing has said with amusement as he watched from the side. Linger looked even more anxious and hit the boss's head with a short stick while adding more blood. But it bit harder and harder. What can we do about this? Linger was a little dumbfounded. Lu Yuan watched the excitement for a while and saw that Linger was anxious. He swung the shadowless sword down. Although the sword body was missing, the boss still sensed the danger and retracted his head into the SH. L. Why are you biting me? This wicked thing? Zhang Yu waved his hands and cursed angrily. A scholar cannot be killed, but cannot be humiliated. If you stab him in the head, will he be willing to do so? Zhao Xing, huh? Lu Yuan speeds up his attack. Even though this tortoise has amazing defense and thick blood, it still cannot escape death in the end. This boss seems simple. But if the people who come to break the formation don't attack enough, I'm afraid they won't be able to kill it in a lifetime. The amount of damage may be it doesn't have as much blood as it does. The stone turtle exploded with 70 defense heavy armor. Even if the defense is very high, it is not known when it will reach level 70. So it is not very useful. It is good to have a skill book. Solid Turtle SH. L. Makes a Turtle SH. L. Appear around oneself for protection. The Turtle SH. L's defense is amazing. But the person inside the Turtle SH. L. Cannot move. No limit to occupation level. This skill is considered a relatively good defensive skill. And was eventually assigned to Zheng Yu. Because although he has thick blood, his life-saving ability is still a bit weak. Lu Yuan did not waste time and continued to destroy the ceiling formation. As expected, the only ones left in the formation were Qing Long and Suzaku. I don't know what these two monsters are. If there is really a dragon, how many people can beat it? After destroying the formation, a graceful woman in green clothes appeared in the center of the hall. Seeing everyone, she did not attack, but smiled gently. Chapter 191 Green Snake Everyone saw that a delicate woman appeared, wearing only a light veil. Her voluptuous figure was looming, and she smiled at everyone but did not make a move. And they were all confused. Don't be careless. It's just a transformed human form. A snake. Lu Yuan reminded. Green Snake Level 75 Defense Spirit Boss HP 2000000000. Hee hee. You can be so calm in the face of beauty. My sister admires you very much. But I advise you to leave here. This formation is not difficult to break. Do you know why it can exist for so long? Green Snake still did not attack. It was chatting. Tell me why. 
Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to take action. Because of the people who set up the formation, even if there is no such formation in this pinnacle forest, no one would dare to step here under its orders. Do you understand? What if we don't leave? Ha 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 ha. Ching Snake chuckled and laughed and then said, I just want to practice quietly in the formation and don't want to commit more sins. If you little kids don't know each other, there is nothing you can do. The green snake opened its small mouth and sprayed out poisonous mist. Before anyone could react, the poisonous mist had filled the entire hall. Green gas was everywhere. Its blood volume was constantly decreasing. And it would lose sight if it was more than two steps away. We have seen various attributes of monsters when fighting against them. But the most annoying one is this kind of monster which not only knows how to change the environment, but also limits the player's performance. The green snake did not pursue it after releasing its poison. It was very confident in its poisonous mist. Its purpose was to subdue others without fighting. The green snake knew that its talent was not high, and it was just an ordinary little monster at the beginning. It has been thousands of years since I have been in this formation, and I have finally reached the level I am today. My wish is to become a dragon one day and fly in the sky. It is precisely because I have not experienced survival in the forest that the green snake does not kill. But for those who forcefully break in, they will be killed without mercy even if they don't want to. Lu Yuan and others groped for the palace door. They thought it would take some trouble to open it, but they didn't expect it to open with a gentle push. However, the poisonous mist did not spread outwards, and their plan to open the door to release the poison was in vain. What should we do? We can survive the continuous blood loss. But how can we attack without sight? If it attacks after a while, I'm afraid it will be difficult for us to deal with it. Xiao Lui asked. You guys wait for me outside. I'll go in and deal with it myself. The poisonous fog has little effect on my vision. I can still vaguely see figures. Lu Yuan asked everyone to exit the palace. Although everyone was unwilling to let him take risks alone. The level of the monster was too high. If the line of sight was not good, participating in the battle might just result in being killed instantly. Can you resist the toxin's continuous blood loss? The blood loss is not too fast. The blood bottle is enough. As long as you don't hit the boss's killing move, your life should not be in danger, Lu Yuan said. In fact, what makes Lu Yuan most confident is that his armor also has a metal shield that can withstand a fatal attack. Although he doesn't know what the upper limit of this shield is, it should not fail easily. No longer hesitating, he entered the hall directly. Green Snake who originally thought the mission was over, was slightly startled. Unexpectedly, someone else came back, and only one person came in. If you have to find trouble, then go to H, L. After Green Snake finished speaking fiercely, poisonous needles condensed in front of him, and they shot towards Lu Yuan like a dense rain. Lu Yuan could only vaguely take a rough look. He could not distinguish the poisonous needle from the green poisonous mist. When he reacted, the poisonous needle was already close to him. He had no time to dodge, and could only use the shadowless sword to sweep in front of him. If he could block it, how much is what? But he still got shot a lot. Fortunately, Lu Yuan's poison resistance was relatively high. Lu Yuan first took a big red pill to withstand the next blow, and then looked in the right direction and gathered his strength. That's right. It was. Killed by a thousand army. Only a thousand army could come to close such a long distance. God is really unfair. We monsters have been practicing for thousands of years. But you are not as good as you who have been practicing for decades and can withstand so many poisonous needles. Your poison is not poisonous enough. And you are not beautiful either. Lu Yuan spat out a trash talk. Green Snake was verbally attacked. He first touched his cheek and then angrily drew out a sword. A very nice young man has such a bad mouth. So die. While Green Snake was still posing and talking, Lu Yuan had already stabbed him with a sword. Green Snake took out his long sword and just finished speaking. He saw Lu Yuan rushing over. He hurriedly blocked it with his sword, but still couldn't find the target. Fortunately, Green Snake reacted very quickly to the position of the shadow sword, twisting its waist into an incredible arc as if it had been broken. It escaped fatal damage and only suffered a small cut. Lu Yuan originally thought that Green Snake would be a magical monster, but he did not expect that her sword skills would be so exquisite. Coupled with her soft body, Lu Yuan was no match for Green Snake with just her sword skills. However, Lu Yuan's advantage was that he would suffer injuries. Blood medicine can restore it, but Green Snake can only rely on its own recovery. Lu Yuan and the two of them fought back and forth. Although there is a big level gap between the two, 
Lu Yuan's equipment is a level 60 epic suit. And the enhancement level has reached 15 stars. The high attributes of the equipment make up for the level gap. Otherwise even 10 Lu Yuan would not be able to match Green Snake. The long sword in Green Snake's hand is turquoise. And it is extraordinary at first glance. It can occasionally shoot out a few sword energy. Lu Yuan adheres to the principle of hiding if he can. If he can't hide, he will resist with his body. As long as he protects his vital parts. The rest of the damage will be very small. It's hard to lose yourself in seconds. After a long time, Lu Yuan opened the door and walked out. The poisonous fog in the hall dispersed. As if nothing happened. Did you kill the boss yourself? Everyone asked in unison. Lu Yuan shook his head, but handed a skilled book to Fang Ro, and then said, That green snake only wants to practice. Hoping to become a dragon one day. His sword skills are very exquisite, but they are not ruthless enough. And every move does not hit the vital point. And finally, when I beat it to half health, I call the truce. What about it? Isn't this skill book its skills? Fong Ro was a little surprised. The skill book that Lu Yuan took out was indeed Green Snake's skill. Poisonous Mist. Releasing Poisonous Mist will reduce the visibility within 50 meters around. Enemies in the Poisonous Mist will enter a poison state and continue to lose blood. This effect reduces the impact on players. Half. Duration is 5 minutes. Can be forcibly released. Cooling time is 15 minutes. Learning occupations with no level restrictions. She said she didn't want to continue fighting. Although she still has useless killing moves. It is probably difficult to kill me. This Qin Feng sword is her natal magic weapon. Now she is in it and continues to practice. Yes, she said that her cultivation has not increased in the past thousand years. And if she meets a destined person, the sword will respond. And then she will give the sword away. And she will go to the mortal world to experience it. Lu Yuan took out the turquoise sword in his hand and explained it to everyone. It was obvious that none of the people present were destined. I discovered that the higher the level of monsters, the smarter they are. It seems that some of them are even higher than human IQs. It is very rare to know how to seek good luck and avoid evil. Xiao Lui said with emotion. Lu Yuan said thoughtfully. You think, if we players don't enter this world and don't come to the peak forest to upgrade, will these monsters break the barrier and go out to cause harm to mankind? It's hard to say. Monsters are inherently vicious. If we were unarmed, wouldn't we have become their food? Fan Ro said. Li Tong shook his head and said, I don't think so. If we don't enter the territory of monsters, they don't specifically look for humans as food. Don't we also have a food chain in our world? If meat is eaten by force, that's their life. Carnivores are inherently ferocious. Isn't it cruel for us to kill indiscriminately for experience? This topic is not suitable for discussion. How can you feel guilty while playing a game? Zhao Xingha waved his hand to stop everyone from continuing the discussion. Lu Yuan had other thoughts in his mind. People are good and bad. And so are monsters. If it weren't for everyone's curiosity, wouldn't these formation defending spirit beasts be practicing quietly? So far, except for the naturally ferocious saber-toothed tiger, the solid rock tortoise, and the green snake, they are not ferocious monsters in terms of combat. Especially the green snake has no intention of fighting at all. It also symbolically gave itself a skill and signal to Lu Yuan. Before the Qin Feng sword was sent out, he could use it himself. Although Lu Yuan didn't need it. He shook his head and put aside these thoughts. If he didn't improve his strength, who would protect him when the real world was in trouble? Sometimes he could only be selfish as a human being. Let's go on and break the formation. Lu Yuan took the lead in entering the hall. Chapter 192 Nether Flame Bird Lu Yuan re-entered the hall and began to destroy the last area of the formation. With a flash of light, a big bird with purple flames all over its body appeared in the center of the hall. Nether Flame Bird Level 75 Defending Spirit Boss HP 150 million The blood volume is 150 million and level 75. The blood volume is less than that of Green Snake. It must be the magic system output. Be careful to dodge. Lu Yuan informed everyone of the basic information. The nether flame bird was extremely irritable. As soon as it appeared, it raised its head to the sky and neighed, and then sprayed out purple fireballs and attacked everyone. This dark purple fireball is very different from ordinary fireballs. The purple flame seems to be sticky. When the fireball hits the ground, it is corroded by the flames, and it continues to burn. This flame is quite evil, not to mention it's corrosive. And you can't feel the heat, but it makes people feel a little cold. 
Zhao Xing had narrowly dodged one blow after another, and said with some lingering fear, The name is Netherworld Flame Bird, and the flame must be something feminine like Netherfire. Lu Yuan's biggest annoyance is flying birds. Because he has short hands, he can't reach them. He can only wait for the bird monsters to release their skills, and then have a chance to take action. However, when the monsters release their skills, if they can't deal with it well, they have to resist the damage. So the melee profession is very embarrassing. But now Lu Yuan has a move that can restrain the flying monster. And that is the Hand of the Void. However, judging from the size of this big bird, it is unrealistic to pull him down. He just doesn't know if he can pull himself towards it. Li Tong, try your luck with the frozen arrows. And use some control skills on Xinghe to see if you can paralyze it. Lu Yuan said tentatively. According to what Lu Yuan said, everyone dodges the boss's attacks from the air while releasing various skills. However, the level gap is too big, and the boss is still in full status. So the chance of triggering special effects is almost zero. Not only must they control, the effect was not triggered. And even the damage was a little small. No, the level difference is too big. The damage is a bit insufficient. I don't know how the secret skills are, Li Tong said. It seems that I have to use the Shadowless Sword to break its defense. I'll try it after it uses its skills in the next round. If it succeeds, Li Tong and Fang Ro will use mystical skills together. Luo Yi shouldn't use domain skills. They are both it's not good if the fire element also has a bonus on the boss. Lu Yuan issued the task in a clear and logical manner. Boss, what about me? What do I do? Isn't your secret skill cooled down? Just stand in front of Ling'er and don't let her be hurt by the skill. Lu Yuan said patiently. The wings of the nether flame bird rapidly flapped and tornadoes of purple flames appeared one after another and began to move back and forth in the middle of the hull, followed by a bunch of fireball attacks. Watch out! I'm about to get on! Lu Yuan reminded everyone, and then released the Qian Jun kill that had been charged up. As soon as he took action, he used his hand to the void. As expected by Lu Yuan, the netherworld flame bird was not pulled away. He came down, and with the help of the grip of the void hand and the momentum of a thousand troops to kill, he actually left the ground and stabbed directly towards the boss in the air. Lu Yuan did not expect that his wild ideas would come true. Nor did the netherworld flame bird expect that in addition to the painless bow and arrow and thunder and lightning attacks, this melee human would rush into the air and did not dodge for a while. Finally, he had to use two wings to protect himself. Without making any sound, the shadowless sword was inserted easily, penetrating the two wings and then piercing the chest of the netherworld flame bird. Although the wound on the chest was not deep, the wings and chest were strung together, making it impossible to keep him flying. One person and one bird fell from the sky. Lu Yuan clenched the shadowless sword tightly. As his body fell, he also exerted force with his hands downwards. Finally, before landing, he cut a large hole in the boss's wings and chest. The ends of the wings had been cut off, and only one bone was connected to them, and purple blood flowed from his chest. Divine arrow piercing the heart must kill flash. One arrow and one sword. Two secret skills were unleashed at the same time. The netherworld flame bird which had been seriously injured, could no longer take advantage of its level. The nether flame bird fell on the ground and tried hard to heal its wounds. However, when it was unlucky to drink cold water, it blocked its teeth. It actually triggered the property of the five elements bismuth gold leg armor. Sharp weapon cuts. And the wounds were difficult to heal. Hit it! Everyone started attacking with their strongest single target attacks. Lu Yuan specially hit the boss's wings. For this kind of flying monster, Making it unable to fly is the best tactic. Although the nether flame bird has a lot of health, its defense is very weak. The only thing that delayed everyone's attack was the purple fire tornado that moved irregularly in the hull. After all, being stuck by the flames was still very troublesome. The wound on the netherworld flame bird's chest finally healed, and its entire body burned with blazing purple flames, causing everyone to give up the attack and retreat. The nether flame bird opened its wings again in the flames. The injury on the end of the wings seemed to have healed. It flapped its wings twice and returned to the air. Despicable. Shameless. Let you taste the taste of purgatory. The netherworld flame bird flew in the air and roared. Its blood volume is still 47%. Be careful of what killing moves it has. Lu Yuan reminded. No one expected that the boss would be knocked out of so much HP this time. In fact, it was all thanks to Lu Yuan. The shadowless sword was indeed a pseudo-artifact. It was sharper than imagined, 
and it was impossible to defend against. No matter how many enemies were knocked out. Blood. There is never a drop of blood on the sword. Mysterious meaning, burning heaven. The nether flame bird directly used its secret skill in anger, and the entire hall instantly turned purple. Everyone felt that it was difficult to breathe, and their bodies were also covered with deep purple flames. Instead of the expected burning sensation, they felt a bit cold and biting. The blood bar dropped at an alarming rate. Miracle Doctor Miracle Rejuvenation Linger also quickly used his powerful group to increase blood. Green light enveloped everyone, and the blood bar was filled up instantly. Protect your eyes, Lu Yuan reminded. The sun and the moon shine. The dazzling white light suddenly erupted, and everyone lost their vision. The nether flame bird had just released its ultimate move and was weak, but in the blink of an eye, it was blinded by the dazzling white light and lost its sight. The white light gradually faded away. When the boss opened his eyes, he saw a large elemental ball flying towards him. It was too late to avoid it. He screamed in despair and was swallowed up in the attribute ball. Act of God. It was Lu Yuan's skill of the five elements natural disaster set. Natural disaster. Lu Yuan was about to step forward and continue to attack. This attack would definitely not kill the boss instantly. But the attribute ball exploded and dispersed. The netherworld flame bird had long since disappeared. And a skill book and a skill book remained on the ground. A dark purple pet egg. It turns out that the netherworld flame bird knew that it would definitely die after being severely injured. So it turned into an egg and escaped the disaster. For a monster that has cultivated to its level. Preserving life is the most important thing. Lu Yuan gave both the skill book and the pet egg to Xiao Lui. The skill book was exactly mysticism, burning sky. And the pet egg was the netherworld flame bird. He didn't know how to hatch it so he had to hold it first. The formation was broken, and a circular floor floated in the center of the hall. It seems like just standing up will be enough. Do you want to rest for a while and wait for the skills to cool down? Xiao Lui reminded. Since it's been sealed, you shouldn't be taking action. Right, Zhao Xingha said. Yes, we saved it after all. Zhang Yu agreed. I saw that they wanted to go up quickly so that they could have a look at that vixen. Fong Rose said. Monsters have weird personalities. Let's wait for a while. At least until my set of skills has cooled down. Lu Yuan said. Half an hour later. Everyone stepped onto the circular floating board. A corresponding gap appeared on the second floor of the circular floating board. And they reached the second floor in the blink of an eye. The first thing I felt after entering the second floor was the fragrance. The aroma was so intoxicating that everyone felt dizzy. But they were awakened by the sound of nature. You're finally here. I'm so anxious to wait. This coquettish tone made several men fall into a daze. Chapter 193 needs someone to take the blame. You're finally here. I'm so anxious to wait. The woman is choosing clothes. One by one. Looking in the mirror. The clothes on her body are cooler. But they don't give people a frivolous feeling. Seeing him up close. He was even more impressed that there was such a perfect person. Lu Yuan could only think of a poem to describe it. If we hadn't met at the top of Chuanyu Mountain. We would have met under the moonlight at Yao Tai. Lu Yuan tried hard to see what kind of monster she was. But no matter how he looked, he could only see the name by Qian Qian. And no other information could be seen. Young man, your eyes are very bright. But looking at a woman like this is not the behavior of a gentleman. By Qian Qian scolded in a clear voice. Lu Yuan was a little embarrassed. Although the woman was beautiful, Lu Yuan really didn't have any evil thoughts. He just wanted to see by Qian Qian's basic information clearly. But the women around him didn't think so. Even though they were all fascinated by it. The seal has been lifted. You can leave. Lu Yuan asked tentatively. Just wear this one. Bai Qianqian selected a light pink white sand dress and put it on with a wave of her hand. And the rest of her clothes disappeared. The ceiling formation below has been broken. And you are free. Lu Yuan reminded again. Bai Qianqian smiled and said. I know. But I can't leave. I need you to take me away. I'm afraid that the ceiling formation itself can't seal you. And someone needs to take the blame. Lu Yuan boldly guessed. Bai Qianqian still smiled and nodded directly without pretending. And then said, You humans have unique advantages. But you don't know how to cherish and work hard. The truly strong are rare. But even if they are strong, they only last a hundred years. But they all have a fatal common problem. Which is your so-called adventure and being smart. It has to be said that Bai Qianqian is naturally charming. Even when she frowns and says some hateful words, it makes people feel pity. 
and they feel that humans have indeed done something wrong. The one who sealed you should be the overlord of the pinnacle forest. Xu Long. Right. We can't afford to offend. You dare to break the formation even if you can't afford to offend it. Don't think about it. If you can't afford to offend it, how can you possibly offend me? When Bai Chan Chan heard Liu Yuan mention Zhu Wang, she suddenly became very energetic. A burst of pink light flashed across her eyes, and everyone was frozen in place, unable to move. What do you want to do? I just want you to understand the difference in strength. To tell you the truth, I just lack an excuse. I have been locked up here for thousands of years. From the time I was able to transform into a human form to where I am today, the mere four elephant ceiling formation has not stopped me at all. If he can't leave me, my only concern is him. But he left me after locking me here, and he hasn't come once in thousands of years. What is this? A hidden beauty in a golden house? Bai Qian Qian became angrier as he spoke. Did you offend him? Why are you sealed here? Liu Yuan Yuan couldn't resist at all. So he could only delay the conversation and change the subject. Even if he died, he would have to be clear-minded. There are so many questions. But I like people with a lot of questions. No one has talked to me for a long time. It doesn't hurt to tell you. After all, you are the ones who want to help me complete my plan. Bai Qian Qian was a little excited when she mentioned the plan. When I first took human form, my cultivation level was not very high. I was pestered by a group of monsters in heat all day long. Until one day, there was a monster who thought of himself as a man and wanted to do violence to me. At the critical moment, he appeared and flicked the monster away with just one finger. Seeing that the monster was knocked away, he didn't even dare to fart. So he turned around and ran away. He was handsome and gentle. And he taught me how to practice cultivation every day for a period of time. Just when I thought true love was coming, I didn't expect that he would leave. I wanted to follow him. So he built a house with a four-story building underneath. The elephant ceiling formation said to me that I was not allowed to leave and practiced hard. And he would come to check and accept the results. I asked him if he liked me, but he only said that he only did this for the sake of his old friend since I was an old friend. He also said that dragons are sexually promiscuous and how I wished he was also a prostitute. It has been thousands of years of waiting. I have been practicing from the three tails to the nine tails now, and he still has not come once. This ceiling formation has long been unable to seal me. The reason why I did not leave is just to wait for the result. Bai Qian Qian said a lot in one breath, and the sadness in her tone was not fake. In the past, everyone's impression of foxes was that they were cunning and cunning, and the evaluation of the nine-tailed demon fox was even more harmful to the country and the people. However, Besides being naturally charming, Bai Qian Qian is not like so evil. Suddenly a series of fireballs were shot out, followed by a fire tornado, and then another firebird. Several skills were fired in succession. The target was Bai Qian Qian. It turned out that Xiao Lui had broken free. Bai Qian Qian looked at Xiao Lui in surprise, but did not dodge. He opened the palm of one hand, and a pink heart-shaped bubble appeared. He directly put all these skills into it. With a slight wave of his hand, the bubble flew to the side, along with the skills. Broken and gone. The little girl is good. She can break free from the restraints. Her mind is firm enough. And her appearance is graceful enough. Unfortunately, she is just a little stupid. Bai Qian Qian said lightly. And then another heart-shaped bubble floated over. And Xia Lui's body once it was fixed. Then it was wrapped in a steam bag and floated in the air. Lu Yuan also broke free from the restraints and thrust out his sword quickly. The sword that he thought was a sure hit was actually caught by Bai Qian Qian's two fingers. This was the first time since he used the shadowless sword that someone had seen through the shadowless sword. The path of the sword. Bai Qian Qian was not angry and said happily, I've said that you humans love yourself to death. I'm trying to pin you down just to show you the difference in strength. Yet you still want to resist. This sword is pretty good. Let me play with it. After Bai Qian Qian finished speaking, she pressed her fingers hard and the shadowless sword was snatched away, and she started playing with it. What on earth do you want to do? Bai Qian Qian casually threw the shadowless sword back to Lu Yuan, and with a wave of her hand, she wrapped all the other people into heart-shaped bubbles. You should be the most powerful one here. You should know the gap between us. If you practice for a period of time, you may be very strong, but now you can only be at my mercy. Let's talk about the key points. Let's talk about the conditions directly. Lu Yuan Yuan said, that the other party had no intention of killing. He said before that he had a plan and was confident. You have two choices. 
One is that you and your companions will all die here, and the other is to take me away. This condition may seem silly at first, but it's obviously not that simple. Take you away, and then you tell the monsters outside that I caught you, so that Zhulong will be nervous and come to save you. Is that right? I'm very optimistic about you. If Qian Qian doesn't already have him in mind, I might consider you. That's not necessary. I can't bear it. What if he doesn't come to you? Why won't he come? If he doesn't come, then I will look for him. Although he is missing, I will search to the ends of the earth to find him. Are you going to come with us like this? If not, I can make you a pet. It would be more realistic, Lu Yuan said with a harmless smile. Oh, that's it. Okay then. Bai Qianqian replied with a harmless smile. Chapter 194 The World Quest of Tao Yuan Temple Bai Qianqian entered Lu Yuan's pet space without saying a word. Just when Lu Yuan breathed a sigh of relief, Bai Qianqian came out again. Okay, let's go. It's just a good time to go to the outside world and relax. Bai Qianqian casually released the bubble that controlled everyone. Lu Yuan motioned to everyone not to talk anymore. And they left the palace with Bai Qianqian. As soon as they walked out of the lobby on the first floor, Bai Qianqian fired a magic ball and destroyed the palace. Well, this makes it more like a crime scene. Bai Qianqian clapped her hands with satisfaction. Boss, I didn't expect that the person who looks the most harmless is actually the strongest. What should we do next? Zheng Yi whispered to Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan shook his head. He did not expect that the situation would develop like this. He could not afford to offend the person next to him. According to Lu Yuan's estimate, Bai Qianqian's level was at least over 90. Otherwise, he would not have been unable to see through her basic information. Where do you plan to go? We have to continue leveling up and may not return to human towns for the time being. Lu Yuan asked. Whatever you want. Don't worry about me. Just leave here. Bai Qianqian said lightly. Everyone walked towards the forest together. Since the monsters in other places were of higher levels, Lu Yuan and others chose the direction they came in. However, it was impossible to keep a low profile at this time. The collapse of the palace attracted the attention of the surrounding monsters. All the monsters noticed that Bai Qianqian followed the human out. These monsters were not unaware of the palace's four-image ceiling formation. There are also people who have the ability to break the formation. But they only have one life. What will happen if the formation is broken? The person who set up the formation can kill themselves instantly with just a move of their fingers. No one wants to take this risk. Lu Yuan and others stopped because they were surrounded by various bosses. They did not launch an attack because there was no chance of winning. I have been captured by this kid and used as a pet. Please tell Zhulong for me and let him save me. Bai Qianqian suddenly said. There was a commotion around the monsters. And some even screamed in despair. The inviolable goddess in my mind was actually captured and kept as a pet. Thinking about what might happen to my goddess in the future. Kneeling in front of this human being to serve. It might even be possible. Being abused by the human being in front of me. The monster beasts pressed forward. Preparing to rescue Bai Qianqian personally. Lu Yuan and others were surrounded in the middle. With no way to escape. After all, there were so many high-level boss encirclement and suppression. And it was impossible to get out alive with their current strength. You'd better not do anything. He is my master now. I can't disobey his orders. If you hit him, it's equivalent to hitting me. Only Master Zhulong can save me. Go and inform him for me. Bai Qianqian calmly stood in front of everyone and said pitifully. Upon hearing this, all the monsters took a step back. No one wanted to be Bai Qianqian's enemy. Lu Yuan and others continued to move forward. And the monster beasts indeed made way for them. However, no matter which direction they went, the monster beasts followed behind them. In desperation, everyone had no choice but to walk out of the forest under the gaze of many monster bosses. Lu Yuan and others came out of the pinnacle forest. There should not have been so many high-level bosses at the edge of the forest. They scared the low-level monsters around and fled. Players who were leveling outside saw such a battle. It was also quite scary. What should we do? Should we get out of the peak forest? Lord Zhulong. Shenlong has never seen his head. I haven't seen him for many years. Where can I inform him? Why don't you go ask the demon generals? I don't care. Since humans have come to destroy our forest again, I will harm them too. That's right. They were the ones who broke the treaty first. I'm going to gather my men now. I haven't eaten human flesh for a long time. Ha ha ha. Humph. This little barrier really thinks it can stop us. If Lord Zhulong hadn't let us practice and recuperate in peace, 
the human race would have been wiped out by us long ago. A group of monster bosses began to discuss each other one by one. Some left angrily and gathered their men to go out and kill everyone. Others went to find the monster general to seek justice. After a long time, the monsters dispersed. When there are common goals and enemies, the monsters that usually fight each other become united. Lu Yuan and others did not expect that the continent, which had been peaceful for nearly a thousand years, would ignite the fighting spirit of the monsters that had been ready to attack for a long time because of the unintentional mistakes of a few people. Everyone says that when a demon fox is born, it will definitely bring disaster. Bai Qian Qian has no intention of causing harm. She just wants to fight for her own love. But because she wants to start a war between humans and monsters, war often only needs an introduction. And then the hatred will get worse and worse. But after the war is over, the blame will be placed on Bai Qian Qian saying that the demon fox is causing trouble in the world. Lu Yuan and others acted fairly. But out of curiosity, and to increase their own strength, they indirectly triggered this war. From now on, players should not worry about not seeing high-level boss in ordinary maps. Lu Yuan and his party didn't know this yet. And they didn't bother to go back after leaving the forest. After all, there were so many monsters outside. Who knows if they have dispersed? Just when everyone didn't know what to do. Tao Yuan Temple issued an announcement from the system. The demons are looking for the body parts of the demon emperor in the Eye of Kunlun. In order to prevent the demon emperor from resurrecting, capable warriors are requested to stop it. Those who complete the task will receive a large number of gold coins as rewards from the Tao Yuan Temple. The system announcement was sent three times in a row and included the specific location of the Eye of Kunlun. The Eye of Kunlun also exists in the real world. But I don't know what it looks like here. Everyone looked at each other and all had goals. Since it is an open world mission, it is estimated that a large number of players will flock in. It will definitely be a big battle. The more chaotic the battle, the greater the rewards, and the more weakening can be done in the game. The strength of the demons couldn't be better. After all, humans will not really die here. Luo Yi. Last time Professor Sun said that the Demon King's resurrection could not be stopped. Why is it now a mission to ask everyone to stop it? Isn't it a bit strange? At that time, the average level of everyone was only around level 35. Their strength was too low. Also, he kept saying that he didn't expect things to progress so fast. He probably couldn't control some things. Now that war has begun in reality, it would be a good thing to weaken more enemies in the game. Everyone walked towards the Eye of Kunlun while discussing. In the real world, Kunlun Mountain is the most mysterious mountain range in China. It appears more in myths, because the mountain range is so wide. There are many legends spread. Strange things always happen when locals enter certain parts of the mountain range. Therefore, it is generally not open to tourists, which makes it even more mysterious. The Eye of Kunlun is a geothermal fountain in the Kunlun Mountains because it looks like a medical cross-section of an eye from the air. Everyone calls it the Eye of Kunlun. In fact, its real name is Aiken Spring. Professor Sun said that this is a parallel world, so some of the landscapes in our world are not surprising. Maybe one day I will finally find myself in an ordinary town. Lu Yuan introduced the Eye of Kunlun to everyone while chatting and laughing with everyone. I've always experienced this while watching movies. I never thought it would be true. But it's not realistic to meet yourself. Because the time here is different from ours. Which will definitely lead to very different development. Otherwise, the world's thousands of years of history will not develop into an era of magic and cold weapons. Instead of using technology as we do Lord but we have been to a lot of places. And it seems we have never been to this area. We haven't gone through the entire peak forest yet, let alone this vast continent. While everyone was chatting, they quickly approached the destination. Red-brown sandstone began to appear around them. And there was black mud in some places. It should be a swamp. There were already many players around. Some of them rushed forward without knowing what was going on. And they were already trapped. In the swamp, there are so many people joining in the fun. Zheng Yu sighed. Aren't we also part of the fun? Chapter 195 Eye of Kunlun When Lu Yuan and his party arrived near the Eye of Kunlun, they were first shocked by the scenery in front of them. And then a difficult problem appeared in front of them. The swamp in front of them was a difficult problem. And some players had already fallen into it and couldn't extricate themselves. What should I do? I can't get through. Those reddish-brown gravels should be able to stay. But the swamp occupies a large part. Fong Ro. How about your little spider? It has grown in size and should be able to accommodate the likes of us. Moreover, its spider legs are very thin 
and it should be easy to pull out of the mud. Lu Yuan's eyes widened. Liang thought of a clever plan. Fong Ro patted the mount beneath her and said, Little spider, can you do it? The ghost-faced demon spider said confidently. Of course it's no problem. But I don't care about that boy and that dog. The ghost-faced spider is not referring to Zheng Yu. Scar Wolf King. Or anyone else. I'll go. You still hold a grudge. Your heaviest scar was caused by my boss. Why don't you hold his grudge? Zheng Yu said unconvinced. He is weak and injured. Which is normal in the world of monsters. He is very strong and I am convinced to defeat him. However, you two were the ones who insulted me while I was seriously injured. You are so despicable. Shameless and unworthy of my help. The ghost-faced demon spider gritted his teeth. Said, The tribe has been wiped out. And you still speak so arrogantly. Scar Wolf King said with a nonchalant expression. How can our family of ghost-faced demon spiders be destroyed so easily? There are hundreds of millions of spider eggs underground. And a large group of descendants will hatch out soon. The ghost-faced demon spider said with some pride. Zheng Yu patted the Wolf King under him and said, Wang Kai, can you go there too? Let's go by ourselves without asking for help. Zheng Yu was also a little embarrassed. After all, he did go too far at the time. Scar Wolf King shook his head lightly. I can't make it. When Zheng Yu heard this, he was so angry that he raised his hand and slapped the Scar Wolf King and kept mumbling. It's nothing. It's nothing. Lu Yuan was a little helpless. This team was really difficult to lead. He looked ahead quietly and ignored their quarrels. Suddenly, he had an idea. There's a way! Lu Yuan said with a smile. What can I do? The one who is most concerned about it is Zheng Yu. After all, he is the only one who has trouble getting through it now. Didn't I explode a skill book ice surface when I broke the formation? Although it is an ice spell, it does not limit professions and levels. That is to say, as long as the amount of mana is enough. I thought it was useless. It's not the right place. Lu Yuan explained. Lu Yuan asked everyone who wanted to learn it. And everyone said that they were of little use. Lu Yuan usually had a lot of clever ideas. Maybe this useless skill could only work wonders in Lu Yuan's hands. Lu Yuan did not hesitate to take out the skill book and learn it. Ice surface. The ground within 50 meters around you can be frozen into ice. If the enemy fails to dodge in time during the freezing process, a certain control effect will occur. The duration is 10 minutes and the skill cools down for 5 minutes. Lu Yuan had also learned his first magic skill. He no longer hesitated and directly chose the location of the red sandstone to move. When there was a large swamp, he used the ice skill to move everyone across the ice. When the surrounding players saw that there was a road here, they also followed behind them. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry and took the players with him. After all, they were facing the demon clan. Who knows if there are any demon generals sent this time? For Lu Yuan, who knew better. Preventing the demon king from resurrecting was far more important than the reward. Soon he came to the Eye of Kunlun. The area of the Eye of Kunlun was not very large. That is, more than 100 square meters. Lu Yuan reached out and touched the water inside. It was warm and looked like an ordinary hot spring. There was a hot spring in the middle. Spring water kept emerging. And it seemed that there was a spring hole below. But the water level remained flat and did not rise. There's nothing strange about this. And I don't see anyone from the demon clan anywhere. Maybe it's underwater. There's nothing suspicious except underwater. Some players have jumped into the water to explore the way. And some brave people have entered the hot spring to take a bath. Zheng Yu is also one of them. And Scar Wolf King has his eyes closed with a look of enjoyment. It would be troublesome if it's underwater. We can't stay in the water for a long time. If a fight breaks out, how will we fight? Zhao Xing has said worriedly. I don't know if my fire magic can be released in water. So I have to put it out directly. Xiao Lui said a little amused. Then my bow and arrow won't be able to shoot. The resistance in the water is so great. Li Tong was also a little helpless. You have thought a lot. You probably won't fight in the water. I guess there is another mystery under the water. This place is not far from Kunlun Mountain. If my guess is good, there will be a passage when you dive some distance. And then you should be able to swim to the bottom of the mountain. There is probably a secret passage inside. And the water on both sides is level. So you can enter through that way. What you said is so amazing. You haven't even gotten into the water. How do you know? Fong Ro asked. There is a spring below. So it cannot be empty. It is surrounded by flat rivers. This is only possible on the mountain side. If there is a treasure under the water, 
It is impossible that there is not a single magic soldier around. Someone will be sent to guard it. At this time, someone emerged from the water and shouted, There is a secret passage below that leads to the other side of the mountain. Everyone looked at Lu Yuan in surprise, while Lu Yuan shrugged indifferently. As soon as the players who were watching around heard the news, they immediately jumped in. In the game, you don't have to worry about not being able to swim. As long as the posture is correct, you can move forward. The holding time is also longer than in the real world. So swimming to the other side is not a problem. Let's go too. The player Lu Yuan Yuan was almost gone. And he motioned for everyone to go too. For this kind of thing, it is not necessarily good to go in early. The enemy will definitely be very strong. If ordinary players go in, they will undoubtedly be cannon fodder. If there is anyone who can if it succeeds directly, Lu Yuan will feel happy. Only when everyone becomes stronger will the chance of winning against the enemy in the future be greater. It was just as Lu Yuan said when everyone was eating fruits. There was a passage under the water that was not deep, but the water was a bit dark. The players turned on the special effects of their equipment one after another, and then it became brighter. The most dazzling thing is undoubtedly Lu Yuan's equipment, which is originally covered in epic golden light, coupled with the enhanced special effects. The range of the light is much larger than that of others. It is also mixed with purple lightning, which looks extremely domineering. After a while, I swam to the other side, which was also a pool. But the water here was a bit cold. Obviously because the temperature in the cave was low. There were sounds of fighting on the shore. The first group of players were fighting with the demon soldiers. It seemed that the demons had already entered first. Lu Yuan and others also came ashore to join the battle. The strength of these sentinel demon soldiers was not high. To Lu Yuan and others, they were just experienced babies. Demon Sentinel Level 50 HP 500000. I haven't seen such a weak monster for a long time. It turns out we are already so strong. Fang Ro said with emotion as she casually killed another demon soldier. Xiao Lui and Zhao Xing had collectively released group attacks. Li Tong also used scatter attacks. Fang Ro, Lu Yuan, and Zheng Yi would just go up and slash at anyone they saw and kill them instantly. There were not many sentries. After cleaning up, everyone headed inside the cave and found that there were still monster corpses in the cave that had not been refreshed. It looks like the demons haven't been in there for long. So please be careful. Chapter 196 Thunder Beast The cave is very spacious. After walking for a distance, the corpse of the monster was found. Apparently someone had entered the cave in front of the player. It must be the demon army. The players who entered first had already shouted out the method of entering the cave on the world channel. This was not because these players were selfless, but because they had just cleared out the demon sentries and then encountered a combination of demon warriors and demon wizards. The level has directly jumped to level 55, and there are not a few in it. It is less than 300 meters into the cave. Obviously there are higher level monsters behind it. The average player level is now around level 50, and Li Yuan is only level 54 and more. With uneven equipment, it's okay to fight some wild monsters. The demon soldiers are all neatly equipped and have a lot of health. Although their skills and attacks are relatively simple, they are still very threatening to ordinary players. For Lu Yuan and others, it had been a long time since they had defeated such a monster. The blood volume was not too high and the quantity was large. And the experience was rich. After clearing out some mobs, there were several forks ahead. No one knew which way to go. Fortunately, there were many players and everyone spread out. There were many people entering at each intersection. Most of them. I still chose the middle way. Maybe I think the middle way is the most reliable. Lu Yuan and others didn't care. They didn't know the correct answer anyway. And they didn't know what would happen in a while. They simply chose a passage with the fewest people and walked in. So that they could kill more monsters and gain more experience. It seems that the magic soldiers have also been diverted. There are much fewer magic soldiers distributed in Lu Yuan's passage. But correspondingly there are also many fewer people grabbing monsters. We walked forward for about a few hundred meters. And the passage was not a straight line. Everyone was already walking from east to west. And the system map was invalid again. Moving forward. The demon soldiers suddenly disappeared. And the surrounding walls were no longer mountains. But made of neat green bricks. The corridor was more than two meters wide. And the ground was very flat. It's strange. Even if this place can lead to the inside. According to their deployment, there should be more magic soldiers guarding here. Why is there suddenly no one left? Lu Yuan stopped and said, Perhaps they have all gone in. 
But have you noticed that the passage seems not long? But you can't see what is on the other side. As if all the light has been sucked away. Zheng Yu said. Zhao Xingha said calmly. Such passages usually appear in movies. They are all equipped with hidden weapons. Or they are sorted by the nine palaces and Bagua on the floor. Maybe the magic soldiers were destroyed by the mechanism. Everyone nodded and agreed with Zhao Xingha's statement. There were originally players who were eager to move forward. But when they heard that there might be a trap, no one dared to move forward rashly. Liu Yuan could only say, Let me go and take a look first. If there is a trap, I am more agile and should be able to avoid it. Outsiders were unwilling to explore the route. And one of our own, Liu Yuan, was worried about their safety. So he had to go on it himself. Liu Yuan regained his composure and walked up carefully. The surrounding walls and floors were all exactly the same. There was no pattern to follow. So he had to walk forward along the middle. After walking for a few steps, he felt his body became a little heavier. There was no discomfort. And there was nothing strange around him. So Li Yuan continued to stride forward. When he reached the middle of the passage, there was suddenly a blue light in the dark front. The light flickered for a few times. And then a blue ball of thunder quickly shot towards Li Yuan along the passage. The surrounding magnetic field was very large, which increased his own gravity a lot. It was too late for Lu Yuan to retreat, so he had to resist the damage of this thunderball. A burst of crackling lightning flashed, knocking out nearly 100,000 of Lu Yuan's health. This meant that Lu Yuan's defense was amazing. His health reached more than 150,000. After adding the doctor's buff, it reached about 180,000. It would definitely be a different person. Got killed instantly. Lu Yuan avoided lightning from striking again and quickly returned to the entrance of the passage. I understand. These slates are made of special ores. They have very strong magnetism. As long as someone enters the magnetic field, it will be disrupted and cause thunder. I just don't know how the thunder and lightning in this cave came in. Lu Yuan suddenly realized. Say, Ling'er quickly filled up Lu Yuan's health. Now that he knew the secret of the passage, it would not be difficult to pass through. In the end, everyone present followed Lu Yuan, and he carried the thunder and lightning alone. All the doctors worked together to draw blood for Lu Yuan. Every time he was attacked by lightning, his blood volume was instantly full in less than two seconds. This suit of his own all kinds of resistance are not low. But there is no lightning resistance. But this is a thunder attribute attack. When he reached the end of the passage, Lu Yuan's face turned a little dark. At the end of the passage was a stone door. There was a half meter wide opening above the head about two meters away from the stone door. Which could lead to the outside. This is where thunder and lightning entered. And then a thunderball forms in this small space. And is guided by magnetic force to attack people or objects entering the passage. I don't know who designed this place. It's really ingenious. He must be someone who is very proficient in astronomy and geography. This is much more powerful than ordinary hidden weapons. It uses natural phenomena and will never fail. Lu Yuan sighed. The stone door is very simple. The middle shaft can be rotated on both sides. It is easy to enter the stone chamber inside. The stone chamber is about 40 square meters in size. The surrounding walls are the same as the passages. There is a stone statue in the middle of the stone chamber. The monster has a body shaped somewhat like a rhinoceros, with a short horn at the tip of its nose, and two long raised teeth on both sides of its mouth. Its limbs are thick, and its back is like a sharp blade, a powerful attacking monster. Suddenly the crackling sound of thunder and lightning sounded and a bolt of lightning struck from the vent above the monster's head. This time it did not attack the player, but struck directly on the stone statue. The stone statue's skin fell off, and it unexpectedly came to life. Bin Lei Beast level 65 boss HP 60 million. The level is acceptable, and the blood volume is not too outstanding. It should be good at attack. Just by looking at the name, you can tell that this is a thunder attribute attack monster. After resurrecting, the thunder beast moved its body, and shook off the dust on its body, revealing its dark blue skin. It opened its mouth and spit out a bolt of lightning to strike at everyone. This time, there was no Li Yuan in front, and players with slow reactions were instantly killed. The bosses were more than 10 levels apart, and there was no room for mistakes by these players with ordinary equipment. Li Yuan and his party often fought against high-level monsters and were already used to it. When they saw the Thunder Beast resurrected, they had already dispersed their vigilance. Lu Yuan charged forward and started to attack. The Thunder Beast gave Lu Yuan the feeling of a fort. The attack was very powerful, but not very flexible. Lu Yuan liked this kind of beating boss the most. 
but for ordinary players. This kind of high attack remote boss is simply a nightmare. Chapter 197 Red Man The Thunder Beast was beaten so painfully that a lightning barrier appeared on its body. It instantly pushed away all those who attacked at close range. Then it opened its mouth. And the thunder and lightning visible to the naked eye in its throat was condensing and forming. And then the thunder and lightning beam spurted out. The thunder beast also spun around in circles. Everyone had no choice but to run in the direction in which it was turning. They saw that the wall was struck by lightning, creating a deep groove. And white smoke was rising from the area where it had been attacked. No one dared to resist. And in the end the thunder beast rotated 180 degrees. Then he stopped attacking. Just when everyone was about to attack, another bolt of lightning struck from the vent above the head of the thunder beast, hitting the blade behind the back of the thunder beast. The Thunder Beast was not injured. Instead, it absorbed the lightning into its body and converted it into a power grid through the three horns on its head. This kind of large-scale coverage attack has no space to dodge at all. Everyone is hit by the power grid. The power grid attack is not high, and it only has a short-term paralysis and restriction effect. But in just a few seconds, no one could dodge the Thunder Beast's attack. It spit out a string of thunderballs from its mouth and killed two or three ordinary players in an instant. Lu Yuan knew that the lightning from the vit would strike down every once in a while. Which meant that every once in a while, the Thunder Beast would release a power grid to kill one or two players instantly. Our people try to keep a straight line with me. If you are caught, I will take the damage. Zheng Yu will stand in second place to prevent any omissions. Lu Yuan quickly expressed his thoughts. It's simple but very effective. Although all players are comrades in the fight against the demons, Lu Yuan can't protect them all. Since he wants to take risks. It's normal to take some risks while reaping benefits. Although ordinary players cannot withstand the defense, they can still deal attack damage. Although it is much worse than Lu Yuan and his group, it is still better than nothing. There are only these types of attacks of the Thunder Beast. Although the level is very high and the damage is sufficient, the attack is too single. It is more like a mechanism than a monster. It has never left the center of the room from the beginning to the end. The location is simply a living target. After a while, Another bolt of lightning struck down and turned into a power grid. Everyone was paralyzed. Lu Yuan's method really worked. Because there were more people behind him. The Thunder Beast attacked in the direction of Lu Yuan this time. The thunderballs and lightning strikes were all carried down by Lu Yuan alone. Although the damage was very high, it was not enough to kill Lu Yuan instantly. Linger was able to draw the blood back in a few strokes. The single attack method doomed the end of the bin lay beast. It didn't even become violent. It was killed by everyone in such a normal way, and a skill book and some equipment were revealed. When ordinary players saw the boss dead, they all rushed forward, ready to grab the loot. Since Lu Yuan had been fighting the monsters at the closest distance, he directly picked up the skill book. The equipment was all rare equipment, so he simply let them fight for it. Thunder Net, convert the power of thunder and lightning into a thunder net. Paralyzing enemies within 10 meters around you for 5 seconds, the paralysis time is affected by the enemy's lightning resistance. And the cooling time is 3 minutes. Thunder Mage can learn. A very good control skill. And it is also a group control skill. Although the range is much smaller than that of boss. It is also very practical. Especially for mages. It can control the enemies around you for a few seconds. Which is enough for you to escape. And it can also help. His teammates took control. And gave the skill book directly to Xiao Xingha. Lu Yuan thought for a while and cut off the three horns of the Thunder Beast with his sword. After all, the power grid was converted from the three horns of the Thunder Beast at that time, which proved that these three horns also had thunder attributes. If the thunder method was added the stick should have miraculous effects. Up to this point in the house, there was no way forward. Everyone was looking for the mechanism in the secret room. But in the end they found nothing. It looks like we have to go back the way we came, Zhao Xingha said. Lu Yuan glanced around again and finally stopped at the body of the Thunder Beast. It was the only one in the room that didn't move. Everyone asked me to move it. Sure enough, after the Thunder Beast moved away, a square stone pillar slowly rose in the middle, and then a secret door also rose. No wonder this guy is motionless. It turns out there is a secret hidden under his butt. Let's go and move on. After a while, the demons will take away the things and we will go over, Lu Yuan said, just as everyone was about to enter the secret door. A strange female voice came from behind. Wait! Wait! Um! You are not happy! Can I take a photo with you? You are really awesome! I all your friends admire you! 
Lu Yuan was blocked and was a little overwhelmed. He didn't expect to become a fan while playing a game. All right. Lu Yuan stood awkwardly motionless, acting as an emotionless photoprop. Do you have a girlfriend? This question about the soul made Lu Yuan extremely embarrassed, especially under the gaze of these women. Lu Yuan was not a fool. If not, the three women would definitely be angry. But if so, none of them had that kind of relationship. I didn't know how to answer for a while. He doesn't have a girlfriend, but he already has enough confidence. Do you still want to join in the fun? Fong Rose said to the female player in a stiff tone. I don't mind. If it's okay with him, I can. How could you do this? What do you take me for? Do you think I don't exist? A male player walked up and roared at the woman angrily. Lu Yuan took advantage of the chaos and hurriedly walked into the secret door. The male player felt embarrassed and chose to go offline. The female player looked at the women with unkind eyes and also chose to go offline. Old Zhao, you said my boss is not that handsome. Why is he so popular? Zheng Yu said, putting his arm around Xiao Xing his shoulders. Women like that don't like people, but the strongest ones. If you are the strongest person in this game and steal the limelight, and the forum is always in the hot search, there will definitely be women who will turn against you. Because you are such a slut. Looks like, probably more than Li Yuan. After all, Xiao Yuanzi is a low-key person. Zhao Xing has said with a smile. The world is getting worse. The world is getting worse. What's wrong with this little girl now? She actually wants to be a mistress in a brazen name. Doesn't she have any sense of shame? Fang Rou was very angry. Lu Yuan is very good. It's normal to have people who admire him. Besides, there is no substantial relationship between men and women yet. It's easy for people to take advantage of him. Luo Yi, you have to watch him closely. Li Tong also felt a little unhappy, said in distaste. Xiao Lui took their hands and said softly, I have already said that the situation was critical at the time, and the fiancé does not count. Besides, why don't the three of us agree on fair competition? No matter what the outcome, you two, they are all my best friends. The three women were whispering. Lu Yuan, who was walking in front, didn't know that Lu Yuan was also very distressed about his relationship. He could only choose to escape. Maybe he was a brave man in battle. But he was an out-and-out -out loser in relationships. Coward. Boss, look at the world channel. Someone has encountered the demon boss. Zheng Yu shout interrupted Lu Yuan's thoughts. Chapter 198 Thunderbolt Lu Yuan glanced at the world channel. And sure enough, some players were complaining that the enemy was too strong. Not only were the demon generals powerful, but there were also many demon soldiers, and their levels were also very high. It was simply not a task that ordinary players could complete. Our attack power should be very high. We have been fighting the boss for so long. But they actually encountered the demon generals before us. Zheng Yu said. It should be that their passage was opened by the demons. And they chased them without any obstacles. Xiao Lui analyzed. Let's go. Let's hurry up. We don't know what difficulties are ahead. Lu Yuan walked at the front to lead the way. There were no magic soldiers guarding them as they marched backwards. There were some small thunder beasts along the way. They were not of high level and had no special abilities other than thunder and lightning attacks. Lu Yuan and others regarded it as free experience dolls. There were also a lot fewer ordinary players remaining in the group. Some people felt dangerous after watching the world channel and did not want to lose experience equipment. So they retreated. Some others saw Lu Yuan and others. People are strong and hide behind to look for opportunities to pick up some bargains. Lu Yuan also showed the style of a master. And all the equipment that was exploded was given to the players behind him. Firstly, Lu Yuan didn't like these equipments. And secondly, he wanted them to increase their strength. After all, the strength of human beings is relatively small. Still too weak. The passage is very smooth. I don't know who built such a large underground space. We walked to the end of the passage again. This time, there was no thunderball attack. When we opened the stone door, everything seemed very calm. There was still a stone statue in the middle of the simple stone chamber. But this time it was no longer a monster, but a statue. People, the stone statue sensed someone entering, and the stone on its surface peeled off, revealing its true appearance. Human Torch Level 65 Boss HP 50 Million The boss is holding a mace in his hand. His armor is neatly on his body, and his expression is majestic and solemn. At first glance, he looks like a general who has killed enemies in battle, and his whole body is full of murderous intent. Without too much nonsense, he rushed over, 
Of course, Lu Yuan was the one at the front. Faced with a mace that was thrown down, Lu Yuan did not dare to resist. He dodged and stabbed the boss under the ribs. Lu Yuan's judgment was correct. The mace made a big hole in the flat ground. This shows how powerful the blow was. The angle of the sword thrust by Lu Yuan was very tricky. But the boss still used the mace. The handle of the stick was blocked by downward force. Everyone was not idle either. Attacking with various skills at the same time. The boss's stick skills were very exquisite. And the equipment on his body was obviously very sophisticated. He was not affected by various skills at all. He swept Lu Yuan away with one stick and went straight towards the rear. Crispy charges forward. One player was unable to dodge. And his level was very different. He was lifted into the air by a stick and knocked out half of his health. When the player landed, he was greeted by another heavy blow. The player was instantly killed. The floor tiles have cracked into spider web shapes. It's very powerful. Very agile. Has exquisite stick skills. And the most important thing is that it's very durable. I didn't expect there to be such a balanced boss. Lu Yuan kept talking as he chased after the boss. The boss doesn't have any particularly flashy skills. He just relies on his high agility to sprint towards players who attack from a distance. And then relies on his exquisite stick skills and high value attacks to defeat the enemy. It may seem simple and unpretentious, but it is actually much more lethal than the previous Thunder Beast. And more and more players are dying in his hands. No matter how Lu Yuan attacks, the boss's hatred will never stop. When it fell on Lu Yuan, he also knew that if the long range attack was not dealt with first, he would be slowly consumed and die. Everyone, be careful to dodge. Zheng Yu will use his body to resist when necessary, Lu Yuan said while pursuing the attack. Ordinary players are inferior to Lu Yuan and his team in terms of equipment and awareness. And they have too little experience in fighting high level boss. Once they see the boss rushing towards them, most of them choose to run away because they know in their hearts that there is no way to stop the powerful force. S attack. Seeing that there are more and more casualties and the boss's health has only been reduced by about 10%. I'm afraid if this continues, everyone except myself will have to be killed. Except for the guardians and warriors. The other professions will not be able to withstand the boss's attack. Combo moves. And the difficult thing about this boss is that any control skills seem to be ineffective against him. Of course Lu Yuan knew what was going on. He had the same dominating skills as his jewel reset. And the trigger rate was extremely high. Fong Ro. Let your ghost face demon spider come out and spin silk in the room to limit its speed. Lu Yuan had an idea. Normal mounts will not participate in battles. Because mounts will also die. Special mounts such as the ghost face demon spider. Scar Wolf King and Nine Colored Sacred Deer are inherently monsters. So their own skills can still be used but because the level cannot exceed the player itself. The strength has declined. If you want to restore the previous strength, you need to improve the player's level. When the player's strength exceeds the original level of the monster, the mounts and pets can also get benefits. Be stronger. Therefore, when players are strong enough to conquer monsters, some monsters will also choose to surrender. Half of them are to survive. And the other half may be to hope that one day, they can break through themselves and grow more powerful. Otherwise, if they rely on their own cultivation, they will have to break through easily. Thousands of years. After the stone room was filled with spider silk, the boss's speed was indeed affected to some extent. Although the restriction was not large, it was enough for Lu Yuan to reach the boss first. After such a struggle, the other players and himself were safe for the time being. Although the boss is strong, it is difficult to do anything against Lu Yuan. Although his stick skills are exquisite, Lu Yuan's body skills are also very good. He attacks the boss flexibly without competing with him for strength. The shadowless sword is very sharp and easy. It can break the defense. Just like this. After the boss went crazy, he could no longer make any big waves. He fell down unwillingly. And the mace in his hand fell. Along with it, there was also a skill book thunderbolt stick technique. Lu Yuan only picked up the skill book and the gems for inlaying. Leaving the rest to the surviving players. The skill book was not suitable for everyone so I put it in my backpack. This was the first time Lu Yuan had seen this type of skill book. It was not a single skill, but a whole set of stick techniques. He didn't know how many moves there were in it, but it can't be considered too strong. After all, the attack is too plain and unpretentious. Not as good as a powerful blow with special effects. Lu Yuan and others did not stop, found the secret door, and moved forward directly. After all, 
It had been a while since the players encountered the demon boss. If they continued to delay, I am afraid that the demons would have already succeeded in retreating. Finally, after passing through another several hundred meters of passage and cleaning up the mobs, we arrived at the final large stone chamber. As soon as I entered, I saw the demons fighting against a boss. And the boss's blood volume was already very low. And the demons were about to win. Chapter 199 Demon General Ken Ming The central stone chamber is very large. And there are many stone doors. It seems that all the passages can eventually enter here. It is probably just the types of monsters that are different. If there was only one passage, it would probably be more difficult to gather all the monsters blocking entry. Lu Yuan thought in his mind. After entering the stone chamber, there was no time to think too much. Because the battle in front of him was almost coming to an end. And the original owner of the stone chamber was about to be beaten to death by the demons. Lu Yuan looked at the information about the opponent. The main force of the demon clan was naturally the demon general. It seemed that this mission was very important. Even the demon general was dispatched in person. Lord Tian Lei. Level 70 boss. HP 465,342. The boss in the stone room had less than 500,000 HP. And the battle was a bit strange. Lord Tian Lei's thunder struck the open space. And his body was allowed to be attacked by the demon soldiers. Although the armor on his body was neatly dressed. His right arm was exposed. Outside, his right arm glowed red. And he could punch a hole in the wall or the ground with a random punch. But he always missed. What's going on with this boss? Are your eyes hard to use? Zheng Yu asked. It must have been caused by an illusion. Because the demon general's name is Ken Ming. And his skills are probably related to illusions. One of the top 10 generals of the Remnant Dream Demon Clan. Level 75. HP 300 million. Lu Yuan didn't expect that this demon general didn't waste a single drop of blood and the number of demon soldiers in the stone room didn't seem to decrease much. Those who could enter here were all elite soldiers, with levels around 60. When ordinary players saw this formation, they went back the same way and ran away. With so many high-level monsters, they would die if they went up there. Who wants to be cannon fodder? The woman in the black dress is the demon general of the demon clan, with a blood volume of 300 million. Judging from the name, she should be good at illusions. Please pay attention later, and try not to be confused. Lu Yuan told the basic information about the monster. Everyone. What should we do now? Where should we help? It is estimated that Lord Tian Lei will not survive. He only has a small amount of blood left. And he has obviously not woken up from the illusion yet. I will consume the blood of their demon soldiers first. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he directly activated the set skill natural disaster. Five color attribute balls condensed in the sky. And they got bigger and bigger. The entry of Lu Yuan and others was naturally noticed. But Lord Tian Lei was about to be killed. And the demon emperor's right arm was also in hand. So there was no division of troops to attack Lu Yuan and others. The attribute ball was quickly launched and exploded in a place where the demon soldiers were densely packed. The huge explosion swept through the entire stone room. It took a while to return to normal. The center of the demon soldiers had been cleared. Hundreds of demon soldiers were at least killed a third. What everyone didn't notice was that as the explosion was going on, wisps of black smoke were also inhaled through everyone's noses. At the same time, Lord Tian Lei finally fell down. Ken Ming did not pay attention to the loot, but directly chopped off Lord Tian Lei's right arm and disappeared with a wave of his hand. Lu Yuan rushed forward, but he felt an attack coming from behind, so he had to stop and dodge. It turned out that an arrow passed by Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan looked at Li Tong who was shooting the arrow with some doubts. Then Xiao Lui also sent a fire phoenix at him. Zhao Xinghe did not hesitate and directly condensed thunder clouds above Lu Yuan's head. Fang Rou even turned invisible and rushed towards him. Zheng Yu stayed by Ling'er's side, dancing with a sledgehammer in the air, looking at everyone's expressions. Lu Yuan knew that he had been tricked. His eyes were dull and his expression was stiff. He must have been under an illusion and thought he was the enemy. Lu Yuan did not fight back, but rushed straight into the demon soldiers using his agility to avoid everyone's attacks, and using the body of the demon soldiers as a shield to absorb the damage. Demon General Ken Meng looked at Lu Yuan with some surprise. He knew very well how powerful his illusion was, but this young man was obviously also affected by it, but he was not affected at all. Their eyes met. Lu Yuan's bright eyes stared at Ken Meng, which made Ken Meng's heart tremble. You were the one who defeated Sha Qian Dao. Right. Ken Meng suddenly said in a gentle tone, 
that was inconsistent with his own temperament. Ken Ming was dressed in a black dress, and even her makeup was black, giving people a cold and coquettish feeling. But she didn't expect her voice to be so gentle. If you don't want to die, then put down your arms, and I can let you go. Lu Yuan was dodging left and right in the formation of demon soldiers, dodging his own skills and the attacks of the demon soldiers. Ha ha! You have such a strong tone. Do you have the strength to defeat me? Ken Ming found it a bit funny. Although he missed his illusion, it didn't mean that he had nothing to do with him. Suddenly, the stone chamber door opened again, and players walked in one after another. Many of them were known to Lu Yuan. It seemed that the players' elite troops had finally arrived. Ken Ming frowned slightly when he saw the reinforcements arriving. Although he didn't take these players seriously, he was afraid of complications. After all, his first task was to bring back his arm. Brother Lu, you are very fast. Lin Han and Lu Yuan were old acquaintances. When he saw Lu Yuan walking back and forth among the demon soldiers, he smiled and said H, Lo. During the last war in the real world, Lin Han had already realized the future direction. I am afraid that war is unavoidable. Although it is not he knows exactly how it will develop. But he must make friends with powerful people like Lu Yuan. Especially when Zhao Jiozhou and Feng Tao have become the target of public criticism and will no longer be of any help to him. Be careful. This boss knows magic. And my teammates have already been tricked. Lu Yuan reminded. Ha ha. Childish. Do you think you can dodge my attack if you are careful? Ken Meng suddenly laughed. Then took out a staff and placed it heavily on the ground. The head of the staff emitted colorful light. Dream. All the new players stayed where they were, including those who had been confused before. Some of them sneered. Some had painful expressions. Some even cried sadly. And some were squatting on the ground shivering. This time even Li Yuan fell into a dream. Everyone was mentally paralyzed. And the remaining demon soldiers began to attack again. Ken Meng looked at the group of people expressionlessly, controlling his own skills while directing the demon soldiers to fight against the enemy. Lu Yuan dreamed that he was in his room at home. And the female player, who had taken a photo with Lu Yuan suddenly appeared. She pressed Lu Yuan on the bed, and kissed her while taking off Lu Yuan's clothes. No! There's no way you can appear here! Lu Yuan pushed the woman on him away. Lu Yuan had realized that he had been hit. But everything was so real, including the touch and the pain. In order to wake himself up, Lu Yuan kept beating himself but it had no effect except feeling pain. Suddenly, the door of his room opened, and all his friends walked in. When they saw the disheveled Lu Yuan and the strange woman, they all laughed at Lu Yuan, and the women even had despair in their eyes. Although Lu Yuan knew that all this was false, he still felt a pain in his heart, as if there was a big stone in his chest, and he couldn't breathe. Lu Yuan smiled bitterly. In reality, love is not his strong point. He is still so passive in a dream. It seems that he can only escape from this dream by finding the flaw in the dream. Chapter 200 A Tough Mental Attack No matter how hard Lu Yuan tried to find flaws, there was no effect at all. And except for himself who could speak, the rest of the people could only see the expression, but could not hear the sound when the mouth was moving, knowing that all this was a dream. But he couldn't escape. He suddenly felt a pain in his heart. The strange female player took advantage of him and pierced his body with a dagger. Lu Yuan had a flash of inspiration. It would be easy to deal with an enemy. All he had to do was defeat this person. The weapon in his hand was nowhere to be found. No matter how much he tried to open his backpack, there was no response. He simply gave up using weapons and directly used his palm skills. But every time his attack hit the enemy, it felt like he hit the empty space. Although the strange female player in the dream had been seriously injured, and although there was also a sense of touch in the dream, Lu Yuan really felt that there was still a difference between it and reality. Lu Yuan simply closed his eyes. He couldn't even see through his peak eagle eyes. So he could only act based on his own feelings. The pain in my right shoulder seemed to be caused by outside demon soldiers. I didn't dodge the first blow and struck out along the direction of the blade. Although this time, I missed the target in the dream. I actually hit the attacker. Magic soldiers. Lu Yuan continued to calm down and was very confident in his blood volume. He could resist the attacks of the demon soldiers for a while. But he didn't know if others could withstand them. Ken Ming controlled the staff and brought so many people into the dream at once. She was also under great pressure. Some people had collapsed just relying on their inner fear. And there was no need for the magic soldiers to take action again. But like Li Yuan people who have a strong heart and are calm in times of trouble are the most difficult to deal with. 
Lu Yuan also gradually mastered the trajectory of the demon soldier's attack. Every time he felt a crisis, he would dodge based on his feeling. Every time he relied on his feeling, he could always hit the demon soldier's body. Lu Yuan knew clearly that he was holding the sword in his right hand. Even though he couldn't feel the connection with the sword, he still waved it. Gradually, Lu Yuan probably understood Qin Meng's attack method. Samung's attacks mainly rely on paralyzing the spirit, causing people to lose their vision of the outside world and enter the space she created. This space is formed by the enemy's own mental memory. So it is difficult to find any flaws. But it is estimated that she can only can control a person's recent memory. Lu Yuan wanted to understand the attack method, but still didn't know how to crack it. Suddenly he felt a golden light passing by. Lu Yuan suddenly opened his eyes and looked in the direction of the golden light. He immediately saw a pair of panicked eyes. And those eyes his eyes also felt Lu Yuan's gaze. And the illusion between his eyes shattered into pieces like glass. The surroundings returned to the stone chamber scene again. There were still several demon soldiers surrounding him. Many players had been beaten to the ground by the demon soldiers. Looking in the direction of Zhao Xingha and others, he found that there were also demon soldiers attacking. However, because everyone kept it at the entrance, so there aren't many demon soldiers, and they haven't been killed yet. Lu Yuan didn't have time to think too much and rushed over. After recovering, Lu Yuan easily eliminated several demon soldiers. Looking in the direction of Qin Meng again, there was a familiar weapon stuck on the ground. It was actually his original, imitation, Poseidon's Poseidon's fork. It seemed that someone else entered the stone room later. Seeing this scene, he was stunned. Throwing the fork over caused a flaw in the dream. But no one except Lu Yuan took the opportunity. A figure rushed towards Qin Meng. It wasn't Yang Yan Zhao, but someone else. And a group of players rushed in from behind to help resist the attack of the demon soldiers. Seeing that the situation was over, Qin Meng directly raised the staff, jumped back to avoid the attack and another burst of light shot out from the staff head. Broken dreams. All the players who had not escaped from the dream had expressions of pain, and the players who had collapsed at the beginning even fainted. Everyone's dream was different. After the dream broken, all dreams changed. It became a nightmare, and it was so real and terrifying that it was like experiencing it personally. Lu Yuan no longer hesitated and rushed directly towards Qin Ming. It seemed that only by defeating her could everyone's dream be lifted. Ken Meng didn't stop after using Dream Broken and directly summoned more than a dozen monsters, each of which looked very ferocious. Lu Yuan was a little stunned. After taking a closer look, he found that the monsters were all fake, but these monsters could still cause harm to people. Although they did not lose much blood, people hit by the monsters would be temporarily sluggish. Lu Yuan stood directly on the spot and gathered up his strength and rushed out with his thousand army killer, bypassing those illusory monsters and rushing straight towards Qin Ming. The summon monster is obviously a spiritual attack. Although it is essentially illusory, it will cause damage to the human brain every time it is touched, making it more difficult to deal with than normal monsters. Facing Lu Yuan's rapid attack, Qin Ming smiled slightly, and a transparent light shield appeared around his body. Lu Yuan touched the light shield, like a sword piercing a pile of cotton, and suddenly felt a stinging pain in his brain. When he came back to his senses, the whole person had been ejected more than 10 meters away. This was the first time that Lu Yuan encountered such a difficult enemy. The opponent looked weak, but he felt like he had no way to use all his strength. Was this a powerful mage? Ha ha. A group of weak humans. I have to leave first. You go kill each other. Ken Meng sneered. The head of the staff emitted another burst of light, and then ordered the magic soldiers to follow him into the passage behind him. Lu Yuan was about to chase forward, but was stopped by a player. Lu Yuan looked around and found that all the people who were in the dream were attacking human players with ferocious faces. It seemed that these people were considered an enemy. Lu Yuan struck casually, got rid of the players blocking him, and chased forward. When he passed by Yang Yanzhao, he said, Please help me take care of my friends. I'll go after the enemy. Before waiting for the other party's reply, Lu Yuan rushed straight into the passage. As Lu Yuan expected, the passage was filled with demon soldiers. The passage was narrow, and it was difficult to bypass the demon soldiers and pursue them. He had to clean up the mobs and pursue them at the same time. Ken Meng, after fighting for a while, felt that he could no longer catch up. So he finally had to give up the pursuit. Lu Yuan was worried about the safety of everyone. So he turned around and returned to the stone room. He had to admit that even if he caught up with her, it would be difficult to stop her. Mental attacks were really difficult to deal with. 
Returning to the stone room, I found that the battle was still going on, although many people were still in dreams. The attacks at this time seemed to be more fierce than usual. I and the others were well equipped. How could ordinary players be their opponents? Everyone's names at this time all are already read. Lu Yuan didn't know how to stop this battle. He couldn't go up and kill all his own people, let alone help his own people kill all the other players. When she was in trouble, a pretty figure appeared, and with a slight snap of her fingers, everyone stopped attacking as if waking up from a dream, and all focused their attention on her. This person was Bai Qianqian. Why didn't you come out earlier to help? Lu Yuanjian asked as Bai Qianqian resolved the dream so easily. Bai Qianqian's beautiful face turned slightly to one side, and she smiled contemptuously at Lu Yuan. Why should I help? Lu Yuan was speechless. She really had no obligation to help, although she was now her pet in name. In reality, he was just someone she was using. It's really useless for such a weak illusion to make you so embarrassed. After Bai Qianqian said that, she disappeared from the place. Lu Yuan fell into deep thought. If the demon general who went to the real world last time was Ken Meng, it would be difficult for humans to win. On this day, he saw the powerful demon boss in the pinnacle forest and also saw the demon general. Strength. Suddenly I feel so weak. If these monsters and demon generals all pour into reality, what can be done to stop them?